All right, and uh, well, we'll 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 go to the Heather, Heather Mills now, yes. there, Jimmy. Heather Mills hit Sir Paul McCartney with the worst accusations yet. Jerry Pinacoli has the breaking couples news. Paul McCartney shooting down domestic abuse allegations. Today, the Beatles legend fires back on extra over the explosive new claims from his estranged wife, Heather Mills. In 13 pages of court papers, Heather alleges Paul stabbed her in the arm with a broken wine glass, shoved her when she was pregnant, and grabbed her around the throat. In a statement issued through his lawyers, Paul says he wants to protect his children and not comment publicly, but that in court, quote, our client will be defending these allegations vigorously and appropriately. A source close to Paul today accuses Heather of leaking the court papers to hurt Paul's reputation. No more me shall my bell. <laughs> you know, uh, when they always say that thing where he shoved her when she was pregnant, yeah. you're pregnant for nine months. What, you're supposed to not shove somebody for nine months? It's like almost a year you're supposed to like, oh, hands off the beauty queen while she's got a baby in her. Oh, the last trimester is the most important. Thing. Yeah, it could have been yeah. real early on. Yeah. She yeah. pissed him off. Yeah, come yeah. On. A little push right after she took the test, and he shoved her. What shoved me. Idiot? Why didn't you? Who put else? Ice cream in? Who else wants to believe that this is true? Oh, so who else wants to believe that so he's awesome. just a maniac? I'm totally buying closed it. Doors. I'm totally buying You're it. You're buying it? Yeah, yeah. I have to, <laughs> just to hear one of his Louvre songs. Let me hear a Louvre song. <laughs> and just picture him just slapping her around. Like right nothing nothing with a wine glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you whole. Bring me a wine glass. Yeah, you one-legged on, bitch. She was on Larry King years ago, and she was saying that she didn't know who Paul McCartney was, and she fell in love with him just as oh, a guy. Oh, sure. It's like, yep. come on. A yeah. liar. He's a beetle. Yeah, no, because he's also so good-looking. He's, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's old. He looks like an older woman now. He does. Definitely. He's like 65, and he has hair like Christy McNichol in 1978. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be attractive Family. to him. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but every time that anybody does, whenever they do court papers publicly, it's always awful. Like, oh, yeah. Um, it's never like, you know, he he told a boring story. <laughs> and so it's I'm divorcing him. Yeah, it's all the awful stuff. Yeah, yeah. no one's going to remember that. One night, uh, she sat there and just talked about a new rug. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's almost like you hear the lawyer saying to her, well, you can say stuff like shoved you when you were pregnant, stab, stab yeah. you with a wine glass. It's like, this and she's like, yeah. They fine. do. They kind of sure. coach the girls, too. They probably sure. hand you a menu. Of yeah, course, just circle, you know, yeah. circle yeah, what you want, like your wine yeah. glass is worth like right. 50000 yeah, Like you're ordering fireworks back in the day. Yeah, cir yeah. Circle Some an appetizer, M80s. an entree, and a dessert. Yeah. I'll take a wine glass to start, and then I'd like a no stump operation for dessert. <laughs> yeah, that's the best yeah, what was one. the no s he w stump operation again? She wanted to get an operation on her stump, and uh, my new idol said no because it will interfere with my vacation plan. <laughs> yeah. Why is she getting her stump? Isn't that a hopeless cause? I know. Her stump Unless they're putting on? A, grafting a lizard tail onto it yeah, and wanna, have that thing grow. I want to get a bottle opener on my stump. <laughs> yeah, what could they possibly do? <laughs> the improvement. Anything the they do is just going to make get it a, shorter. Bolt my stump. <laughs> I know. You're not getting an operation on your stump? On your stump? Your stump? I gotta go to Maui. You can't get your... Well, Heather's friend stump? speaks out here. Oh, no. Today, in an extra exclusive, Heather's friend and American publicist Michelle Elizabeth reacts to the accusation. She did not leak anything and she wouldn't otherwise she would have come to me so we had to ask if this alleged abusive behavior was going on why did heather stay all you need is love that's what she thought wow oh, all quotes you need is, is love he goes yeah. use my stump to roll over some pizza dough <laughs> <don't even> like <laughs> pizza <laughs> they're all in europe who cares <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh god Married to a Beatle. She hit the lotto anyway. Of course she did. Yeah. That's it. No prenup, right? He's as dumb as they come. Now yeah. we no, prenup. no prenup? No prenup. No. And he had a kid with her. Oof. Yeah, see. Her kids should just kill him. I mean, his kids should kill him because that's the thing hurting. Right well, kid. his older kids hated Heather Mills from the beginning. They're probably older than she is. They're of course. Probably older than trying she is. to sleep in here and clunk, clunk <laughs> at night as she gets up for a midnight <laughs> snack. <laughs> parrots oh, no. flying all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Every morning. Wood, Woodpecker going off on our leg. <laughs> hey, we were going to move on, but uh, Danny brought to my attention that this next uh, clip about Heather Mills and Paul McCartney is really good. 
All right. Danny's putting himself out there. Well, he's claiming something else. Listen to this. Well, Paul McCartney once wrote a song, P.S. I Love You. Mr. McCartney could pen a follow-up, P.S. I Didn't Beat You. Heather and Paul... What? That was unfathomable. Wow. At number two, Heather is now publicly accusing her soon-to-be former husband of abuse. The London Evening Standard published information they claim was leaked from the Mills McCartney divorce papers, which include these shocking things. Here we go. Listen Heather. to this. Paul beat her. He stabbed her with a ready. broken wine bottle one during ready. one of the attacks. Mm. Paul is an alcoholic and a oh. heavy drug user. And even that Paul tried to stop her from breastfeeding their daughter, telling her, quote, they are my breasts. <laughs> Paul, yeah. imagine, has Those quickly retaliated via his lawyer, my saying, quote, breasts. He recognizes that the only correct form for his response is in the current divorce proceedings. Our client will be defending these allegations vigorously and appropriately. Mills Peeps say the court it. documents are highly confidential and refuse to confirm if the leaked info is genuine. All right. There Didn't deny it, though. How do you not deny that? Just what? get out and say, look, what, whatever this, uh, whoever leaked this, whatever is not true. Yeah. There you go. The moment you yeah. so did you stab her with a wine glass? Uh, well, well, you know, uh, yeah. this is all going to come out in I, court. Yeah, better, Can you define you know. stab? Uh, I'd rather have this come out in court in sealed documents where no one will ever hear yeah. the truth than me saying no here in the public yeah. forum where it's going to make every news story. Yeah, where it's the only place <laughs> it actually matters. Yeah, that only matters in the public eye. He didn't deny the claim or no, anything? No, no. No denial of anything. Maybe he figures by not even commenting on it, it's so absurd, you know. Uh, sometimes that works, but not yeah, in this case. No. Yeah. In this case, he should just... Well, uh, wouldn't she get a pile of money without accusing him of anything just by being married to him? Well, I mean, this, maybe there's some truth. He already offered a, more money. A pretty nice payday. Now you get more money. How much, See? How much could he lose, really, if it's all true? Like, how much could he really lose? Like, $10 million out more of that. Oh, yeah. way million? More than that. Way more than that. Way more. Probably it's hundreds. still split in millions. At least a hundred million. Yeah, At least a hundred million. It would be man. great if he just went, oh. that's right, I, I did. She's a cunt. Did it all. <laughs> what do you want from me? Spend five minutes with her, you'd stab her with her. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten your hand, mate? <laughs> mate. God. <laughs> Sorry yeah. for saying that word. Uh, Gosh, sorry, there's a guy around the corner there that has a button. Take care of that. And, uh, yeah, don't worry hope, about it. Hopefully. Right. Although, uh, when we got fired last time, <laughs> yeah. the same guy that's on the button now was yeah. on the button. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, the guy that was supposed to save us that yeah. day. Yes, oh. CBS. It's like hiring John Carr to babysit your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Put her in a little cowboy hat and some six guns. <laughs> <laughs> they say he's grown up, though, so yeah. hopefully he yeah. has. Everything's fine. Hopefully he has. Management now. This is the story we couldn't do over at Free FM. Yeah, a little bit of a problem. Which is fine. Doing it over there. So we come over here. We're over here now. That's what we do now. Yeah. This is uh, probably the story of the day. Although, I got another story in front of me here. Naked drunk driver kills man on Staten Island. Naked drunk driver. Hmm. Woman. A woman was naked? Yeah, you want to start with this? Uh, yeah, let's start with that. And segue into the love story at the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because this is pretty interesting, too. She was naked, but she was uh, smart enough to be wearing her seatbelt. Yeah. All right. That's well, all that's she good. was wearing. She could have hurt herself. On Staten Island now, and a man is killed while trying to cross the street overnight. And police say that the woman who hit him was driving naked and drunk. I went to see reporter Lisa Calagrossi. She's live now in West Brighton with details for us. All right, how do you Oddest get... drunk driving story ever. <laughs> She's giving naked drunk chicks a bad name. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Not all of them are naked and drunk. <laughs> and killing people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a naked drunk woman. What if she was driving fine and this somebody. idiot just ran in front of her yeah. car? Yeah. You know, she might have been good at driving drunk and naked. She had to flee for what reason? That's what you got to think. Yeah. She was leaving. like, Or she just all drunk. I'm fucking leaving. One of those. <laughs> What'd you like, got in a fight with her fucking boyfriend or husband, and they're laying in bed, they're yeah. naked, some fucking fight starts over crumb up her ass or something, and then she just, yeah, I go, fuck it, I'm fucking leaving, and just walks out the well, door of the car. Wouldn't you leave, take your clothes right. in a pile, maybe? And no, the, the passenger drunk. seat at the... Yep. That drunk. Or somebody fucked her that well. 
that she ran out of the room screaming into a car <laughs> and ran people. a dude over. She had to tell people how great they yeah. someone fucked her. Says, I got to go to a mall and tell everyone how great he fucked oh, her. She hits the gas and the, the jizz just rolls back with those french fries collect behind the seat. <laughs> yeah. Right, with details for us, Lisa. Good morning, Lori. And the man was actually crossing the street to meet his brothers at a bar when he was hit and killed by a speeding car. Now, police say a naked, drunk woman was behind the wheel. That's the car she was driving. It wound up being flipped over. She also hit that car, a red car, with a man and a woman inside. Fortunately, they were treated and released with minor injuries. The driver, they were 24-year-old Talia Taylor, is now being charged with DWI and vehicular manslaughter. The victim has been identified as 41-year-old Big Larry Simon. Big Larry. Big Larry. Big, so long, Big Larry. Big uh, dead Larry Simon. <laughs> oh, damn, poor Big Larry. <laughs> What a way to go. Uh, what a way to go, right? Because you know at the funeral it's going to be all yeah. somber and shit, but everyone's going to go, <laughs> you got hit by a drunk naked bitch. What are the fucking odds? What are the odds? Weird. It takes away from your life, though, because they're not going to be yeah. talking about you at the funeral. No. No, it ruins your no. funeral. Right. It's not, you know, the, the fucking eulogy. Yeah. Uh, Big Larry was a man you could always go to. Holy shit, fucking naked <laughs> drunk run. <laughs> Whenever you had a problem, Big Larry was there. <laughs> Helping out and fucking naked broad ran him over. She was drunk. It's just a horrible night. I mean, I go to the social club and I just see a guy laying kilts in the street. And then I go in to the bar and I'm there with his this brother. Changes the whole story. William Wallace the dead in Staten Island. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> he was killed in the street. Was he? <laughs> then I go in the bar and I'm there with his brothers and they didn't even know that it was their brother laying in the street. Taylor is being treated here at St. Vincent's Hospital for only minor injuries. She may not have been wearing any clothes, but she was wearing a seatbelt. Police say she was incoherent when she was brought to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. His brothers were waiting for him in the bar. Where the fuck is he? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking faggot. Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> oh, he's dead. I want, oh, well. tell, I want to tell him this story about some drunk naked chick they just arrested. <laughs> fuck is he? <laughs> Jesus. Twists and turns. Fucking life takes, man. No kidding. <laughs> All right, story of the day. Sorry for that interruption there. This is great. Listen in. We're going to begin with that attack on Long Island, and it is, frankly, beyond shocking. A developmentally disabled man, a bowling alley worker, viciously attacked by two teenagers, sexually abused with a plumber's snake. The two teenagers are now charged. Who would do this? And why? It Who happened wouldn't? at a bowling alley in Shirley. Who and why not? That's why reporter Jim Dolan is for us tonight. Jim? Like the two -part Bill, question. first, a bit of a warning. There just is no way to tell this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. He's got to warn him. He's dope. Yeah. Bit of a warning. By the way, I'm fucking we're, uh, speechless here. <laughs> what do you mean when he said, bit of a warning, there's no way to tell this without laughter? <laughs> <laughs> Make him believe they're getting something done. You can't yeah. Believe. Here you go. Oh, a bit of a great. warning horrible, depraved story without being more graphic than any of us would like to be. Keep in mind that the victim in this case is a 21-year-old developmentally disabled man described here at the bowling alley by people as friendly and innocent. He is a maintenance worker who people here say would never hurt anyone. But on Sunday night, according to police, he was followed into the men's room by two men, one of whom held him down and the other one sexually assaulted him with a plumber's tool. <laughs> I don't want any story about me, no part of any story about me to be described by people at the bowling alley as. <laughs> there, there is a great line here in the post. Plumber snake. Where it says, uh, they're talking about the fallen maintenance employee of AMF Shirley Lanes into the bathroom. <laughs> He was a Shirley Lane employee. Shirley Lane. <laughs> Shirley, your asshole can't be sore. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, as one teen held the victim down, the other forced the plumbing snake inside him and spun it several times. Wow. The man suffered severe pain, bleeding, and internal injuries. Wow. You see those things? And a little no. bit, of, he's a little ashamed, too, probably. A little, he's a little <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> I think he's a little I embarrassed. I don't care how developmentally challenged <laughs> you are. <laughs> that part of you is not... I may be retarded, but uh, yeah. it's just kind of a drag. Wow. 
<laughs> I you really ever, don't think this is right. No. You ever think what these guys do right after a crazy act like that, before the cops uh, discover what like, happened? Like, ha, ha, and yeah. then throw the snake down. And then what? What's the... Ah, ah, what do we? Uh, uh, shit! Do did think? we just do that? Yeah, did we just <laughs> do that? Yeah. Did I just hold oh, him down while you shove dude. that plumber snake up his ass? Dude, why do we do this? <laughs> did we, dude? But how did they come to it? Like, did one guy? I, well, like, that's what I wanted because you look at the picture that like these kids. I get that you're, you know, you're a teenager, you're bored. Yeah. But how did he, you know? Hey, my dad's got a plumber snake. Why don't you know we, that retarded guy at the bowling alley? <laughs> why don't we get him in the bathroom, you hold him, and I'll snake it up his ass, and then, you know, ten, it. we'll do ten frames. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Got any quarters? I want to play Miss Pax. <laughs> hey, uh, Jim in Jersey. Jim! Yo, I got a pack from Moonaki line. Okay. I guess they gave him the old 710 split. <laughs> Yeah, that is a pat from an yeah, line. Yeah, Devoid yeah, of humor. Yeah. Uh, there you go. There's more to the story here. Of course there is. Get oh, the report goes to the address of one of the suspects. Oh, that's good. At the address police sources give for one of those charged, nobody seemed to know Stephen Rodriguez. You know Mr. Rodriguez? No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, that takes balls. Going to the house? Yeah. Or a fucking Sounds bad like the reporter job. might have a fetish. <laughs> That'd be great. They'd grab the reporter, hold him down, and snake his ass. I'll give you an exclusive. <laughs> My ass was snaked as I tried to find Mr. Rodriguez. It seems there's more to meet the eye. <laughs> yeah, the story no. didn't end here. No. It ended in my anus. <laughs> and it yes. goes on still. I'm Ernie and Ash just reporting from my bed at Columbia Presbyterian. <laughs> on my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm not a retard working at the bowling alley. <laughs> Otherwise, wow. in every other way. Chris from Oklahoma City, they pull out the snake and there's just pennies and gum stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> pennies and gum? Jesus. Uh, we're supposed to be sad here, guys. Oh, um, yes. 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 Come on. yes. That's, 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 maybe that's it. They were convinced there was something in his ass. <laughs> valuable or that they lost oh uh, yeah and they're just trying to, to, uh, try help, to fish it out help a guy out i gotta hear this guy again nah at the address police sources give for one of those charged nobody seemed to know stephen rodriguez you know mr rodriguez no not at all no police gave this address is where he lives oh i don't know what you're talking about i don't live here I'm just living in my system. Yeah. <laughs> what a shitty reporter. What a great family. He is. No one seemed to know. I asked one man oh. who had no reason to know. Who are you? I'm just a plumber. I lost a tool here. <laughs> I'm my snake. <laughs> Somebody stole my snake. I left it here. <laughs> Grass is where he lives. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't live here. I'm just visiting my sister. Uh -huh. Did Bob your sister police? know Mr. Rodriguez? I have no idea. Does Mr. Rodriguez live here? I just got here from Florida. I couldn't help you, dude. And it's little wonder nobody admits knowing him. He is now charged in one of the most <laughs> horrific... Not, in, not admitting it. He's from Florida, you fucking adult. Not admitting it. The guy instantly just accused him of lying. <laughs> this and this lying sack of <laughs> shit... Yes. Do you still have to use no the news? No wonder. Do you still have to use the news voice in a yeah. story like this? I know. <laughs> no one seems to know. It's no wonder no one's <laughs> saying he lives here. <laughs> Listen to the, the reporter's voice. Mr. Rodriguez live here? I just got here from Florida. I couldn't help you, dude. And it's little wonder nobody Good admits morning. knowing him. Admit. He is now charged in one of the most horrific, one of the most heartless crimes in memory. I don't think I don't know about heartless. Yeah, I think yeah. that took a lot of heart. One hold them down, one guys, and then they switch off. Team effort. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Did he switch oh. off your turn? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Man. Does, I'm sick of holding him. How does that play out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I thought retards were strong. <laughs> what a fucking docile nothing this guy was. Twenty one. <laughs> 21 years old, too. Yeah. Of age, well, at least. Yeah, at least it wasn't. Yeah, at least it wasn't. Uh, now they can c claim it was consensual. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't uh, know. He said, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, I love you. Hey, oh. Anthony, don't we have audio of the attack? <laughs> oh, I think we might. We have an exclusive on our show. Actually, you know, it wasn't it wasn't that bad for him. Right. It sounds like a horrific thing to happen to somebody, but he actually worked there. Uh, he used to set the pins with his asshole. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> it really didn't hurt him that much as I looked for the proper sound. <laughs> I'll never fucking. Think I think there was some 
microphones in the bathroom. What a lucky break. Uh, uh. <laughs> what a lucky uh. break. Uh. Actually, actually, I was thinking of other audio. <laughs> No, I was thinking of audio before the act was committed. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see what's cooking in your room. Oh, 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 her! <laughs> Shit! You mean it might have been that they wanted to check um, and see if he had some <clears throat> blockage of some sort? Actually, he just, he, it wasn't even uh, the whole act, it was just the day. He didn't want to do it on that day. It's out um, <laughs> Friday <laughs> wide. Oh, Friday wide. Announcing when he's going to shit, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, Alright, oh, what do you got cooking in your oven over here? <laughs> Can't really That's a hear fake our laugh if I ever heard one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well we got more God, details. Steve, to the story. Steve couldn't be happy about this. And oh, the most heinous act ever. Heartless. Heartless. A mentally challenged man with a snake up his ass. <laughs> 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 All right, more to the story here. Of course. A maintenance worker at the Shirley Lanes bowling alley, a 21-year-old developmentally disabled man, was followed into the bathroom here and savagely sexually assaulted with a mechanical plumbing device. This guy's getting into it. <laughs> Anyone else here? Savagely <laughs> sexually assaulted. <laughs> oh, with calm. a mechanical plumbing device. <laughs> oh, fuck. Lucky fella. Plumbers <laughs> gone wild. <laughs> A plumbing device. <laughs> plumbing the assault device. caused severe internal injuries, and the victim was found bleeding on the floor. Charged in the attack were 19-year-old Stephen Rodriguez and 17-year-old Michael Lunsford, both from Shirley, and both men now charged with aggravated sexual assault in the first degree. <laughs> no one with the bowling alley would talk with us on camera, but everyone here knows the victim. And everyone here now knows what happened to him. There are obvious and unpleasant echoes in this case, in the Abner Louima case, in which a police officer sexually oh, assaulted a man with a stick. But this victim was developmentally disabled. He was just 21 years old. And also the plumbing... Uh... They, they don't even make the connection. It no. It wasn't a stick, it was a plunger. It's a stick, it was a fucking yeah. snake. Yeah. So it's like something about plumbing equipment makes people go, I, yeah. I gotta put something in. I gotta put this in somebody's ass. Something now. Like, the toilet's clogged. <laughs> Fuck. I uh, need to grab something and shove it up some guy's ass. <laughs> Tim from Connecticut on the instant feedback. There's snakes in his motherfucking ass. <laughs> snakes. In the fucking... Oh, he had the, how filthy those things the, are. He had the mind of oh, a three-year-old yeah. and the asshole of a 38-year-old <laughs> porn star. <laughs> those things are filthy, too. You ever, you ever seen a plumber's uh, yeah. plumber snake thing? Cause they, they, don't, wipe, they don't sit there and clean them off. No, they, they wipe them down with shit. a rag for a minute. Yeah. It's not like they boil them afterwards. It's disgusting. It's not oh. meant for the anus. And then to spin it a few times, those things have, like, blades on them. Yeah. If blades. Well, if that, you're gonna stick it in, you gotta spin it. You gotta I mean, spin it. Whole point? Yeah, you gotta Sticking go it in without spinning it no. is just stupid. Yeah, it's a waste of time. What does it look like? You Dude, know we're here. Long? Let's spin the fucking thing. Yeah, it's it comes on a big reel. Yeah, I don't know what that and, looks like. And it, it feeds out. It's almost it's like, like metal a coil conduit, spring. like yeah. a coil. Yeah. And then inside that coil is a, a, a cable. Yeah. And on the end of it is some kind of a blade that spins, so you could crank away on this yeah. thing. It's meant to cut through, you know, century old. Shit yeah, that's waste built up in pipes. In your pipe, and, and what you do is or a retarded man's down. asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you feed it down the toilet as you crank the handle, or the retarded or, guy's or, asshole, or the retarded guy's <laughs> asshole, and uh, it dual cleans purpose. it out. Yeah, dual purpose. There you go, Jimmy. There, there it is, Jimmy. Look at this thing. I'm wow. thinking these guys, by the way, didn't do well on their SATs. <laughs> nah, I like to... oh my god. What now? What? Why was the snake in the bathroom? Well, maybe he had to go. Maybe. <laughs> it's one of those things like don't they don't usually just have him laying around. Well, he was probably going in there to fix a toilet, 
there was a toilet full of diarrhea and shit and tampons that he mm. was fixing. Oh, so you think he? So they went in there and they, the they improvised. Guy. They found, yeah. They said, "Hey, let's use what he's using." Oh. Well, they just saw the retarded man walking to the bathroom with the snake, and the one guy went, "Are you thinking what I'm thinking?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! And the one guy said, "Yeah." Oh. And then he goes, and as he's holding the guy down, putting it in his ass, the other guy's like, I just thought he wanted to turn the lights off and run. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to rape another man who was not mentally disabled. <laughs> uh, Johnny and <laughs> Spion. <laughs> Johnny. Hey, how you doing, Jay? Hey, hey, Johnny. Have you ever been to this bowling alley? It's in Shirley. I mean, you talk about animals, and I'm not just the Spanish guy either. Just the white trash that's out there is terrible. Yeah, Shirley is not really a nice place out of Long Island. Really oh isn't. my God! It's like where is that? Brentwood. Out yeah, exit sixty four. You know. Exit sixty four of the expressway. Around Waiting River, right? <laughs> yeah. It's somewhere. Yeah. There. Any oh, it's like the last bastion of like uh, condos and things, and then you pass that and you're out. You know, you're out on the island. Ish. Wine country. Right. There's wine well, country. Shirley, the retarded Shirley guy and whining in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, you got it. Just a horrific story today. Oh. All right. Well, and to think God his bless. life was going so great, too. <laughs> yeah. Retarded exactly. guy working in a bowling alley. Surely. Surely. <laughs> Shirley. God, what a far it tumbled that was for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only guy who ever had a snake in his asshole, and it actually took him up on the social ladder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was on the radio. I heard I was on Opie Anthony, too. It was kind of cool. <laughs> I got a retarded guy with a snake up his ass in Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than you. <laughs> All right, we're going to break. Now getting your nails done could wind up doing a lot of damage. How bad will the hurricanes be? A popular medicine for children now linked to seven deaths. A common medicine could be turning people into compulsive gamblers. And is there a hidden danger in your bag of microwave popcorn? Oh, stop it. Are your local reporters trying to scare you to death? The Opie and Anthony Show wants to hear scary news teases from your town. Send your audio to Danny at FoundryMusic.com. That's Danny at FoundryMusic.com. We're talking about stingrays today. Are we? Yeah, I think we are now. Because we hadn't up until now. And that almost sounded like we'd been talking about them all day. I want them to think they uh, missed something. Oh, okay. See, I tore Smart, down the right? eighth wall. Another stingray story. <laughs> yeah, these things are getting a little uppity. Mm -hmm. The uh, the stingrays. It's all about the stingrays now. Wait, so, so a stingray jumped in a guy's boat and he apparently stabbed him in the heart. Stabbed him in the heart. Scary as that. Yeah, this, here's... Is, this is war now. Yeah, <laughs> like we're at war with the stingray population. And we're losing. Now yeah. they're, they're coming up where we breathe. Exactly. That's bad. Exactly. An 81 year old man survives a stingray hey, attack similar to the one that killed crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. Stingray jumped into his boat off the coast of Florida, then stung him in the chest. The leaping ray left a foot-long barb in the man's chest. He underwent surgery to have to have it removed. He's expected to make a full recovery. Wildlife experts say this was a very unusual attack, and they say stingrays are normally peaceful animals. All right, keep, keep saying that. that. Yeah. Yeah, keep, keep saying, saying it. You should see what two stingrays did in a bathroom in Shirley, New York. <laughs> <laughs> in the boat. <laughs> Jump up, right into the, the boat. boat. Take that, oh. cocksucker. <laughs> Jump out again. How does the 80-year-old wow. guy get stabbed in the chest, and he, he lives, lives, and this <laughs> stupid Aussie is, like, in shape, or... You know, running around the outback. Fucking dies. Literally. Yeah, he, he dies from the same thing. Uh, NFL stadium terror threat, yes. What? This is... Maybe you were right. Maybe you did see sharpshooters. Huh? So you saw sharpshooters in the video. No one wanted to listen to me the other day. I told you. you go? He said he saw sharpshooters on the roof of Giant Stadium, and some guy called him. Oh, and really? There is no roof on Giant Stadium. And then we got to explain that there is a the little perimeter. And... Yeah. Yeah, uh, you gotta explain the dumbest things to oh people God. to the dumbest dummies. I love that he called. I'm gonna call because yeah. that's a slight error in vernacular. Oh, we get it every day. There ain't Jesus. a roof every day. Terrorists threatening to target seven NFL games this Sunday. Homeland Security officials aren't putting much stock behind the online threat, but they're still <laughs> warning stadiums the from New music. Jersey to Seattle to be on alert 
Fox 5's Catherine Craig is in East Rutherford right now with more. So what is this threat, Catherine? Well, Lucy, basically it's an internet posting warning that those seven stadiums that you just saw from here at the Meadowlands to Seattle, and that Cincinnati, down to Houston, basically that they will be hit <laughs> with dirty bombs. If you have tickets, though, for games bombs. at any of those stadiums, local dirty and bombs. national elected leaders are saying that you should go and you should feel safe. Right now, Homeland Security <laughs> says you can't feel expect safe. Extra Thanks. So why are you talking about and yeah. increased patrols at Giant Stadium and the six safer. other NFL shut up. stadiums uh, around the country. Go. Yeah. You should go. Exactly. I be I, saying that. I felt safe until I turned Stop the TV it. on this morning. It's one dirty bomb, and it's on the end of a plumber snake. <laughs> <laughs> The department says it issued the warning just to be cautious, but Homeland Security is what skeptical the is about the, the validity of the threat. The Internet posting oh, was the discovered a week ago. Local Congressman Peter King, who also runs the Homeland Security Committee, says if you're going to the Meadowlands this weekend for the Jets game, you should feel safe. If I had tickets for the game on Sunday, I'd go to the game. Uh, I mean, I'm very confident oh, nothing's going to happen. But on the other idiot. hand, in the I world in which we live today, That's every right. threat has to be but, looked at, and we I have don't. to be cautious. We have to be prudent. You want tickets? No, I'd go to the game. <laughs> and yeah. the people who run Giant Stadium, where we are, tell us this is a well-protected fortress. They already have advanced security screening systems in place. How do you be cautious and go at the same they time? They scared go. you. Yeah. But yet told you, everything's fine. You should totally go. Then why talk about it? There's that? threats out there. Eh, they're not credible. Um, go to the game. Go to the game. <laughs> Have fun. Homeland Security guy said if he had tickets, he'd go. Yeah. When well, was the last time they detonated a bomb in this country? Like, never? I mean, it was what? Yeah, not right. legitimately. Yeah. It was really? one of our own. Bomber, yeah. But now you have that in the back of your head. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks to the news. Yeah. Dirty bomb. Actually, oh, you brought you this up uh, during the break, God, but they were listening yeah. to us on Pal Talk, so now we, uh, maybe we should do this. You said Norm McDonald and the Stingrays really yeah, funny, funny on the joke on the Nor you know on what the uh, Daily, Daily Show? Show? Nope, yeah, the Daily Show. This was sent in by Brian from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I wanted to talk about the crocodile hunter. Did you? Because I think yeah, they're, yeah you're yeah, gonna yeah, make yeah, them yeah. sad. Because I think you know right it, was, it was tragic yes. at the time, yeah, yeah. but I think <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. People calling me, man, they're shocked. Oh, hey, you wouldn't believe it. Who got killed? The crocodile hunter. <laughs> don't, please don't make me laugh at this. this is not, they were like, he was 44 years old. I'm like, that's a ripe old age for a crocodile hunter. <laughs> that's not, uh... Now, you know who had to be pissed about a word of crocodile, because uh, he got killed by some fruity fish. <laughs> So you know, you know the crocodiles were like, "Hey man, that crocodile hunter got killed. Who did it, Frank?" Nah, nah you don't even want to know, man. <laughs> no, Bill, man, you had a chance. Like the guy go, man, I had a chance. I had that mother. He was, he was Tommy with a stick. I could have eat him and his kid. Feel good about this. You remember I ever tell you that story, Bill? Yeah, only a thousand times. That's, that's for the kids. All right, Norm McDonald. We're putting that is goddamn oh, funny. Damn that's it. Hilarious. Very wow. funny. All right, uh, this is this could be terrific. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Grandma buys grandson scary children's songs. This uh, story starts out pretty normal, but they're not supposed to be scary. But wait for the punchline because it's it's well worth it. We got a call from an irate grandmother who was so upset over an innocent gift she bought her grandson, she never thought it would affect him so badly. You may even own one yourself and not realize what it is. What? Old grandma? <laughs> Debbie Jurgensen is a wonderful grandmother, but she's feeling awfully guilty these days because of a gift she gave her grandson. To think that I gave this to him thinking it was going to soothe him to sleep and then to find out that he went through four days of pure horror happy ending and was hysterical <laughs> crying every time he went in his happy little room and it was my doing believe it or not the gift debbie bought was this stack of children's cds called 101 toddler tunes we started playing the cds and putting them on at night for the little guy and he wasn't sleeping too well and then my husband thought it might be the music and i thought he was crazy 
until one afternoon I put it on to play with him in his room, and there was a Ladybug song. This is just one of the songs little Michael had been forced to listen to while oh, he tried to fall asleep. <laughs> Got to fall asleep just by himself yeah, with the little stars on the ceiling. And, and you know he's like scared of certain things in his room, little shadows. Maybe mm -hmm. the chair looks like a monster when the lights are out. She, I thought he was crazy. Your father's getting no credibility. It's like yeah. there's, we just started playing some music. Maybe it's the music. What are you, crazy? What are you, crazy? <laughs> are you crazy? You stupid idiot. Go Everything home and earn has been in that room. Go to work and earn money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, well, something new was introduced. Yeah, the, go put a music. roof over our heads, you useless piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you picked that right up, too, man. You, oh, yeah, that's what my radar is just, yeah, shut up, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mothers know everything except for nothing. Shut let's, up. Yeah, let's look at it logically. What have we introduced yeah. to this child uh, since he has had a problem sleeping? Yeah. The music. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Oh, it's not the music that I haven't listened to yet. <laughs> 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 that I let him a stack of CDs. I haven't even listened to one of them because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the song. All right. While he tried to fall asleep. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children will burn. <laughs> Will burn. <laughs> they will burn. Why go home then? Yeah, there's no, yeah. There's no hope it. in this song. Just go no. get a drink. <laughs> Give the kid a little hope. Just take that money you're going to save from the following Christmas and buy yourself <laughs> something nice. <laughs> will burn. I can't believe this is what they say. Over and over again, too. How great is that? Children will burn. <laughs> I love that, that they're trying to tell the ladybug to get home to save it, but they are singing it so sweetly. Yeah, it's such a nice. You know. We'll burn. <laughs> da da da. Your baby's being raped. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You better hurry home. <laughs> who, who knew this was going on, man? The kids are all going to look like raisins with wigs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nothing worse than a burn victim wig. Because it's always this perfect, and it never fits the head properly. It's slightly askew. It always looks like a hat. Because there's that space between the wig and the awful head. It just There's no way to fix it. There's <laughs> nothing to integrate space. it with. That's yeah. right. Yeah, there's no hairline. There's yeah, no it's hairline it's at all. It's just like yeah. a stormtrooper hat. Let's go to Rudy in Westchester. Rudy! Hey, what's up, guys? How hey. are you? Hey. Um, I, I, I was watching that story on the news, and they showed a picture of the kid. The kid was absolute oblivious. He was in, in la-la land with this stupid look on his face, and he didn't know what the hell was going on. And the grandmother was going on about happy, 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 and horror, horror, horror. And it just seems so weird that this kid even had a clue as to what was going on with these songs. And it just, like, blew my mind because I didn't, I didn't believe it at all. But it did run me into a state of paranoia and have to go, you know, listen to my kids' toddlers' songs as well now. Yeah, nobody pays attention to what their kids are watching or listening or doing to. or playing know. on the yeah. computer or anything. Awesome. No. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I was in a bookstore, kids' bookstore, buying some books for my daughter, and there was uh, this older woman came in and said uh, to everybody, it's just, it's a cheerful kids' bookstore in Hollywood. And then this lady comes in and asks the sales lady, I need a book for a four-year-old boy whose father died. Uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, they have, a, they have that section. They have a section for oh, your dad just died, you wow. idiot. I got mommy's Ooh. roommate. How about that? <laughs> 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 <Mommy>. <laughs> lesbian moves in. You're moving into a small apartment with the parade mom. of uncles. <laughs> Loser. Yeah. How about daddy had his brake lines cut yeah. and mommy has a new check? <laughs> How about read the insurance policy? <laughs> yeah. We got to go into these bookstores now and get some of these titles. Mm. All right, there's more to the story. The children will burn. That's nice. I was really disturbed because my father is a retired fireman uh, who recently actually just lost a close friend. So she's right, starting to grasp the concept yeah, of, Jesus. you know, death. Is he a ladybug I idiot? My father's <laughs> friend was recently uh, swatted by a giant hand. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares so if Lady she's Bugs starting died? to grasp the concept of, you know, death. I mm. felt horrified I... because these babies are very precious to me. And there were more tunes, like the little brown jug. Uh oh, oh jug. I mean, this is a toddler song. It's about I mean, This is a toddler song. Come on. And this one. Casey at bat. 
Kill him! Kill the umpire! Shall I mean, kill him? Kill the umpire? I mean, that's not you made what you a bad say call. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, obviously, you never had any money on it. Listen, <laughs> listen to the CDs first, you idiot. Yeah. And what, what's wrong with that, the children? It's not like, it's not like you're saying molest the, the umpire. No. Or yeah. offer the umpire money to get in your van. <laughs> kill him. Kill him. Kids. No, it would have been funny during the whole interview with Ladybug lands in her hand and... Or an umpire walks in and she just yells at him. <laughs> kill him. <laughs> kill him. Maybe this kid's not sleeping well because his family sucks. His whole yeah. family's a bunch of adults. And he's up night going, how am I going to be raised by these jackals? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have any I'm kind of a doomed. life. They're blaming the music and they're like, we, we didn't know if it was the music because I would drink a lot and my husband would hit me and we would scream and yell and we'd wake up but we didn't know it was the song. <laughs> hey, the kid should be happy as his own CD player at that age. Yeah, yeah no True. kidding. Jesus. Now, one of the things you should know is that these nursery rhymes aren't exactly new. Some of them are classics, and they've been around for more than a hundred years. In most cases, they were a history lesson, like when the ladybugs infested the fields of England. Hence the song, Ladybug, Ladybug, Fly Away Home. So the big question now is, are the words in these rhymes appropriate for today's generation of kids and parents? Ew. Oh, God. Ew. That's the big question. We gotta yeah. attack everything. The big question is why does America stink? Yeah, that would be the bigger question. <laughs> I'm just so tired of stuff like that. No kidding. Nicole how, in New York. How about London Bridge is falling down, but yeah. at least they're not jumping off it like they are the Golden Gate. Huh? That's the updated version for today's kids. Run with that. Guy yeah, production's death. Go. I'll do it. My daughter, my, you know, kids are supposed to not, my, my daughter and I were eating lamb chops one day. And she said, she's three years old at the time. And she said, uh, what are, what are, what are, where are we eating? And I said, lamb chops. And she'd been to a farm recently and oh, petted boy. a lamb. So she said, is, are there la little lambs inside of this? And I said no. Like I, she, I'd never made the connection with her that she eats animals. What a yeah. stupid question. Yeah, I know. Yeah, little lambs, lambs and some of course there aren't. Yeah, you I go, dope. <laughs> so I go no, and she says, "Well, are yes. these pieces of a lamb?" Ah, now she's catching on. And I on. go, uh, "Yeah, they are." <laughs> yeah, just told her yes. So we're eating a lamb like the one I petted, and I said, "Yeah." And she says, I like lamb chops. Oh. She's like Hannibal Lecter. No, she doesn't like eating that. There you go. She likes eating animals. She's full aware that she, you know. Top of the food chain. She loves ducks and she loves eating ducks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Did the yes. lamb make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? <laughs> no. He was, he was a lamb. good lamb. Hey, let's go to Nicole. She's got something pretty good. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> yeah, I took my three year old brother to the library, and the librarian pointed me over to this uh, section. I guess she thought I was like some unwed teenage mother. So there's like, why you had sex when you were 10. And there's a book about Uncle Willie's pickles and how to deal with molestation and why is daddy in a casket. All right, wait a minute. And they have, wait, hold, on, is, hold on, hold on. I have an assignment. Yes. I have to read Uncle Willie's pickles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, could someone go out and get Uncle Willie's uh, pickles and get it over to XM for the second half of the show today? Why is daddy in a casket sounds awesome. Okay, maybe daddy, yeah. is daddy in maybe a daddy's casket. a bad driver. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe daddy... Oh, go ahead, Nicole. Oh, Nicole, I this is going to be much uh, more exciting here. Go yeah, ahead, Nicole. Go ahead, Nicole. Go. Nicole. This whole section is like in the middle of the children's playroom, like pictures of really <laughs> tickling kids, like awful, awful books. You know, I want you to have a sandwich just full of Uncle Willie's pickles. What <laughs> the thing that bothers me is that people want to want to protect their kids from reality, but then they want to sell them stuff. Like that's yeah. what's acceptable yeah. is like Fox Kids, where they're selling them toys and 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 cereal. With loud noise and MSG and sugar, like nobody cares about that. Yeah. That's fine, but don't mention to them that things do die and that it's okay that things die, especially if it's your stupid father. Well, the daddy in the casket thing does seem a little morbid. Like, how could that possibly play out? Well, maybe, yeah. maybe this, uh, Why is daddy in the casket? Well, uh, uh, he's gonna be in it till uh, bugs eat his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Daddy borrowed money from a man, and daddy couldn't pay him back. <laughs> daddy, <laughs> that's a lesson. Or maybe uh, maybe Daddy mingled with someone yeah. of a race that he shouldn't have. Here, here. <laughs> For the Brady kids, why is Daddy in such a little casket? <laughs> <laughs> why is Daddy face down in a casket with a permanent arch in his hips? 
<laughs> well, you know, that man, he played on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, is daddy in a closed casket? <laughs> well, because his face is pulp. <laughs> God. Because <laughs> we couldn't reconstruct his... <laughs> <laughs> no. Lady no. Lady. I wouldn't play that. No. Do you think there's room in our society for these old time classics? No, I don't society. think so. The kids today are smart and they can pick up on things like that. Well, you know what? A hundred years, one complaint. That's not too bad. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right? That's, That's a true. good track record. That's true. Good point, Rich. Good point. And Helium we... Comedy Club all weekend for Rich yeah. Voss. And it could tie in, actually. We'll have to just change the update. How about immigrants? Immigrants fly away home. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Give me those ribs, you. Well, let's see what a child psychologist has to say about oh, this good. issue. Oh, good. There's nothing inherently wrong unless you want to do away with Snow White, Hansel and Gretel. But child psychologist Dr. Victoria Beach does doesn't understand what all the fuss is about. After all, she says, children have been listening to these nursery rhymes for more than a hundred years. Mm -hmm. Casey at the Bat was in 1888 and it was published in the newspaper. Very famous poem. Um, way over the head of toddlers. Kill him! Kill the umpire! Quite frankly, if you don't want your children to hear kill the umpire, you should never let them watch a baseball game. And her advice to parents is simple. Children will repeat what they hear. So if you don't want them repeating it, don't play it. So for mom and dad, you heard the doc. The bottom line is pretty clear. Just use your discretion when it comes to your kids yeah. if you don't like what you hear. Yeah, just let them listen to soulless yeah. Barney and Elmo. Yeah, that'll do it. Teach them nothing about anything and... Or, or don't milk chase, toast. Don't chase them across the street and crown heights with them. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is wrong with him? <laughs> uh, hey, we gonna find that book for Jimmy? Oh my God, Uncle Willie's pickles! It's all yeah, I where's want. that? I'm obsessed with them. We gotta find that. Uncle How Willie's many pickles, pickles. Does he have? I know exactly. He's got a bunch of pickles. Well, we guess Uncle Willie had a lot of friends who also have pickles. We're gonna do the walkover in a couple minutes here. So uh, if you got that book. Come find us. We'll let you check out the second half of the show. Let's throw rocks through the money lenders' windows. <laughs> Let's, it's based on history. Come on. <laughs> Let's take their teeth. <laughs> oh, send them to the camps. Send them to the... Well, it's history. Send them to the camps and their luggage will follow. Luggage will follow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Use the hair for soap. <laughs> yeah, just because it's based on history... One yeah, person's like, well, these fine. are based on historical. Oh, okay. We'll drop, That's good. We'll drop leaflets, then bomb them. <laughs> yeah. Burn those shadows on the bridges. Burn the shadow. Slaves are very useful. <laughs> <laughs> they lift heavy things. You get to own their children. <laughs> and you can examine their teeth first. <laughs> All right, we got a, a news reporter that fucked up pretty good. Oh, Oops. No. Oh. This is uh, some terrific audio. The video's up on YouTube and break.com. Rich's headphones are not working. Turn the volume up, Rich. I did. Oh. Rich, you could do it without headphones. Sweetie. Oh, okay. But he, 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 he won't hear the report up. Calm he down. won't hear That's the audio. True. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. got to hear that. Somebody Turn get... the volume up. You plugged in. How? Yeah. how I'm sure he's got something misspelled yeah. to say about this report. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The deputy police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock. Top cock after a cop after the hit. Wow, twice. Wow. She couldn't wow. get cock. Oh. She had cock on a brain. Cock, 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 is that great? Wow. The deputy police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock. Top cock after oh. a cop after the vehicle they were riding in was sprayed with bullets. Three other officers were hurt in bullets. the attack. <laughs> and those your latest headlines. I'm Jane Skinner. Head. I'm going to send you back to Shepard, who is live where? Just outside of Memphis. No, oh. oh, they're all laughing. South Carolina Gamecocks, she's a big fan. Go South Carolina. Do you know how sorry, hard it is to, to read when everyone else in the hard. studio is shaking with laughter at your mistake? I know. I've, I've been there, Jane. You should yeah. be. Just you should be. Do it time. now. Okay. I love that. Wow. <laughs> it's Friday, Jane. No one's watching. They're out doing things. It's just me, you, and Dorellen down in Destin. That's it. <laughs> 
We'll look for you on YouTube there, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, that's good. All right, I love that a policeman died and they're all laughing. They're all laughing over cock. cock. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Great. Fuck them. Ah, who cares? YouTube. Stop, <laughs> faggot. Lay his life down for people. Fuck yeah. him. Yeah, Fuck him. Um, we got the cock line on YouTube. Yeah. It's great. Watch this chick. The deputy good. police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock. Top cock after a cop after the vehicle they were riding you can in. You hear him starting to laugh. Yeah. Is that Otto doing the thing? <laughs> top cock. A cock was shot. Do we have the uh, Shepard Smith one? We have that, and we should do Rip Con for Louis and, yeah. uh, and the Black Con. Cock one. Come on, let him rip. We got, yeah, let's Shepard Smith. This here. was the Shepard Smith we got first. Yeah. This is uh, the guy that was just talking to the girl after she fucked up saying Top Cock. This is the guy that chimed in and said, We've all been there. He's done this before. J Lo's new song, Jenny from the Block, all about Lopez roots, about how she's still a neighborhood gal at heart. But folks from that street in New York, the Bronx section, sound more likely to give her a curb job than a blow job or blo block party. Oh, the New York Post. Well, sorry about that slip up there. Yes, yeah, sorry I have no about idea that. How that happened, but it won't happen again. <laughs> and that's your news. That wasn't even close. No, it wasn't. Blow job. Uh, <laughs> fucking, like fucking so, cop. You know, fucking dick in the cunt. I, I mean, <laughs> breakfast. J Lo. Like what? J -Lo new film rape that spick wait a minute that's not, what I meant. that's not what i meant to say i meant made whatever it deputy made. police chief says six officers were killed including the district's top cock top wow. cock after a cop after the vehicle they were Jesus. you can't get cock off yeah. her, uh, one thing brain. i say about dumb shepherd smith he did acknowledge it both times you gotta yeah. give him that he's a you got douche, you have to uh, we, acknowledge it. we got this next one we haven't played in a while Easterly winds will be very strong, too, and that will cause coastal flooding, very dangerous rip, cons, rip currents, as well as very high surf. Wow. Rip cons. Do we have the, like the um, idea well, that there's weather about? that's ripped like there's going to be these cunts yeah. ripping through the sky? I was going to say, was she talking about Louis' uh, daughter? <laughs> Do you have the Tom Brokaw? The Brokaw yeah. one we have? Oh, we got that and one, too? How about too? the Martin Luther King That's one. a good one, too. Yeah, we'll play the Martin other Martin one there. Luther play Brokaw, because that's kind of close to the last one. Or play the one you got, Derek. He had one all too right. Make it easy for him. Continuing to follow the latest developments in the crash of Delta Flight 5191, 49 people killed. Here's a Black Hawk helicopter, Black Hawk helicopter <laughs> surveying uh, the scene. Oh. We know the NTSB. Black Hawk oh. helicopter. This is the latest, this is this the latest rage on YouTube. I mean, there's a whole oh, section dedicated yeah. to reporters fucking up. Plane full of dead people. Eh, Black, Black Hawk. Funny. Hawk. Funny Black Hawk. The Black Hawk helicopter. How big was that helicopter? <laughs> oh. Huge. Uh, now this hit that, Tom Brokaw. That, 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 that what no, you want? No, the, no. the bell. Oh, thank you. There we go. <laughs> Close one. I had a doozy. A little inappropriateness. Uh, this is Tom Brokaw, who has a hard enough time speaking as it is. But um, he was talking about the president's uh, tax cuts, and this was live. The key component in what the president insists is a job stimulus program. Ohio, a strong Republican state, is hurting economically. And as NBC David Gregory reports tonight, the president took his message right to a powerful Ohio Republican who is not convinced the tax cuts are the answer. See, he didn't fumble and go back. He just no. There's a little delay. The tax cuts are the answer. <laughs> and his face, you, you, when you look at the video, is kind of like, oh, uh, shit. Keep going. Keep going. You know, as a viewer, though, you're rooting for him to get to the end of the sentence. Tax sure. cuts. He's just struggling to that period. Oh. Uh, we got the Martin Luther one. Yeah, yeah this guy got fired for yeah, this. It's really, none of them got fired except this guy did because of the fuck. This is what annoyed me. And this is that. obviously a slip-up. I, I okay. think... Of course it was. Yeah, let's listen to it, and then uh, we'll tell you what he meant to say. The next couple of days, temperature is going to stay well above normal after a couple of days well below normal. Here's a look at your extended forecast for tomorrow. Sunshine, 60 degrees, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, We're going to see temperatures in the uh, low 60s and mostly sunny skies. <laughs> look at that as Martin we head Luther. toward Wednesday, uh, Thursday, uh, and Friday. It was Co King... Because he was going with Junior. It was Junior. Martin That's that Martin Luther King Luther Jr. It wasn't King Jr. Yeah, King Junior. he was, he was like rushing Martin through it. King Jr. comes out. Coon. Black Hawk Coon. helicopter isn't fired. Black and A rip, cop death. And rip this, cunt. Rip this cunt. And cunt. Top cock over a police officer. Six dead cops. And then no one let him fire. But this guy makes a politically yeah. incorrect 
obvious error and they dump them. Mm. Oh, can we do the, uh, do you have the mountain climber one? That is my favorite. I forgot all about that one. Oh, we do have it? Yeah. I don't know that one. Uh, so That's many of these. One, Louis. Okay. Right after the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. So we'll be back after that. Oh, my God. But he's gay. He's gay. <laughs> you know, there's some gossip. Oh, he's, he's, he's blind. blind. He's blind. She went to blind. lunch with the girls like, and got some nice God. gossip. <laughs> and that's all she was thinking. And right. even she, she went, he's gay. Gay. Okay. I mean, fucking blind. <laughs> Shit. No. I right. take yes. the dick up his ass. He, Wait a minute. He has brown eyes. I don't know how I made that. <laughs> He's so blind that people but, shove dicks in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he made him gay. He just can't he see them coming. But he was, he was everywhere gay. he goes, he's like, oh, oh, oh <laughs> he's gay. You know, the guy's sitting there going, and I'm, yeah, I'm. But listen to gay because she starts talking to herself like, gay. Gay. What who are you said, saying? Oh, I said that. Uh, yeah. Who said that? Yeah. Let's hear that again. It's me. Right after the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But he's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. So we'll hear about that coming up. Okay. As we head to the break, I'll look at this. <laughs> they're not even close. No. There's not one letter no that, that is shared by both words. No. no. Gay, blind, no. He's a faggot gay. cocksucker. Wait, I mean, he's a Republican. <laughs> Got a load of cum in both eyes, which blinded him. <laughs> God, we got a lot of requests. The, you got the uh, the weatherman? Which one was that? The black weatherman? I don't want to give away the... Yeah, I don't give away the punchline. The bit, if, in case people haven't heard uh -oh, it. Uh-oh, E-Rock's pointing at the screen. You know this isn't going to be the right clip. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you see the look? Yeah. I, God, I wish this was TV just to see E-Rock's disgusted look when I make fun of him. Oh, he hates it. Turns his head real quick like, it's such a fuck you. And then he's back to... Whatever he does. Yeah, exactly. Back to the incompetent bungling. <laughs> we got it? I guess. They hope so. All right, here it is. Be pushing across yeah, yeah. central Florida, Listen so places like Orlando, Daytona Beach, the Cape Canaveral area, Vero Beach will be getting in on the heavier rainfall, and eventually the ice should can... <gasps> I am so sorry, Bill. <laughs> oh, my God! What the What the hell is happening? <laughs> This is what just happened. That thing was crawling on my leg. Oh. Uh, by the way, that guy is so fucking blind. <laughs> he is the blind. Let me tell you. I've seen. That is a flaming blind a man. Uh, that guy's gay voice came out. <laughs> that fella <laughs> needs a dog and a stick with red on it. Like he was hiding his gay voice for the most part. You could kind of tell. And then that oh. it's a cockroach. The cockroach well, appears. A roach. I the, think the other kind he would have liked. And the oh, Janus came God. flying out of the closet. Oh. oh, we got another track to this, right? And then this happened. Oh, God. If that. Oh, my God. What a faggot. <laughs> right at the wall for me. Yeah, oh, back. The wall with a hole in it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh. Oh. oh, what a fruit. <laughs> Jesus, it's a bug. Yeah, I know. Okay. And he's black like he's never seen roaches. Wow. Oh. I love Stop, when you see, course. like, when there's this, this the kind of people that can't really hide, like that guy, the uh, preacher, who's just been yep. accused. Yeah. Oh, and I'm, oh, I had never Haggerty. seen the whole story. Oh. And it, they start, you know, they they discredit the uh, gay prostitute, yep. saying, "Well, he, you know, lie detector." But then they cut to the guy. I'm not gay at all, and my wife, I love my wife. <laughs> this is fine. He's so flaming. <laughs> and that guy had to really pop right out and go, "Okay, I'm a liar. How great! Uh, I do drugs and I like the cock. How yeah. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, my parish. All these fucking scumbag religious people uh, fucking just bothering gay people. The How only reason fucking, the guy uh, came out against them was because this fucking guy was up there preaching against gay marriage yep. and homosexuality Damn. is the devil's fucking work. And, the, and no, this I'm, guy is fucking him every month. Turns around and goes, you know something? Fuck you. Good for that guy. No, yeah. It's amazing. It's like the whole point, especially, this guy's not Catholic, but I'll shit on them for it anyway. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, it doesn't matter get what away. I say. I'm not a politician. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? I can have Come bad judgment. I'm just trying to be entertaining. <laughs> exactly. No, but it's like, the, if you look at the Catholic Church objectively, it's like, uh, uh, they are a, a boy fucking machine. They're like the best mm -hmm. boy fuckers in history. It's almost yeah. the whole point of the institution. 
It's like what they do that better than anything else that they have tried. They've to do. worked it into an art. It's amazing. They, they, they have move guys around when they get caught. They move them around. They have their own internal investigations, yep. so it doesn't involve anyone else. Mm -hmm. They made their own almost police force of this thing, mm -hmm. and all they do is, yeah, okay, this guy's fucking touching children here. We'll move him over here. Yeah, and like also they're a, they're a vulnerable boy catching machine. Oh yeah. You, you parents know. send them. <laughs> exactly. Parents send them. Fucking here you go. Go get your dick. Rape side. away. Moving back for a second. Burton Philly on the SF feedback. His last name is Haggard, just like his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Pastor Ted was a naughty one. Yes, Old he Pastor was. Pastor Ted was a naughty boy. Naughty boy. We got any others back there? Mike uh, Jones was giving him some yeah. muscle dick. Do we have the one with the uh, argument? The argument. I love the uh, the one that happened during Katrina. Uh, what? I think it was during Katrina, the well, weatherman for CNN, and the anchor girl. Okay, that's uh, a good one. The weatherman was taking a little too you know, long. We could oh, I remember that one. We might as well play all of them then, because we got to play the L.A. news team. That is a great one. Another good one. And oh, uh, Dirk's got one here to play. Because they're such puppets. I mean, when they fuck up, it's great. You, you, you simply get chills every time you see these poor individuals. As Jack uh, Cafferty just pointed out, uh, so tragically, so many of these people, almost all of them that we see, are so poor and they are so black. And this is going to raise lots of questions <laughs> for people who are watching this story unfold. Ah, Wolf Blitzer, man. Yeah, right on. I watched Wolf that Blitzer live. That? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched that oh, live when it happened. I'm just sitting they watching Katrina so coverage because it's all you did when that was going on. I went home, turned on the news. Yeah, better than Comedy Central. It really was just a scream. <laughs> uh, and Wolf Blitz is on. He's in front of his 20,000 TV screens. And when he said that, I, I actually looked over at my girlfriend and said, did he just say that? <laughs> like... Did, America said said the same thing. <laughs> yeah. If you'd been standing anywhere, you would have heard that. They are so poor and so, so black. black. But what was where was he going with that? I don't get like was it yeah. their tone? Or I think it was trying to go into the fact that you know they're not getting the help they need because because uh, of their race. Right. Yeah. Uh, but if it was a bunch of white people, but to say they're so poor and so black. Yeah, so, well, just that it, when, when not when, so when many Blister black sees, people. Yeah. These lots of he's just he's stunned by people's blackness. You could say that yeah. about three Jesus, people. Those you know, are black. two people. In the room, uh, they are so black. Yeah. I think he meant there are so many that are so poor and so many black people. Yeah. But he fucked it all up, just going like there's one guy that is just black as night. Yeah. <laughs> so well, black. Well, you can't blame him. It's not like he's an eminent journalist or anything. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Hasn't been job. in the business that many years. <laughs> yeah. We got another one. We got two more to play here. But the storm was 902 millibars. 902 was the lowest that you had with this storm a couple of hours ago. So it has filled in a little bit, filled in with some air, okay, not so as low of Chad, pressure. But Chad, Camille, Chad, but Chad, let me talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that well, mean? Well, if you would let me talk, <laughs> Camille, Camille was 908. And so this is actually now not as strong as Camille, but not really as strong as it's been. 908, I'm, I'm walking over here because you're, wrong. Um, I can have this chart, but it's not in front of me. 908 millibars is 26.81 inches of mercury. This storm got down to 26.61, and right now it's 26.98. Now, if you would go to your home barometer that you have, it's probably a big circle hanging on your wall that you got is from it? an uncle somewhere. If you go look at that, that is completely something. off this the screen. This guy got something from an uncle, Rarely. and it wasn't a barometer. You have to have a <laughs> barometer that would go like that low in the northern hemisphere, unless you were up Shut to up! Get under a fucking <laughs> right. just having fun. Chanel, just having fun, he says. He goes, all right, just having fun. No, it wasn't fun. You were angry. Because she, she had every right to fucking jump in because he's yes. babbling about barometric fucking pressure. That guy's an asshole. Oh, what a tool. I don't know who he is, but if you live in his town, please uh, yeah. invite him to die on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> please fucking encourage him. I don't know that man, but he's a cunt. How many more we got? Just the L.A.? All right, and then we finally got this. I don't think this made the air, Louis, um, but I guess... During a break. During a break, the the news team went at it. It's like a mm -hmm. like a, a chick and a guy there in L.A., in and LA. they just went at it just before the news started. Listen to this tape. First you segment. It's done that way all the time. It That's frequently what I was told. is. It frequently well, is. Well, then we better Do you talk about it. you hear me complaining about it? Then we better tonight talk I'm about it. Tonight I'm complaining because tonight I said, Then we better hey, talk about it because I, I think agree. you've got a problem. 
I think we've got a problem, all right? If that's what you think, then we'll talk about it after the show, and we'll talk about it with Roger Bell. Because I'm not going to sit here night after night and put up with this shit. Okay? Night after night? Night after night? Well, Where, that, what, it let's, looks to much, me like that's the way it's going to go, I'll take Anne. the ante up a little higher than that, even. Than that, even. You're not only wrong, you're way out of line. Let me tell you something. You started it, pal. You want Harold Green, you might get him. I'm fine with me. Fine with me. Who is it, really? Good old Harold Green. Okay. Okay. You want to start dealing with shit? Go ahead. (laughs) That's what you want. You just might get it. Awesome. You know, you go home and have a couple of shooters, and I don't know what the fuck happens, but when you come back, you're not the same lady. That's not true. <laughs> Some nice it is, man. When news happens, you see it happen on Channel 7, don't you? The number one station for news and information in Southern California. Now, Paul Moyer, Ann Martin, Johnny Mountain Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. This is Eyewitness News tonight. Three men dead tonight in an execution-style <laughs> murder in Los Angeles. And he just goes right into it, man. What a right? pro. What These a fucking the pro. These Accusing the his fucking lackey next to him of drinking one when she goes home. Do a few shooters. I don't know who the fuck you come back at. <laughs> in between the 6 and 11 o'clock news. Yeah, I'll tell you something, lady. They go home and do whatever. You're a different lady. You're a different lady. Oh, do a awesome. couple of fucking shooters. Uh, and she's just, I do not, in a tone of voice that means, yes, I do, yeah. every fucking night, yep. to deal with you. We got one more. The, we keep finding them. The Bill Evans and Steve uh, Borlstein mm. fight over Donald Trump's uh, yeah. wife's name. Yeah. Have you seen this? Mm. This is the new dress. Yeah, something old, something The weatherman is taunting the anchor oh. guy. Yeah, it's the the anchor uh, says her name wrong, and the weatherman starts taunting him, and he gets pissed. Like, what? The, you're the fucking weatherman. Mm-hmm. Why are you taunting me, motherfucker? <laughs> Have you seen this? Mm-hmm. This is the new dress. Yeah, something old, something new, and something that costs about a hundred grand. Here's a look at the wedding dress made for supermodel. Melania Nels, the former or the future Miss. <laughs> Let's wait, wait, go over that name again, Steve. That was, what was that? You know what? Why don't you do it, Bill? No, I'm not the anchor, Steve. Melania, right? Why don't you go over? Why no, don't you do it? I'm not the anchor. Well, you know what? Then, then I'll pipe down over <laughs> there during well, the video. Well, well, then you? what then, Steve? Go ahead, do it, Bill. <laughs> it has 300 feet of satin. If you're not the anchor, then don't interrupt me. I would just, I wanted to know Man, what If you you're said. not the anchor, then go, don't. Go, baby, go. Go. The gown was designed by John Galliano for Christian Dior. <laughs> and the bride plans another dress of your wing design after the couple's first dance. The wedding is set for Saturday. Why don't you give it a shot there, Bill? Hey, I'm just representing the audience. I'm I, just I heard, representing. I heard moon in the mouth. <laughs> my bad. I'm my just... bad. I'm sorry, Bill. I'm not looking for an apology, sir. I know, so I'm, I'm just saying, sorry. would you like to take another shot? No, I wouldn't. I, I, don't, I can't take a shot at it. That's why I do the weather. I don't read that stuff. Right. It is so cold it is outside. Cold. Mm. It's cold in here, too. <laughs> take a shot at the weather if you want. I don't, <laughs> I don't matter. I'm good with that. Hey, dude, I'm, okay. I, get, I get paid either way. Oh, you, you, it's just you, cold you, you, the weather to start the day. <laughs> And uh, it will be a day where it will be a cold day. It's, we yeah. lucked out and got that one on our own. We just happened to be rolling. We tape. were watching nope. that as it happened. No yeah, one has know. that one. That one never made no, it to YouTube or anything. No, local people get in each other's asses. Oh. They really do. Yeah. To that one. We got another one, Derek. I think we're playing this one. You guys might be on the same. All right, cool. Here's another one, Louie. See, we go back to what we're doing. Uh, and now we're back. <laughs> We were off the highway for a while, but mm-hmm. now we're back on. Yeah, turn back on. One report from the Interfax News Agency says witnesses saw an explosion just before one of the crashes. Both planes were Tupolev Tu-154 jets. That's a standard airliner on domestic flights in Russia. The first crash happened in Bukhaki, about 110 miles south of Moscow. <laughs> Bukhaki splattered the what face of about, people. What is it about plane crashes and death that make anchors say cock and the cock hunt? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Brokaw got away with it for years. Wow. Yeah, he did. He, he couldn't even speak. He couldn't and he talk. He was giving us the news. Yeah, everywhere. that L thing where he couldn't really say his L. Weird. Got stuck in his throat. Look, I, I can't use betting people. How much do you give me if I say cunt tonight? <laughs> a United Airlines 767 took off from Cockfuck Airport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It was New York Liberty. Sorry. 
We got uh, Miss USA doing coke and kissing Miss Teen USA. Wow. What, a, what a great story. Wow. That story gets hotter and hotter. By the day. If that wow. stupid Trump throws her out, oh. he, I'll do nothing. But I, mean, I just think it's a bad move. Oh, I hope he doesn't. That would be hilarious. He shouldn't. Oh, we got the latest on that? No one talks about Miss USA or none of these dummies, except for now everyone's talking about her. Yeah, whenever there's controversy. She should do coke. She's been in bars that talking about uh, her drinking before she was 21. She just turned 21, I think. And... Um, but when she was underage, she's drinking, smoking uh, pot, uh, doing some coke, a uh, little promiscuity. She was with taking the, coke. Certain liberties with the gentleman. She's from the Kentucky, bars. right? Yeah. What would be and, the point of being hot if you're not getting high and yeah. paid? And she's a roommate with, with Miss Teen USA. <laughs> And they had a make-out session. Oh, oh, my God. So it just gets hotter and hotter. Oh, my God. This could be the best thing to happen to uh, the USA oh. pageant. Trump is the best thing to happen in America. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. Listen to the dumb reporter, like what to, they come up with here. Crown like glitter a, on each of their thighs. I, I'd like to be a billionaire <laughs> prince and just pay them so much money to have sex with them and then fart the whole time we're having sex. <laughs> like, I would just do that and they would have to keep going because I was giving them so much money. I would just fart and mumble whore and they'd have to smile and pretend it was fun. <laughs> pretend? <laughs> pretend. Yeah. Hey, here's the latest. The moment of truth is approaching for the young Miss USA, Tara Connor. She could hear this morning whether the pageant owner, Donald Trump, is going to say, you're fired, force her to give up her crown, and I have to give back the crown. <laughs> See, an entertainment correspondent, Brooke Anderson, has more. Oh, it has been an ugly path for this it young lady. It has been very ugly. You know, the allegations that have put Tara Connor in this predicament Tara are Connor. not pretty. Reports of wild nights nice out, reports that she hasn't shown up to engagements and appearances, and much, much more. Why don't they like? Why doesn't she make a funny example? She's going to use it like, uh, you know, mm -hmm. Donald Trump may uh, remove her crown, a la Princess Diana. <laughs> <laughs> How do they take this crap seriously? I don't know. Like, what? What big thing is Miss USA that she can't? Uh, the thing I don't understand. Laid. It's like with uh, Britney Spears's vagina and yeah. uh, Janet Jackson's boobs. This is what we're supposed to want from these people. Yeah. yeah. The whole point of Britney Spears is her vagina. That's the entire yep. like crux of her Ground existence. zero. And then they we see it and we go, oh, faux pas. Oh, what I mean, is she doing? The whole point of a beauty pageant is that you wish you could have sex with those women. And then one of them kisses another woman and, you, and there's a problem? Yeah. W with who? I don't understand. The Britney the Spears thing. Um it was the most downloaded thing on Google. Yeah. We like, all want to see, but then everybody publicly says, what's wrong with her? Oh, look how That really should have fallen. been the end of her career. Like, that should have, ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point of her career. Is, yeah, this is what you've been waiting for for eight years. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. It. But the whole point of her career is that there's just, like, swimming pools of sperm being dumped for her. <laughs> in her honor. <laughs> Every day. Teenage boys are masturbating to her face. Yeah. Voice, stomach, and stomach likeness. Guilty, and then she shows the vagina, and they, oh, hey, hey, what are you doing? I wouldn't fault Tara Connor if she made out with Dakota Fanning. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't bug me. I don't know how much of that made the air, because I'm sure Al okay. is dumping out like crazy. All right, Al. All right, Al, you got all that. All right, here's uh, more on Miss USA. She just turned legal on Monday, celebrating her 21st mm, birthday. Nine. But by many accounts, her partying <laughs> began way before then. Mm. She had been drinking really heavily, drinking in public. She was caught smooching Miss Teen USA at a club in New York City, oh and God. she apparently failed a drug test for cocaine. Oh, oh my God! God. All right, winner. That's, fun That's her. basically a sophomore in college. Yeah, yeah. she's acting her age. Yeah, she's drinking. God she's forbid, done. right? But Tara no. Connor is a Kentucky beauty queen. She began her pageant career at the tender age of four. Oh. A year ago, she was a model slash student slash waitress. And on April 21st, she was named Miss USA 2006. She left her high school sweetheart and moved to New York City and wore her sash with pride. With pride. On the subway. Oh, really, mm -hmm. The tender age of four. There's something like pedophilish. Yeah. yeah. Began like, her like, beauty pageant career with a tender age of four. <laughs> yeah. Is that her right they, there? They're like she veal. Very that like, oh, that's how when she was four? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a new picture, oh. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> she has a little bit of a gut, though. 
Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, she drinks a lot. Wrong. Picky, picky, Dude, picky. What is that? That's that's her hip bone. That's guts. That's Jesus hip bone. She has a little, Jimmy. little seed belly. That is a belly. Oh, where? In the middle or on the side? Oh, oh, on the side is awful. On the side is a suit. hip bone. It's an fatty. awful little swimsuit thing she's yeah, wearing. She's not that hot. She has a dumb little fat part of her stomach. Oh she looks God. like me, like an appendix scar. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same little gut she does. Little fat undershadowing. <laughs> Can you, you take that? What is wrong you know what, with Jimmy, you? You do. You look just like her. Well, just from yeah, that. Yeah, lift your shirt up again, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's That's the I can't same even. Belly. <laughs> She does Not have a little section. awning there, doesn't she? Does it? Yes! Yeah. Oh, what's wrong with you guys? Just Teen USA's head doesn't get wet when it rains. <laughs> what do you want from women? I don't know, just not a fat gut when you represent the whole country? That's not what a about fat that? gut. What about that? about that? Do a Pilates slob? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now, now she's a slob. She's, she's a, a slob. Disgusted at her mediocrity. <laughs> she should be thrown out of the pageant with oh her pig God. stomach. Because she gained a pound, right? Exactly. Beat right? Up, pig uh, belly. She stopped eating uh, toilet dude. paper and drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Throw up for America. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's the other see, shot. You can even see a little bit on the side. Yeah. You see that little dent on the side? The I'm, I'm not a perfectionist, is, believe it's me. It's not a scratch on your Maserati. It's a, it's a woman with actual, <laughs> the nut nutritionified woman. Exactly. As look, look, look over here. Say. Look at the way the gut is. Look at the Look at that. You get a little picky She's there. She's trying to hide it with Jesus. that uh, frilly thing. I'm not trying to hide it. I'm not getting yes, picky. She is. She's Miss USA. She's supposed to be the hottest one. And yeah, but that's not going to make her hot to be a gross skeleton. No, though. but how about not gut hanging all over? That's not your, your mind. Sloppy whore. <laughs> <laughs> gut hanging all over. It does. You would you would just tell her to go to go to hell? No, I'd have sex there. with her. I mean, I'd have brutal forced sex with her. Yeah, that's, that's what she's good for. From the front and back, mm. <laughs> trying to work that gut off. Yeah, just yeah. Work off those. All right, we got another <laughs> well, story to get great. to before we get to the. I saw the sign girl. Where is she, by the way? She's, she's in, in the, the green room. room. I said hello. She, she smells good. She's warming up to do. I saw the sign live for us. All yeah, right. she's gargling with glass. How did her stomach look, Jim? Oh, she looked good. She looked all right. Yeah. All right, here we're gonna get to her after the break, there, Steve. A Daytona Beach man is in jail this morning for strangling his grandmother with an extension cord she was using to hang Christmas lights. Police say he offered to help her put up the decorations, but police say he had an ulterior motive the whole time. Police say he strangled her and then slit her throat. A while later, family members discovered the body and ran for a neighbor for help. Music! Hey, honey, let me... Bow, bow. Let's trim the tree. <laughs> oh my god. I like the fact that he strangled her and then cut her throat. He really hated that neck. Oh, There's something about oh that neck. That he neck was to, awful. What the hell did grandma do to you? He wanted yeah. blinking lights and she wouldn't put the little little <laughs> thing in the end. The little the blink. blinking bulb in. See, both stories are great. I mean, originally, at first you picture that she's hanging them and saying something like, these lights are hot, and he just, shut up, and he just strangled her. But yeah. the idea that it was premeditated, he's like, yeah, go ahead, grandma, yeah, hang these. <laughs> yeah, hang the lights. Yeah, go up on the ladder. It's, it's, it's nice. It's Christmas. For a neighbor for help. I get closer and I look, I'm like, oh my God, somebody slit this lady's throat. Police say the man has confessed and he is now charged with first degree murder. So I have a red stripe, man. Those, <laughs> you know she was up on this little step stool yeah. with those half calf stockings, yeah. little stretched out and rolled out, <laughs> showing her aged, oh, liver Eric spotted Coach. skin that's oh, transparent, the blue veins. Oh, marble white vagina lips. <laughs> <laughs> bloodless, bloodless vagina lips. Oh, there's just nothing pumping anywhere. And he was disgusted with her and had a choker. The worst part is, after they remove the body, some family member has to come in and take the lights down off the tree. <laughs> you have to unwrap the lights. Yeah. The lights that grandma was choked was with. That one coagulated part. Yeah. Like, don't touch. Do I fix them or take them down? Yeah. Because she didn't finish. She'll leave them up in oh, her honor or, you know, or right. put them back in the box. And just leave them there and pop, pop the star on Boil top. Boil them back up into the box. <laughs> right for next year. Can Merry I Christmas. On my tree, even though this pulp and her oh. broke skin in. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have time for one more? This is a great story, too. Uh, that's, Marble white. That, that's out there today. At Wheaton North High School, the mission is to create self-directed students who make sound decisions. Oh. Last week, one of those students decided to do the unthinkable when officials say he spiked a container of cafeteria salad dressing with his own semen. Police say an attempted <laughs> aggravated battery arrest is imminent.
an act occurred that could have physically harmed someone at the school, but no one was physically harmed. It wasn't Jim. Yeah. <laughs> why no, why did you go back for four helpings? I don't know. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was a fantastic beverage. Good for him. Well, the students him. and the school react, of course. Uh, so everyone knows about it in the school. Oh, yeah, everyone knows. And everyone is universally repulsed. The whole school is disgusted. That's got to be the sickest thing I've ever heard in my life. It's just pretty gross no. that someone actually would do that. Yeah, it's been going on for a month or so. That's what we've all been hearing. But school officials say their investigation has exactly shown it, it happened mm -hmm. just once, last Wednesday. They say the student admitted he put the semen into a container of ranch dressing in the student commons dining <laughs> area. Wow. And officials have determined that the contents could have been ingested during the last lunch period on Wednesday and during all five lunch periods on Thursday. From now on, in all District 200 schools, condiments yeah. will only be available in individual packets and in large containers, which will make them difficult to tamper with. <laughs> what gave oh. it away was people came over the salad and he would throw the ranch dressing on their back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how potent you have to be for someone to taste it through ranch dressing? <laughs> no kidding. God almighty. Or, or what kind of a whore you have to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sophisticated yes, of a palate. Exactly. That you couldn't eat a tub hey. of Hey, this is Irish guy sperm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. What is? I don't know, but there's something about the smell I recognize. <laughs> hey, that's dog food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's wonderful. We'll, we'll stop right Good there. Good for him. It's like that a, kid's a, a hero. wine tester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a hint of oak. Yeah, very good viscosity. <laughs> yeah, viscosity. I'm just really showing my ignorance here. <laughs> so what, what? What was the story? I uh, didn't I click it's, on it. Uh, well, let's get into it here. Me. What did the woman say? We had to bleep it out because this singing Baby Bratz doll's lyrics sound too much like profanity. Yes, I am very disgusted, really, of uh, the lyrics of what I heard myself. And we don't use profanity at home. It shocked Louis R. says six-year-old daughter, Christina, on Christmas Day when she came to him in dismay after listening to her Baby Bratz doll named Jay sing. What did you hear when you, when you played it? The F word. <laughs> the F word. The F word. The F word. He just said fuck and cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have it unbleeped? Yeah, we have it unbleeped. Oh, thank we're goodness. Getting, we're getting to that point. The F word. The F word. The toy companies do this on purpose, by the way. Yeah. It's. I just think it's. It. It's a lot when of you're exposure. recording something. Sometimes it sounds different. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Uh, you could go through what? song lyrics. What? I, I wanted Jimmy to Hendrix. take a break of the show and kiss yeah, a man. Excuse me. What do you what? think of it? Yeah, there are plenty nowhere. of song lyrics. There's a bathroom on the right. Mm. There's plenty of song <laughs> lyrics that you just fuck up. But they, they, they didn't record it that way. For, the, for my, half of my life, I thought in Purple Rain, he said, uh, you say you want a leader, but you can't seem to make up your mind. I think you better close them big eyes who... <laughs> them big eyes do. You think you better close them big eyes? Do. <laughs> and then my girl, like back, my girlfriend back then goes, no. He says, I think you better come and let me guide you. Oh. And I said, oh shit, okay. And it's such revelation when <laughs> you, well, you know, figure that it out. Song where he says, uh, revved up like a deuce and yep. run through uh, Yeah. I used to think he was Douche. saying, uh, yeah. your mother's cunt smells like oranges. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. It's just a weird trick of the ear, you know. <laughs> So subtle. Weird, yeah. <laughs> I was like, really? What a weird lyric. <laughs> oh, is that great? <laughs> Just a trick of the year. <laughs> Who hasn't heard that? Yeah, of course. I'm with you. Oh, that. Christ. Uh. So today, the RCs took the doll back to the Kmart where it was purchased did. and played the song for the store's manager. We went along to see the manager's reaction. He said he heard it. It's the bad word that the doll said. The manager offered to take the doll back and said the manufacturer of the doll should be notified, possibly to initiate a recall. Archie said he called the manufacturer and someone there told him the doll's lyrics said Fuck something off. else. She said that it said so cute. But I'm telling her 
what my daughter told oh, me. Oh, so cute. The F word. Yeah, when we you. called for comment, we were transferred yeah, to the PR department. We left a message, but everyone was out of the office until after the holidays. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Mr. Arce says that he plans oh, to hold huh. on to this doll until after the first of the new year. Well, he can speak to the manufacturer of this doll. It's MGA Entertainment. And he says he plans to get to the bottom of it. Do you? Mm. Yeah. I'd love it if the doll company just said, so it says fuck. What's your fucking yeah. problem? Got a problem with <laughs> like that? They just did it. Yeah, we decided, is, we yeah. decided that we wanted our doll to say fuck. Kids are, kids like fuck, don't they? Like they yeah. just go, oh shit, really? That's a problem? <laughs> <laughs> we thought fuck was good for just a kid's doll. Complete, complete ignorance. Yeah, just, Wait, no. what? Oh, thank you for telling us because oh. uh, <laughs> the next line of uh, shitty Sammy dolls. <laughs> 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 Hey, uh, there's a story hitting here. A kid finds porno instead of Madden uh, 07. This, oh, really? This dumb uh, oh, thing that pops lucky, up. Lucky, lucky little devil. Well, imagine if your kid opens up a popular video game only to find out pornography is on it. Pornography. That's exactly what happened to a 14-year-old boy in Layton, and now his parents are fighting mad. They're trying to find out who is responsible for this. It's 14. I mean, totally shocked. It's very... Triple X rated. Linda Mahoney Funny is though, talking about knows. what her son Colton viewed on Christmas Day. That's when he put the Madden NFL 07 game in his new Xbox 360 console. I said, this is really not Madden, and I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is really, really not, not Madden. Not Madden. <laughs> that is a tight end. And He's that going for the reach around. <laughs> There's no football in sight. These five penises in one mouth have nothing to do with John Madden. None of those penises are John Madden's. Not one of them. It's going to be a fun little dump report today. <laughs> now, here's the guy Here's the guy that always likes to wait to be last so we can eat the cracker. <laughs> I really wish I was Frank Caliendo right now. I you need a big that. fat throat to pull that off. Yeah. yeah. You do. All right. I said, this is really not said, Madden, and I was shocked to see what it was. And Shocked to see what came up. Sure. Sure. Can we go back and hear that guy? Sure. 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 I was really shocked to see sure. what it was. Sure. Sure. Punch sure. In. He's talking to his editor. Punch in after she says shocked, and I'll, I'll echo it and say, I'll sure. say, shocked. Sure. 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 What phony is he? Oh, oh the media should all just be executed. I said, this is really not Madden, and I was shocked to see what it was. And Shocked to see what came up on the screen when he pumped in the game. A graphic warning what really? follows shouldn't be distributed to minors. He probably didn't know Major League what? Smut was just seconds away. And then Unless a quick snippet warning. of that nasty material <laughs> yeah. flashed on the screen. A quick snippet. He probably didn't know. And I, like Louis said, yeah. it. <laughs> Unless he read the warning that <laughs> I just described. <laughs> warning. He was shocked at the warning <laughs> that lasted five minutes and said, please, kids, don't watch. This is hardcore pornography. <laughs> pornography. Is that Mike Taibbi or Taibbi? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Some hack. They all sound alike. Yes. Sure, sure. sure. Who talks like that? Right when I saw it, I figured that something was wrong, and I knew it was bad. So, so. she saw the warning, so and she blew it off. Is that a she or a young he? Is that's that, that's, that's the mom. No, that's, that's, that's the mom. Right, yeah. That's the mom. Oh, okay. When she first started what talking, I thought it's it was what? Kid. What is it? That's the kid, kid that's now? It is. But the mom sounded the like that to begin the clip before. He's a young, he's, he's a changing boy. Is it a boy? He's getting hairs and everything. Little faggot. <laughs> That's the hold on, hold on. Hold He's on. shocked. I was shocked. The, mo the mother was I the wanted first to play clip. Madden. The mother was the first <laughs> clip that sounded is... a lot like the son. Yeah, though. this is the son. All right, now we're was young boy. trying to play a game. All right. Right when I saw it, I figured that something was wrong, and oh, that is I knew it was bad. So. So he ran and immediately <laughs> ran. his parent. He's running from the porno. <laughs> What he ran to the bag. to the bathroom, maybe. Did he run up into the apple tree like I did? How old is he? <laughs> He's 14. He's 14. 14. And he ran to tell his parents? What a dork. I'd be working uh, it like a Wii controller. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. The, watching the wrong video, he should have hung himself last night. Like, <laughs> like that little hey, kid. When you, when, you, the when you learn about sex for the first time, it could be a scary thing. Sure. I ran up into an apple tree. I went come down for <laughs> almost a day. Really? Is that yeah. true? I swear to God. Like you ran up into an apple tree? Sure. It, doesn't that sound like Pa Ingalls had to talk no, him down? Insane. Really? I've told the story many times, but okay. I went to I went to grammar school one day. I think it was around sixth grade, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it was the day they separate everybody, girls yeah, over yeah. here, guys over here, and, the, mm -hmm. and then we all march into the gym and the big doors in the middle, mm -hmm. and then they show the film. Right. Da -da! 
<laughs> Not the film. And uh, then they ended it by saying, uh, we informed your parents that uh, you saw the film today and Great. that if you have any questions, you might oh want to discuss God. the film with your parents. That freaked me out so much. I ran home and I ran up into an apple tree and my dad's down below telling me to come on down. It's okay. It's oh okay. We talking you down. This. And I'm like, I, I, I was just too Isn't young to weirdest, really want to deal with that crap. Like a that is so odd. Like a Billy oh Holiday song, you're a complete fruit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. uh, what were they showing? Hardcore pornography? Yeah, Hopefully was, was shocked. It was about, uh, you know, uh, uh, whiskers growing and yeah. and other things growing. Was your uh, body hair. changing? Huh? Your oh, yeah. It was that whole changing. thing. I was yeah. like, I don't want to deal with this, man. Wow. Uh, was it the reality that this was happening to you? Or was you freaked out by the, the just the visual of it? Or was oh, it no, I wasn't mental? freaked out by the visual. I thought all that was cool, but I just didn't want to deal with it with my, uh, with especially parents. with my parents. Nah, you don't want to do that. That you is know? a weird thing, especially the way you described that they say, we have informed your parents. Yeah, because yeah. now you're going home going, you, oh, great. Cool. Your parents know. Your parents all know about you this. saw a dirty film. It's like they know this stuff goes on, too. My parents were proud of my body changing, and every day they'd confront me with a ruler, and we'd all <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I learned nothing from my parents as far as sex goes, I'm and either. early on, I... Um, I, uh, like elementary school type stuff, talking in the playground with your friends and stuff, and you, you learn things and you get things wrong. Like I thought you needed, I thought you needed a, uh, uh, condom in order to get a girl pregnant. I thought the, the condom had something on it. Had uh, the special treat? Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, what special, you used. The special recipe? Yeah. You know what yeah. I thought? All the pieces that I had got, got the little pieces of information culminated in this to me. <laughs> that when you have sex, one of your balls <laughs> comes out through the tip of your <laughs> penis. <laughs> and, no, you have to, no. and then she bleeds. <laughs> Like you do it, she bleeds. I know that women bleed, and that that it comes from your bag. Wow, it's so, one so of your funny. Testicles comes. You have to force it out that little hole. Right. Yeah. She bleeds. Everybody's screaming. And it you looks only like get, the scene from twice. Alien. And you only do it twice. Hey. Only well, you can you only do it twice. You know what? It's over. We can't even clean that up for a radio. That oh, no. I've, that's that's for XM today, man. Sorry. That is really funny. Let's that is sum really up. funny. Growing up, Lou was an idiot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. But that's that is how you learn things because yeah. you kind of remember what was wrong with it. Like I also thought, I also thought that you had to be um you a, a man and a woman in order to have a baby uh, had could not be face to face. I thought ah uh, got yeah I thought you know. You had to be looking at uh, the yeah. back of the girl's head. You had to face the same direction. Yeah. yeah. I thought that's what it... Up until last week, as a matter of fact. That's, what, <laughs> that's when you found That out. was the excuse I used. <laughs> what kind of dopes were you guys? My first pornographic... I'm talking like, like second grade. Me yeah. too. My first pornographic picture, let's just say, was two gentlemen and a young lady all getting to know each other. <laughs> really? And I... Yes. And I knew from maybe the age of seven on exactly what you had to do to get a girl pregnant. I didn't know the, the inner workings of the body, but I knew. Yeah, where so I, had I didn't to be. know inner workings, yeah. but, but I, didn't, I also didn't know locations of uh, vital places that things had to go on. Yeah. I, I, the, 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 the one thing I do remember is in kindergarten, this was before even first grade, I, I guess I was an ass man or something because uh, there was a girl down the street from me that I used to go over and we used to go to the shed behind her house. And uh, she would show me her hiney. Wow. Mm -hmm. She would like, like, just pull her her, her pants down how and old? show me her backside. How old? Kindergarten. Yeah, that's like hardcore. She was. For, how old were kindergarten. you? Kindergarten. Oh yeah. Well, again, this was very recently. <laughs> I showed. I showed. <laughs> I got to wipe that my, hard uh, drive clear. <laughs> I showed my privates to a uh, retarded girl down the street. <laughs> 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 when I was in, oh, are you awful? Third grade, I was like, she won't tell anybody. I just, I was just dying to flash somebody, and so I just, I ran into her on the way to school. Oh, isn't that great? And I just pulled it out. You're horrible. Oh, wow. She just looked at it confused. Of course, <laughs> she said, "I like love she you." Looks at everything, I love you. <laughs> that is really funny. Did you say that? Yeah. Cute, cute ending. I married the girl. <laughs> her dirty hands. Oh. Well, should we take a break then? Continue wow. with the uh, 
Yeah, we'll take a break and then we'll continue with the uh, Madden 07 with this kid. Oh, right. And That's the where we are. That he found. What a dork this kid is. He ran to tell his mother and that father. That kid's awful. I hate him. How do you not hate him? <laughs> I was, with the apple tree, though, I was just avoiding the oh, conversation. I, I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to have a conversation about sex with my dad. Of course. This kid's 14. At 14, if I was walking through the woods and found that secret stash of somebody's uh, porno mags, yeah. you go through them. You know, 14, you use them. I was them. smoking pot at yeah. 14. And right. cigarettes liberally. I had Marlboros on me anytime. He could have bummed a cigarette from me. <laughs> little thug. I'd seen every kind of porn. Little idiot. I just picture you looking like like like, <laughs> yeah. like the, one of the little rascals, like Butch, <laughs> exactly. the tough guy. <laughs> exactly. In honor of this story uh, with Matt in 07, we got to find a little bit we play from time to time. I'm sure San Francisco will uh, dump out, but uh -huh. uh, the rest of the country will enjoy this. It's the Opie and Anthony Show with Louis C.K. today. All right, let's get back to the uh, Madden 07 and the kid that uh, found porn. 14 year old. Uh, ran to kid. tell his parents. Found he porn ran, to ran to inform them. To inform them of the shocked. Ugh, what a shocking. Creep. It's right weird. when I saw it, I figured that something was wrong and I knew it was bad. So. So he ran he and bad. immediately told his parents what he saw. So I'm very disappointed that he had to see that on Christmas Day, especially. <laughs> I mean, what's so special what, about Christmas? Christmas? What day? What does the day matter? That's he had to have an orgasm on Christmas Day <laughs> in the living room <laughs> <laughs> on my nice coffee table. Well, Chris, in, in order, because Christmas Day is normally the day they reserve where the father will drink too much and then punch her into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Knock the tree over with her unconscious body. <laughs> yeah, there's the thought the kid sees a little porno. Uh, unbelievable, especially on Christmas. Especially. By the way, he says it's a shame, especially on Christmas. The yeah. reporter did the same trick again of picking up on the kid's last word. Yeah. So, so, he so, ran at the same, <laughs> echoing his past. Ew, did he do that again? Yes. The, well, let's hear, let's hear a little bit. All right. But, well, we have to go all the way. Ah, let's start it over again. Yeah. What, what the, the heck? Hell? Who cares? What the heck? What the right heck? when I saw it, I figured that something was wrong and... I knew it was bad, so... So he ran. <laughs> so, so, that's a news so, thing, I guess. Yes. Boy, I didn't know that. I yeah. didn't notice that. What? So I was really, so I was really sad. 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 Because sad. his father... Oh, and, you know, uh, he's a real douchebag. Douchebag <laughs> is what he is. <laughs> oh, God, reporters are such uh, a scumbag. There's a formula to... Yeah, they're hats. Yeah. The worst people alive. If this is Mike Ta Taibbi or Taibbi, or there's one of the guys in the paper. Taibbi, I've heard. They're just awful. So? So he ran and immediately <laughs> told his parents what he saw. So I'm very disappointed that said so. he had to see that on Christmas Day, especially. Especially. I mean, no kid should have to see that. They're so angry, the Mahoney's have gone from victims to amateur investigators. They're trying to find out how these images got on that console. Colton got the gift from his uncle, who bought it uh -oh. from a Circuit City store in Modesto, California. Uh, it's Modesto. His uncle. It's his uncle. Why That's... are these idiots on the news? <laughs> a little... They called the news. Yeah, a little oopsie from the uncle. The uncle, the uncle uh, had a little... Uh... Issue, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's the uncle. Come on, there's come an, on. There's an uncle in both of today's weird stories. Yeah, the uncle yeah. made the kid hang himself. Uh huh. And then this uncle gave his kid this other kid porn with the porno. Don't let your brothers around your kids. And that's um, that that's Modesto, right. California, man. Wow, you guys know how to stay in the news. <laughs> I turned it on and I saw my uncle naked on the thing. They don't know how it could. Uh, the they, there's no way. Let's How did it happen? <laughs> Game was factory wrapped, but the label was clearly replaced. Uh huh. Well, let's. Uh, I think the uncle that. did it as a joke. Oh, let's find out. What a game. The game appears to be authentic. It came with factory wrapping, but a closer look around the edges lets you know this might not be the original disc. Timothy Mahoney's brother in California isn't having a lot of luck trying to get answers. And we've tried EA Sports, we've tried Circuit City, and not much results out of that. Mahoney is really upset that this type of stuff is hitting so close to home. Well, especially here in Utah where we're 
trying to get away from the, the pornography and the exploitation of children. And now it comes right into your As home. Opposed to you where? don't feel like that's going to happen to you. But then when it does, it's shocking. You idiots. Well, the Mahoney's are getting help from the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Leighton police are also Why? working with California authorities on that case. Guys Charges are of providing pornography to a child could be filed. Who is that reporter? Do we know? No. This uncle is like dying. Go, please get this off the news. I yeah. I oh, forgot. my God. It Somebody, was a gag. It was, was a joke. He was playing with himself in their living room. He's, he's sleeping on the couch for the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and they ro 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 walked in. He quickly stuffed the thing in the Madden thing. <laughs> it's so clear what happened. And yeah. now it's this mess. I remember when I was first living with my wife when she was my girlfriend, I, I, I ordered some porn uh, pay-per-view. And I was at a point in our relationship where I couldn't reconcile that with who, you know with her we eventually you know got past got that. past it. negotiated yeah had a diplomatic <laughs> yeah. negotiation but at that point she said why is this on this bill and i was like i did not i just decided to take all oh, that. that cable I company do not watch pornography that was not me and she's like oh well let's call the cable company call them right now and i go i'll call because i'm outraged and i call the cable company why is this on my bill and this woman's like well, you're you're an idiot you ordered it and i'm going no i didn't i want to speak to your supervisor I was just like forced into this ridiculous. <laughs> oh, and and the whole time in your head you're just like, I did order it, I did. Oh my god, I did. So Don't read my end? mind. The woman on the phone just sounded piteously like, oh, this poor guy can't tell his girlfriend. <laughs> So did she get? Did she she help gets, you out, or eventually I was on hold for a really long time, and my wife just walked out of the room in disgust. Yeah, and I hung up, up the phone. Hung up and said, "Oh, they're gonna take care of it. They're <laughs> yeah, gonna, they're gonna give us a credit." Uh, yeah. Well, do you? Uh, oh, the next God. Tyson fight is free. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the story yeah. here. Should spanking under three be illegal? Parents could soon find themselves in timeout for spanking their kids. A California assemblywoman is proposing a ban on spanking children younger than three. If that bill passes, hitting your toddler would be a misdemeanor offense, landing you actually behind bars or with a thousand dollar fine. MSNBC legal expert Susan Filan joins me. Now, Susan, this is a fun one. Um, what? what do child fun. abuse laws cover? Abuse. Uh, abuse, neglect, beating. Cruelty, endangerment, spanking. But here's the problem with this legislation. What's a spank? Is it a, a tap? Is it a love tap? Is it a smack? Is it a punch? And who decides that? Exactly. Exactly. And now we're going to start telling parents how to really parent their children. Why don't we now have a bill, you didn't love your child enough. You didn't oh. nurture your child enough. You know, you were That's overly nice. critical of that art project. <laughs> it, it is a slippery slope. I, as, as we're both parents, so we, we yeah, can both the really Asian feel that this both one hunts. deeply and personally. <laughs> I hate that slippery slope. Yeah, I do, too. Uh, no, you make so you have to uh, slippery. Everything's a slippery everything slope. Everything's a slippery. Yes, right, even exactly. a fucking yeah. uh, even a well adhered slope is slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to stand on that on it's, that stable ground because it's a slippery slope. slope. Slope has been salted, <laughs> and still people are bitching yeah. about it. Well, they ask, how could this even be enforced? That's the question. What yeah. judge is going to believe yeah. a two-year-old? Experts say, and I think this is pretty true, spanking usually happens in the home. Experts. Yeah. So how would this oh. even be enforced from a legal standpoint? Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine now oh parents bickering? I'm calling the cops on you for spanking the child. Whoa. I mean, it, it's just a really, really bad idea. It's an impossible bill to enforce. It's going to be impossible to define. It's going to be impossible to determine appropriate punishment. Who gets a year? Oh, that was a really bad spank. You get six months because that wasn't the worst spank I've ever seen. Right. I mean, I just, it's, for me, it's like how this differs from, I mean, child abuse is important to have laws in the book to protect things, leave a mark, et cetera, et cetera. There, there's a, a, an easy way to say abuse happened here, physical abuse happened, and you need to be punished. This is a slippery slope and a gray area oh, in the law. That said, enough. what do you think the chances are of this passing? Uh, zero. 100. I mean, I, I just think it's stupid. Are you just, well, you're stupid. Then why are you guys talking about it? Yeah. Exactly. I don't think non story. They should pass a law like that. Nah, no laws, no. just fucking. No. Get, people shouldn't have uh, should common sense. Do I, it, but you know they shouldn't pass it. And California doesn't give a shit about kids. No. The meanest state in the world. <laughs> they care about themselves, place. right? Yeah, no. I mean, I was I, I did a benefit for this place uh, that was a foster home for kids that are like kids that were left in cars by the highway <laughs> because they were had terminal kids that have terminal diseases in poor neighborhoods. Oh, no, they get fucking left just on the highway all the time. So this was a foster home for them, and California, the state of California, closed it. 
because they didn't wow. like the statistics. The, the, the foster homes is where they get the statistics of how many kids are endangered, and the statistics were getting too high in California. Makes the state looks so bad. they just closed the <laughs> Close <laughs> it down. They won't count them. <laughs> no way to count them. And we look no, better. No, it's awful. Do you read the fucking Grapes of Wrath? It's an awful place. No, it's a wow. cruel state. So they're hypocrites. I, I think what we need to be aware of is if you see a kid in a grocery store whose parent or caregiver is whacking them, you know, pants down with a hairbrush on a bare oh, bottom. No. Oh, video. Oh, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. Get that camera yeah, phone right. out. <laughs> Who the fuck has seen that? <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Another fucking Bill Donahue. Yeah, tester. no kidding. Oh. What if a child is blowing Martin Luther King? <laughs> <laughs> and being spanked for he it. He could be spanked for oh, that, yeah. sure. Store whose parent or caregiver is whacking them, you know, pants down with a hairbrush on a bare bottom. Ow. You call the police. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to call that a spank. And no. I think that's what we're talking about. I think we're talking well, about show. egregious talking discipline about abuse. Of abuse, right? But a parent, a, a love tap, a little smack, a wake up love spank, tap. whatever you want to call it. I mean, parents have wake up spank. With their children that I used to do that every morning. I couldn't work during the day. No. Sometimes they don't Too get tired. the verbal cues, so that is what they're targeting. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and Anybody out there with a two-year-old? Uh, yeah, exactly. So this is dumb. Okay. I mean, really, we need, we need serious children now? laws, yeah. and we need real police. <laughs> Anybody under three will be really we, funny. Aren't we all is talking on the about kid's third birthday? You just ben planted Oden. your fist Let's into his stomach. Let's put our resources toward that. Sexual predators, people who ah. molest children. What? I mean, that's where we should be putting our resources. Ah. Spanking, oh, please. Spanking molesters? What? <laughs> but again, it's like these people that are like, all right. You know, should we be watering our lawns in the summer? I don't know, but what about people blowing children in Martin Luther King? And like, what is? I, I was talking about something really completely different. Exactly. exactly, exactly, exactly. Let's get the tire on before we get out of here. Let's Tyra. do that. Tyra's making a big deal about a picture that was in the uh, tablo tabloids. What was it? Too old. Crow, uh, Crow cop. Crow cop highlight on YouTube. All right, you want to do the tire thing or what? And then we'll get out of here. She was yes. on uh, Larry King talking about that dumb bathing suit shot that the uh, paparazzi took of her while she was on vacation, and everyone's laughing, saying, wow, she's a fat pig. Yeah. Supposedly she gained like 30, 35 pounds over the holidays. Well, Tyra, she can't stand that. So, so she went on Larry King to talk about it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So then I guess on Thursday's show she... She gets the actual bathing suit and then puts it back on and goes, uh, do I look fat? Sure she does. Uh, but it's obvious sure that she... Who cares? It's obvious she got her yeah. her body back in shape and maybe got a smaller version of the bathing suit is what oh, she's what? doing. Yeah, Doesn't first and foremost, you're right. Who fucking, fucking cares Jesus. if her ass got fat and then she... But, but the, the fact that she got so upset about it... Ugh. She's going to waste everybody's fucking time. Fucking vain. What a yeah. shallow jig. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> vain. <laughs> Happens to be black cunt. <laughs> right. What a shallow, self-centered pig. Right. Coincidentally, well. <laughs> insignificantly black, stupid exactly. cunt. What a fucking self-centered non-white. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So your, your, your weight fluctuates all the time. Right? It fluctuates, yeah, around 10, yeah. 12 pounds. Uh, was Larry those King? pictures embarrassing to you? She was shocked. You know, it wasn't that it was embarrassing because it, I don't think it's a reflection of what my body is right now. Although it's I do think one day it will be a reflection of my body because I like to eat. I'm not obsessed with working out. So um, it wasn't so much of an embarrassment. It was just like, what is that? And so it's a big it, fat it ass. It me because I felt there was such a rejoicing, but I think I understand it. For so many years, I was this high fashion model and, you know, putting this image out there that's so difficult to live up to. And so then these Is pictures it? come out and it's like, oh, wow, you know, look at her. She's gotcha. Gotcha. And it's like, no, that's not a reflection of my body. But if it was, I'd come out and say, yeah, you guys, that's me. How do this you was, dodge the fire hoses in German CNN. Shepherd? <laughs> There's a war going on. That was on CNN. <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear what Ann said. What, what did you say? It's Sorry. out of touch, Larry King. How do you dodge the German shepherds and fire hoses? <laughs> <laughs> like Larry never knows. He said the other day, yeah. President Kennedy yeah. on his show. He's totally out there. I hear Rubenesque girls are in these days. We'll be talking to Ruben on tomorrow's show. <laughs> he thinks that she's on his show because she was trying to get into a college and fucking Wallace stood in front of her. <laughs> an is. So Wallace. you're going to buy your freedom and then uh, what? <laughs> so, so that's tell a fat ass. How does it fit in the back of the bus? <laughs> so, Harriet, tell us about your railroad. <laughs> is that what Harriet Tubman did? Yes. All right, thank God. Very good. That one up. 
More Tyra, oh. Larry King. And, and for them to say, you know, all these negative things, oh. I have a show the Tyra Banks show and so many yeah, girls right huh. that that are that do have that body or that are even heavier than that you know look up to oh, me and girl. they say Tyra you weigh 30 pounds heavier than those models that are on the runway right now and you make me feel beautiful I look at your body and I feel beautiful uh, so when the tabloids right? are saying that that's ugly that's disgusting. Mm. It makes me think of my audience. Oh, what a no, oh, oh, my God. Hey, no, that's kind no, of a no, backhanded no, compliment. Oh, you smelly what, whore. What when they tell me it's uh, ugly uh, and disgusting, <laughs> makes me think of my audience. You know something? We feel the same way. <laughs> what a self-centered woman. Rancid cunt. Isn't she a fucking... I hate her so much right now. She's not doing this for her She's audience. She's inspired her fat pig audience. She can't... She can't uh, a... bear bad news. Right. She's a fat pig. Let's just... Let, can we please somehow... We're on the commercial radio in New York as well. Yeah. Please get the word. Tyra's a fat pig. Tyra is can a some, fat pig. Can we pig. send somebody... One, where's her show taped? Is it New York? Oh. Uh, Oh, Just LA. the fact that she LA. thinks I have to go on CNN during a war and respond yeah. to people talking about my weight. My Who weight cares shame. if people called you fat? You're on TV. Yeah. You're fucking rich. You're black. You have blonde hair. Let's yeah. discuss that. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she obviously can lose the weight without much yeah, of a yeah, problem. Right. You got a finger, she don't you? Jam it down your throat. Yeah. Oh, Thinking about my audience. Bulimia. All righty. Why let tabloids bother you? Apple. You know what? They, go. they come and they go, but I think that I have a responsibility. I've dedicated this part. Of, the first part of my life was about myself. How many magazine covers can I get? How many fashion shows can I walk uh, down? You know, how many this, how many that? But this next part of my life is not so much about self-gratification. <laughs> it's about me using this platform that I have, this talk show that I have. To encourage young women, Wish that Larry, I have was women gallows. crying their <laughs> eyes out to me, telling me that they want to hurt themselves because of how they look, because they're getting talked about. So I felt like I needed to say something. Does she really believe? All this? you're saying is no. I'm not fat. Yeah, she's, she's doing she's not the opposite. Fat. If she was to go on Larry King and say they're calling me fat and I don't I'm care. getting fatter, she should I'm be getting glad they fatter. Think I'm fat. Who cares? It has no value to me as a person. But she's yeah. saying I am not. I'm not anybody... fat. No, she's showing that there's something to be ashamed of right. being yes, right. a slightly and by the under way, ten model. She has a second show called what America's Top Model or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. and it's co it and completely it's judges all about women on yeah. their bodies. Darwinist right. selection of people according to their fucking flesh, right. which is right. fucking evil and cunty. You and know, I Holy fucking, shit. You know, she, I, she makes me hope America loses the war. Because <laughs> she's inside of America. I you, hope Iraq beats us. You know, it'll be great. I hope we become, become part of Iraq because I hate her so much. If her car caught fire and then her whole face and head and neck was burned and she had to talk like you ever see a burn person where it's just it just looks like a a, a, a kernel of corn nugget like I, that's what I want her to have to talk like with a blonde wig slightly askew on her head trying to do her show because <laughs> she has no lips and her teeth are just showing you call this fat oh fuck but I mean that's what I want that shallow personality was uh, pig to have to suffer with uh, she is completely going against there's no she no. here's what she did she, she was in the tabloids with a fat ass a picture yeah, in, so a, in a bathing suit mm -hmm. yes yeah, so what she then gets called fat and gets upset she loses the weight mm -hmm. and gets the same type of bathing suit yeah. to say it's the same bathing suit mm -hmm. and she's now skinny again in that bathing suit she goes on Larry King talks about the fat picture and how it inspires her fat listeners who cry about their body type at saying that it's not a bad thing, yet what she has done is lose the weight because yeah. it is a bad thing. Yeah, she is. She's teaching girls. What the fuck is she doing? She's helping every girls think that if they have any any fucking meat on their bones, they're pieces of shit. Right. And she's right. Lose the weight because you'll be called fat, and instead of <laughs> yeah. saying, I'm fine with my body uh, type, bow to the pressure, uh, do whatever it takes to lose the weight and get back to the body everyone loved you for. You know what she should do? If, if she really has self-respect, she would have addressed this on her show. In a one segment, she would have said, 
they're calling me fat. They, they have a bad picture of me. Look, we all take crappy pictures. I mean, this, if that's what they're going to focus on, who cares? They're shallow. And then went on with their show. Yeah. You then go, the message girl, would be real. The applause. Oh, would they have yeah. But that would have been real. Yeah. Like, that, like look, that, yeah, it's an awful picture. God Almighty. I actually or she just, said, yeah, you know what? I, I gained a lot of weight, and there's my ass. And I had a great time yeah. gaining it. Yeah. Uh, I was so eating what? and drinking. Look, I'm so, swimming in yeah. a beautiful blue waters down. Hey, uh, Ian Bernard, I'm not to change subjects really fast from American Idol. You know, Gloria. Yeah. Okay. You're always on the run now. I guess he's on uh, my pal uh, Brother Weezy's show trashing us right now. Anyone in Rochester what, that could tune that in? What real is fast that for us? fucking faggot trashing us? I'm for? trying to find, uh, get to the bottom. Enough. Of that. All right, back to Tyra. Probably You're trash done. Him. Hopefully, somebody oh, okay. in then the fine. Rochester area could tune in. Uh, WCMF. <laughs> Suck a cock for me. Here All we right. go. Oh, not me. Now, uh, according to people, your biggest source of, fu of figure angst is your bus size. Yes. It Do is. you have a large bus for a fashion bus. model? <laughs> yes. Even when I, when I was a fashion model, I was uh, around a. Um, I was so large talking bosom. about bus size. Does the master of the house ever? Suckle them after you've been in the field all day. <laughs> How much do you cost? <laughs> you got good childbearing hips. Can I check your teeth? <laughs> why did you Why did you spit in Sandy Duncan's water? <laughs> Touch bus for a fashion model. Yes, even when I, when I was a fashion model, I was around a. Um, I feel so strange talking to you about bus size right now. Do you really? <laughs> fucking why? liar. Because it's like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I'm a white man. Yeah, I could have you shot for that. Bus, but, um, okay, dear. <laughs> but um, when I was a model, I was around a, a cup, a C cup. And now uh, I'm a little bit bigger than a D. I don't like to say what it is. Yeah, but so I, you would not be a bold model today, right? Uh, no, there's no way, I don't think. No. Double D tits and fat, dark manhole cover nipples. Yeah. I like to suckle them and then kill her. <laughs> nice. T I feel weird talking about bus size. Okay, I'll just call him tits. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if he tried to improv and he goes, well, who are you, Nancy Reagan? <laughs> uh, we'll be back. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Why don't they want well-busted women? Well-busted women? Well, you well know, busted? when I was attacked. Well-busted. Well What's she that? A, broke? Yeah, exactly. Was <laughs> she a criminal who got caught? Larry King. You're busted. Larry King's got a tit fetish. I know. That's great. Uh, she opened the door, and now it's all about the tit. But, but you, I love your bosom. Yeah, why I don't they like tit? I got it. I was just going to say, I was going to call her a chesty Negro. <laughs> <laughs> a Negro. <laughs> why don't they want... Well-busted women. Well-busted women. Well, you know, when I was a fashion model, high fashion model, this is like 15 years ago, um, certain designers would bind my breasts down with ace bandages. Uh, but, but why? Why is that? Um, because it didn't fit the clothes. They they made clothes that were a certain size, and it didn't fit my chest, but yet and still they wanted me in their fashion show, and they wanted me in the show so bad that they bound my so chest. you're so great. Right. Cunt. African American oh, waste a, of cum. She's just the worst. <laughs> she's just a, is she still on XM? Yeah, I'm I heard sure. her show stinks. Uh, Can someone look? Do we have any listeners in LA who know where her show is that would be willing to stand outside with a sign that just says "Tyra's a fat pig"? Tyra's a fat pig. <laughs> just hold oh, it up with, with a big, I have a big bucket of cum and a sign that says "None of this is for you." <laughs> <laughs> you it's gotta be hungover. It. It's gotta be hungover the freeway. Yeah, for sure. everybody, everybody just say he's a fat oh. pig. Get that done. Oh, we got POWs out there. So yes, we do. Bucket. You're right. Maybe some uh, one of the POWs out west will. Uh, she is just so self-centered. Oh, what Awful. a self-important. Well, here we go. I am a little lost. Isn't a mo wouldn't most women desire a curvy figure? You know, I yeah. I, I, curvy good. Fifteen. We you know the sad thing is I used to speak Brothel. at colleges. I was on a college lecture circuit, and I spoke at Johns Hopkins. In Georgetown, yeah, UCLA, you belong at Johns Hopkins. Various other what colleges. Is she and I talked about how the female body goes in and out of fashion, the different types of bodies. In the 50s, it was Marilyn Monroe, you know, curvaceous, size 14. In the 60s, it was Twiggy, you know, yeah. she was very, very and thin, you couldn't naturally sit thin, at but the very, diner very fucking thin. Bench. And in the 80s, it was more athletic, and then the 90s was kind of heroin chic, and then now it's even beyond that. They were calling Kate Moss skinny in the 90s. These girls are way skinnier than her. Yeah, that's hot. Way to bring it home and sound like a college lecturer. I'm like a <laughs> lace skinny. Sack. I like girls that look like a sack full of antlers. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. Just fucking clavicles. Uh, clavicles and shoulder blades. Pushing them into a hole in <laughs> yeah. black and white film. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, it looks like, like, looks like a, a bulldozer should be pushing it into holes <laughs> in black and white. 
Oh, is that horrible? That <laughs> grotesque music playing. <laughs> well dressed townspeople oh. throwing him in a hole. Crying and throwing him in because the army forced them to. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, you guys started with the Sharpton thing. Here's the story uh, a lot of people are talking about oh, today. Yeah. I think it's on the front page of the paper today here in New York. I think it's important. Way beyond uh, the Sharpton family or the Thurman family. I think it's important for America. Working with newly obtained records from Ancestry.com, Daily News writer Austin Fenner found evidence that Reverend Sharpton's great grandfather, Coleman so Sharpton Sr., was a slave owned by <laughs> Alexander Sharpton, who, in the practice at that time, gave his slave his last name. Oh. So wait a minute. So some guy, this this, this is some, where this came from. Some, some re- Newsday guy. Some Newsday guy was thinking about Al Sharpton, and thinking, oh, that dude, somebody owned that. Someone owned parents. his. Yeah. I want to find out who owned them. Who like, owned them? Some guy. That's right. Went, <laughs> he went down that line of thinking. So who? See now, this, is this going to open up? Like, so who owned uh, Denzel Washington? Exactly. Uh, you watch yeah. now. That's what's going to happen. That's the and new thing. there's going to be reparation lawsuits. I bet. I bet right. they will absolutely now. Reverend Al sure. is going to sue uh, uh, Thurman, uh, Strom Thurman's but family. Shouldn't he? I mean, shouldn't he? For yeah. ownership or, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, for, for some kind so of still psychological believe, though, damage. If they want to get reparations, then they should have to be slaves again. Again, I still right. Think if, yeah. you're gonna, if we're going to pay them. It's an awful lot of money slavery, they're asking for. Yeah, for the slavery. Well, something in return. Then we should <laughs> we still be getting the slavery. Right. The point is, we're paying them. The point of reparations is to pay them to be slaves. Right. So they should go back to being, being slaves. Being <laughs> slaves, and yes. then you get paid. Yeah. It's almost like a real job, yeah. only it's called something horrific. <laughs> This next, this next clip, Sharpton is shocked is at he, the news. Is he? Coleman worked to pay off the debts of four children. Their mother, Julia Thurman Sharpton, was Strom Thurman's first cousin twice removed. I oh, couldn't geez. describe the emotions that I've had over the last two or three days uh, thinking uh, about this. A niece of Strom Thurman said she'd speak with Sharpton at his request. She also said if you trace back many native South Carolinians today, you'd find that most owned slaves back then. Yeah. Reverend Sharpton says he's not sure if he'll be contacting Strom Thurmond's relatives. He says this is all so new for him, he's taking it one day at a time. Oh, man. This, you know, this is uh, yeah. opening up a, a new thing. Big can of worms. If uh, if Reverend Al was so into this, though, mm-hmm. like, I, I think every black person should probably have done this research himself. Don't you think? Like, don't you think Reverend yeah. Al... Being so into uh, civil me. rights, yeah. would have looked, looked, wanted to look back into his own history yep. when Roots came out. <clears throat> yeah. Every, it was a big thing for black people to look in, into their lineage and see how far back they could trace it. Yep. You think Reverend Al would have known this already if he was well, owned by someone so famous? By I mean the the uh, the families that owned these people. Couldn't they sue to still own them on some level? Yeah, like, wait a minute. Now it's like Roe v. Wade apparently could get overturned any day. Like it's right. just by so just couldn't the Emancipation Proclamation? Right. Couldn't, exactly. couldn't there be like a landmark case that overturns emancipation? It's like, look, we freed them. Yeah. But I can't find the paperwork. Or actually, yeah, we didn't free them. It was some uh, guy yeah. came over. I we we actually wanted to keep. Yeah. Them. Now he, he better stay Al? out. Of, he better stay out of South Carolina. I gotta keep low. <laughs> I gotta keep low. I'm outraged that I can't go to can't North go to Carolina, South, South Carolina. I am outraged to find out I was a slave, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Cause I look in the mirror every day and I'm still black. Well, everybody, this whole everybody in this country is forgetting the slavery. Like every people always say, yeah. Oh come on, it was 400 years ago. It was like a hundred years ago. Yeah. It was not long ago. The last ones that were let go, it was not that long ago, no, relatively it was speaking. Funny. Oh, <laughs> That's right, you didn't use Mouth. the K, which is the worst letter in that word. <laughs> yes, it is. He's all warmed up now. Oh, Al, get oh, ready. Al, you ready? Lucky what Louis. Louis. Hey, Al. Lucky Louis. Uh, Louis C.K. is all warmed up now. Yeah, Reverend Al, though, is outraged. He should have done the research himself, and now it opens up. Yeah, it, what, he's going to sue. No, but that's what everybody thinks that slavery was something that happened 500. People you literally use those numbers. Like, yeah, it was five, 400 years ago. Six, like, yeah. And they were Martians that landed and took s- and owned slaves and then left. Yeah. No, it's everybody <laughs> now. It's the same people. But that that was just like business as usual too and it was like i uh, yeah but see i don't buy that like people that say like when when people try to defend thomas jefferson and all those guys that own slaves yeah and say well that's just what people did people i don't did. know if you were alive during slavery and you weren't actually putting your life into trying to stop it you were a piece of 
garbage human being. I mean, yeah. was, <laughs> like just because other well, I own people and hit them. I think there was and, a uh, point. I own people and hit them. I own them, hit them, and rape them. <laughs> but uh, hey, my neighbors did it. No, it's an awful thing, and the rest of the world wasn't doing it. And there was something Jim Norton didn't quite understand. We had a discussion yeah. about slavery um, a few days ago, yeah. and I think there was a point in human existence where the first Europeans, or maybe not even Europeans, I'm, I don't know, just first peoples went over to a very primitive part of Africa, yeah. saw some type of animals or creatures that resembled human beings, yeah. but in no way acted like them, and mm -hmm. thought, hey, I see they can work. They can probably be trained like the ox or yeah, this I or that or the other thing. I don't know thing. that that's true. I don't, I don't either. No, I'm not speculating. True. You don't it's think not. so long ago no, when because they were Africa, that they weren't considered people? No, uh, because Africa was civilized long before Europe was. I, I, the, I, 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 the, uh, the whites uh, of Europe came, they came late to the game. I don't buy that either. I've heard uh, Farrakhan talk about how there were, you know, yeah. the, where, where, where are any of these artifacts? Of well, this he's great a, uh, he, African he, civilization. Where are the big buildings? I'm not buildings? talking North yeah. Africa. Where are the big buildings? I'm not talking North Africa. I'm talking South African, yeah. the jungles of South Africa. We got a live one. And Middle Africa. Uh, I'm hey, uh, this cute little story from CNN. Suffolk okay. County, New York executive Steve Levy believes he's found a solution to a common, not in my backyard dilemma that's kept residents in this Long Island County concerned for years where to temporarily house homeless sex offenders after they've been released from prison. The answer, they say, a 500-square-foot bare-bones trailer equipped with eight beds, a bathroom, electricity, and, they all and live water, together? but no TVs, telephones, or kitchen facilities. Oh the trailer God. sits on remote county-owned land away from residential communities and will be moved periodically to ensure <laughs> privacy. That's how they move it around. It's just a trailer in they're the middle like of super, a field They're like superheroes. That is a sitcom. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. It it's that one. There's your big brother house. Oh, the god. pedophiles. Oh, my God. And they solve crimes, and they yeah. go around. Yeah. And then they it's leave a, town like the Hulk. Yeah, you know, and then with the, their, their trailer gets pulled away to a new location. <laughs> They're like, like in Shazam. New like that show yeah. Shazam. <laughs> Captain Marvel. <laughs> They're like superheroes. Uh -huh. And then they just move on like kung fu. Well, the, uh, the politician uh -huh. thinks it's a great idea. Really? Well, the beauty of this concept. The beauty. beauty. No, I love there's that there's no beauty, beauty to anything this. having to do with the chamois. Beauty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the beauty. Yeah, What's beauty of this is hairless <laughs> and doesn't stand much taller than two fit, <laughs> feet six. Well, the beauty of this concept is not only is the trailer uh, away from a residential community, but it also has a curfew for those residents within it, and it has some security guards who are there at various points during the day and the evening. The concept what? cost the county $85 huh? per person per night, cheaper than putting the offenders in motels. It meets the needs of the person. It also satisfies the yeah. law of the state. We're providing a place to stay, but not a place that they're going to want to live forever. They're not going to get too comfortable there. Oh, God. my God. I can't believe people are having cheerful press conferences about... That is like the the outskirts of all life yeah. right there. See what happens when pedophiles stop being polite and start being real. <laughs> the real world pedophilia. <laughs> oh, God damn. Oh, my God. And then they'll just trailer them off to somewhere else. How many locations, uh, remote locations, could there be <laughs> where people aren't going to be pissed? Jesus. Amazing. Wow. All right. We got Adam. only eight beds? Yeah, eight beds. Adam. <laughs> we should demand that Steve Kappas gets fired. We should demand it. Now he's going on TV to try to explain why he decided that everyone needed to see uh, these video clips from this, uh, this weirdo. You know something? I'll even give him that. I will even give him that it's a marginal morality kind of call whether to air it. But the fact that he opened up a package that contains something that could be used in an ongoing federal investigation of the murder of, you know, 30 people, 31 people and himself, uh, is ridiculous. They got, he tampered with evidence. They knew it was, uh, uh, from this, uh, guy before they opened it. Yet they decided to open it. 
with NBC security there. That must be good. Yeah, those guys. That must are... be good. Was it the same people that make sure Don Pardo gets up the stairs in, in the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is NBC security doing? Do they know how to handle that? Rachel, so that... Rachel Dretch's escort. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I gotta open up this package from this. Yeah. Uh, they were assisted by NBC Pages that helped them uh, open this package. Our, the Pages of NBC are actually a branch of the Treasury Department. Right, right. All right. ATF, I think. Let me introduce everybody. Louis C.K. has joined the Opie and Anthony Louis show. Louis C.K., always a pleasure to have Louis on the hey, show. Fellow, Playing Caroline's all weekend? All weekend, next weekend. This weekend I'm in Atlanta at the Punchline, and this coming weekend. You know what I noticed about Atlanta? It's a huge XM market for us. Yes. Me. Yeah. I I noticed that for some reason they love this show in Atlanta on uh, XM because we're not on a regular station down there. My it's a dirty go, town. My tickets down there go like flapjacks. Do they go oh. like flapjacks? That's a wonderful way to put it. So Atlanta this <laughs> yeah, weekend. That's wonderful. Caroline's wonderful. in New York next weekend. <laughs> that's right. Next weekend, Caroline's all weekend. All right. So what do you think about this whole thing? The, the this is obviously the only thing to talk about. Well, right I was telling now. Anthony like it's all made me really <laughs> sick and. Even the kid doing the shooting is like the least sickening part of it at this yeah, point. It's like, it's yeah, some kids are dead. But what the media is doing, yeah, it really is. That's more... the most outrageous, sick part of it. Because well, John the other Hinkley thing is yesterday's news. John Hinckley was on the cover of People for shooting John Lennon. That's how far back it goes. If you kill somebody, you're, you're guaranteed. You're on the news. You mean Hinckley for Reagan or, or, or Chapman? Did I screw Lennon? it up? Yeah. Yes, you did. You took Mark one, David Chapman. Everyone you does that. your murderers. Well. Everyone John does that because they were so close together. Were, and, and, and Lennon and and, John, and uh, Ronald Reagan were very like yeah. they were very much alike politically. Yes, yes, they were very. You know, <laughs> yeah. Nobody told me there'd be days like these. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh my imagine, God! Imagine all the people imagine well, living. Life in peace, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> Was he really for peace? Let's really, we want to get into it. Faux pas. The bombing starts in five minutes. <laughs> Just talking about the Russians who have missiles pointed towards us, too. This is on what? Yeah, hello. Oh. Testing. Uh -oh. What happened? Oh. That was when uh, Reagan was uh, before. He, he was, was doing a sound check on the radio. Press conference, yeah. First fire, side chat or whatever. Yeah, for his radio mic levels. And he went to one, two. They said, can we get a level from you, Mr. President? He said, one, two, uh, the, we've, uh, the missiles are flying. We're bombing Russia. Yeah. He was joking. The yeah. bombing starts it wasn't in five on, minutes. It wasn't yeah. on the air. It was a joke <laughs> he made to the engineers, and someone said, oh, that's, and they and they made his thing. That's a good it. one. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, All right. there he is on the phone, Steve Kappas. Yeah, we got to get that audio. We'll have it in a few but minutes. But so, so, but the thing is, well, first of all, I see the kid. I see him on. I haven't heard. I haven't seen the thing. I just saw on the cover of the newspaper. Yeah. He's a boring loser. This Thank kid. you. Right. Like We're even now with more. the shooting, uh -huh. even if I met him, if he came back from suicide, and I'd be like, "Yeah, what's up? Uh, <laughs> We're talking." Over yeah. I okay. still uh, shun him. We're busy as, over here. Yeah. Just a nerd. <laughs> yeah, he, he had nothing to say in this, what they're now calling his manifesto, his yeah. multimedia manifesto. Yeah. Which, until you kill someone and then kill yourself, it's your YouTube videos, your yes. blog, and yes. your MySpace page. Yes. Uh, that is just boring as hell. But then once you kill a bunch of people and yourself, it becomes a Published. video multimedia manifesto. Yeah. He felt invisible. And that, well, he's still in now. He's really invisible. Yes, he's dead. No, no, he, you won't be seeing rotting. him no more. He sent a press oh, kit. Won't be seeing him no more. <laughs> Headshot. Yeah, he sent out a press kit. Well, well put together. <laughs> That's what they said. Quotes about did. him. Yeah, it's a press <laughs> kit. Quotes. <laughs> well, well, you want to get into it? This is how it all went down last night. At, uh, you know, on NBC. Ah, yes. No, but and then there's all these roadside bombs in Iraq. People die there ah. by the thousands. And there's no, like, uh, yeah. loving testimony about each victim in Iraq with piano playing behind it. Yeah, with it the nice a music bad playing American in the mother background. crying about it. No, it's not even nice music. It's, like, that morbid, like, creepy, yeah, like, over the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ugh. Good evening. We now know what the Virginia Tech gunman was doing during that two-hour period between shootings on campus. He was compiling before going to the post office and mailing via overnight mail what can only be described as a multimedia manifesto containing well, video only be described and a lengthy a document <laughs> to NBC headquarters. No, only building here in New York. Um. He actually said that on the air. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. It can only be as a what can, can only, only be, be described. described. Oh, excuse me. There's a few other ways yeah. to describe that. Uh, the the ramblings, ramblings of a weird idiot, yeah. loser. Yeah. How about yeah. a, a bunch of videos and pics? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's not like it's it's like 1970. Where it's like, wow, this guy's got video. What is that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Video of himself? What is video? I, anyone can take their their phone now yeah. and make a manifesto. Yes. You know, it's not like this. Wow, he got video. We got talk yeah. cameras on right now. Yeah, I, I guess we're doing a manifesto as we speak. This yes. is the Opie and Anthony Manifest Show. That's what we're calling it, the Manifest Ooh. Show. Show. Nice. What is a manifesto? Can we look that up direct? Because uh, they yeah. always credit some ass like Ted Kaczynski. Yeah, he had a manifesto. <laughs> what a yes. rambling douche. Can you imagine though he goes to the post office? Yeah. In between? Maybe he was just going to only kill those two people and then he got so frustrated at the post office and decided, oh my God. I like that. <laughs> I got to yeah. lose my mind now. Yeah, this he had to go to the post office to mail lines. the thing in between. I like that he had to be at the post office and have polite discourse with some yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, next. Oh, th uh, thank you. How you yeah. doing? Yeah. You have to look, make sure you had a 10. Is this, did I have the right uh, label for yeah. express mail? This confusion. It's like, yeah. oh, I think you were before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Exactly. Yeah. Do, you yeah. have the, do, do you have the zip code? Actually, no. No problem. I can oh, look okay. it up. Oh, thanks. I'll look at it. <laughs> or we were we were talking about it during commercials that like maybe his intention was to just kill the mm. initial people at the first building. Right. But he got so pissed at the post office, so frustrated, like waiting online. <laughs> there was probably somebody that was online in front of him that just was asking stupid questions, uh. and he's like, "Oh my god." And he's like, I, come I, on! Now, no. now I'm really. Either that, pissed. or he killed the first couple of people, and then watched the news and was like, "Ah, oh, this ain't happening." Yeah, this, I this, yeah. Do damn it! Oh wow, I really. <laughs> I need a manifesto. Uh. Multimedia manifesto. Uh. The envelope was sent from Blacksburg, Virginia, on Monday morning, and looking at a copy, you can even see the handwriting of the clerk checking it in at 9:01 a.m. Mm. But because we all got his autograph, had the wrong zip code, and there are three <laughs> different scratched-out attempts at it, along with Rockefeller Avenue and not Rockefeller Plaza in oh, New York. Done. The zip code had to be corrected, and it didn't arrive. Let me watch Tina Fey's show. Come on, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've seen a face show. Send it there. Yeah. Yeah. He can't find it. He's always looking for 30 lock. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. They're, uh... How do you walk up in the sun? Anyone else knows they're... they're walk up in the sun. They're explaining this way too much. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. trying to cover their ass. Like, look, you know, a lot of people think we might have had this package the day before, but look, it got the address wrong and the zip wrong. Yeah. It's like a guy trying to explain why there's a gun in his bag. I was, I was just... It was put yep. right in my bag. Uh, I had nothing. Look. I had no choice. I. That was not my marijuana. Here, here's your manifesto uh, definition: a public declaration of intentions, opinions, objectives, or motives as one issued by a government, sovereign, or organization. The manifesto. A lot of yeah countries put out a manifesto. Yeah. We have to yeah. get our, our motives and, and our intentions. Okay. When I am done with this show today, mm -hmm. I am going to go home and try to receive. Treats from my girlfriend orally. <laughs> that is a manifesto. Why? Because I want them. You got mm -hmm. something festering in your uh, <laughs> your manhood. <laughs> yeah, Ma manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> Code had to be corrected. And it didn't arrive here until today. An alert New York City Postal Service employee spotted the return address, and he spotted the return address name Ishmael and brought it to our attention that was by good. hand. Mm. Yeah. That postal guy was pretty wow. good. Yeah. You know, actually looking at the return address, realizing, yeah, hey, you know, this is from uh, the same place, but it's Ishmael. Oh, I kind of remember them saying something about that. Ishmael. He's well read. Hey, do you need a, uh, a password for the presale? Um, Ryan, Long Island, go. Hey, how you doing, Owen? Hey, you guys didn't mention any sort of password, and you need one for the presale when it starts. Manifesto. Uh, that's just, Hold on. That's just that's wonderful. His manifesto. It's not on. That's why he's going to go kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, he did guy. not issue any sort of a password. Password. All right, keep listening to the radio. Presale starts at he 9. He might have told me what it was. If, if we need a password, we'll find it out immediately. You Thanks. who did not issue a password. Uh, here we go. William says the first thing they did was call authorities, then then made. They were sensitive. What? 
I then made copies. I don't know. When the package arrived on the desk of our news division president today, the first thing we did was call federal authorities. God, they're coming Tonight they ass, have yeah. the original envelope. This one we've been showing you is a color copy. We have been pouring over a copy of the contents we made. It has taken hours, and we are still going through it. We are sensitive to how all of this will be seen by those affected, and we know we are, in effect, airing the words of a murderer here tonight. But you, oh you can't just say, God. we are sensitive, yeah. We're and sensitive then go to do it. it. And then do it. We're airing it. <laughs> yeah, you That's can't. like a guy raping, are... a, he's raping a girl and giving domestic violence stats. Yeah, yeah. How amazing <laughs> would it have been yeah. if that dude, if the guy we're listening to said, we are sensitive to what how this will affect, so we're not going to show it to you. Yeah, so anyway, we're... we just want to let you know we have it. It's amazing. We made a Goodbye. decision. Yeah. yeah. It'll end up limited. It's going to be on YouTube anyway. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to see it, just search That's it on YouTube. That's the same crap like uh, when you do wrong and you go, oh, I take full responsibility. Yeah. What, the, what, what, what does, does that, that mean? mean? No, it's like a John Rocker style of apology. Like, uh, if you were offended because right. you're stupid, if you were... even though you're wrong, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> my lawyer made me be sorry. <laughs> Pointless. Exactly. How great would it be if he sent it to NBC and he kept citing the reasons for these murders as how awful NBC television sitcoms had become? And there's not a <laughs> laugh to be had. I can't. I had to kill people. NBC is so bad. It's so unfun. Do you think they still would have aired? They, it? They'd have played it. Well, yeah. Sure. No, they, All the other they, networks would have. They might have paraphrased it. Yeah. <laughs> when the time came, I did it. Oh yeah. Now we get to listen. To now I have not heard his voice yet. Now we get Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. Now we get to listen to Napoleon yeah. Dynamite. Oh, you idiot! Ugh. When the time came, I did it. Nerd. I had to. In a separate Sweet. written document, he includes 29 photos he apparently took of himself. He looks like a normal, smiling college student, and only the first head. two. In the rest, he presents the stern face and strikes the pose that was very likely what his victim saw later on. No, it wasn't. In 11 of the oh, pictures, jinx. he aims handguns at the camera, likely the very ones he bought in the past two months. They're making it like this is like a cowboy uh, uh, comic book. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what they're doing. Just like Jesse James was probably a fat nerd who, <laughs> yeah. who awkwardly quit. Twin when he pulled the trigger, he cringed and made all sorts of yeah. gay faces. Probably had really bad <laughs> B.O. Yeah. Swamp ass. But they show him with a chiseled face on the cover of right. the comic yeah. book, and then kids end up being cowboys. It's the same thing here. Yeah. The grimace and the pointing. No, yeah, look when he at was him. shooting the kids, he was probably blinking a lot and probably yeah, peeing his own pants. Made a stupid face like a guitarist doing a real hard guitar <laughs> yeah, lead. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I idolized Jesse James, and um, but then someone told me that his grandfather had been shot by Jesse James. Jesse James now. shot my grandfather, <laughs> and then I had a, I, I had the same thing happen. I had a nightmare. That I was on a train <laughs> with my family, yeah. and uh, Jesse James came in, and I was all psyched to see him. But then he started shooting my family. Yeah, and wasn't the weird part about the dream that it, the set looked like it was probably right next to the house? Like it was yeah, like yeah, it was. Lit, it was lit the same, like that. even though it was the old lit the same, and the music was house. kind of written by the same guy <laughs> yes. that wrote some I don't know poppy kind of song. <laughs> yes. And then, and then I wasn't sure what was happening, uh, but but for some reason, uh, my my father had fallen. With his face on the pillow, and Jesse James was behind him, grabbing his hips and trying to oh, help him up. Weird. <laughs> Holstering the old weird. pistol. <laughs> oh. Yes, and uh, he fired bullets oh. at my father all over his back. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know why, but Jesse James was afraid to get Dad's blood on him. <laughs> all right, hey, let's... Uh, well, the, the actions could have been avoided. Here's uh, more of Napoleon Dynamite. You had a hundred billion chances and ways to have avoided today, but you mm. decided to spill my blood. You forced me into a corner and gave me only one option. Took my tots. Now you have blood on your hands that will never wash off. Much of it is incoherent, laced with profanity. He rails against hedonism and Christianity. You just loved crucifying me. You loved inducing cancer in my head, terrorizing my heart, and raping my soul all this time. That's not really good. He could have the worst voice I've ever heard. It's just, it's, oh yeah. My, it's the worst voice I've ever heard. No. He should do voiceovers for diarrhea. <laughs> you idiot. You, uh, you mean like commercials that are like for diarrhea? Like to, not to stop diarrhea, but... Yeah, yeah. Diarrhea. It. It's a pro-diarrhea commercial, uh, Louis. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, well, you want to have kind. diarrhea. Oh. What's better than just oh. diarrhea? 
Give me cancer in my brain. Pain in my heart. Ugh. Oh, he said, you had, right in the beginning of that, he says, you had hundreds of millions of chances of ways. A hundred trillion gazillion ways. Stop is, but... I, uh, but uh, I blame the ligers. You guys are dicks. Sounds like Tara Reid. <sighs> oh, my God, guys. I'm so angry with you. Yeah. hundred billion gazillion ways. But that's not a real number, Tara. Yeah, I don't know what it is. But this you is news. Stop that's it. the thing is the serious, what makes it offensive is the dude talking over it and... Oh, yeah. We had to show you this. Yes. We couldn't just tell you what was in it. I just hope no. we're getting um, smarter out there. You know, they're, they're obviously lying to us. You know, I hope yeah. we're becoming more media savvy. They did it for the ratings and yep. for the money that it will generate, and they should admit that openly. It's true. The problem is that nobody watches something less because they think it's reprehensible. You right. know what I mean? No, we so we like, as a people love reprehensible <clears throat> stuff. Yeah. yeah. We, well, why do people think in such a short period of time... You know, relatively speaking, and we've heard this thousands of times, uh, we've been on this planet for a very short period of time. I don't know why humans feel that we can evolve so quickly. You know, it was a, a, a nothing. It was such a small amount of time between the gladiators killing each other for yeah, amusement in the Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah, on the whole global timeline, yeah. the snap of a finger. It's not even that. Uh, yeah, it's it's nothing. It's not even yeah. a Why do people think because we learned how to build cool things mm. that in our heads we're not the same people that kind of dig watching atrocities well, and just I'm horrible things? Still, every day when I just look at traffic on a highway uh -huh. flowing smoothly, I'm amazed that people aren't just stopping their cars <laughs> and killing and raping everyone around them. And the only reason like, they're not, the you're right. You're right. I'm amazed that everyone doesn't do that the all the time. The only reason they're not is because they're late for something. That's it. Like they That's have it. to be somewhere. Yes. If people didn't have jobs, yes. like it, jobs is a way to keep this planet is. from just ending up with people ripping no. each other's clothing off, yes. raping, killing. Do, do you know, the I'll, entire I'll fabric of society is a distraction. That, because in yes. reality, you, what do you need a job for? To get money, to get food. You could grow food right outside your door and yeah. buy a cow sure. and drink the milk and then eat it later. But... We make this, we put it in another place where so you have to get more, just so that, first of all, so guys can get out of their houses and not listen to their s ugly, stupid wives. <laughs> and also, everybody's wife is stupid and ugly. You, and, <laughs> and so that people won't kill each other. Do you think yeah. uh, deep down uh, we secretly wish for stuff like this to happen? Yes. Is there like some kind of like excitement? That we feel. Dude, my, Absolutely. I've told you of my, my dream all the time. It is to be around for the complete apocalypse yeah, totally. of the world. Totally. I want to be around and just watch either the meteor hit or just a complete meltdown of all society yeah. where it's complete anarchy, nothing but gunfire and bombs I, outside. I want an yeah. alien invasion. Alien invasion that's, would be another great yeah, one. Nuclear, what, bah, that's just hack. I want, like, alien. <laughs> oh, you want something that, like, oh, amazing way out, out there. Even though totally. the movie sucked, War of the Worlds all the way. Oh, totally. Where yes. you just realize, wow, wow, we have no chance yeah. against this whatsoever. Oh. Great. You I, can't make phone calls and make some crazy last-minute deal mm -hmm. with a country. No, you don't even know how, they, you don't even know their language. <laughs> no, when Katrina, when they started making warnings about Katrina, yeah. I, I gotta say, there was at least 4% of me that was going, come on, come, come on, on, Levy. See it. Yeah, Don't hold. That. People are like, oh, you're crazy to say no, but that, they, but I think secretly we sorry, all have that there. deep inside us. Like, yeah. Why do you think people watch the news so much yes. like that? When there's big stories, the ratings go up on the news. Yeah. What are they watching it for? Hoping, oh, please solve this and get it off the air no, so I, I don't have I to see it anymore? You, when the guy got that envelope, after he, you know, uh, pulled down his pants and did what he obviously <laughs> did exactly. immediately to get to relieve himself of the anxiety he was feeling. <laughs> sure. And he, he he gathered people together and they said, okay, what if we release this? What happens? Well, people will be really upset. And then somebody else said, but will they watch us last? And he, nope. Nope. Put it right. out. It's Full on. Full speed ahead. They don't even yep. have that conversation. Hey, it's just yeah. it's a reflex. When I yeah. uh, I got home from doing some errands and, and I turned on the TV and saw this was going down, uh, in my brain, I'm like, cool. Like, wow, there's yeah. more to this story? Yeah. And then, like, I'm going to go home today, and I'm going to hope there's going to be another tidbit that comes out. That's why... I mean, I feel... I, I, you know, and I, I hope we don't have to say this, but of course we feel bad for the victims and all their families and all that, but as far as a viewer and, and, living, it, yeah. and living through this, when you hear that there's a new tidbit, you're running right to the it TV. It doesn't even have anything to do with the actual <laughs> tragedy. It, no. it, what it is, is we... 
how can we look at things like like uh, curse words being offensive and, and let's not offend people on their race and stuff when we are still so uncivilized uh, mentally oh, yeah. and with our own instincts that we enjoy watching suffering and crime and and murder yeah but janet jackson's boob and, yeah but that's, uh, that's the stuff that that's we got the worst thing that happened in american history in the last decade right yeah. i mean that changed the world yeah the booby slip <laughs> yeah, yeah that changed Come the on. world with a star over the nipple speaking we're on a bizarro planet speaking yeah, of disaster i don't know if you, you get, think of when i was 20 yeah, screw it you get the point we got to get more of the uh, uh napoleon dynamite dudes audio yeah. on and the don't area. say when i was 21 hiroshima I was, bastards. I was going to go with an Abe Lincoln joke. I <laughs> really go. I, I was just. You're going to really take the exaggeration I'm a, further. I'm, I'm a fan of exaggerated humor. It's <laughs> good. Actually, I'm not. I think it's awful. Why? Well, I, I said something like, when I was a kid, Christ was still an apprentice. <laughs> I didn't have to do this. I could have left. I could have fled. Jesus. But no, I will no longer run. It's not for me, for my children, for my Your brothers children. and sisters. The chief. I did it for them. Coward. What did is Nicholas Cage talking about? Yeah, he's uh, he's just over dramatic. Uh, he's if dope. you're gonna kill people and then manifesto his eyes, just <laughs> enunciate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just be clear. I find did a, it. For find a, don't make people strain. Find a proofreader too. Yeah. It might help you a little bit. Or yeah. be funny. How great would it be if there was no doing it? He was it, hilarious. And if, he, if he was like, like the had, king of comedy. And if he was like, <laughs> I hate to do this, but so many shoes do not match pants, and just went on this silly rant. <laughs> when I bop Ba -da -ba. Yes. Oh my God! Were you go girl? And he was high fiving someone that, that wasn't that there. Would be, that could only be described as I'm sorry, but it is hilarious. That would <laughs> yeah. be so creepy, man. It could only be described as a hoot. Just you gives an opie laugh. <laughs> you would have a lot of beavis and butthead faces on the news, like. Uh, um, uh, we did impressions, but it was like really bad impressions of Christopher Walken or Arnold Schwarzenegger, the one every comedian does. Uh, I'm the Terminator. <laughs> ah, yeah, that would be awful. Then would they air it? If he was being, like, funny? I don't know. I, how would they, what would the angle be there? His laugh of festo. Let's get, let's get more here. You sadistic stars, I may be nothing but a piece of <laughs> You have vandalized my heart, raped my soul, and torched my conscience. Ew. You thought it was one pathetic void life you were extinguishing. Thanks to you, I die like Jesus Christ. To inspire generations of the weak and the defenseless people. He was probably pissed because his time there machine didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, he just... Oh, freaking idiot. You know, the, uh, another thing that annoyed the hell out of me when I saw this clip is uh, it's offensive because it's a murderer uh, being given um, a forum on all the channels to discuss his lunacy after he's killed uh, 32 people. And and they bleep out the the yes. curse word like that's <laughs> Let the part of it. Hear the, yes, yeah, the, the, the brown word again, again. That's the part of it that they deem yes. unairable. Yes. <laughs> like, well, yeah. we all this is, but Jesus, he said the s word. Yeah, it's like when you see Blazing Saddles on TBS. Yeah, and they they actually take out the fart scene. Okay. They take it out. You will yeah. see the fart scene, but he, they say nigger about forty thousand yeah. times. Yeah, <laughs> they leave it. In. They leave yeah. it in and blazing what saddles. The but... purpose of bleeping is to save people from being offended. Maybe, offended, right? Maybe yeah. Reverend Al is on onto something. He's basically telling that we basically are telling America that a fart scene is not okay, but saying the n word is <laughs> that's <laughs> horrible. Wow, he, he he might have a point. <laughs> yeah, in that case, it it's does. just like, how do you play this guy who just, I mean, really just killed yeah. so many young people and actually bleep completely out the curse word. completely uh, fulfilling what he wanted, yeah. making it clear yeah. to everybody in the world that uh, this works every time. Yeah. If no. you kill people, whatever drivel. Yeah, it'll be it would all have been over. <laughs> great if somehow it went back to his parents or something with just a form letter. We appreciate your uh, input. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. NBC uh, has looked over your materials. We find that they're not worthy of broadcast. We do not accept unsolicited yeah. material. It's not in the wrong format. It's yeah. not HD television. It's not up to industry standards. <laughs> yeah. If I shot something like this and tried to get it on the air, forget it. There's yeah, no never. way that I could no. get Just based on how he shot it, it's out of focus. <laughs> it's... 
It's bleeding, uh, uh, you know, white on. Yeah, the, he didn't know. white balance it. He didn't white balance it at all. It's terrible. All right. Hey, uh, Rob Bartlett wants to check in, say hi. Rob, uh, we got. Uh, it, here's where he blames it on basically rap videos. Uh, I'll make it. I'll make that uh, connection. Oh, okay. Because he's talking about the Kanye, the cognac, and the Mercedes, and the rich people. Oh, you think that's who he was talking about? <laughs> yo, he, li I, he liked rap videos. Let's get right into Wasn't it. Wasn't he talking about the kids? Like they yeah, I think on so. your face and has trash shoved down your throat. Do you know what it feels like to dig your own grave? Do you know what it feels like to have your throat slashed from year to year? Do you know what it feels like to be torched alive? Do you know what it feels like to, to be humiliated to and be impaled, impaled upon on a cross and left to bleed to death for your amusement? No, and you neither do you, you stupid. Pain your whole life. Did you want to inject as much misery in our lives as you can, just because you can? You've had everything you wanted. Your Mercedes wasn't enough, you brats. Your golden necklaces weren't enough, you snobs. Your trust yes. fund wasn't enough. Your vodka and cognac weren't enough. All your debaucheries weren't enough. Those weren't enough to fulfill your hedonistic needs. You've had everything. Somewhere in his brain, he had to go, yeah, I think I finally got it. Yeah, I think I got my it. mission statement. All right, yeah. one take. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Did a few other takes, like, ah. Oh. I did it, yeah. Oh, he had to have had some awkward. You, 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 you didn't. Oh, oh boy, okay. Again, uh, you, you know, you torch my feels like torch my soul. That's uh, stupid. Uh, you know, what it feels like to cross hang on the uh, uh, beep <laughs> with the fun, with the funny cartoons uh, sticks. Yeah, <laughs> take it'll be on. Yeah, it'll, it'll be on one of those bloopers <laughs> shows. Out there, yeah, yeah, the cannonball run. Yeah, he's like yeah. he laughs and like, something like. A uh, with the yeah. credits rolling next to him. Hal Needham comes out and cuts the whole thing off. All right, cut. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Camera was an on. Dom DeLuise <laughs> laughing in the background. Uh -huh. <laughs> and finally, Brian Williams. Here's another, you know, mission statement from uh, NBC. Listen to this horse crap. We should probably say we're working with law enforcement on some of this because we don't want to create any more heroes or martyrs. <laughs> <from this. laughs> Too late. Too late. No you copycats. Wait a minute. We're working with heroes or martyrs. We're work. What does that mean? We're working. You're with not the FBI. You yeah. dopes. You're not working with anybody. Hand over the uh, material and oh, shut your God. mouth. Here's what he said earlier. The the whole way he worded it, the president of uh, NBC uh, News Division there, he worded it like law enforcement uh, told us that airing this wouldn't interfere with their investigation, which doesn't mean law enforcement didn't tell them don't air it. He said it wouldn't interfere with their investigation. Now it's when he was asked, did law enforcement, was there concern about airing this material? The question that was asked was asked, was there concern based on copycats? But he answered it. Law enforcement said this will not interfere with the investigation. No, it doesn't matter. Nobody has to tell you. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, it's right. like when, when uh, the Hillary Clinton and anybody else running for president talks about the money they've raised. And mm -hmm. they say, we we follow the letter of the law. Yeah, but you shouldn't take money from pe from companies. Right, right. There are certain take, people you, you shouldn't sh take you just shouldn't. money from. Let's get the rest of the law. We're running out of show. We want to get this on, and then we got Steve Kapp is trying to defend uh, just a few moments ago the videos and the pictures. Well, you mean Kapp is working with law enforcement on some of this because we don't want to create any more heroes or martyrs from so this. Silly. So the material has to be combed through. We will, after examining it, air more of these materials yeah. tomorrow sure. morning on. On today, again, a plug, as we so a plug. To go through and analyze what is in this voluminous multimedia package that arrived here at NBC. Like an a multimedia, in voluminous City. multimedia package. package. Now available on three discs <laughs> on KTL. <laughs> they just used this killer's material to promo <laughs> their own property. Yes. No, it's like, I was, you know, Robert Smigel that does the cartoons. Yeah. We were watching, back when Flight, this, nobody cares about this anymore, Flight 800, that was a, a uh, jet that, that fell off the, the you know, TWA. Went, it fell out of the sky into the water. Yeah. And uh, it was awful. All these people died. So then on CNN, they had this big um, promo. Ta -da, tonight, Flight 800. Uh, you know, what happened and who were the victims? And, and they were, it was so sensationalized that it was like it's trying to get you to go, oh, I love Flight 800. Oh. That's my favorite thing. That's my favorite show. Did you yes. see Flight 800 last oh, night? Awesome. I'm yeah. so glad they're doing Flight and, 800 again. And brought that up. Yeah. And they just make it look like it is a TV show. Because oh, now, now they put the music and the big, you know, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-d
talking like whenever somebody dies and one of their the the people that one of their relatives is on TV talking about how sad it was. Mm -hmm. That person was picked up by a town car, driven to a studio, right? They put yeah. a thing in their ear, yep. a microphone. They said, "Could we get a level from you?" They signed a thing. Yeah. They got powder on their face, a little yeah. makeup, a little yeah. hair, and then they, oh, <clears throat> okay, you ready? Oh my God, I'm so sad. It's just all phony. It's all showbiz. It's all fake. Here we go, Steve Kappas, uh or Krappus. He should be fired. We should demand this guy gets fired for just lying to the public why he is airing this crap, uh, and now everyone else is. He had, he, that one guy decided. He yeah. could have just said, you know what, no way. No effing way, but here's him trying to defend himself. You turn this material over, but then you, you've got a different decision to make, and this, this is also a big part of the news story. Well, um, sure, I mean, and we had a very long discussion with a number of people all seconds. throughout the organization and with well when you were having these long discussions did you have something in your ears like by the way is he being interviewed by a guy that works for him on fox you got your your puppet that is asking the questions that probably he told you <laughs> this is yeah. a script they're working yeah, off a script he should just be interviewing himself right yeah. <laughs> should i have done this Yes. Um, yes. That's an excellent question. I'm going to be asking myself <laughs> the hard questions today. Yeah, right, right. Yes. <laughs> Listen to the semantics that are used in this, though. Organization and with law enforcement about what to do with the material. Um, they, the, the Virginia State Police asked, uh, or made a reasonable request, which was to not do anything with the material until they had a chance to review it. Uh, so we uh, sat on the material for most of the day. I mean, wow, I mean, <laughs> most of what the day. day. Most wow. of the day, not even a day. Oh, God. Up on, on most of the most day. Most of the most day. Of the day. <laughs> All right, now I understand. No, they sat on it because they were waiting for the primetime yes. news to start. Yes. You don't want to show Isn't while there's that... just soccer moms at home exactly. in front of their TVs. He, he makes it sound like it's the timing of like when they release national security documents and the government. Yeah. 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 We put this into cold storage for most of the day. Of most of the day. Of so the that only later generations How does this of today. How job? How does he run the news department? <laughs> this, we didn't air this, uh, for what amounted to the tens of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't believe how many seconds went by. <laughs> we and most of the day was spent getting as uh, as many copies as possible. Yeah, they were doing other things during that time to get ready to air it. Yes. Right, we have an atomic clock that was <laughs> almost worn out. Yeah, we're we're just by the, the time we air. Oh this. God! I mean, as I said, it came into the building at 11 a.m. Um, there was one still picture released after the Virginia State Police had a news conference at which they announced that this material existed. What time? And the video didn't air before 6.30 last night. Oh, of course it did. So we Seven hours. The material all, day the day. Long, uh, all day long. All day long. Seven hours. Seven hours. How explain these horrible... Oh, then now he's trying to go, he's trying to go, now how do you, how could he have shot those people? Yeah. Like, now he's trying to, he's off the... Let's deflect uh, away from yeah. the fact that yeah. we're whores. Look, what we did is totally understandable, but what he did is... Uh... Yeah, I mean, come on. My <laughs> singing wasn't that bad, Simon. Just I mean, the... it was... <laughs> they never give disclaimers. Just the fact that they are. Yeah, they're, they're volume. They're yeah. panicking. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I, I think it's backlash. The, backlash. I think the backlash. Media frenzy time because the rest of the media is pile on, pile on. And the rest of the media will have no problem turning this into a frenzy because they're all pissed that they didn't get the tape. They didn't get it. Yeah. Horrible events. Oh. And oh. this is, I think, as close as we will ever come to being inside the mind of a killer. And and I thought uh, that it needed to be released. And um, I, I note that. Pretty much every single uh, news organization all around the world has made the same decision. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, but you got it. you had it in your hand. Examine the contents of the manifesto and so forth. Manifesto. You had it in your hands. You could have actually stopped all of them from airing it. They did it. it. They NBC sent it to it. you. It's why does it have to say NBC? I know. Yeah. He must really. He just must be a fan of NBC. He is. Oh, I, While he was shooting people, he was going dun dun dun. I <laughs> hope, <my. laughs> he was trying to make peacock I, things. I hope you sleep well. Good night, Mr. Kappas. All right. At about 1.30 in the morning on April 12th, William Lewis walked down the hall at Texas Women's <laughs> Hospital. That white bundle in his hands, his four-day-old baby girl. Oh. Several minutes later, a Houston police officer shot Lewis with a taser, and the baby, Carla, crashed to the floor. 
motherfucker. Officer Crap. David Bowling <laughs> and amazing. a sheriff's deputy claim they thought Lewis was kidnapping his baby. Lewis contends he and his wife just wanted to leave the hospital and simply did not follow hospital rules. So the guy uh, got tased. He got tased for walk, uh, <laughs> going, uh, leaving the hospital with his baby without a wristband or something. Yeah, they, well, they don't know. I mean, they try to talk to the guy. There's a history with this guy of domestic violence. With his woman, so they might How do have they know? Known. What do they look him up before they fucking oh, I don't tase know. him? I don't know. That might just be stuff I found out after. But the guy was being a. Douche. They got a baseball card for his wife beating. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> look at his stats. Let's yes. tase this. We, we need more in the story because it gets to the point where they're tasing him as he's leaving the hospital. With That's a, crazy. A, a four day old. What happens? Does anyone? This, <coughs> the babies have little bracelets. It's really genius. So you can't. Steal yeah, but babies. they. But did they? Did did they tell him? Put the baby down or put the baby back. And I think he kept they walking. did. I don't know. They were trying to talk to him. He wasn't being cooperative. But they didn't just go yes or hit four and then zap somebody him. who's fucking uh, holding, holding a, baby? a baby. I agree, but he's a big guy. It doesn't seem right when she says the baby crashed to the. Fl it's a baby. It's not a you know crashed to the floor like a bunch of tin cans and a. Yeah, it's a little baby. Mm. The 22-year veteran officer appears to arrive at the incident holding his taser. Under, the, under this circumstance, when you know you've already got a, an issue up there, you've already got a, a large male suspect who's already agitated and already threatening, uh, you'd already come up with your taser. After a couple of minutes of talking with Lewis, Bowling shoots his taser. When the Houston father went down, the baby did as well. Lewis claims the newborn fell on her head and suffered severe injuries. After the fall, officers handed the baby to her stunned mother. She has since spoken out against the officer and defended her husband. Wow. I've got to wonder what kind of a moron would tase an adult holding a baby, said George Kirkham, a former police officer and criminologist at the University of California, Berkeley. It doesn't take rocket science to realize the baby's going to fall. Yeah, man. You're yeah, not going to hold on to the ball. Yeah. Uh, hold on to the ball. Hold on to the baby. <laughs> when the guy's tased. The guy's dying to use that taser. The elevators would not move because wristband <laughs> sensors on each baby shut off the elevators if anyone takes an infant without yeah, permission. Yeah, you can't get out. Uh, How come the father wasn't wearing a, a wristband? I don't know, but because uh, they always give the father a wristband. Yeah. Well, there you go. That that's terrible. I'm sorry. Ooh, perfect, Jimmy. Perfect. I still have my wristbands from when my daughters were born, so I can go steal babies. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing is they don't turn it off. <laughs> I could have had two for lunch. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, here's uh, this guy. Brooklyn Ace knows a little more. Brooklyn Ace, what's up? Yeah, I have a feeling I have the same article in front of me as you do, Opie, because I'm, I sent it in to Steve. Um, the part that I found amusing was Child Protective Services has custody of baby because of a history of domestic violence between Lewis and his wife, Jacqueline Gray. Um, first of all, why does she have a different last name? Sounds like there's a huge well, issue here. But it, it, it's like... What? Right. Now you raise a good point. No, it's not. My wife and I have different names. No, nah, but he's right. This guy's right, though. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Why would you All right. tease a guy with All right, Brooklyn Ace. Ridiculous. Later, guys. All uh, nice. right. Uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, we should do this before break. He wants uh, Isaiah Thomas to apologize. And if uh, Isaiah Thomas, of course, the head coach of the Knicks, doesn't apologize, mm -hmm. uh, he wants everyone to stop going to Knicks games. This uh, is insane. Isn't that happening? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that? Well, uh, yeah, it's happening. Sharkin's the black guy, right? He's the black guy? Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, Just making sure. Why He's, is he uh, getting involved with, in everyone's business? Yeah, I don't know. It, what does he it, want him to apologize for? Um, for saying derogatory things toward women. Toward black women. Toward black women? Oh, right, of course, because he doesn't care about, about anyone else. That's true. Yeah. Uh, called her the B word. Bitch. He called her that went, like, during the sexual harassment uh, lawsuit that, that went down? That yeah. she just got awarded $11 million, million. Dollars for, so $11.5 he million. He said that because of, like, he said that publicly? Or? No, during work. During work. What is he? He's and that's worth eleven million dollars. Yeah, yeah, and no. that's not good enough for Reverend Al. Now, now I say, why does this guy think he can tell everybody what to do? Why do How they should be can... apologizing and for what? Or in telling people not to go to the games? Yeah, and more importantly, what a is dumb what... way to try to activate socially. Yep. What a stupid idiot this He's guy is. A jerk. He's he the had, worst guy alive. And, and and for some reason, and I blame the uh, Democrats for letting him get up there and speak at their convention, yep. 
he has this credibility that he never had before. Yep. He was always the goofy sweatsuit, big yeah, hubcap medallion joke, joke mm -hmm. that would be a race baiting, taunting, you know, Nobody white interloper. No, no one took him seriously with the Tawana Brawley debacle. And then the, he dresses in a suit and the Democrats let him talk. And all of a sudden he's got this credibility that people yeah. seem to think if he says something, they should do it. He's an adult. Well, this is what he's saying today. Isaiah Thomas speaks to Reverend Al Sharpton, but so far... And now freaking Isaiah Thomas has to yeah. meet with Reverend Al Sharpton. Why are people meeting with this guy? Stop! Let him crawl back to his crap hole that he was in It doesn't when... help if you said something. Like, every time somebody says that, well, i got to meet with the Reverend Al now. Yeah, and yeah. what's going to happen in that room, really? Same thing that happened to Imus. They show, at least they showed that live. Yeah. It wasn't a, a private meeting. It was on the air, and you just saw him crucify Don Imus. Uh, Don Imus did apologize. Reverend Al wasn't accepting it. Are no apology. Sharpton says he wants Thomas to say he's sorry for statements he made in a videotaped deposition shown in his sexual harassment case. In that video, Thomas said it is worse for a white man to use the B word against a black woman than it is for a black man to use the same word against a black woman. Reverend Sharpton says if Thomas does not apologize, he will launch protests and call for boycotts of upcoming Knicks games. Stop meeting with Reverend Al. I know enough. Just stop. He's not. It's good enough. Don't you think it's good enough that th th this woman got eleven million? Move on. He's not even. He's the smart. coach of the Knicks. He's not oh. even intelligent. No, he's not. That's the thing. He's not. He's stupid. He's a dumbbell. I told Mr. Thomas that our position has nothing to do with whether. The person using the language is black or white. We do not have different standards for sexism or racism. Thomas says he has nothing to apologize for since he has already clarified that it is wrong for any man to insult any woman. Tuesday, Isaiah Thomas and Madison Square Garden were found guilty you know of sexually harassing former Knicks executive Anuka Brown Sanders. Thomas and MSG both say they will appeal. You know what? It's not wrong for any man to insult any woman. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my yeah. life. It's not wrong to insult a person. It's insulting to them, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. You can call people names. Name calling is okay. Yeah. Because people get mad at each other and they call each other names. I yeah, that's what happens this, at work. This new idea. People think that they like that. There's something in the Constitution that protects them from being offended. Like there's something wrong with offending people. Like, mm -hmm. like they actually have. Like they actually think it's in the Bill of Rights, freedom from being offended or feeling <laughs> icky about something. <laughs> Someone yeah, feeling, said, feeling icky. You're not. You're not protected. <laughs> people get to offend you, and you get to sit there and go, "Oh, that didn't bother me," and then shut up. There's no, there's, there's nothing that keeps, no right. People have a right to be gross and insulting, and people mm -hmm. have a right to say bad things all they want. Yeah, and and uh, not according to Reverend Al. Yeah, and, no, that's why he has to die in a pool of his own blood and and <laughs> uh, secretions. And you can't tell anybody to apologize. It doesn't work. No, you can't say apologize because it will not be a sincere apology. No, it really has to not, come from it's yourself. Okay, if he's not sorry. Yeah, who cares? Yes, he's not sorry. He's not sorry. I'm not he's sorry. Not, he doesn't have to be. No. Hey, uh, it's also feel good story Monday. It's feel good story Monday. Oh, on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, do we do we have a feel good story? Yeah. I don't know. When I was looking through the paper this morning, I didn't see one feel good story. Mm, I got it. It's right here. In Orlando, Florida, a Walt Disney World worker faces felony charges <laughs> after authorities <laughs> said he'd made plans to have sex with a minor he met online. Wait this a minute. man, Michael Bott Jr., was arrested because, as it turns out, the minor he allegedly planned to have sex with was a police detective posing as a 14-year-old girl. So Authorities say Bot repeatedly told his chatting buddy that what they were planning was 
technically rape. Police say Bott confessed to the charge when confronted. He's being held on $20,000 bond. There you go. Your feel-good story for this Monday. Wow. Goofy. Well, the, the, <laughs> you know, the creeps aren't uh, going to be doing anything. All right. So you can spin anything into so a feel-good story. So that's a feel-good story. I thought feel-good stories were all feel-good. Not I This feel one was good. potentially tragic. Uh, excuse me. It may, it's making a lot of parents uh, feel good today that yeah. this creep's not around anymore. See? That's the brilliance of us. In Orlando. I, you can they, make anything into a feel-good story. They definitely arrested the only child molester in uh, the Disneyland. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it was yeah. an isolated incident. You never, ever see. No. Pedos just you know, wandering see through there. with a erection. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's no. Picture with two four-year-olds. You know what his face is doing behind that mask? <laughs> just <laughs> if you could take the head off, you'd run away. Uh, so you don't think that's a feel-good story for people out there? Uh, no, I consider feel-good stories like a um, uh, dog uh, comes back to the owner after mm -hmm. being lost for two years because right. he got uh, dumped out of a car in right, me, kind of Arizona. Right, yeah, even that is depressing. <laughs> all right, give me another shot at it. I'm trying <laughs> to think of any feel-good story, to tell you the truth. I got it. Because they're all based in tragedy because in order to feel good, there has to be something bad there yeah. that someone overcame. Uh, how about uh, how about this as your feel-good story? Okay. Let me see your shaker pie. What did you say? It's true that in some situations, disabled children are held back from the normal activities, which mm. others... So far, so good, or... Uh, it sounds like they're having fun. and Oh, uh, yeah. Sounds like they've right. had some disabled children being given a chance to have some fun. Okay. Yeah, this c could be good from the normal activities which others may get to enjoy. But for friendship special ed teacher and cheerleading sponsor Casey Ketcher said that simply wasn't an option. If anybody in the school deserves a chance, I feel it's these girls. She decided that for seven disabled students at the middle school, it was time to shine. Well, I had one of them the other day tell us that this was her dream her whole life. I always prayed that I always wanted to be a, um, a cheerleader. Oh, no. Yeah. Look at me. Oh boy, they're 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 making them cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is what feel good story Monday's all oh, about, Anthony. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the problem? Samantha oh. Hudson has a special honor. <laughs> Leading the squad, a dream come true. I'm a, a team captain and also I I take care of my team and make sure they have fun. I feel like I can go out there and... I also like to eat pennies. <laughs> <laughs> they have fun. I feel like I can go out there and just be myself. They don't think that they're different, and that's what I love about them, is they're ready to go out there and cheer for the Tigers, <laughs> this is and they okay. don't even think Wait a they second. have disabilities. What? <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with these kids. These kids have slurred speech. Yeah, yeah. They're having a good time cheerleading, and they're not bothering anybody. But this woman, this young woman, yeah, I, I hate her. <laughs> because actually, the kids doing their cheerleading, that's great. That is actually great. But she's like, they don't think that they're different, and that's what I love about yeah, them. Yeah, they don't think that they they're different. They we all know yeah, they are. They're not different. <laughs> right. Why You're she, making them different. The fact that they don't see how hideous they are is so cute. And R E T A R D Retard Retard Yay Woo Cheer for the Tigers and they don't even think that they have disabilities and they don't even think the chance not only to achieve We're trying to really them, tell them part of that tiger spirit. Stop be your hands and retarded. Oh, right. Be be retarded. <laughs> be retarded. <laughs> I want to see the black uh, retarded cheerleaders. You know we retarded. Yeah. Uh -oh. We are retarded. Double time. Yeah. Uh oh, retarded. I show my ass. I am retarded. Yeah. Stomp your hands and clap your feet. Retardation can't be beat. Yeah. Yeah. Smokezilla, Kentucky. I think the whole school as a whole is starting to see 
these girls as being, you know, part of the heart of Friendship Middle School. Ketcherson says it's amazing to know that something so simple could provide the girls with the experience. Oh, that they're life. talking about the kids. It's so, <laughs> so simple. To know that um, these girls may not ever have this opportunity again. So it's really important to all of us. Oh, uh, you self-serving. Why, why is George Steinbrenner talking about the Yankees <laughs> <laughs> like that? They are the best retarded cheerleaders in the world. And Joe Torre is the best manager. <laughs> yeah. All right, is that we got an extra chromosome. How about you? <laughs> no? Wow. <laughs> so is that your feel-good story today? Uh, it is a feel-good story. Well, what's up, then? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, are they... Are they... Are they hot? Yeah, the point cheerleaders are kind of like, yeah, yeah you got to be hot. Cheerleaders are a very sort of little Nazi organization of hot women. Yeah. And yeah. so to try to make the retarded girls. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> Just fall all over each other. Yeah, they don't do the pyramid. They just call no. it the human pile. They just make like, an Abu Ghraib like pile of retarded girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Well, we we get to meet the cheerleader, uh, some of the cheerleaders here in this uh, next clip. Hmm. My name is William, and I like to wear dresses. <laughs> That's William. Oh. Uh, what awesome. else does he like besides dresses? My name is William. And I like fingernail polish. Yeah. Fingernail polish. And then this is, uh, this is, this polish. is, this is why he, uh, cheerleads. I would be happy looking like a woman. Yeah, of course. I would get rid of all my male clothes mm. and get only girl clothes. Girl clothes. I like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> that guy's just, he's my favorite. He's the best one. <laughs> Oh, uh, well. These retarded girls are cheerleading, and it's, you know, just something for them to do before they go work in a box factory. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and live in a room where nobody likes them for the rest of their lives. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this thing is that only any, anybody cares about is young, retarded people. Yeah, true. Retarded kids go to the Olympics, but when you're a 48-year-old retarded man... What are you, you doing? Getting any more medals? You're at a, you're, <laughs> no medals coming <laughs> no. your way for separating the green glass from the you know, brown glass at the recycling <laughs> plant. That's it. It, you know, speaking of glass, we got something. Yes, uh, Danny ran in because uh, we forgot about this. Uh, Louis's not that far off. And <laughs> yeah. actually, you say that it, it could mean uh, that's what happens to the star quarterback on half these high school yeah. teams. Like, it, right? It's all downhill after high school. No, yeah, no, no matter what you do. And yes, for the retarded kids, it's really yeah. What's up, <laughs> what's up, Danny? Just a side note. About the uh, that uh, new story about the uh, the slow cheerleading squad. Yeah. One of the girls on the squad is actually in a wheelchair, and they showed her sitting wow. in her cheerleading uniform with pom poms in her wheelchair. I just thought that yeah. was funny. Well, are any of them hot? I'm not gonna... No, <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to comment right, on then. well, <laughs> hot retarded girl. Well, okay. Well, the... All right, we don't have the sweeper, but I'm going to attempt the feel good story again uh, for today. We we need one good feel good story, so let's try this one. Okay. Or maybe not. You gotta reach what? the seat. This is the McDonald's at 7th and Broadway, where Monday a 20 year old described as an employee here had a baby in the bathroom. All I see was everybody running to the um, bathroom and stuff. And, um... So far, so good, right? Uh, For a feel good story. Somebody Monday? had a, a well, baby in a bathroom, yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. You know, that's it's good, like, right? Hey, it was baby like a Christmas story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the circle of life. Yeah, circle of life. Playing out at that yeah. uh, McDonald's in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's your feel-good story That's for Monday. Where you want to happen? If we it. stop here, <laughs> if we stop here. <laughs> but something tells me it's going to go hard. Baby's going to be drinking ammonia in a second. I just kept walking. I don't want to be involved in none of that. But I didn't know somebody was in there having a baby. Turns out, I gave the man UPS. UPS. <laughs> Well, this customer knows the employee that, according to this police report, told paramedics she then tried to flush three times. Wow. That's bad. Masked workers are credited for taking the baby boy. That's all I could get as a comment oh, from somebody. Man, nice. that's bad. Man. I think it's a little more than bad. Eey. Out of the toilet and doing CPR, they say he was not breathing and had no pulse. All this happening at the end of the busy lunch hour here. Yeah. Mm. Cool. So every year that kid is going to have a almost flush down the toilet day <laughs> instead of a birthday. The mother was taken from the restaurant to Truman Med Center. They're all with laughing and stuff. 
something else, basically. Why? Did she ever talk about being pregnant? No. This police report also has paramedics saying she told them she didn't know that she was pregnant. But investigators looking into what happened here say they have information indicating the McDonald's employee told others about her pregnancy. Now, we reached that woman today. She's still at TMC. She did not want to talk. No one at the restaurant, none of the employees is talking either. The baby born at 32 weeks is here, is expected to survive, and Child Services now has custody of that baby boy. Mm. She didn't know. She thought that she was uh, taking a baby-shaped shit out of her cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she thought it was. And so she was trying to flush it like a good employee. Three times. She was trying to flush and then wash her hands and go back to work. Three fucking she times she and was, couldn't get it down? She thought she took a fleshy shit out of her vagina. All right, well. <laughs> is that the feel good She story? had a fucking look. That She probably that eats the McDonald's every day. Yeah. If you eat that shit every day... You never you know what you're going to shit You a baby out. out of your twat. <laughs> that's how bad that food is for you. All right, that's not a good feel-good story. It's very binding. I don't think it's feel-good. All right, I'm I trying. I think it's funny. All right, I'll try here. Well, let's keep trying. We need one good feel-good story for this Something Monday. Something that's got to warm the cockles. Uh, the cockles. What is a cockle? A cockle. Where is the cockle? It's part of the heart. You get it? It's a... But isn't it warm all the time, then? I think so. All right. He had his gun out. I've never this? been in that situation before, so I took off. Fifteen-year-old Mark Atkins is now facing several charges after taking a joyride in a stolen car and getting into a short pursuit with police in southwest Oklahoma City. But along with the charges, he's now facing an uphill battle with his health after being captured by a canine officer that tore away flesh along with his scrotum. Oh! <laughs> That's a feel-good story. Along with his scrotum. Oh, we almost flesh. there? And oh, by the way, oh, yeah. his ball bag. Some of that flesh <laughs> was his scrotum. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I got to hear that again. He just casually throws in and, oh, yeah, the dog ripped off his scrotum yeah, and started chewing it like bubblegum. He didn't need gum. to tell us. That's not oh. newsworthy. Right. The fact that it was his balls was not newsworthy. Right, a little right. leather chew toy. That was just a little throw-in. Yeah. Battle with his health after being captured by a canine officer that tore away flesh Along with his scrotum. <laughs> along with his, his scrotum. Hi, right, Joey, give us another read on along with his scrotum. A little more dramatic. <laughs> along with his scrotum. Now, now, make it a little more dark. Mm -hmm. Along with his scrotum. That's perfect. Circle that take. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. How many along with his scrotum <laughs> takes do you think he has? I want to hear that take. Along with his, his scrotum. <laughs> no, 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 no. no you're no, not no. getting the essence no, you of along it. with his scrotum. No, right. because the first one was tore away his flesh along with his scrotum. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. You slow can't down. just glance we over have that, a baby. Of... you got to slow down yeah, a little bit. Slow down on the There's scrotum. a yield here. you got to slow yeah. a little bit. How many stories have you read with along with his scrotum? Him this week. <laughs> right, right. Don't you fucking know when to pause? It's drama, motherfucker. Try again. Let's go. Tape's rolling. Along with his scrotum. I, it sounds like you're. It's like the weather or something. Along with. Ooh. Feel a little, you know. Scrotum. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is pointing out love is fake voice. Yeah. If you can't get up for a scrotum ripping story, yeah. then you, you, you don't belong in the business. Yeah. All right. Uh, more to the story. The doctors told me I didn't think they didn't think that we were gonna be able to stitch me back together. He was in the trauma for seven to nine days, and it, it's, I just never seen anything like. Wouldn't you be in trauma for the rest of your life, more I, or less? I mean, nine days. For a That's few days. nine days. I felt amazing. <laughs> right, nine days. I'm like, ah, <laughs> fuck it. Throw them, blow them. Throw them anyway. Fucking dog bit my ball bag off, but <laughs> yeah, it's nine days. Ah, ago. You move on. Who gives yeah. a shit? It looks like an inf like a deflated balloon mm. now. Yeah. Ah, who cares? Who gives a shit? I don't need that. Like this done to a minor. Obviously, they're not trained to bite in this particular area of the body. <laughs> Officers say Mark was not handcuffed oh. when the dog attacked and claimed the animal was just doing what it was trained to do. Huh. They had the officer on top of the individual. They're on the ground. The guy's resisting. The dog is trying to assist his handler with this aggressive behavior as best he can. I can't explain how painful it was, but it's like being tied up and eating alive. Mark says he was no longer resisting. His mother now hopes legal action will help the police admit they were wrong. Oh, there are some good officers out there, 
-hmm. and there's some bad ones, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think in order to clean it up, they need to let these officers take it, take responsibility for what they do to the public. I got something to add to that statement. There's some uh, good kids out there, and there's, there's some, some bad, bad kids. Ones. That's right. The they deserve a dog to... ripping their scrotum. The good ones get to walk away with their balls. <laughs> All right. Yep. Sometimes the bad ones don't. That's all she's got. There's bad cops, good cops. Nope. How about there's bad kids? That kid kids, was good kids. Bagging groceries, uh, saving money for his college fund. A dog would never in his life get off <laughs> right. his scrotum. Right. <laughs> all right, I'm on a mission. we got to find just one good feel good story for today, Monday. Got to find. This is. Uh, that one was great. Is that a good feel good story, you think? Made me feel good. I feel pretty good. I left. Do yeah. you guys feel good? No? Is there a mic off? <laughs> They're in a soundproof booth. <laughs> what happened? I feel better no, than I did on. before the story. All right, let me try another I one. can't believe, also, while we, you're looking, yeah, the one Paltaw camera I have control of is the worst camera in the whole place. All I can get is a black leather chair. It's in there, so I can't even get the audience because it hits the TVs. It doesn't go down low enough. It's too close to the TVs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't get us. I can only get a chair or the Opie and Anthony or the Ron and Fez carpet. Do the Ron and Fez carpet. They, right. they can use the promotion. Sure. There you go. That's what there you get is. today. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Now, we need one of these feel-good stories uh, to bring everyone together. Like, mm -hmm. you feel good, but the uh, the crowd out there, they're shaking their head. They're like, nah, I don't feel good after that story. So let's try another no. one here. Feel-good story Monday. You ready yet? Ready. All right, here's the next one. Let's tr let's see if this is the one that brings everyone together. Police are looking for a driver in a deadly hit and run. Yeah, but they're also looking for some thieves who ripped off the victim as he lay bleeding and dying on the sidewalk. It's an unbelievable <laughs> story. Here's some video. Oh. Oh. That's awesome. That's fun. Oh, look at that. What happened to that guy? Take his wallet. <laughs> oh, my God. That guy just got hit by a car 10 seconds ago. Take his watch. I, I wish it was that because he would almost understand. Understand if it was his uh -huh. wallet, his whatever, his all right, you know, what did they take money? Thieves who ripped <laughs> off the victim as he lay bleeding and dying on the sidewalk. It's an unbelievable story. Here's some video from the scene near Maine and Horn in Mesa. Police tell us the man happened to be waiting for a bus with his groceries in hand when an out of control truck hit him and killed him. Instead of helping the man, people nearby started stealing his groceries. Oh they made off with him in the God. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be uh, shitting like me. Yes, or, he got organic eggs. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> he's got blueberries. It's a perfectly good cantaloupe. <laughs> yeah, blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not his wallet with his money and his no. credit cards. It's stupid groceries. Oh, my God. Instead of helping the man, people nearby started stealing his groceries. They oh, made off with them, and the truck driver now faces felony charges. If caught, he also took off. The people who stole those groceries could also face theft charges mm. as oh, well. Oh, boy, that's wow. a biggie. That, that theft, theft charge is yeah. a biggie, man. <laughs> Grand Theft Lemon. <laughs> is that a good feel to say? Oh, God. What, are they, what, what were they saying out there? Uh, nothing. I'm zooming in on... Uh, uh, you got the camera working. There we go. Well, I got one more camera working. There we go. It's like Apollo 13 in here. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. You gotta keep, keep just holding shit together with duct tape. Not smart uh, on XM's part, by the way, because mm. uh, you're dealing with guys that have ADD to begin with. So yep. what do you do? You, you you throw a bunch of shiny new toys in I know, front of new us. new things. Joysticks and cameras. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, yeah, we're supposed to do a radio show. I forgot yeah. about the radio show for a second. Right. Uh, is that your feel-good story? Uh, I feel I, I don't feel good about that. That was no, no, no? no. <laughs> that's not a good one. Yeah, the poor bastard. All right, how about uh, all right? I'm gonna try two more. Maybe maybe one more. Let's we'll try this for your feel-good story for this Monday. I put Cromwell on the camera. Stupid Cromwell. Cromwell. Cromwell's on cam. A name I like to say. He's the only one I could uh, get on camera through the like slot in the door. <laughs> Cromwell. Cromwell. He walks into FH. I go, hello, Cromwell. <laughs> Stupid Cromwell. <laughs> I think it's some abuse. Pick a, a worse name. In the ONA, Cromwell. in the ONA community, then Cromwell. Even Flea is, you know, whatever Flea. But Cromwell. That's his first name. Flea. No, Cromwell. He's right there. That's I guess that's his first that's name. His handle. That's his handle. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Cromwell. All right. Here's another feel-good story. Let's try another one here. 
Wow, there's quite a delay in that fucking thing, huh? Yes. Police describe it as bottom of the barrel. Surveillance tape rolls as a toddler is forced to steal at a boardwalk arcade in Seaside Heights. The real life case has a lot of parallels to Oliver Twist. Watch as the woman sets down a little girl at Lucky Leo's arcade and kicks her under a swing gate below a glass counter. The child then grabs an employee's purse. The purse had approximately $165 in cash. It was a coach purse and had numerous credit cards in there. If this woman can do this to this child now, to use the innocence of a child to commit a crime, it's much easier for that woman to purvey this child to do more crimes. Police uh, right now are working on leads. They say points. an arrest yeah. is imminent. That was, that was very so poorly, poorly stated. Worded. Yes. If it was easy for her to use the child's innocence to do this, then it will be easy for her. Oh, never mind. In the future, oh, to maybe. Right. I oh, forget it. It's a, It's bad. <laughs> it's, all right, this is the last uh, attempt at the feel-good story for this Monday, all right? It is a medical mistake that is hard to imagine. A woman goes through a painful double mastectomy believing she had cancer. But that diagnosis was entirely wrong, and now that woman is suing. Uh, I just... I thought they were going to say, but now that woman is... Is flat chested. <laughs> so, suing. She better get more than eleven and a half million dollars yeah, for that. Right? That to so. me is a lot worse than someone calling you a bitch at work. I would say so, yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Now that woman is suing. I just broke down and cried and I really didn't know what happened in the room from that point on. News Dairy Eason says she couldn't even believe the doctor told her she didn't have breast cancer, but it was too late. Weeks after she had a double mastectomy. Oh. The good news is your breasts are not cancerous. The bad news is that they're in a bucket in the uh, hospital waste dump. <laughs> and uh, it's too late. They're mixed in with other people's uncancerous breasts. Yeah, we really can't reattach them at this point. Yeah, yeah. Seems like that's not going to work. Seems like you get these stories from time to time where yeah. they take the wrong leg mm -hmm. off, the wrong arm. Mm -hmm. Some patients have taken to um, writing uh on their own legs. Yeah. Like on their this own legs. This is the leg. bad one. Yeah, bad leg. This one's yeah. got to go. She right. should have had written, please make sure yeah. they have cancer before Double you check fucking that. scoop them out. Double check. By the way, now uh, Cromwell's getting some uh, advice. Smokezilla writes, sweep the leg, Cromwell. Sweep the leg. <laughs> <laughs> sweep the leg, Cromwell. <laughs> and someone else saying that you do sound like a Cromwell. Here's uh, more to the story. It just hit me uh, that all the uh, things that I had gone through, my family, my, my child, that it was unnecessary. Her life was changed forever. She says it happened after the lab made a horrible mistake. Mm -hmm. They mixed up her report with someone else's. Yeah. Now she's suing the medical lab in Rybrook, CBL Path. In spite of the best efforts, these things happen. But I don't understand that. A state report blames the mix-up on a technician at the lab. Oh. He admitted to cutting corners when labeling the specimen. Oh, boy. He cutting just wrote corners. He wrote lady. <laughs> he wrote some lady's tits. <laughs> <laughs> and they got mixed up with some other lady's tits. Was with the, other, the other label said some other lady's tits. Wow. Yeah. It's just cutting some corners. Yeah. And uh, you're getting to uh, the obvious. There is a second victim. Oh, well, because there's a mix-up. So oh, there's, there's a lady a who's fucking oh, breasts. Wait a minute. Oh, some lady's got black breasts. <laughs> right, she's and she Korean. She's oh, she got some great news. And then <laughs> and some other lady's got cauliflower on her nipples. <laughs> oh, here's the she was told that she's fine a week ago. Here's the second victim to the story. There's a second victim. Yeah. The woman whose information got switched with Jerry's. That woman was apparently told she didn't have cancer, but found out much later that, in fact, she did. I hope no one ever has to go through that. I hope nobody ever has to deal with that, because it's, it, you can't explain it to a person and have them understand unless they've been through it, and I hope no one ever has to go through this. Now, the attorney isn't saying how much money they're asking for, and the technician, by the way, who made that mistake in the first place, well, they no longer work for the company. Well, really? Hmm. I thought he got well, a, well, I thought he like got a promotion. Oh, then I guess everything's fine then. Sounded like a great uh, employee. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? 
<laughs> he has the old squeaky mic. I thought it was a dog barking in the in the background. All right, we got. Uh, we have a lot of like stuff that we haven't got to in a long time. So yeah, it's time to clean house. This isn't a bad idea. In search of your um, feel good story, yeah. I don't think that was it either. No, no. both people it. lost. It wasn't like the other woman, you know, learned that she didn't have <laughs> cancer <laughs> and saved her boobs. Right. You know, at the last minute, right when they were ready to slice. Why did he ran tell in. her? Is the thing? Why did the doctor tell her? Yeah, because he he must have been like, I can't wait to see the look on her fucking face. <laughs> so I tell her that it was yeah, unnecessary. At that, at that point, why would why you tell bother her? telling her? Just go, hey, looks like the operation went perfectly. Wow, it's and, looking good. Uh, now your perfectly healthy breasts are gone, yeah, and maybe. you're looking great. I'd say your chance of uh, any Remission? type of uh, cancer reoccurring is uh, zero. Right. Yeah. We beat it back. <laughs> All right. Here's you're welcome. A- Here's something crazy that happened to a senior citizen. It was just a, basically a misdemeanor shoplifting call. $25 worth of candy from a Safeway. Officers came to the Governor's Park Retirement Community to question a man in his late 60s. Police say the man met them at the door with a handgun. Fired four to five shots. Jeez. Hello. Three shots at a Windsor police officer in his protective vest. Another round hit his lower body. I like, um... A pop, pop, but not like a boom. We did have one officer who did return shots. That's when we brought everybody inside the house. And then within five minutes, uh, everybody showed up. And then they all were cocking their guns. And I, so they ran by and said, get in your houses, get in your houses. He just started firing. He stole 25 lousy dollars of candy. And, and they then go they, to the retirement they, home to question him. And he, he shot a cop. Like he's a cop cops. killer. <laughs> over his c- stealing because, candy. Uh, <laughs> flashback. Listen uh, what happens, though. For three hours, SWAT teams maneuvered around the neighborhood. They have attempted negotiations, but at this point, uh, there's been no response. So he's then like a SWAT team robot with a camera told them why. The suspect lay dead inside his home, uh, perhaps injured uh, in the initial exchange of fire. He was, he was my neighbor. No. Joe Harris knew his eccentric neighbor is Ed. Right. Eccentric. No, is it. Harris says his neighbor was a loner. Different. Liked to brag about his gun collection. In fact, Harris says his neighbor came by his apartment early in the afternoon, wanted to talk about some issues he was having. Harris says Ed stormed out when another neighbor interrupted their conversation. I didn't get a chance to to under, find out what was troubling me. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's just one of those crazy old guys that decided. Have, the, the guy at the end should say, and none of the people in this story matter. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Brian Neal Rosema pulled from a house and hauled off to jail. He's charged with more than 100 counts of child pornography in a shocking and disgusting crime. One week ago, Rosema entered this Walmart in West Melbourne, and police say used a self-help photo kiosk to print 140 photos depicting child pornography and molestation of a child under the age of 12. After the final photo was done, police say Rosama left, unaware that the printer had simply run out of paper. When an employee restocked the paper, more lewd photos fell out. And that's when Walmart called police. Oh my God. Uh, he goes to Walmart to put out freaking kitty They got things. great prices. <laughs> they got great prices. Walmart is awesome. Uh, Even if you're printing uh, children with your dick in their ass. Don't these people it's realize? It's very good prices. Don't, don't they realize that's a crime? Well, like, do they, do how could it be a crime when it so, feels so good? <laughs> it's, you might as well just... Print up some some yeah. prototype money, yeah. and go there and go. Could you just pr- keep printing these, and I'll yeah. be back. And so there's a big pile of counterfeit hundreds. Yeah, no, it's it's a I crime. Really, child molesters go are so flagrant, like they're so bad. Yeah, they're it, horrible. It really, the only th- truth could be that it that fucking kids is awesome <laughs> because people people risk their freedom they risk livelihood their, 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 everything everything li- the yeah, their their family friends yeah. freedom all the guys that go on that whatever that show is the you know predator show predator all it's the guys that show up and they kind of know, and they even say to the guy, "I kind of knew this was probably I you." Knew you were gonna but be it in was here. worth the risk because fucking children is just <laughs> kicks ass. Yeah. 
His logic is, uh, is, yeah, is brilliant. Yeah, it Your logic is brilliant, man. It must be just... <laughs> All right, moving on uh, with the feel-good story here. We'll try this one. There was a dead raccoon kind of right where this line is, um, and it was dead. Then when they were striping the road here on Archer, they just striped right over it. The raccoon was gone today, but in this picture, you can clearly see the dead animal with the telltale yellow paint right across its body. No, it was very real, um, and it was, you know, pretty explicit. You could see it. The kids were kind of grossed out by it and I as well. It's the dead animal in the street that they just striped right over. The animal was first spotted on Archer <laughs> Avenue in Lamont by residents on Saturday. I just thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> they were that lazy they didn't pick it up. That's terrible. It is terrible. How they do it at a job. That's terrible. That's terrible. How is it terrible? It's a dead fucking animal in the road shit. that they painted over. What, you Who want them cares? to push it off to the Who side cares? of the road? Such a non-story. They're probably laughing, having fun. Dude, put the stripe over the foot. <laughs> <laughs> Make them a skunk. funny. Let the guys have a laugh during work. You might be on to some, because uh, as this continues, it's not the first time. And Yolanta Wilk says what's worse is that it's not the first time. Another animal painted right over. The same thing. We followed her directions on Archer and came up with this roadkill. A close-up reveals what a appears to be the critter's tail protruding from a line of paint. We contacted the <laughs> Illinois Department of Transportation and they confirmed that Rats. this stretch of Archer Avenue is in their jurisdiction. But they declined our request for an on-camera interview saying they need to wait until they can confirm that the allegations are true. Just look at the animal with the line painted on it. Why can't people just be honest? An animal had a line painted on it and then was chased around by a French skunk. Who it was a... <laughs> Isn't that how that started? Tried to rape it. <laughs> Isn't that Fucking how Pepe Le Pew was yeah. the, a cartoon rapist. Yeah. Grabbing her, she's trying to get away. Clawing. Now we're um, we're kind of fading into something that needs to be brought up on this show. Uh oh, mm. Danny finds the most horrific things for this radio show. Yeah, God bless. And then they just pile up because we're in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you do? Oh, there's an actual picture of the raccoon. <laughs> yeah. It's so oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, look at. Pop yeah. that picture up on the big Put screen. Put it up on a screen somewhere? Yeah, it's just a huge works. dead raccoon, and, and the line was painted right over it. Like like the truck had to go boom, boom, <laughs> as it rolled over this thing. Look at this thing. Uh, <laughs> Good for him. Can we get that up on our uh, website? Stupid somewhere? raccoon. <laughs> Happen. You're fucking painting lines on the street. Yeah. What, are you, what else are you going to do for entertainment? So what? Get out of the way. Yeah. You know the best part is that, it like, should be a person. Go die be somewhere a baby. else, you faggot raccoon. <laughs> the road crew probably saw it ahead and were just praying that their paint was going to, you know, they're like, I'll oh, do it. I think. I think we might just go over it. Yeah. Like, if we keep it's this right, in the, it's middle right the in the middle, this is going to happen. I think they probably, you know, they probably saw it coming. We're hoping and having fun on that truck. Just yeah. waiting to paint over that shit. Even better. I bet it was <laughs> probably a little too far to the right or the left, and one got out over. and yeah. kicked it over a little. Oh, of course. course. Kick a little left. Of course. That's what that's you right. do yeah. when you're fucking working. That's it. That made his day. <laughs> have some fun, and they laughed. <laughs> All right. Well, Danny also picked out this fine animal story. This is just some of the stuff he collects for our show. Robstown police arrested this man, 26-year-old Eduardo Ramos of Victoria, on September 12th after they found him naked inside his pickup truck. Now they are accusing him of sexually assaulting this dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, rolled up in the back like he was scared. Yeah. I stopped to talk to the, the driver and found that he was completely nude, covering his genitals with uh, his clothing, sweaty. And nervous. <laughs> Sweating and, and nervous. nervous. You too would be nervous if you knew the thing had claws. <laughs> oh, what a man. weird description. Yeah. yeah. Can I hear that again? Covering his <laughs> what, genitals. Just the, just the description that that guy gave of the... Just the, just the story narrated by that individual. This dog. There was a dog uh, rolled up in the back like he was scared. I stopped to talk to the, the driver and found that he was completely nude, covering his genitals with uh, his clothing, genitals. sweaty and nervous. Covering his genitals. It's a strange way of talking. Yeah. Let's see if this really is nude. When they opened his truck, the female dog ran off into this field. When female. officers found her, they say she seemed frightened. She was in a shower. The dog, the dog was... A while a and, uh, uh -huh. 
The dog was taking a shower. <laughs> a rape kit. Found her. They say she seemed frightened. We inspected the dog after a while, and, uh, you know, the condition of the dog led us to believe that he committed some type of sexual act with the dog. Uh, mm. Ramos later told detectives he picked up the stray dog near a gas station. He denied having sex with the dog, but it was obvious to them the dog had been sexually assaulted. I couldn't believe it, you know. I searched for some other explanation, but everything led to that. Ramos charged with public lewdness and disorderly conduct, both misdemeanors. But police say he could face felony charges of animal cruelty. The district attorney is waiting for DNA results to determine if Ramos had sexual contact with the dog. Ramos. There you go. They found a human load in the dog's uh, van. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty what much it. I searched for another explanation. That's pretty much it. You find that load in there and yeah, do a little go, DNA well, test thing and go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. why couldn't he was just jerking off and the dog just happened to be in the car? Dog right. fucker. Oh, you're on to something. Again. That's what happened. For real, here is your feel-good story for today, Monday. Right. This is a story about ageless love. In Argentina, this 82-year-old woman just got married to this 24-year-old man. Right. Love blossomed between these two when the groom went to live with the bride, a family friend, after his mother died. After being engaged for several years, a civil service sealed the relationship. This newlywed says his wife is a very special person with amazing energy. When asked if the marriage would be purely spiritual, the bride says there will be more. The response greeted with laughter. The couple is off to a honeymoon in Rio de Janeiro, proving with a kiss that old saying, love knows no boundaries. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, everyone laughed when they okay, said they're going to be fucking because that's pretty much it. Is it going any? Is it spiritual or anything else? Uh, oh, we'll be fucking. <laughs> sure you will. Well, of course you will. Uh, In Rio de Janeiro, she's eighty-two. He's twenty-four. Mm, that'll work out well. That's good. Mm. Fucking. I, I hope they don't bring the KY in their carry-on because there are limitations to mm. fluids you can bring on the uh, <laughs> well, on the aircraft he's these days. Fucking, he's got to burst the scabs on her pussy to get any <laughs> lubrication. Ah, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Eating her, out, eating her out. He looks like Colonel Sanders. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> all flakes on his... Dander flakes on his beard after eating her out. <laughs> oh, ugh. Uh, we wanted to do this story on the other side. Another uh, another uh, person got kicked off a plane for wearing something inappropriate. Inappropriate. Oh, yeah. Now the first two were like you know hot girls with hot outfits. But the Shit. one that was that I saw in Southwest, she was not. It was not a big. No, it wasn't deal. ridiculous. She was wearing a skirt, but it wasn't yeah. ridiculously short. No. And she had she was covered up top. And up top, oh, she was. Fuck. It was a sexy top, but it, she had a bra yeah. and everything. Who taking, who's taking some? I don't know. If, if it was the case on every airline, uh, it has to be Marissa ugly... there would be on a no-fly list with terrorists. She it... wouldn't be allowed to fly. <laughs> She's always showing cleavage. That was a uh, compliment. Yeah, it was it a must... compliment, it, by the yeah, way. Yeah, because she's not really It sure. must be ugly flight attendants who are like, you, yeah. you whore. Get yeah. off this plane, you whore. Yeah, that's what it is. And I, I think it was, in one case, I think it was a guy flight attendant. because I, And here's here's what I think. Guy came in, this guy's like, the flight attendant's like, I'm going to give him all the attention this whole fucking flight, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And then this boob, big monster comes in and uh, sits down, and the guy takes interest in her. Yeah. And he's like, well, she's got to go. Get she's out of here. Blocking. She was cock blocking yeah. him. Ugly bitch. Yeah. Mm, flat. Flat. Well, we have another one of those. Let's take a listen to this. Southwest Airlines says it will apologize to a passenger told to change his sexually suggestive shirt or get off the plane. Joe Winicky says he was sitting in the last row of a Columbus to Tampa flight when an employee gave him the ultimatum. Winicky says that...
Columbus to what a Tampa. Hell, yeah. What a if hell flight anyway. Both cities we could lose. <laughs> if, if Iran <laughs> hit Columbus and Tampa, we would even go, dude, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry Let's about it. it. Just say it was an accident. Yeah. We'll, I thought we'll, it was a nonstop we'll flight from New York Fucking, to London or something. Uh, you know? Two worst cities ever. Columbus to Tampa. Jesus. <laughs> oh, from and shit to fuck. fuck. <laughs> Let him fly naked. Who gives a they're shit? Don't worry about his shirt. From right. the country's asshole to its pussy. <laughs> This is the worst two cities. Yeah, but pussy's nice. I know, but well, not the country's pussy. Two hundred years yeah. old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. So it's an old pussy. Yeah, it's I a gotcha. smelly old pussy. <laughs> was sitting in the last row of a Columbus to Tampa flight when an employee gave him the ultimatum. Winnicky says the airline violated his free speech rights. Back in July, Southwest created a public uproar by telling a woman on a flight that her outfit was too revealing for her to fly. Now, the guy had a T-shirt that had yeah. some kind of masturbation joke on it, like yeah. master. It was a fishing. It looked like a fishing bait supply store thing, and it that was, was like Master Bader. Master Bader. That's all. You know that old. I wonder gag. where it was because I have a T-shirt from a place in Connecticut called Master Bait and Tackle. Yeah, and I wear yeah, it all the time. That's pretty I mean, much the shirt. They would, yeah. they would kick you off the plane. They only showed it's Master ridiculous. on. Uh, on TV, and they, yeah, they wouldn't even show the other half of the shirt. The same place. So we're like, well, master. It's blank. a very old place. It's not like you know they're not trying to be jackoffs. They just, oh, it's yeah. a real but place. Yeah, master bait and tackle. <laughs> it's kind of a popular shirt because it's funny. Yeah, but even it's and then on the back it says, "I get my crabs." And masturbate and tackle. But even old people had. <laughs> Could they make yeah. any more fucking like yeah, exactly. genital jokes? <laughs> yeah, I jack off genital. my cock <laughs> at, at the fish store. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even trying to be yeah. subtle or clever yeah, exactly. anymore. Fuck a cunt <laughs> here. <laughs> Fuck a cunt fish store. Hey, uh, Louis, it's would you pendulum? Would you ever use a, a cattle prod on your kid? No. Hmm. I don't know if we play this. I'm going to get this out of the way. Cattle prods are usually used on cows. Wow. Really? According to authorities really? in Kansas... Some news? You dumb <laughs> They did not just say cattle prods. Cattle prods. Are usually... Blow-dried cunt. Wait till you hear this, kids, but they're yeah. usually used on cows. <laughs> <laughs> that made cattle more sense. Cattle prods are usually used on cows. But according to authorities in Kansas, a mother is accused of using the electric shocking device to discipline her 15-year-old daughter. The girl told us that she was the cattle prod was used on her twice on the arm, twice on the thigh, and uh, twice in her chest area. Gosh. It's my understanding that she may have came home late, or mom thought she was later, and used that as a form of discipline. Mm. Saline County authorities found the girl while searching for two other runaways, though she had not been reported missing. She told deputies that she ran away because of the abuse. If you want to get a child's attention, there's other ways to do it than that. Officials say that the abuse started in February and Insightful. ended last week. The teen's mother, 52-year-old Connie Thompson Dupes, was arrested. Dupes is out on bail and the teen is now in foster care. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh. Does it feel good Mondays already? <laughs> I don't know. It was... A I like that the prod. abuse started in February. It's like Woody Allen's thing. My my parents only beat me once. They began beating me in 1943 <laughs> yeah. and uh, finished in 1952 or whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking dirty Kansas whore. A cattle pro. Maybe the daughter was a little out of hand. They maybe should- she was really fat. Maybe yeah, she was fat. Maybe she thought it was a cow. Yeah, maybe there was True. some confusion maybe there. Maybe the cow, she thought the cow came home, yeah. came home late. His yeah. name was Elsie. <laughs> Her fucking fat retard tits really <laughs> making milk. We should have stopped wearing that blue ribbon, you fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know. <laughs> Why are you fucking throwing grass up in your mouth and chewing it? You exactly. Disgusting pig, cud chewing bitch. <laughs> exactly. You're eating the shag rug, stupid. <laughs> she had four little hooves. <laughs> fucking. They were just brown, brown fucking shoes, but they looked like hooves. I <laughs> fat Elsie, the ribbon wearing leaky titted twat. <laughs> <laughs> Leaky did it. <laughs> so the mother didn't know she was like, Go out in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, Parents we're... thought it was a miracle because it was a talking cow. Mm. Well, it's, uh, it's finally time for the feel good story of the day. It's feel okay. good story Monday before we do line of the day. And we we got it. It's an easy one today. It's this fine little story. Mm-hmm. Your feel good story. Tonight's top story, the truth about what really happened the night a tiny baby was bitten by a puppy. It's a story you'll only see right here on my window. <laughs> what really happened the night a... Oh, God, the That's news. so weird because he just explained what... 
What really happened when a tiny baby was bitten by a puppy? By a puppy. Actually, the puppy fucked the baby in the mouth <laughs> and shit in its eye. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, the whole story's pretty much done. Yeah. yeah. And then it's a story you'll only hear here on CBS. Yeah. What? what was, yeah, so? Because what, you, what you, you dug deeper than the other news channels. That's <laughs> yeah. the only reason we're hearing it there. We actually visited the house inappropriately. Right. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Long after everyone had left them alone, we squeezed one more detail out of their retarded brother. He told us that the puppy is gay. <laughs> well, I want to know now what happened. Oh, yeah, Here's a feel-good story of the day. A puppy. It's a story you'll only see right here on Eyewitness News everywhere. A five-month-old boy's genitals were mutilated, oh, and there is no. outrage about what happened. First of all, let's ask about the baby, Joyce. How's it's a feel-good story? Yeah, it's a feel-good story. There's outrage about what happened. Why is there outrage? As genitals. Let's ask about the baby, Joyce. How's he doing tonight? Cameron, tonight the Dude, his genitals are chewing. Well, his At genitals the are gone. Apartment complex where the attack happened. People are still talking about it nine days later. Nah, man. It's crazy. I'm pretty I far can't from fucking okay. Chew, some, chew the private part, everything off a baby. <laughs> oh. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> oh no! I don't believe that a puppy could chew the private parts off of a baby. Off a baby. But I'm glad he did, because otherwise I didn't have much to do today. And now I'm on the news. You know, she was at home going, Oh, honey, come in here. I'm on the news talking about the dog eating the baby's balls. What happened? People are Let's still talking again. about it nine days later. Of course they are. It's hey. crazy. I can't believe a crazy. puppy could chew, a some, puppy. chew the private part, everything off a baby. Private I don't think part. that's possible. I think it's possible. I don't, think, wow. that's, I don't yeah. think that's possible. What do you think dicks are made out of? Tin foil and metal? You <laughs> yeah. fucking idiot. They're made of flesh. Puppies have teeth. <laughs> Probably comes off <laughs> easier on, from a baby than like an old yes. dude. And I'm sure a puppy would like, you know, that's kind of like a play toy thing for a puppy. Yeah, and a baby doesn't have much defense. Yeah, no. It goes ba -ga -ga, and it hits its own head. Just yeah. sit there and well, <laughs> cock is being mangled. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid baby. <laughs> and now they got to grow up together, the, pe the baby and the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> the puppy accused of mutilating the infant's genitals is at the Mexican And neighbors you, aren't the only it. ones who say there's no way a dog could do such a thing to a child. What? This email circulating around Memphis newsrooms right now claims yeah. the puppy Parents? didn't do it. Right. The writer of this email says that the baby's genitals are completely gone. <laughs> Scooped out, says this person, with what? a straight edge knife or razor by someone who cops say may have done it as possible gang retaliation against the baby's mother or someone related to her. <laughs> Holy yes. Jesus Christ. Come on now. She's stepping on my fucking... She was stepping in our neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, you're on my turf. You wore a blue fucking kerchief oh, God, on my street. Fucking, I'm going to scoop out your baby's balls and blame it on your puppy. What I'm going to have a five iron and take a divot out of your kid. <laughs> what do you fucking do to a gang where the punishment is to take your baby's dick? Oh, well, you disrespected them. Yeah, you, you made a little. You made your fingers do a funny sign near their house. Right. And all you want to do is that. Who knows? You didn't know. If no, you bump it. into uh, one of them and maybe look like uh, perhaps yeah. the, the guy shouldn't have been walked into you, that deserves your kid getting yeah. his uh, dick cut off. Fucking worthless assholes. Oh, jackasses. They should firebomb the entire apartment it's really complex if that's the truth. Off. Yeah. Related to her. But tonight, Memphis police tell me everything in that email is fiction, completely untrue. It's been ruled an animal injury. The injury was caused by an animal. It's amazing how, how we all jump on that immediately. Yeah, it's I know, just nonsense. Just, yeah, yeah, it's all fiction. No, it's not. We well, know. That's what everybody in the no, Memphis uh, living rooms did when it came on the yeah. news. You see what those fucking people do? I told you about those people. You call me right. Oh, okay, it wasn't true. Uh, not true. Well, oh, no, okay, we got right. stupid, uh, well, still, stupid though, dogs. Still, though. Tonight, yeah, it does if happen. They, if they it had. remains unclear. As for the baby boy, hospital sources boy. say he faces a very long and difficult road to recovery. That's terrible. What yeah. was the mom at all this time? Because I know it just yeah. didn't happen in no split second. It had to go on for a while, and I How? know that baby was crying. She's imagining where, it. where was she at? It's a baby this. dick. I could bite it off in one <laughs> shot. How long do you think it takes? <laughs> this is not the finger off a fucking statue in Columbus Circle. <laughs> 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 
where was the mom at? Well, the answer to that Bring will have to come from away. the MPD's <laughs> Child Advocacy Group and the Department of Children's <laughs> Services. Both agencies still investigating this case, working very closely with the family to get some answers. <laughs> That's what I'm peanut butter. Mother was tiptoeing the jet quietly back into the fridge. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> But I don't want to know where the mom was oh. when all this happened. Here's more from the crazy Polish guy. Despite two clear warnings that he does not speak English, the RCMP speak to Zakansky in English for about 29 <laughs> seconds before they taser him. At one point just before this, Zakansky can be seen putting his hands up and walking away, seemingly in frustration. <laughs> You can hear someone yell, hit him again, hit him again. Harder, harder. Hit the Polak, hit the Polak. Harder, harder. <laughs> hit the Polak, hit the Polak. I thought that was going to be funny. It really was just a man dying. We yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's really no humor there. Well, he didn't die like Jerry Lewis or something. No, I don't. The thing with the pow, I... and, and he clearly <laughs> said Polish. twice he doesn't speak English. How exactly would he do that? He, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just heard a guy die. Dude, I don't yeah. speak English. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Here, here's the last Don't taste me, bro. Don't taste me, bro. I love that. Two don't taste me, oh, bro. One officer appearing to place his knee on the victim's neck, but appears to remain there even after Zakansky stops breathing. Oh, boy. About here, Zakansky seems to stop breathing, and the officer with his back to the camera still has his right knee on the victim's neck. I heard him saying code red. On the right of your screen, someone in a suit appears to check for a pulse. An autopsy would later reveal Zakansky had no drugs or alcohol in his body at the time of death. Damn. But he had a lot of volts of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> it was glowing. <laughs> might have something to do with it. It seemed like the uh, the knee to the neck might have uh, caused some complications there. Yeah. That's the thing that has kept me from doing anything where I would be arrested in that fashion. Yeah. Like, if, if, if I ever... Uh, get arrested. I will be very cooperative gentleman. I'll put my oh, hands yeah. behind my back, whatever yeah. it takes. But uh, the resisting thing, that there's knee a, to the neck. There's Yes, there's a, there's a whole bunch of standard procedures that can kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, And they're fine with it. Like, oh, totally. it, you will just be dead, no, yeah. and the, they'll go on working. Yep. Oh, well, the cops love killing people. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's... Uh, they, we have a, we have a case That's here a very in New York. Sweeping statement, I know. Case here in New York, uh, where um, so a guy was shot uh, t what twenty times. He uh, came out of uh, his his uh, house. A nine one one call came in. Mother said uh, that her son is acting all weird and uh, violent. Uh, could you send the police? And in the background, the son. All you hear him saying is, "I got a gun. I got a gun. Uh, come on, bring it." Um, so that's what. The 911 operator then conveyed to the police. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that when you call 911, it doesn't go to the cop car no. as he's answering. The cop just hears, we have a call, man, violent man with a weapon. Yeah. It's a very dangerous version of telephone. Right. So they go there. Now, a second 911 call comes in. Mm -hmm. And apparently this one, which just turned up today, the mother again calls and somehow says uh, kind of vaguely that her son doesn't have a gun. Mm -hmm. But the son keeps saying he's got a gun. How do you now, vaguely say you don't have a yeah, gun? Yeah, Because she was kind of like... my son doesn't have a gun. Yeah, he doesn't Come have quick. a gun. Well, the, the 911 operator asked, is he armed? Does he have a gun? And she went, mm-hmm. Uh, he said something. It, yeah. it wasn't like, like, no, he does not have a gun. Don't shoot him. Yeah. It was a bit vague. Yeah, it was a little vague. Yeah. And and that <laughs> message doesn't get to the cops. They're already, yeah. you know, they're, they're flying. They could be there already. Yes, yes or no. Right. Yeah. So, so he comes out of the window finally, and the cops tell him to stop. He grabs into his uh, pants uh, and under his shirt mm -hmm. and pulls something out. They open fire on him. It turns out to be a brush. Yeah. It's a brush. He wanted well, to look good. I agree with the cops on that. I, huh? I reckon yeah. kill the Yeah, yeah, the cops yeah. were well within their right. They felt the cop doesn't there doesn't have to be a gun. They just have to feel that they're
life is is being that's threatened their, their to race. use deadly force. And if that's he was race. pulling a yeah. brush out, he was just being cheeky, wasn't he? At that moment, he didn't yeah, want to cheeky. Yeah. Just one word. Yeah, he was for just it. being a bit cheeky there. <laughs> yes, he and was. I think you're and right. And implying that he had a gun, so kill the bastard. But I, I I heard Earl on Ron and Fez yesterday commenting on this, and of course Earl was all against the police on this one, saying they shot at him even after he dropped the brush. I said, and I, all I could think of, I wanted to call him, but all I could think of is the cops going, he dropped a brush, which means he's still got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and just opened up on him. We no, really got he to... reached into his pants and yeah. pulled out a black hand. So it <laughs> yeah. needed to be shot. Pretty much. We really Some have... people are saying that. They look like guns. Their hands look like guns. Yeah. It's... Oh, my God. Hey, Dr. Phil, we're going to try to get this on before we get out of here. Dr. Phil uh, talks about racist Xbox and cyberbullying. Racist Xbox? Yes. Well, this was something we were talking I, about yesterday. You I guys... bought an Xbox, and uh, uh, I don't see any racism going on <laughs> yeah. on the... Uh... I would have to deny that, too. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they're, they're all playing uh, Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty 4. 4, and, uh, you know, you get the trash talk, but it gets a little ugly in those... Uh, in those rooms. And now Dr. Phil kind of wants to maybe put a stop to this. Well, how is he going to put a stop Wait, so to this it? isn't something that's in the Xbox. It's stuff that no. the kids are saying to each other yeah. while kids, they're playing. Kids, yes. adults. Well, say me and Anthony were in a room. <laughs> right. If, if, me and an Xbox, if, me, if me and yeah. Anthony were in a room and then the other the other team comes in after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the, the guy from the other team, you, the first thing out of his mouth is, yo, we're going to kick your asses. You know, yeah. uh, then some stuff. Sometimes some people say... Some stuff after that. Yeah, it gets it really. It can get racist right, so and homophobic. Yeah. Yeah, also, even though we're so not. Uh, really, it, but that's like saying like two guy. A guy goes up to a guy on the street. Yeah. And calls him a Jew or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, so they go. We got to take that street down. Right. Right. You know, basically, what it is is just <laughs> pretty much that's just what he's another saying. meeting place for people to act awful towards each other. Yeah. yeah while they're playing a game. Yeah, but it's got nothing to do Together. with Xbox. It's no, damn good people point, are. Man. No, it's just another communication <laughs> yeah. vehicle. Yeah, it it is ridiculous. It's just that white people will call black people those words uh, if they can do it from a safe distance. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. We're in um, we, 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 living room. I'll tell you what happens. We play uh, Call of Duty Four, okay. which is one of the best games ever. And uh, Bobby Kelly here General. came up with General Bobby Kelly <laughs> came up with the clan name. They call them clans, by the oh, way. That doesn't yeah. help. No offense, <laughs> but <laughs> it's like a team. And uh, it, uh, ours is G A A Y. Uh, so so yeah. it's you know Team Gay oh, so they with two gays. And yeah. so in front of your name, in little brackets, it says G A A Y, and that yeah. way you know that we're all on one team. Right. So the second we get in a room with another team, they just instantly start. <laughs> yeah, cool. You and it's just nothing but homophobic. Yeah, so, but it doesn't because you're the guys. You guys are owning it. Like you're going right. And calling yourselves. We're calling gay. ourselves the gay, and they're acting like you. <laughs> like we didn't notice that it's spelled well, it that it's spelled gay. It, yeah. it doesn't help that we're like, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We kind of we, we greet them when they come into the rooms that, that must way. Make them so mad. And they get very angry. They and and people don't want to play us. And um, uh, if there are a team, because there are teams then of specifically Jewish guys, there's the Jews. Their yeah, name right. of the team is Jews. Right. And they'll play, and uh, uh, there's certain um, uh, black teams that'll play. Yeah, right. And, and, and so it turns into all of that. It just turns into gay bashing right. and racial bashing oh, yeah. back and forth. And so Dr. Phil wants to punish... I don't game, know. Well, let's find. Xbox. And he's right. Doctor Phil is right. Let's let's find out. And uh, the greatest part about it is the fact that you're saying these things, which is yeah. fine. Yeah. But you're playing a game that is probably the most violent yeah, game I've ever right. played in my yeah. life. It's fantastically yeah. violent. Yeah. I right. love it. Blood and it shouldn't be any other way. But you are blowing people up. The the um. Yeah, but don't call him a faggot. Yeah, yeah. Don't right. say that. Uh, uh, perish the thought. Really. Oh, yeah, uh, they probably would have a oh, problem Jesus. with that. I shouldn't be on this show. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that stinks about the right, game, Lord. the game is so politically correct that we're actually still fighting Russians. Right? We were, yeah. Yeah, the only they acceptable got, enemy. It just went to Russia, too. We actually right, yeah. were still fighting Germans up until last year. Oh, my God. Now, <laughs> we're actually fighting <laughs> Russians. Germans are always with, the bad guys. With now, laser scopes, but which we didn't even fight them even with Even though you fought, we fought Korea between those two, you can't do Koreans. No. You can't do, and you can't yeah. do uh, wait, the people. But wait a minute. What about, yeah, yeah, what no, about because ger Germans and Russians are the only white enemies we've had in yeah, the last but, but, 100 but, years? No, there, there, there are, are Arabs in there. I played a few games. I played a few games. Arabs are the hardest part. 
Arabs are, and, and Asians are the hardest boys on video games now. Yeah. Russians yeah. are very easy to that's, beat now. That's because they have Chinese stars. Yeah. And nunchucks. When are people going to learn, though, that it does? it's not about Xbox? It's not, nothing's going to, you know, you can't you can't change racism through. If, nothing's going to change no. until, you know. Two black, tin black, cans and, and so, a string. It's, it's, it's strung yeah, no. between a black guy and a white guy. It, nothing's yeah. going to help. You're so just going to get trapped. So black people got to stop stealing, and gay people have to stop <laughs> hurting as, God, as, <laughs> and Jews have to stop manipulating the media. And then that, you got to get to the root of the problem. As, as, as soon as anybody but black people. <laughs> admit that there's racism uh, or something. No, it's going <laughs> to exactly. stop we're the, the world we're the, the same only, color. It's, it's like we're the, we think racism is it's the boogeyman or the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Nobody white ever exactly. says it. Unless it's a joking man. Exactly. Oh, no, I remember when Venus, <laughs> Venus and Serena Williams complained that they get racist uh, attitudes thrown at them on tour. Right. Like people yell stuff at them during yeah, matches yeah. and stuff. And so they asked uh, Hingis, Martina Hingis, the, the Swiss player mm -hmm. the, that's as white as it gets yes, Swiss. Of course. and she said i'm on the same tour and i don't see the racism <laughs> <laughs> yeah they don't really they were they, they reserve it for the oh god those, williams sisters she's idiot. too busy those, doing drugs those I, williams yeah. sisters what, she was just because they call right? you nigglet doesn't mean anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. all right let's see what dr phil has to say on this subject so right. he did a whole show on this yesterday with the xbox I love playing video games as much as I like eating food. I've been a loyal oh, customer food? of Xbox Live and Xbox 360. Now it's gotten worse with the ratio slurs, the name calling, and the bullying online. I've been calling you monkey, or your hands greasy from eating all that chicken. I'm gonna put a lynch on your door, or is that your kids in the background? I to stop my children from playing the online games. My 10-year-old daughter, my 13-year-old son, and even my 5-year-old son. And he asked me, Daddy, why I can't play online with you? I want to play that. I go, no, but he goes, why? They're going to call me names, and I think that's sad for a 5-year-old even know that. Oh, boy. Here we go. You have your oh, kids boy. playing video games, you <laughs> crappy parent. Have they, have they <laughs> played against... They're looking at each other like, whoops. Have they played against <laughs> Team Gay? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean it. I think they're talking about you guys. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jesus. Exactly. You're like, oh, that was mine. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but uh, that, that greasy chicken there, I didn't know he was black. I thought he was just cooking chicken. <laughs> I just thought he played poorly. <laughs> yeah, the control is slipping out of your hand, obviously. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, was, my God. It was Erd Lee. I was calling him cheap. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, well, you know what? The internet it, that that type of thing is just basically a CB radio. Yeah. I mean, it's. It, I mean, in, it's yeah. you talking to a bunch of guys. You don't know where they are, and, and you, you can't see them either, so you don't know no. what color they are or or Jeez. religion or anything well, you like. Can, you can't tell by voice. Ever. Sometimes you when can. they when their the clan last, name is the DMX. Last action of racism. <laughs> Boy, y'all are trying to find any way to do it. <laughs> I know. I know. You can't do it out in the open no more. You... It's the two. Every time there's a new technology, porn and racism is the first, oh, is the biggest God. thing to come out of it. Thank God. White people just trying to find different ways to be racist. It's just mm -hmm. bothering. What, what and you take this stop? away from Think us, all the we'll technology we have to invent to be more one. racist. Right. We're not that good at anything else. We're gonna. We're, yeah. ama we're amazing at that. What do you mean we're? <laughs> we're I, I don't understand what? why you keep grouping yourself in, Spick. <laughs> <laughs> you're a red-headed um, plumber. You, you're a farmer. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's the thing. Don't that's pick how my great... spinach. Stop with the weed. <laughs> <laughs> You're an albino Mexican. <laughs> but that's how that's how powerful that's how powerful whiteness is that it transcends Mexicanness. It does purify everything. It, it does. <laughs> Just good you can be oh born God. in Africa of African black parents and and have be named Mumbamba if you're white. You know, come on, but join the health club. You know, join the club. Oh, man. Get, get to the front of the bus, my friend. I don't care where you're from. Black yeah. president, no way in no, hell. No. You know how many it arguments won't I've happen. had with my girlfriend over racist remarks I make? She can't really. believe I make them. She's like, would you say that in front of Patrice? Like, well, yeah, yes. in front of me. Of course. Yeah. Not most. By the way, uh, Gavin, no. no. By the she way, must yeah. hate me then. By the, the way, what Patrice must hate me. What Patrice called uh, Louis got dumped. You know, you just can't. What? Did it really? Yeah, it's just, it wow. got dumped. But I was calling Louis that, and he said, it's, okay. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> That's right. a bad one. On That's behalf a bad of all Mexicans, right, I uh, accept the phrase. and Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, play no more problem. Dr. Phil audio here. Only if you put N span. I do, it. though, feel for anybody. <laughs> oh, my that. God. You should be hit with a brick. But that was <laughs> yeah, At least now no, everyone knows what the hell we were talking about. <laughs> All right, listen. Here we go. Gamer's wife oh tells Dr. God. Phil why she is concerned about this racist stuff going on online. <laughs> 
so you're worried that he's going to maybe draw these people into the real world. I just, you know, Dr. Phil, I just feel like in the Internet, in this situation, anything is possible. I don't know who these people are. They're claiming to be the KKK, and I have a real big problem with that. You know, they're calling my children monkeys, um, that they're going to hang them, they're going to kill them, they're going to kill me. It, it's, it's crazy, and it's out of control, and nobody is trying to do anything about this. But it's my like... husband has contacted Microsoft for many years, and I don't understand why the FBI is not all over the well, FBI. Oh, I, maybe they should look for, you know, people that want to fly planes into buildings. Uh, leave the FBI alone. They shouldn't be after Xbox. You're talking about the same thing that you get on the computer. Internet cowards, they're called. They just get on there, bash people, or they're nameless and faceless, and have no courage to confront anybody. And that's all you're getting. I understand how offensive, uh, offensive it is to this woman and her kids and her husband and everything. That's completely understandable. But as far as it actually Actually, being a threat, it's not. These no, I people... think it. No, I think it is. It's, but they shouldn't have their kids playing the game. I mean, is, they're exposing their kids to a lot of bad things. So you think the game no, shouldn't it's be? No, it's got nothing to do with the game. Mm -hmm. It's. I mean, let, the, make no mistake. It's awful and disgusting yeah. that people go on Xbox and call and play things, other races and just stick with our own. Try to. And call and that they call and they you and they go there. They're awful people. <sighs> but but this woman shouldn't have her kid playing it and it's got nothing to do with Xbox. Again, Xbox is just the street that they met on. It's not it's just it's absurd yeah. it's it's misused energy to fight in that direction like oh we got to go right. after xbox it's got nothing to do with there's xbox there's so many there's so many options on xbox it's, you can complain true. about somebody you can uh, uh you can actually uh send something directly to microsoft about a particular person you can block you can there, block so you them. can't hear them anymore you can mute anybody you want yep. and you can run your own room and kick anybody you want out of the room so right. Uh, you know, and there's certain times kids shouldn't play. When we're on, no kids should play. They right. shouldn't be around. They <laughs> shouldn't be on. Children, and you're letting them play. Night. If you have children, and you play, and you're letting your kids play Xbox. You should have your children take well, away. Xbox then, online. Your kids like should be then, taken away. Right. From Racism us. on uh, Wii bowling. Uh, anything like that on the Wii Mote? No. When you use the Wii Mote to play Wii bowling with those wobble-headed bobble doll characters, no, or thing. Wii baseball? No. Can you, can you can you make your own bowling ball to look like somebody's face? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, listen. Doctor Phil makes the brilliant observation that technology is good and it's bad. Good oh, point, ooh, Dr. wow, hmm. Doctor Phil. Technology, there's good and bad. I mean, you enjoy playing this game, right? I'm... You couldn't do that before the technology existed, but it comes with a downside. I'm spending thousands of dollars to Microsoft, so I think, and it's coming inside of my house. Yeah, and so you think they owe you oh, they owe uh, some time. protection? What? That's right. <laughs> All right, you're crazy. Yeah, right. Thousands of you're dollars. You're crazy. I don't play online. I I I, you don't? I love artificial yeah. intelligence. Yeah. I love playing the game. The game. I don't like getting online. With online people. is great. Yeah. MySpace people. Real people. Hey, what's your gamer tag? I don't want to play with you. <laughs> no, it's great really? playing real people. Yeah, it's a lot better. You know you're frustrated. Well, when you shoot that. someone in the face, you know it's they're sitting in their house just yeah. going, you're, you know, they're you're, so frustrated because that's some, usually me. You're playing against somebody else's, uh, like, psychology. Like, mm. what, if that's low I, the computer that's runs around the, the, the thing like eight times. I may run around, stop, and come back and shoot you in the Call face. Call of Duty 4, yeah. just playing it on hard is not hard enough. You're just it's, pissing it's away like your, your brain on that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just it, the it, worst it, thing for a human being. Uh, I, I love it. I think, look, for you, you're, how old are you now? Um, in my 38. 40. You're just coasting to your death. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, fine. True. There's nothing being well wasted. Fun. <laughs> You've got your career. You make money. <laughs> you go ahead. You've learned everything you want to learn. Yeah. But a but for for Bob Kelly... You look two month, two bad months and you're you're homeless. So you're you're putting your life in danger. Jesus by you wow, he just went right <laughs> wow. Out of he, was, he actually Damn. gave you an extra month. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody with Spanish doubloons in their pocket just told you you're broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, we got two more clips. We want to squeeze in here. Uh, gamer afraid that the people threatening him will find out who he is by googling him. But he's not worried that he's on national TV talking about this. So. <laughs> Let's uh, listen to this clip. And your fear is they've said, "I'm going to Google you. I'm going to find. I'll fi you got a tag that you use when you're playing. Yeah. That somehow they can trace that back through, get to your account, find out where you live." And, and get to you, yeah. and that's a possible. No. that's a possible thing. I mean, that's a yes, real it is, Doctor Phil. Right? My fear is, is my kids uh, targeting my kids, and uh, who knows? I don't know. I mean, if people exactly. write, I think my rights are violated, especially if you're writing KKK and you're uh, actually taking the time to do all this stuff and and, and 
three letters. Stuff and, and, and it's just <laughs> yeah, it doesn't button. take much time. It's one key. Black, I should be able to. Ding, ding, There it is. Don't forget caps lock. I should be able to swim in the Pacific Ocean. Without sharks attacking me, mm -hmm. I need someone to protect me against these sharks yeah. when I get in that water. Why? How about not getting in the in the water, my friend? Yeah, no, exactly. I should have the. It's my God given right. No, it isn't to get yeah. on the internet and play. Shut play, up. G play games it. rated M also, yeah. uh, so the kids shouldn't <laughs> no, be just, playing it. Oh, oh nah. no. Well, <laughs> it said rated M. <laughs> let, me, let me say this. Let me say this to black people, please. Intellectual black people, stop messing around with dumb white people. That's what I'm really getting tired of. Yeah. It's always a retarded white guy, and mm. then black people getting ready to go. Well, and then he gets on it, and it's a it's a travesty. Yeah. It's like it's these Yahoo white boys right. that's calling you a monkey, and yeah. you and you're bothered by that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Why? To, let's go to Kevin in Connecticut. Kevin. Sounds like you guys need the Malcolm X box. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Travis uh, from the Bronx. Travis. Uh, yeah, I play plenty of Call of Duty all the time. I'm black, and all this racism is just nothing. This guy who's complaining about it, he's a damn wimp. He's a grown man. Yep. Come on now. Hmm. I mean, if people are going to talk trash to you, it's all in good fun. They don't really mean to hurt your feelings. If they do, they you know what they're, uh, yo, dude, you know what they're doing all here? Making a monkey face, all of them. Oh, shut <laughs> up. They all, they all put their tongue up into their top lip and they're going, oh, 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 oh. Jimmy's up except, on the counter. Except, except Jimmy's we, swinging from except a chandelier and throwing Bob, bananas at people. We were Bob. actually trying to make the face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I thought it didn't say it. Glad I didn't. I use the uh, American History Xbox. That's the one I <laughs> like to use. Let's go to Mike uh, Excuse me. in Dallas. Or is this Max? Mike? Yes, Mike. What's up, Mike? Hey, uh, I'm a truck driver, and uh, they do the same thing on the CB. They do all the talking noise. We call them CB Rambos. You know, you can't see who they are, but that's all they do is talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did that. I did that coming back from Monterey. My friend had a CB. He goes, watch this. And he goes, is there anywhere a black guy can get breakfast around here? And just, <laughs> oh, just no. I mean, nonstop for an hour and a half. Oh, the, best, the best jokes, some of the best jokes I've ever heard. I mean, really good jokes. No, the like knock-knock jokes and every, I mean, everything. I love the fact that he knew. He goes, watch this. <laughs> I've done it a few if, times. The thing is, if you go out to, like, oh. real America where real people are, they, the what the all humor is racist. Yeah, every single yeah. that's all people talk about. It's that bad, right? Like I, my, I we have a house upstate in uh, uh, Columbia County, which is a very rural part of New York. And my neighbor, who's a farmer, invited me to watch the Tyson Lennox Lewis fight in his barn. He's got he stole satellite. Wow! <laughs> and so all of my neighbors were all these really nice people. We all went and watched it. And a couple of minutes into the fight, some guy's like, look at them monkeys up there. And they oh, just start. God. And I'm sitting there like, I just feel horrible. And in well, front of you, gonna, what you're, gonna, and you're like the new guy stamp? there? Yeah, I'm like the New Yorker. Yeah. And they're, you know, but they're all, I realize that that's all they, sh they, they sharpen their humor on racism. It's the only thing they have to make fun of. Wow. Like, that's all they do. All right, we got the final clip here uh, from Dr. Phil. And it's a site on there, a game called Uno. Uh, everybody knows what Uno is. Um, it's actually a live feed. It's four people. Actually, it's, it has four people have a, have a camera, and you we can see each other as we play the game Uno. Now you have people on there taking off their clothes and perverted things, <laughs> running around naked. Nice. And, and it's, so, it, it got, naked. it's all about the money now. It's so easy to get online now. You can go to your local 7-Eleven, your liquor store. And buy this a month on, uh, <laughs> the, the liquor store, the gun store, the KFC. What the? Come on, dude. Is that a local check? -cash Everybody check always has a library. Yeah. Everybody uh, has a library. I know. You buy one up you a go to the, on the corner. The this coffee guy. shop or the library. Kennedy fried chicken. <laughs> this guy's no reverend at all. He's really trying Jeez. to get something going. This guy's <laughs> burying himself. At least I boy, hats. He stayed on that Uno game long enough to so, notice that they're getting naked. They're by getting the way. naked. He should have turned his computer off immediately. I'm getting Uno. Here's the second half of the clip. You can go to your local 7-Eleven, your liquor store, and buy this a month, a uh, year subscription for forty forty nine dollars. You can buy one for seven dollars. This is an and ad. Come for... home, actually type in the code, and you're online. So who's to say my knows son, exactly my daughter, gets online, plays Uno, and it's a pervert online luring her to go do something. So who's at fault? Did he say something? the parents. Or is it Microsoft if something happens to my kid? Oh, my God. Shut up. Blame Microsoft. Yeah, go oh ahead. God. How about this? People to get online and stuff like that, you got to use your real name and identity. How about that? No. No, no. Why no. not? 
That ain't going to happen. Because you'd be arrested, I'd be in jail. No, no, but I'm saying, like, where else? <laughs> <laughs> there are other places, you know what but is... where else can you interact without any real facial recognition? The Internet's a weird place. Like, any other time... It's also, it's not yeah. just, as as, uh, as uh, Patrice deftly put it, uh, retarded white folk. <laughs> it's also supposedly smart. Like, the, with the writer's strike, there's, like, this online sort of forum of people talking about it, and they're all, like, writers and, like... You know, millionaires. Yeah, mm -hmm. arguing about it, and like I went on once and just and questioned something the Writers Guild oh, was doing, boy. and they're just like, "You piece of gar like." I mean, I never gotten sworn at so much in my life. Yeah, and just say you should have your this and that torn open, and just and these are like guys with jobs yeah. and mansions. <laughs> All of a sudden, they come out with anonymous names. Yeah, you know, it just says writer O two, and that's they're what just it is. Like you're yeah. a piece of. Gar There's zero accountability. That's all it is. Online, it's and everyone knows that, so you could say whatever you want, yeah. and you, there's no responsibility. No. I was in a chat room one time, and someone said something I didn't like, and I'm like, "Oh, jump in a lake." Hey, God, oh, hey, oh, watch out easy. Uh, listen to this. It was sitting on that cement right there. For about a year, Jean Mansell has cherished her cement Jesus statue, an heirloom from her late uncle. There was footprints behind it and footprints in front of it. But Thursday morning, Jean walked outside only to find that Jesus was gone. My husband got a phone call. <laughs> Come on. Do you really have to put it that way? Yeah. That newscaster, he yeah, went, the, just to the find that Jesus, Jesus was, yeah. was gone. Yeah. He didn't say Jesus statue. No. Jesus her was gift gone. was gone. <laughs> to find that Jesus, Jesus was gone. gone. <laughs> was to gone. find that Jesus was gone. My husband got a phone call in a real grassy <laughs> voice over the phone saying, check your mailbox. In the mailbox, a ransom note. The note basically said they were holding Jesus for <laughs> ransom. The note reads, we are holding Jesus ransom until you clean up the poopy from your wieners and trust us, we see you take your wieners for long walks without picking up their poopy in our yards. This has upset us dearly, so please clean up all the wiener poopy if you want to see Jesus unharmed. Oh my God! <laughs> I hate our country. Yo, it drop a bomb, drop worst. bombs on us now, somebody. <laughs> it is the worst. Is oh. that the whole story? Uh, no, Jimmy. What happened? Did Christ escape? We'll tell you Monday. Oh, oh look at you oh. with the tease. He got arrested and he's lost in a Weehawken somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it has to be a, a young person because they put these little lines next to the word Jesus. No adult's gonna waste their time doing that. And referring to wien, wiener poopy, my gosh. My Jesus gosh. Poor my my gosh. gosh. Put lines next to the word what? I didn't understand that. Yeah, Jesus? next to the word Jesus. I don't know what they what mean. What lines? Man, unless they underlined it. Or they put it in quotes. Quotation marks, maybe. Nobody, No grown-up's going to waste their time doing that. Like, it's not Jesus. It's Jesus, Jesus, you know, well, it's your it actually, it was, Jesus. It's it makes sense, it's yeah. It's appropriate it's for actually, Jesus in quotes. It's actually good punctuation they were yeah. using there. This could, Jesus. this could be the greatest news story because it has Jesus, Wiener, yeah. and Poopy mm -hmm. in it. It's All good. in one. All in one. He, he, he. Gene has four Wiener dogs and admits there was a complaint last year about their leavings, but mm. says she's cleaned up Ew. every pile since. Why can't this guy talk leaving. like a human being? They're leaving? They're leaving. They're You're leaving. He already said poopy like four times. Yes, a poopy. <laughs> poopy. Wiener poopy. I think uh, he was like, ta like probably were going over the copy when he was doing the voiceover. Yeah. Should I say poopy or, you know, it doesn't seem dignified. I was saying poopy and quoting the letter. Right. I think now that it's me speaking, I should say Feces, like an adult. Should I say feces? No, that's no, no, that too. Too. How about leaving? Waste? No, no. no. Leaving. Leaving. Because <laughs> I could say it with that inflection. Leaving. Leaving. Oh. Start Googling uh, Wiener Poopy. Let's go, guys. <laughs> there it is. Let's go. That's, wiener Poopy. We want that as top <laughs> Google search for the day. Yeah, this is today's Google search. Wiener Poopy. Can we hear the end of that again where he says leaving, please? <laughs> leaving. <laughs> leaving. <laughs> It has to be a, a young person because they put these little lines next to the word Jesus. No adult's going to waste their time doing that. <laughs> and referring to wiener poopy, 
My gosh. <laughs> My gosh. Gene has four wiener dogs and admits there was a complaint last year about their leavings, but says she's cleaned up every pile. Boy, since. We, we really I built that up. Yeah, he still... just goes, complaints about their leavings. <laughs> we were like, leavings. <laughs> Yeah, I liked our version better. <laughs> She's cleaned up every pile since. I take my dogs for a walk. I carry a plastic bag with me, and I, I pick up anything that they do. Now, Jean just wants her statue back and says she won't press charges. Says, <laughs> I hate that this one, guy. That one's really bad. I hate this guy. She wants her statue guy. back and says and she won't press charges. Uh, let me do says, another one. Take two. Let me do it. She says, she, <laughs> and says she won't press charges. How was that? Can I hear that back? Is there a school for that? Is there yes, some place uh, we don't know about, like broadcasting school. broadcasting school, where they tell you to do this? It sound like someone's. You have to you, use your doing you. You have to use your diaphragm. <laughs> your diaphragm. Someone's entering you, and you're needing to leave things. And she said, "Oh, that's good. <laughs> yes." How long? Why? How long is broadcasting school? Uh, it could be four years, yes. Oh, or it could no. be a quick weekend course. For this guy, it's like, you know, it's like a two years, like the same as, you know, being a, a sous chef for, uh, you know, the Olive Garden. The American somewhere. Culinary can, can we just hear that? Can we just hear that last part again with it? And, and says, and says, she wants her Jesus statue bag. Bag with me, and I, I pick up anything that they do. Now, Jean just wants her statue back and says she won't press charges. <laughs> All right, that was worth it. And says, and says, and says, Jean just wants her statue uh, back and uh, says uh, she yeah. won't press charges says, oh. if Jesus isn't harmed. And I thought, my gosh, <laughs> something like that's going to be safe in your yard. Why? It wasn't. Why would you think that? It's outside. It wasn't. <laughs> It's safe in your house, in your locked garage, in in your yard. It's not safe. No, it's, it's sitting not. outside, dummy. Yeah. Did we take your daughter's leavings to the doctor's oh, office God, yet? God. Where oh, are her still, leavings? Oh, you still got her leavings in your hand. Louis C.K. still has them <laughs> and <laughs> says he needs somebody <laughs> to bring them down to the pediatrician. <laughs> <laughs> and says <laughs> the poopy... <laughs> From the what wiener child. <laughs> what is that? I don't understand what that is. Wait, where, who told these people that that's how we like to hear things? We want to hear the news delivered in a phony, singy, singy voice. <laughs> oh, and I says, uh, uh, what he happened? sounds like a like a American version of the BBC guys. <laughs> and, you know, BBC News. Oh, they and, are really weird. You know, and genocide. Like every yeah. story somehow has yes. And HIV AIDS. There was a problem in Baghdad. <laughs> Baghdad. Another bombing which claimed the lives of hundreds. <laughs> what kind of inflection <laughs> is that? Hundreds. Hundreds. Another tragedy that could have been averted. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Dan in Boston. Dan. Hey, good morning, uh... Today I learned that Louis C.K. is actually a Mexican, and yes. the whistles go, woo, -woo, -woo, -woo. <laughs> Yeah, we did learn that today. That's Very true. nice. Go, Pats, go. Oh. All right. Uh, I think we can squeeze one more of these weird stories in. Mm. They've been piling up around here lately. It's lunchtime in one of Haiti's most desperate slums. But because of rising food prices... Called Haiti. That sound like an ad. <laughs> it's lunchtime in one of Haiti's most desperate slums. Sunny D time. <laughs> Think they're going to be eating leavings? <laughs> leavings. <laughs> Sunny D in Haiti, they open the refrigerator, and it's just five people with bloody machetes <laughs> looking at a rump roast or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Mike in Arkansas. Mike? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, Jimmy, how much do hooker leavings cost? <laughs> <laughs> leavings. Depends on the gal. Depends on the freshness. <laughs> it's lunchtime in one of Haiti's most desperate slums. Mm -hmm. But because of rising food prices, some of the poorest can't even afford a daily plate of rice. They're going to eat that Instead, baby. Instead, they're taking desperate <laughs> measures to fill their bellies. This mother and her toddler now rely on a traditional Haitian remedy for hunger pangs, cookies made of dried yellow dirt. <laughs> Mud has long been used by pregnant women. Oh my God! The crowd loved that. 
By the way, I, I'm not getting in trouble for playing that boring clip over. Uh... Why would you? All right. It was God to... wanted that played. It's a commercial here. I think it's a commercial that we're playing here in New York where Mike from Mike and the Mad Dog is is talking about the Super Bowl. I guess he's doing a little Super Bowl like tidbits or something. I don't even know. But his delivery is like, I don't want to do this. I'm being forced to do this. So here it is. He's so, not pizzazz, that guy. So I've been playing like the boring clip under his uh, his commercial read. What happened with the dirt cookies? They sound lovely. Yeah, let's uh, mm. Yellow cookies made from dirt. Yeah. Somebody for hunger pangs. Cookies made of dried yellow dirt. The mud has long been used by pregnant women and children as an antacid and source of calcium. But now cookies made of dirt, salt, and vegetable shortening mm. have become a regular meal for some. Food prices are up as much as 40% on some Caribbean islands after floods from last year's hurricane season damaged crops. Because of that, Caribbean leaders held an emergency summit to discuss cutting food taxes and coming up with ways to reduce the island's dependence on imports. Do you know, can Haitian you doctors say those who rely on the cookies are at risk for malnutrition. And officials warn the dirt can contain deadly parasites or toxins. This story reminds me. That's why I had to jump in. Uh, I was out for sushi the other night, mm. and mm. the rice wasn't as gummy as I like it to be, mm, so my yeah. sushi fell apart. That's really that dry. is. Did you send it back and have it thrown in, into a garbage pail? I certainly <laughs> did. I said, throw this away. Don't. <laughs> no one will want this. No. That's what that story reminded me of. It's worthless. Have a dirt cookie. Story. They're eating dirt cookies. <laughs> dirt cookies. How That's awful. Fit. Don't call them cookies. No, no. they're not cookies. No, no it, 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 it reminds me of when, and this is true, I took my daughter to dinner the other night, and I ordered her a plate of spaghetti and a cheeseburger. Wow. In case, because she's fickle. She doesn't know which one Get she over. wants. A, I understand a that. A bite of each. Every we're going to talk and, about food. Can we play We Are the World or something? Mm. I need some music behind this. We, we, she took mm. a bite of burger, a bite of the pasta, and the rest we just chucked in the gut. Uh, throw it away. Just For the rats. Away. The rats eat better than, uh, yeah, exactly. than the Haitians in yeah. the city. Uh, I bet you the dirt cookies have some leavings. A chips leave. in them. <laughs> sure they do. Leavings. My, I gave my dog... Uh, I fed my dog fresh beef and vegetables for breakfast this morning. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> fresh beef from a supermarket. Uh, I went to uh, an Italian restaurant here in Manhattan, and um, it's uh, served what they call family style. Ah, yeah. And, and it's a giant, you get a giant platter of food. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just me and my girl. And, and uh, she doesn't like what I have. Sure. I don't like what she has. Right. So we each had to get a giant, giant portion sure. of which... You couldn't even tell we had eaten anything out of it, yeah. and I was stuffed. Right. Uh, and then they take it away and throw it in the garbage. Yeah, no, and you throw it in like hazmat garbage, so it's certain that yeah. no one, no other people will eat it. Right. It's like a shredder for food. Yeah, because <laughs> it's illegal to yeah. give that food to anybody. That's and the right. beauty, because we are Americans, that yeah. the, all that beautiful food that's in the dumpsters, we don't let the homeless eat it, so we poison it. That's they right. dump actual poison on this delicious food that the <laughs> exactly. homeless would have would have yep. grabbed and had a nice meal. Exactly. We do that because we're Americans. That's you know. what we've always done. Jimmy, it. you got a food story, maybe? Uh, well, I started with the sushi one. I, I normally, I don't know. I mean, I, I like to take a couple of bites out of things and throw it on the floor. And uh, they just say, look, this fell. I'm not paying for it. Then I go home. <laughs> fell. <laughs> what about the gluttony Super Bowl Sunday? You know, big game on Sunday, the gluttony that's going to be. chicken wings. Yep, I'll order a pizza. Uh, a few, uh, uh, yeah. about a week ago, I was driving from Louisville, Kentucky to uh, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And I stopped at a Kroger's. Right. At 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was open. Totally lit up and air conditioned and perfectly, you know, controlled. And there was just a, about an acre of meat on out on the you know on the shelf. Yeah. And uh, no one was going to ever buy it that night. And the next day it would all be thrown away. Yeah, of course. And that Kroger's represents literally millions. Of supermarkets that just have, in case one guy wants meat at three o'clock and wants <laughs> wants a, squ a square inch of meat, they put an acre out there. Yeah, it really sucks. They got to eat dirt. Cookies. And then it all throws. 
Oh, oh right. those dirt people with dirt cookies? I don't forgot they, about the dirt what's cookies. Wrong? Why are they eating dirt cookies? There's meat at Kroger's. You, uh, and what if you want to stupid? go back a ways, I remember... Uh, how far is Haiti from Louisville, really? Yeah. How hard would that be? Come on. Gonna... Just make the swim. Yeah. When I was uh, probably uh, a little older than these children that they're talking about that are making yeah. dirt cookies, uh, I remember going to Jack in the Box uh, with all yeah. my friends at the end of a night of drinking. And we would get uh, a breakfast jacks, they were called. Right. Uh, and But we would get extra ones yeah. just so after we eat our fill, we could drive by uh, the Jack in the Box and throw them at the big windows in Throwing front. Food and just watch prank. them slide yeah. down the window. Yeah. And la would we laugh yeah. as that food, that sustenance, was just oozing down the we windows. We have enough food here in this country to do funny things with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know we that? play with. We have to be told not to play exactly. with our food. Exactly. That dirt cookie story reminded me. I had a Toll House freshly baked. Uh, about, I had about eight of them, and I was only going to eat three. And a couple of them actually had more chips on one side of the cookie than the other. Oh, that's, that's awful. What that's not good. infuriating. That's oh, awful. Hold on, I want to make more room so I can eat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how do they deal with the anorexia problem over there? Like, do they have to maybe force them to eat the dirt cookies? I guess so. And the bulimia? Like, does that hurt when, when after you binge on dirt cookies, you have to purge and there's the pebbles that scrape Probably. your throat? Look at the positive side. Uh, they don't have those diseases in uh, Haiti. Yeah, that's right. That was. Uh... I bought. I went shopping the other night for my kids and I got a chicken <laughs> and some lamb chops and uh, beef. And then I ended up not feeling like cooking. Yeah. I got takeout every night this yeah. week, and all of that food went rotten in, in my fridge. Yep. <laughs> you just got to clean it out and throw it away. No, it's a real drag stinks. for me. It's a mold. Real, yeah. Everyone understands the message. What we're really trying to say with this bit, and like, don't misinterpret it, yes. is that uh, this Black History Month, we want to acknowledge that in Haiti, they are spoiled. <laughs> There's, there was? Spoiled. There's spoiled. Uh, you excuse don't have any me. Food. Have a dirt cookie. I'd love yeah. to have cookies for uh, every meal of the sure. day. Listen, it's not just dirt, too. What did she say? They had a vegetable shortening and salt and in there? Something it's delicious. It's delicious. Sounds great. Have a dirt cookie, son. You've been good. In some countries, that's a delicacy. <laughs> you know when they say that? Exactly. Yeah. In some countries, that's a delicacy. Yeah, because they don't have any actual food. Because <laughs> they don't have beef. Yeah. Figure it out. Four countries. Spit that's why is a delicacy. Yeah, that's why slugs are a delicacy. They yeah. spit in each other's <laughs> mouths for food because they got nothing else. Uh, how about, uh, I remember being a small child and my parents getting into a big fight. Mm -hmm. And um, my father taking a full plate, a big platter of uh, spaghetti, and just throwing it against the wall and calling my mother an F and a C. And watching the spaghetti uh, ooze down the wall. And it brought tear to my, uh, tears to my eyes. Not, you know, the, the waste of food. It was the fact that my parents were probably sure. getting a divorce, and I was devastated. Well, the people in Haiti would probably happily drink those tears for nourishment now. Of course, well, add it to these uh, dirt cookies. That's where the, the salt comes from. They're a wonderful, tears. wonderful snack. Wonderful. Oh, look, an infected toe. Let me suck on that. I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I have personally, I have probably personally poured about four million gallons of milk down the drain. <laughs> Just poured it Enough down the drain. To feed a nation. I bought a gallon of milk. This has been repeated 50,000 times in my life. Mm -hmm. Bought a gallon of milk. Made a, didn't even drink a glass of it. Made a cappuccino right. with, with an eighth of a cup of it. Yeah. And then let the rest rot. Come back home from the road and pour it out. All right. How about uh, lunch meat? Lunch meat? Oh, yeah. We all, have, we all get like a pound of ham or yeah. turkey or something. Give me a pound. You know you what? Give me sandwich. a pound, buddy. You yeah, make one sandwich pound. and forget yeah. that it's in the forget fridge. It. And then, plah, right Forget the, it. Right into the garbage. You That's know, it. It's like Swiss the Bible cheese says. becomes cardboard. <laughs> yeah. Stiffens up on exactly. it. Teach a man to buy cookies. Mm -hmm. Boy, I screwed up. Oh. <laughs> I've never actually read the Bible, but I just heard it's good. Oh, wow. Well, this well. sucks. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, we were doing, on. We were doing Hello. great, too. But, but, no, that's the oh, thing. Well, Give well. a nation uh, grain and food and uh, mm -hmm. rice, and they'll eat for 20, 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Teach them that the dirt beneath their feet can be cookies, <laughs> and the whole country will be dead in a week. <laughs> <laughs> We got Guess the Singer or Willie Nelson talking about 9-11. Uh, 
Well, I'm Nelson's Willie Nelson. a douche. Well, Does he say some... anything surprising? Does he uh, say anything you wouldn't have expected him to yeah, say? Actually, yeah, actually, it, it is a little actually, odd, he's... even though I know he smokes a lot of pot. He's one of those dudes, Louie. Like... Oh, no. one of those, oh, we're learning no. that he's one of those dudes. That Which it was it was uh, planted detonation and, and oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. Willie Nelson. We've had a on the show. One of those. Uh, the What's the your most... take on 9/11? Do you do you question the official What's story? Your... <laughs> uh, certainly. Is this man cow audio? No, no it's not man cow. Who's the guy? Yeah. Well, they, there's a lot of man cow sounding. Not funny. Out there. Not, not funny. Not 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 uh, What's your take on 9/11? Do you do you question the official story? I, I like certainly them. do, and uh, I saw those towers fall, and I've seen the, an implosion in Las Vegas. Uh, there was too much similarities between the two. Right, the building and, fell. And I saw the building Dumb fall that didn't get hit by nothing. So, uh, you know, how naive are we? Or, you know, what are, what are they think we'll go for? What, it did get hit so by you, nothing? Are, are you saying you started having... It also takes like six months to prepare that building <laughs> to fall like that. You it's know, not like they yeah. just go in that day, hook up some dynamite, exactly. and then it it's falls amazing. perfectly. It's, it's the most witnessed crime in the history of the wor of, of existence. Of existence. And people are still like... It's still I it, don't know, though. I mean, no, man. Uh, could have been something. Uh, you know. Look, see, you see sparks coming out the window. as it's Yeah, because it's a building <laughs> falling. It's made of metal and concrete. I was talking, You're going to see sparks, yeah. dummy. I was talking to Anthony yesterday because this came up and we're finally bringing it on the show. Uh, right now, I got some douche above me just tapping mm -hmm. in nails, and I want to go up there and oh. strangle them. And yeah. I go, I can't even concentrate with a lousy hammer, and they're small nails, you can tell, yeah. but they're nailing everything up there. And and they were supposed to sneak around a fucking building and, and jack drill hammers, holes and drilling shit. holes in, in supporting and no one's gonna concrete notice. and steel. No. And, and not going to notice the dust everywhere, yeah. even if they quote it in the middle of the night when no one was there, they were yeah. going to sweep up everything. <laughs> Cables so, that would come out in a snake that would have to be a foot in it's diameter. It's just funny because I remember watching it and thinking, engineering-wise, what was happening made sense to me, which is that the yeah. top half started wobbling and that that's not supposed to happen right. to a building, mm -mm. and that this once the top half started to fall the weight of it on is itself... Gonna... It's it's like they dropped the upper part of the World Trade Center yeah. on the rest of the World Trade Center, and, and it crumbled down. Gravity dictates it will go in a straight line. Yeah, it's down. straight down. It's not going to go over for any <laughs> no. reason. There's no force pushing it on the side. No. It's yeah. pushing down. A lot of people exactly. really thought it was going to just, yeah, just tumble over that way. It's impossible. I, yeah, it would be you great really if Al-Qaeda, somebody like if Bin Laden just came on TV to say, no, we totally did uh, do it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they must there be was pissed. No, yeah, they're like, like motherfucker, we did that. It was so much work. And they're yeah. Fucking, <laughs> you know what we went through? <laughs> Maybe if Cloverfield, like, you know, tilted, you know, pushed the tower Yeah, over. if the Cloverfield yeah. monster pushes yeah. a building, it'll fall well, over. But here's, that's what they wanted, too. The terrorists wanted it to fall over yeah, onto, other, said that. Yeah. onto other buildings, and they were probably bummed out that it didn't. Yeah. yeah. A little bit, sure. Willie Nelson is a fucking well, dummy. Let's uh, give him uh, the benefit of the doubt. Here's Willie Nelson. Didn't get hit by nothing, so, uh, you know, how naive are we? Or, you know, what are, what do they think we'll go for? So you, are you saying you started having questions or that little voice in your head? Uh, I mean, uh, did you have a bad feeling the day it happened? Is that what you're saying? The day it happened, I saw one fall, and it was just so symmetrical. And I said, wait a minute, I just saw that last week at the you know, a, a casino over in uh, Las Vegas. And you see these implosions all the time, and then the next one fell. And I said, hell, there's another one. And they're trying to tell me that an airplane did it. And that's, you know, I can't go along with that. And then no. you find out that mainstream news reported, but it never got any attention, that the supposed hijackers were given national security clearance and were trained at U.S. bases. And the dean of the Defense Language School, Colonel Butler, goes public and says, we train these people, the government's involved, and they start court-martialing until he agreed to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Who is this asshole? You know what's funny it's about who is this cow. asshole? No. Uh, Sounds no. just like man cow. Everyone online is uh, on his feedback is telling us who this asshole is. Mad Cow, uh, Bubba the Love Sponge. Uh, is it Neil Bortz? No, but they're mentioning that Humphrey dude, Rusty Humphreys, Mad Cow. Like it's the same voice. Alex Jones. That's I guess what they hacks all, these guys are. They all. That's sound what I'm the saying. They guy, all sound yeah. like the same, and everyone thinks they know who this guy is. Yeah. The uh, the uh, uh, you know, I talk like this when I'm home. He sounds like he's about to say, Willie, that's Willie. not funny. <laughs> that's not Stupid funny, Willie. Oh, Willie. Well, when was that audio from, though? In fairness to him, was that like right after 9-11? Uh, when, when was it? Yesterday. No. No. Cause it's, you if you came out right after 9-11 like, and said shit like this, you'd be fucking exiled. Yeah. You know what happened to the Chixie Dicks, remember? 
They fucking said something. Chipsy dick? <laughs> I said that on purpose. Thank okay, you for noticing. Right. They, they fucking, you know, <laughs> criticized Bush a little too close to uh, 9-11. Ugh, they were it. crucified. Yeah. Uh, no, this is all new shit. Stupid Willie. Go smoke a uh, fucking joint yeah, and says, not pay your taxes. I'm sorry I'm not buying it. <laughs> Asshole. I'm sorry I'm not buying it. Well, it's a good thing it doesn't matter whether you buy it or not. <laughs> Holy shit, Willie Nelson's on to us. It's time. All right. Yeah. We're going to make a major announcement this evening on the it. news. Here's the stupid The thing that the other guy's saying, I can't. I have no idea if any of that's true, but maybe the government did 9-11. It's possible. But mm. at least admit that they yeah. did it by throwing planes at the buildings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, why do you need to The planes to are a nice least, touch. At least what are they, they just, stupid? What, why would they do that and then not, you know? Yeah. It, why don't you just? It's so easy to just say the hijackers were working for the government. That's all. That's fine. I'll go. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that did happen. Not a controlled. But explosion. we all watch the planes hit the buildings and the buildings come down. Why do you have to say no? They actually. Some people go like there was no planes. Yeah. What? There's people that say that uh, there were no planes. Is there really an eyewitness? There never this? was a World Trade Center. Did anyone see the planes? Yeah. Yes. Millions of people saw it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they say the one that hit the Pentagon that they actually blew the Pentagon up themselves because there's no footage of the plane. Yes, there is. Shut actually, up. No, there is. There I, is. I, I know there is. There is. There is. Security cam. They, they say it. that it isn't. So relax. There is. Right. All right, Tony, relax. I told you there was Bob. <laughs> Bob's always arguing that point. And there's uh, light poles that are sheared off, and there's a big um, fenced-in generator that where one of the tail the tail hit. They know exactly where it came in. Well, exactly they, but, how it hit. The reason why they're like because they didn't find pieces of it like on Lost mm. that it didn't happen. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're a gatekeeper. You remember that jerk off? Oh uh, yeah. Little boy. Little boy didn't like his point of view not being not being and then he got all violent Stop the angry and yelling. man thing, sweetie. That's Stop. what it is. It's usually some douchebags. You know, this is how people argue. And that's why I don't like argue on the internet with people anymore. Mm -hmm. Because whatever you tell people, it's like, well, it was on national TV and we all watch. Uh, you know, it might have not. I can dis I can believe what I want to believe. Uh -huh. All right, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Believe it. Well, doesn't it bother believe your parents you? Parents raised that... the douche. No, it doesn't because I've I've read. Uh, yeah. yeah, the explanation for that. And so they didn't find me. any aircraft parts at the Pentagon. Yes, they did. Yes, yeah. they did. Uh, yeah. yeah. What What are you going to say to that? Yes, they did. Here's the pictures of it. Here's a firefighter standing next to a turbine that matches this plane. No. <laughs> I mean, what That's the exactly. fuck? How do you argue that? <laughs> That's exactly what they say. No. No, years ago, this is where I really learned about people and how useless they are. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, years ago, I was, in, I was in Boston. I was in a bar, and there's a story on the news on the TV at the bar about the stealth bomber. Remember the mm -hmm. stealth bomber? Yep. The invisible bomber. And this guy at the end of this Boston retard at the end of the bar goes, <laughs> he goes, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm like, what? Stealth bomb doesn't work. Doesn't like, work. What do you? Why do you say? Because the Russians got infrared. Doesn't work. Infrared. infrared. Like, there's. This is like a three billion dollar airplane. <laughs> infrared. And they worked on it forever. And they like used like some of Hitler's yeah. science. <laughs> yeah. And like there's and the dudes that... <laughs> whose brains are bizarrely amazing that made and this thing. The technology from a clicker can find yeah, it. Yeah. This yeah. Fucking, <laughs> fucking your remote this control. Fucking Irish cunt in Boston. All they had to do was ask him. He's sitting at the end of the bar with the real. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> People think they know anything. Dad, the problem with infrared is that they can use it. <laughs> well, Bob, no. what about? Don't talk to me, dude. <laughs> I rehearsed this alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, we got an update on the Jane Fonda thing too. Uh, when remember she this? Apparently, she never said it. Uh, well. I know you were, well... Amazing. And I know when it started, there were some A-list celebrities who came out to help you, but Jane, you at first were not a big fan of the play, so what turned you around? Well, it wasn't that I wasn't, wasn't a big fan. I hadn't seen the play. I live in Georgia, okay? I was asked <laughs> to do a monologue called Cunt. And I said, I don't think so. i got enough problems. But, <laughs> but then you were invited to go see. Yeah. Fucking love Jane Fonda uh, right now. I did a monologue called so, Cunt. First of all, i got enough problems. I love also, she said Cunt like you're supposed to say it. She said Cunt. <laughs> Like you came from under But you know what? That's a not even her line. Cunt. Brett Butler, there's a female comic. I don't know if it was Brett or Caroline Ray. One of them said that in their act. Really? Yes. Really? It's not even her fucking line. Uh, so she stole it? Yes. 
Wow. And then you hear Meredith Vieira laughing at her, right? Yeah. And now yeah. she's denying she didn't really hear it. Because I didn't hear it. She was that's... turned away from me. I wasn't even in the room. I fucking, fucking didn't hear it. Oh, my kids. Oh. Oh. That's the update right there. Yeah. She claims she never heard <laughs> Jane Fonda say Fonda <laughs> she's, she's laughing <laughs> at it. <laughs> and then uh, Meredith had this to say. Before we go to break, in our last half hour, we were talking about the vagina monologues, and, and um, Jane Fonda said inadvertently cunt. said a word from the play that you don't say on television. It was a slip, and, and obviously she apologizes, yeah. and so do we. We would do nothing to offend the audience. So please accept that apology, and when we come up, I'm not uh, accepting we're going to be talking about the secrets to making your love last. A nice story. Yeah, yeah, so a nice story. Right. 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 There's so much. <laughs> God damn it. That's the secret right there. Get a 12-year-old cunt. <laughs> get your fucking... fucking get, a tra- get a 12-year-old cunt transplanted into your old body. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make your love last. She you got fucking... Cut out that you shit old viewer. And you replace it. <laughs> Fucking switch it oh out. Fill your God. pussy with rocks. Fucking so there's something for him to rub against. six pounds of chicken livers and sew it in there. <laughs> switch out your old pussy for your daughters, you fucking useless whore. Switch it out. <laughs> Fuck, like, it's a fucking filleting the knife. the pit crew to put a new one in. <laughs> the Penske team surrounding you. <laughs> Ten seconds. Done. <laughs> Fuck her again. <laughs> oh, oh shit. my belly hurts. She just was, yeah, denying everything now. Uh, and that, well, now she's saying she, she never was even laughing. Heard it. Never heard it. She so. apologized. Can imagine. Never never heard. Heard. Can you imagine? She laughed at it. She yeah. fucking gave it a nice uh, fat laugh. Like what, that guy in right. Fonda. Hello. Uh, who's it? We want the guys to tell all the truth we about want... sex and relationships. Hello, how do I change this? Gay guys tell Steve. all about Steve. straight guys. Yeah. That's who they speak for us. Yeah. Right? A bunch of uh, gay-looking gentlemen. He, um, is seemingly. Uh, I just no. need this change really fast. We want to w- listen to that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's like I suggest that Democrats really have some nope. doubts about a. Nope, that's still up top. Marriage. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Andy, Andy, Andy. Many years. You, you got yeah. many years. Fifteen <laughs> years married. Yeah. So many yes. years. Yes. Tell me. What yes. do you do? Well, you know, What's his name? spark is spark. You it know, when you're funny. hot, you're hot. Yeah. Swallow <laughs> another love. When you're not, you're not. <laughs> uh, you know, but it's all about communication. Shut up. It's all about it communication. is not. You know, it's all I'm about communication. When I married my wife, I'm gay with sperm in my mouth. Yeah. Go home and diddle your fucking. Like, oh, it's Wednesday. Well, that's why Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday is good. Wednesday, Wednesday is very, very good. Today is Tuesday, which means it is tomorrow. about communication. I got a Wednesday. hard dick and I suck at real Wednesday. <laughs> the person that you are married to is still that beautiful woman, or uh, for no, women. She's and even though you're a gay man, you have to remember your woman. As much as you do, or as much as you wanted mm-hmm. to back in the day. So, so now you have to keep doing the things. They go. We're not talking about rape. The things that yeah. you used to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, be real. Are you still romancing them like you? Like yes, you, I you do. Know, I try to be creative. You know, oh, I try yeah, to read stuff yeah. like sometimes, sometimes I, I suck a man's penis. Is that a turn on? Trying to mix it up a little. Pretend it's like if no one else enjoys it, I had a good time and she's had a laugh. When we were at the back talking just just before we came on air, and we were talking about. Yeah, right, hey, Stuart, son. son. Yeah. We're not going to talk about the wigs and the lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're like that one you're wearing out the back. Let me ask you guys, are you guys romantics? I mean, when you show up, I don't know whether it's a date or whether it's to your girlfriend. Do you come with the flowers and the chocolates, Please or do you do you are you into the romance <laughs> part? I mean, I'm a chef, so I've, I've got to be. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good. It's got to be about food. It's got to be about nice wines, candlelight. You know, a bit of. I sort of think romance comes from a situation. So it really does. It comes from a date rape drug. You fucking roofie. You know, that's I give her a fucking creative though, right? Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> romance is definitely a big piece of it. Uh, I just had this conversation with my girlfriend. They're all gay! Yeah, I know, they're like all gay! That's yes, who speaks for us today. That's why I'm a fucking hateful... It's not about the sex all, all, all that much. It's yeah. about how they feel. So well, our I mean, biggest thing... It's the little love now. It's the biggest thing. It's the love now. It's the love now. It's the love now. It's important to them with their goals, with their dreams. I love my wife a love now. Make them important to us. Take out the trash and that bad. It'll take a little longer to warm up. So guys, we're always ready. See, we're just... We don't know. It's like, so we need to be ready at a moment's notice. We like to what? Bust into a condo? We realize that women aren't always ready. So we got to foreplay. Take it slow. Foreplay yeah. is whatever is leading up to sex. It might be in the morning when you leave the house. You what do you know, right the neck? And then you go out and you call it during the day. You this should be called guys tell me. Oh, my God. Uh, they work it all they day tell long. All. All. This is what passes, seriously. You know, right. 16 years, you know, Ask there's a, a guy lot in the back of just with a sanitation life truck. intruding all the time. Yeah. yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, from Britain. sex is easy. The romance can be hard. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon the pun. And oh, the, oh, the, oh, he's Joe. Joe. Dick Joe. Dick Joe. Dick Joe. We weren't even going there. That, you know, we We're not even going there. there. You know, find ways all the time to reinvent ourselves to keep things fresh. Is the glasses the don't. latest one? All right, let's dink. take a look at our next question. This is from uh, Whitney from New York. Oh. She asks, what uh -oh. happens after you hook up? On the first date, let's take a look at her question. Now the cops come to my house and go, "Where's the head?" My question is: If you hook up with a guy on the first date, is there potential for it to go somewhere, or was it just a one-night stand? How do men feel about the woman the next day, the day after? Single guy. I kind of felt like this was coming my way. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, look, I, I, I personally wouldn't judge somebody whether they hooked up with you on the first date or not. Um, I, I think that. Every situation is different, you know, it depends on how it came about. Did you meet him in a nightclub and then end up back at the How about if she wiped her ass on your you know, towels we'll before she left? Is that when you judge her? You Friends fucking and, you know, fag. You to someone that way. Uh. <laughs> right, you have a little bit of a different point of view on that, right? Uh, no. There's no? no. Yeah, I believe that it can turn into something. You know, I'm just going yeah, to a very natural, innocent sort of flow of, of a relationship. Are you, so you fucking fagola? <laughs> Well, like your brother or something, and then go into some white gay Maybe she did that yesterday. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, isn't that kind well, of well, cropping up in your I think it has yeah. a lot to do with the the self esteem and maturity of the man. Yeah. And also, like you said, the situation. If, go warm up my car. It's a type of situation where you're out on a date and you, things are going very well. It just naturally progresses to the point where you wind up going further than you expected on the first date. That's a different story than if you had a friend party back in, you know, down in alcoholic beverages and then right. you wake up the next morning and you don't remember how you got there. We had an yeah. interesting segment sure. on yesterday with you. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about sexless. Yeah. 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 Stolen car. About a relationship <laughs> that doesn't lead to sex right away. It's disgusting. It should never happen. Let's be honest. Guys, wild, wild. Sometimes the longer you wait, the better it is. Yeah, right. You like like forever. You must wait a long time. You fat toy. Away from that dirty vagina. That there truly is a sexual compatibility. Now, if you, if a guy, if you're expecting a guy to be totally cold turkey and and go into a serious relationship with you, and even go to a DNA database, you fucking have sexual contact with you. That the risk. Trace your relationship in a situation. He never has sex before he gets like, their pin number. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many ways to connect on. Like for women, for us, we connect on so many different levels. I mean, yeah, I right? just You're one so of those levels. Complex. For guys, it seems like right? okay, split your head like with a fucking That's a measure of relationship. We connect on so many levels: the fucking wallet and the cunt. Yeah, you're a real enigma. Oh yeah. Credit card with a dick. That's what you want, you stupid. so much more. We're so we're so complicated. There's so many layers of complexity, you fucking... No, no, you want your cum and your money. <laughs> Both, so try to figure that out. You know, when, you, when somebody cooks for you, you go out of their house, and the first thing you do is you want... smell what they've cooked, you know, and you get yeah. a bit excited. Yeah. This is the anticipation that of the it? meal. Yeah, really yeah nothing gets and me harder than fucking eggs over easy. <laughs> um, you know, sex, I, I don't think it's just an act. I think it's it's something more yeah, than that. It it's, it's something really special, but and, and it's something it's to share with... It's a dick in my fucking ass. Of course, it's different. All day. But, but you, when you're having God. sex in a uh, committed I'm with you because we're both men and we're gay. It's much more intense. Listen to this fucking. This guy. Did he just say no that? No heterosexual guy would ever say that. Ever. You're with. In a million fucking I've years. Been in, ever. In relationships that that where sex again came later on. Let's not bring and the fucking place into this. I if I knew that we were sexually compatible. Yeah, but we're talking about consensual sex. You said sex in a committed relationship is so much more. And there's so many ways to communicate. He's a phony. He's never. He's never seen a snatch in his life. No, he hasn't. Never. Mm -hmm. But it's just that most guys aren't going to really go for that. <laughs> Again, we're talking about <laughs> consensual <laughs> sex. Even if he is waiting for you, he may not be waiting. He's yeah. like, well, I won't have sex with you, but I will have some sex. He has Again, okay, we're well, moving on. Yeah, 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 very <laughs> feminine. We'll do another I respect your wishes. <laughs> you know that guy knows his date's <laughs> over and somebody blows area. a rape whistle. Anita from New York asked about how she uh, tells the guy is lying to her about having sex with other women. Your point. Let's take a look. Wondering how do you tell if a man is lying about sleeping with other women if he says they're just friends? If his crotch smells okay, like a yeah. blimpy. Yeah. How can you tell? Go ahead, Brett. Women have a very strong. Why would crotch. it matter to you, you yeah. ugly whore? And they know when something's up. 
and it's very simple. If you can see sort of the inconsistency. No, they don't. I've cheated my whole life. That's right. You're fucking dumb as a bag of hands, please. Wrench your dick, go home, and go, hey, I'm going to watch a ball game. Fucking stop it. If you suck his dick and there's shit on the tip, chances are he's been with someone else who tripped. Yeah, let's ask Bo Jackson's younger brother. How do you guys hide? Yeah, being gay from your wife. He yeah, is that's the question. Is exactly. Yeah. And that relationship is right. doomed. There's right. That's There's a good point. Point. It's, it's all about the trust And if you have to ask the question, you will probably already have you already your know. answer. Because even, you know, like you said, even oh, if the right? answer is no, oh, really? the fact yeah. that you yeah. ask the question that shows works? a lack of trust. Yes. And there's so many yeah. other things that are probably going to happen. It's all on your mind, bitch. Sometimes it may be coming from another relationship. When he comes home, he's saying pepper spray. She knows he's been cheating. You see a sketch of him on fucking the local news. Have you seen this man? Look, honey, either you ask him to give my vagina back. For men and women, when it comes to having casual sex, it's Nicholas. Ah, find dismembered tits in his sock drawer. Why men think they're the only ones? They can be the only ones to have sex, casual sex, without attachment, and women can't. Well, you need to. I, I kind of have. Yeah, yeah, go, go. I'm so did sick of this did question. That, did that really That's so fucking. Number. <laughs> oh, this guy is out of control. Oh, he's oh, how the fuck are you? He's the bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Because he's we, we wearing a ripped it. hoodie. You know I mean? Who do you think he thinks he's Rod fucking Stewart? Yeah. When guys are out having casual sex, I think that we have a, a healthy understanding that women do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But are those but, the kind of girls I'll, that you're building I'll, a lasting I'll, relationship Yes, you That's the thing to remember. There is double standard. Because when I look at a woman, and they're kind of being like go. that, very casual. Yeah, you, don't, you don't like that, do you, faggot? Again, the wholesomeness, the pureness of You don't of want them, them for the long haul. And I don't want them to be the mother of my children. I do. The mother of my children. Some girl licks my asshole the first date, I'm getting her a ring next within an hour. I want to use her as a cum spatoon. Next time she licks your asshole, there's a little ring in there. That's how you Hey, he licks my asshole. Do it again. She sticks her tongue in there. What is that? Oh. Oh, I love oh, you. She's crying. You know, How romantic. It's <laughs> 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 shit on the ring still. <laughs> it's, not, it's two <laughs> carrots and a piece of corn. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is on the road with major rock and roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm the kind of person, I don't, I don't care about what you did before me. As a matter of fact, D don't hurt me. D Just don't, don't tell me. Don't, don't even tell me. Okay, wait, wow. can I ask you guys to come back again for our next segment? Yeah, that's great. No, you guys are great. Oh, oh, and great. 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 All four of you, we expect you back. Right. He's a pussy connoisseur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And when we come back, while you may want to use those gift cards that you got for Christmas today, right after these messages. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's pressing. Wow. Drivel. How the no, fuck am I not level. a trillionaire? I don't understand. The whole the gay, gay Look, guy's talking first. There's another white man being betrayed well in a commercial. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like a carrot. It's like that movie, American Beauty. Remember that yeah. movie? Oh, where they got first, uh, Kevin Spacey playing the get, playing the man heterosexual, yeah, and he's in love. He wants to fuck. He's fantasizing about fucking a cheerleader in high school, right? Uh -huh. And the way they represent this in this gay movie, <laughs> it really this won't. fucking bunch of come through a projector that this movie was <laughs> is like this is a fucking <laughs> this is a this is a man when you fantasize. Apparently, according to this movie. When you fantasize about a, a cheerleader, right. you lay on your back and flower petals fall all over right. you. Right. Right. Rose petals just fall all over your body. Yeah. That's yeah. what you think about. Exactly. Instead of just like her hot, sweaty yeah. ass yeah. and the confused look on her face <laughs> yeah. Yeah. as exactly. you fucking come in her stupid <laughs> eye. <Sure>. And then <laughs> bash her brains in with her own pom-poms <laughs> right on your fist. Hold her throat and tell her not to tell people. <laughs> and you throw her into a cab and she's crying. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. You fucking, fucking best bleach your hair and move out of town. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Or you yell... Give me a C, give me a U, <laughs> give me an N, give me a T, as you punch her in the belly. <laughs> no rose petals avoid her, needed. Avoid her calls when she skips her period a fucking month later. <laughs> She's holding a middle of light on her eye to put down the swell swelling. <laughs> when it's done, I want the sheets She's to look like there are rose petals on it. <laughs> exactly. She's got are a you heffin' spotting? her to her fucking to her shiner. You make her wear a fucking cheerleading outfit while you give her ass to mouth. <laughs> exactly. Uh, 
fucking... Uh, like, uh, God. No, it's Kevin Spacey with this sweet look on his face and his flower petals. Yeah. And also, like, cluck, uh, mu- you know, jazzy music. Yeah. What, music with a, yeah, that's how you fantasize. <laughs> with those wooden blocks. Uh, and fuck then yeah, the, the, the Marine at the end of the movie, the Marine, of course, the ex-Marine is really... Yeah, he's the one who's yeah. really gay. Yeah. None of us are gay. It's actually that he- that one hetero guy. He's the gay one. Yeah. No one else is gay. Yeah, yeah Kevin Spacey's not yeah. gay. no. <laughs> Fuck, he's fucking straight as an arrow. He lifts weights, listens to Zeppelin, drives a Firebird, and thinks about fucking rose petals. Yeah, the rose petals really. Fucking... And then when he actually sees her tits, he he wants he almost vomits. Yeah, and puts a blanket around her. Yeah, where the fuck is the fucking man? There's no man there. No, absolutely not. She should have been in a finally sees hold. the eighteen year old tits and goes, oh, "What have I been doing all the time? I yeah. forgot I like men and their yeah. anuses. <laughs> I forgot I like exactly. to suck <laughs> I don't like vaginas. They're disgusting. Uh, hey, so going back to your kids, uh, there's yeah. a there's a story that happened in a, in a mall, and uh, I want to get your take on it. Simple as All right. that. All right, it's a pretty good one. A mother outraged. Her five year old daughter had an emergency, and she says store employees refused to help. The mother says she was eating at a shopping mall when her five-year-old started screaming. Many parents can relate. It was a bathroom emergency. But when she went to the nearest place for help, they said no. She says her daughter had a massive accident. Well, now the store <laughs> owner is receiving death threats because of this bathroom backlash. This just never should have happened. It never should have escalated this high. It just oh, but it ever... did. <laughs> now one mother has started an internet campaign. Oh. And this store owner... People have, have called asking if this is my address and said my address to my daughter. And she was terrified. Says she's now getting death threats. Good. The only one that I actually read was the one that said what they wanted to do to me. That was... Beat me with a lead pipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop thinking your stupid bathroom is sacred. All right, wait a minute, though. So this mother is starting the Internet campaign against the store? Yeah. What kind of I, ha- I hate the mother. I hate her. Do you really? Yes, I do. Yeah, but see, you got the five-year-old. Obviously, the I got a six-year-old and a three-year-old, and I've been out in public with them many times. Yeah, I've been at Yankee Stadium with them. And you need a you need a bathroom. Yeah, you need a bathroom. Well, okay, here's what happens: you're at Yankee Stadium with your two kids, and you don't want to, you know, the Yankee Stadium men's room. <laughs> right. It's pretty disgusting. Sure is. And I don't want to go there and be in line with my kids, and then yeah. go into a stall that's just got <laughs> is just a chocolate-covered toilet seat. <laughs> 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 but I do it. Because I know later I might not have a bathroom. She didn't, if her kid has started screaming, I have to go to the bathroom, Mm -hmm. that means she's a lousy mother. That's all. I can just tell you that as a fact. Oh, that, that. She doesn't know how to take care of her kid. She should have maybe sooner found something. She's a self-centered, stupid mother eating a a fat burger at the mall. The, the, just an idiot. The key word Mom, there yeah, was idea. massive. Yeah. The kid had a massive yeah. accident. I don't want to. I don't want to. Wow. I, I think there's more that's going to be revealed here. Oh, instead, is there? Instead of us saying it, because because like the lead pipe thing, you know, came out of nowhere. I'm hoping these other facts come out of nowhere. Be sure a lead pipe. That yeah. Anthony crazy. said massive. Yeah. Massive is key to this story. Now okay. keep listening. Okay. You know, and this lady's now getting death threats because you know she wouldn't let the mother with the young child yeah. use her bathroom. Because there's rules about it. You public restrooms. Yeah. There's when you have a, a store or a restaurant, the the, the the your bathrooms are either rated for public use or not. Yeah. You can't. It's actually a rule. So the woman's legitimate by not letting the person. Uh, it, mm. it, it's a dumb bathroom. All right. Let's hear. This after a Huntington Beach mom walked into Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. <laughs> 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 Louis C.K. just did a spit take. Ah, come on. Rocky no Man. way. Wow. Is that the name of the That's movie? Funny. That's why we don't want to give too much away. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of surprises in this story. A lot of surprises. My daughter left truffles all over the floor. <laughs> Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Yuck. Uh, just let her drop one on the wax paper next to the other ones. <laughs> right. Let Lucy wrap it up after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, no. This after a Huntington Beach mom uh. walked into Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory last Thursday. She was carrying the child and she came running over here and she said, my four-year-old, my four-year-old, she has diarrhea, she needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 my four-year-old, my... What is it with uh, saying my four-year-old twice? 
probably something they would know it wasn't for her. Like, right, right. Yeah. I get it. No, but... she had diarrhea. It's not her kid. Oh, how great is this? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Chocolate factory. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. It's the best day of my life. This is fantastic. Cha, cha, cha. My parents just say, my four-year-old, my four-year-old, she has diarrhea, she needs to go to the bathroom. Owner Bonnie Overturf wasn't there at the time. She says her employee instructed the mother to go to the public restrooms around the corner. A policy Overturf has advised all employees to follow. Um, per health department regulation, no person not working with the food can come they have diarrhea and be that close to mm. the food. Mm, but okay. on a blog, the mother wrote, I beg them to have a heart that she was only five but by that time she had lost it all over herself and me <laughs> i beg you don't have a heart have a brain idiot the bathroom's around the corner it's around the corner just you're go you're in a mall there's bathrooms around the corner you don't Stop go into arguing. a store if you're in a mall you don't go into the chocolate store to use yeah. the bathroom the rocky mountain chocolate factory you know, like, moron I don't know. You know uh, what? You've got to let the mother it's use a, the dumb bathroom. I hate these. Yeah. I, they, they're scum. Just the way they would make it. Knowing it's a little kid and they couldn't give the kid a break. It's like, so what? The mother's stupid. You're going to make the kid pay? That store sucks. <laughs> I, don't I know, hate man. kids. Well, probably it's doesn't. It's not. It's like a bathroom that's behind the counter. It's oh, like yeah. It sounded like it was in a place where a you know it's too people. close to the Rocky Mountain yeah. chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you don't want a little kid uh, back there. Now There's, they would just be in stupid employees like every one of us deals with. Yep. Just I don't complete know. robot employee. I hate, I guess it just touches a nerve with me because I hate the mother. I hate the most American parents are just so stupid. Right. They don't make the slightest effort. I'm so happy. Get ahead of things with but, the kid. But, so. You ask, you ask your kid, and when you're out with your kid, you ask him every 20 minutes or so, you got to go? Do you have to go? Yeah, but I'm with Jimmy, man. You walk around New York, you need a bathroom every once in a while, and there's mm -hmm. a bunch of these scums. They won't let you use their bathroom. Like, you have to buy something. So then you're sitting mm -hmm. there buying dumb gum so you could use their stupid, you know, tur turlet. <laughs> but knowing it's for a kid, it's like, that's what it even worse. Me. Sure, I've been to play, look. I've been like I've pulled over with my kid uh, at a gas station or something or a restaurant, and uh, they they'll go, "You can't use the bathroom." And I get, I do get mad, uh, but uh, you're responsible for your kid's anus and urethra, and, and what emits from there on. Well, they, so they didn't let you use it. Yeah, that's happening to me before. Why do they lock the the bathrooms at gas stations? I don't, Does I anyone don't. know the answer to that question? Mm. Median Frank DeVigo had a funny joke. Are they afraid someone's going to break in and clean it? <laughs> <laughs> this made me laugh. Here's the last part of the story. This is what the mother wants everyone to do because of what uh, happened. Mm. Had I been Bring there, yes, I probably would have allowed her to go in the back because I am a mother and I understand that. The mother says she ran into the theater next door to clean her daughter up. So far, over 100,000 people have viewed her blog where she encourages others to boycott all Rocky Mountain oh, chocolate. Yeah, I hate actors. her. Nope. I don't hate yeah. her. I love her. Yeah. I'll tell you why. I hate her. She, it's not She's sitting there. This is what I see. See, I'm a parent, so this is what I see now. She's sitting there work, or starting a blog and a website. Yeah. And her kids, Mommy, can I, shut up. Shut up. I'm doing my blog. I'm making a website because you pooped your pants on my body. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, I'm, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Shut up. <laughs> I'm blogging about your diarrhea that came out of your anus. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. It's funny, but. Sorry. It's all right. Here's what it is. It's <laughs> so true. No, he's right. It, it, this woman is now, she has this purpose. Yeah, no, it's it's just it's it doing everything to avoid being any kind of. You a get parent. so sick and tired of yeah. dealing with this. It's not like an isolate. It's everywhere you go. It's every robot. I could care less about anything other than getting out of here, employee. Mm -hmm. And they treat you like crap, and people get tired of it. So when when you have a chance, she's just attacking. Why don't? Why else would a hundred thousand people go? Because everyone because people like enjoy that. being angry, especially from a what about the kids angle. Yeah, but I don't it's care just about people kids, going. How awful. You know, I, it's okay for single people to do stuff like this, but when you have kids, you just roll with the punches. I mean, she's being stupid. And also, I don't know, I mean, I, I wasn't there, but the timing of the story sounds like she ran in. I mean, this is what it sounds yeah. like. She went, oh, help! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sue you now. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, help! Oh, man, we don't allow this. Please, please, could you just... <laughs> oh, I'm going to go do a blog. 
It sounds like even if she let her use the bathroom, that was, the kid was going to lose it before they... It would not have they, made it. Yeah. She probably would have had diarrhea on top of the chocolate. Yeah. I, I think there's yeah. a good yeah. shot. Good chance. If the diarrhea got on the mother, which so the kid was probably wearing a dress. Oh, God. Wow. Oh. That means the, the mother got diarrhea on her, according to this story. Yeah. So a little girl had like this skirt which looked like an upside down funnel. Like <laughs> she was like a diarrhea dispenser. <laughs> she came in with a, holding a kid in her arm saying, Can I please splurge diarrhea all over your food? <laughs> Can I hand her to you over the counter so that uh, the diarrhea just, just goes all, all over your Rocky Mountain chocolate? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get to the end of the story. I'm rooting for the blog. Yeah, let's. Uh, I hate these employees. <laughs> let's see how this they ends. They give you nothing few seconds of dead oh, air yeah. to let the delay build up. Right. Mm. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Just others to boycott all Rocky Mountain chocolate factories. On the mother's end, you know, what a sad thing. You know, here you have a child and we have an emergency and where can I go? If I was a mother and I had to go and take my child somewhere and am I going to have a door closed on me because I'm having a problem? Overturf tells me she apologized to the mother. She's also contacted police because of the anonymous threats. We tried to contact the mother today, but couldn't reach her. Yeah, because she was too busy blogging. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Good. Chocolate rain. <laughs> <laughs> An oldie but goodie. Chocolate rain. Yeah. That's what you get. All right, we got to take a break. We're getting a little late here. That's what you get for being dicks all the time. Mm -hmm. At every chance, people are dicks, and mm -hmm. that's what you get. Have a lead pipe hat, stupid. <laughs> 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 We're in good health. <laughs> Remember, we were talking about our apology. We found the apology. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm serious about this whole Mayor Menino thing. What year was this apology? Uh, ten years ago. Oh, uh, this is fun. Can we hear it? Ten, <laughs> ten years. This, it's been... Yeah, if you're just tuning in, we got a, a big audience in Boston. The the trend came out yesterday. We did very, very well. We're going to be around for a while. And we really, really want to start doing gigs up in Boston again. But last year, we couldn't do the uh, the comedy tour in, in, in the city of Boston. We had mm -hmm. to be on the outskirts, right? Yeah. We have an animation festival uh, we want to do in Boston in October. But once again, they're having a tough time finding venues because... Mayor Menino, uh, Mayor Menino is still holding a grudge for what we did ten years ago. Yep. And I'm telling you, we've admitted that it was it was dumb and stupid and all that crap. And we did apologize ten years ago. Yeah. And we just want him to finally let go of this thing. We don't need you to like the show or anything like that. But just let us do our our, our stuff for the the Boston audience. This uh, this apology was was given. Uh, we had left the studio. Right. We had walked out into the. Um, Elevator area. elevator area, and we're blindsided by uh, a news camera right? Uh, that wanted us to tell how we felt about the whole thing or if we had an apology or wanted to say anything to the mayor and his family. And it, it, it was so insincere, this apology. <laughs> I don't see it that way. Really? I, I see that we were taken off guard a little bit and did the best we could. All righty. We didn't know there was going to be a... a a, guy, a reporter and a camera in our face at that moment. I'd love to hear it. All right, you got it there, Iraq. Louis, uh, listen closely, I'm ready. please. You think saying the mayor was dead was crossing the line, though? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, right there. Why are you laughing? Right there is like you thought about it. You went, ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that's taking responsibility. I admit it. Is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. It's an open-ended yeah. Oh, it, my God. Yes. Let's look at when us. When you say something sincerely, you close it off at the end. Yes. Jimmy, you see it my uh, way, right? Yeah. I think you thought about it a little bit. I knew what you were going for, like the... Got to admit it, yeah, you you got me. Uh, <laughs> All right, stop yeah. laughing so we can get through this, Lou. Right, okay. <laughs> You think saying the mayor was dead was crossing the line, though? Uh, yeah. I just wish, I just, I feel bad that the mayor's, you know, wife heard it. Who, yeah. who knew that the mayor's family is fans of the Opie and Anthony show? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up? All right, there Why is... Why are you laughing? 
Because that is nothing but pure sarcasm. <laughs> no, no, that, that is sarcasm. About. No, it's promo. Instead of apologizing, you're promoting the show. <laughs> promoting by reminding everyone, and oh, also yes. all people that are new to you, because it's the news. Right. Yeah. That this show's for everybody. Even hey, the mayor's wife watches. Even the an mayor's wife <laughs> on WBCN six. Well, nine. no, we were at the other joint <laughs> right. back then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. only station that really rocks. That's oh my we god, at. that is. What station was that? It's the only station that really rocks, you know, because everyone else that played rock, they really they didn't, didn't have their heart behind it. We are actually. laughing. We are wow. just laughing. We're not laughing. What a couple uh, of creeps you look like. Oh, I didn't even see the picture. Just ghouls. Oh, my God. We are ghouls. Oh, my God. You look like you're going to go to the clutter house. and We've been in this business too long. Yeah, that was on, uh, that was on Channel 2008 Foundry. All right. Um, yeah, well, the, the, of course, <laughs> like you know, Steve has Opie. to take responsibility for what we did with our careers before we met Steve. What a Foundry logos all over our old yeah. stuff. What an ass Anthony looks like with that hat and that hair, uh, too. I'm just the worst. Uh, by the way, Stump Brain is reaching out to uh, Mayor Bloomberg here in New York. And uh, and he's going to talk to Mayor Menino, hopefully on our behalf. We're, we're taking this very seriously. Oh. It's time to bury this thing with the mayor of Boston. Yeah. Mayor Stump Brain could get some things done, I'm telling you. Let's go back to the apology, Lou. That's right, Anthony and the boy with the with the Dutch boy hairdo. <laughs> you be on a paint can saying you're sorry. <laughs> paint can. <laughs> uh, here we go. I feel bad that the mayor's you know wife heard it. Who, yeah. who knew that the mayor's family is fans of the Opie and Anthony show? <laughs> Used to be. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's stupid. I think anyone who uh, listens to our show for the last three years knows what we're all about. We've done. <laughs> Frank 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 Frank. Uh, actually, oh, I think it's stupid. Honestly, I think it's. I think stupid. it's stupid. You say. Grief stricken. This is the worst <laughs> apology a, I've ever heard. It's a good apology. It's no, a non-apology. You know, very contrite. It's Honestly, I think it's stupid. I think it's stupid. I think uh, the mayor's stupid. The family's stupid. Everyone's stupid. How many seconds? I think it's less than ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. From uh yeah to I think it's stupid like that's yeah. how, that's how long you were able to to <laughs> to hold the farce that you gave a crap for <laughs> for ten I'm looking at the timeline of that sound thing I think it's about ten seconds yeah well, come on it's a terrible apology let's acknowledge this was ten years ago though I know sure. the major people are listening and they, sure. we really want a meeting and bury the hatchet sure. finally mm -hmm. no all right let's go back to the apology from ten years ago. Honestly, I think it's stupid. I think anyone who uh, listens to our show for the last three years knows what we're all about. We've done pranks like this for the last three years. We apologize to the mayor and his family. I am sorry, mayor. <laughs> what are you uh, laughing at? That, that my, was Anthony, not, right? I go, we apologize to the mayor and his family. It's like a four-year-old. Yeah, it's like, all right, we I'm apologize. Sorry I hit my stupid, ugly sister <laughs> in her fat face. That is the most insincere apology I've yeah. ever given it's in my life. And I've given some real insincere sincere apologies it's just like we apologize to the mayor all right look, you're satisfied look this is uh the first apology of many that we had to do in our careers this is the first one it's great I don't ex expect us to you no, know great know what the hell we're doing i think we did a pretty good job for our first apology but it's not the first one you've given you in your life <laughs> Here we it, go. Just sounds it sounds like terrible. It. it's unbelievable all right let's go back to the apology we're almost yeah. done and then we got the mayor's response i think right after this yeah all right here we go We've done pranks like this for the last three years. Think we apologize to the mayor and his family. I am sorry, <laughs> mayor and family. Seriously. I will not accept the apology this time. <laughs> I will not accept the, the apology, this, apology time. this time. But you have to accept an apology. He just that well, one. It's part of the rules. If someone apologizes, you go, oh, you yeah, apologized. If All right. If they apologize, no, that was not an apology. No, it you wasn't. Have to, it, you have to accept an apology. It didn't resemble an apology. <laughs> that was worse than no comment would have been better. Is there anything else left in that? Yes. All right, here we go. We apologize to the mayor and his family. I am sorry, mayor and family. Seriously. I will not accept the apology this time because they went too far. I have a great sense of humor, and, uh, uh, but this is uh, more than, uh, this is not a laughing matter at all. All right, listen, though, but it's been 10 years, so let's, let's, uh, let's yeah. talk this out a little bit. Let bygones be bygones. It's time. We love the city of Boston, and we want to bring some things there. Also, it was funny to say he's dead. <laughs> Uh, that's Louis C.K. I, at this Sorry. time, don't think it was funny. Absolutely <laughs> not, despite the fact I'm smiling from ear to ear at Lou's remark. 
<laughs> They're all fair game politicians. It's of course fun. they are. Of Ten years are. later, we still can't get things done because of what we did in 98? Come on. Like, even, done. you know, Hillary, Hillary Clinton campaigns with her husband <laughs> after he had a woman do things to his thing. With Altoids in her mouth. Yeah. With Altoids in her mouth. And she's like, oh, but he's a, you know, it's not that bad. I need him. <laughs> Uh, here's the Eddie Murphy trailer that is driving a lot of people oh. nuts around here. I've anyway. not heard it, but I'm sure it's fun. Oh, it's horrible. Well, we've uh, pointed out over the last year or two that Eddie Murphy uh, makes the same movie where it's Eddie mm -hmm. Murphy as... Mm -hmm. And it's no, it's usually, it's like, a new movie starring Eddie Murphy. And Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy. And Eddie Murphy. And Eddie Murphy. It's like he can't, he's got to play 18 characters in movies now. Yeah, I'd love to see a drama like that. You know, <laughs> like, well, you know, Robert Duvall and Robert Duvall, Robert Duvall. in the cancer story. <laughs> like, he plays really the rapist straight. and the victim. He's the rapist <laughs> and the victim, and the old man is dying of cancer. <laughs> well, he's all three of them with prosthetics, but it's not funny. Well, and he wears a fat suit, but for a dramatic reason, like a drama fat suit. <laughs> well, just when you thought Eddie Murphy couldn't get worse with this whole, mm -hmm. you know, and Eddie Murphy thing, listen to this. On July 11th, it's Eddie Murphy oh! in Eddie Murphy. Ah, oh, oh, in, in, in Eddie Murphy. Murphy. In Eddie Murphy. Oh. See, now he's inside himself. Eddie, it's oh. Eddie Murphy it's is now. Eddie Murphy. I can't even say it. I'm laughing. <laughs> in. This is oh, outrageous. Listen, you're not going to believe this. In. On July 11th, it's Eddie Murphy oh! in Eddie Murphy. You put that thing down, the guy's an inch tall. You look like a wood. This summer, you and stop punch on. You have superpowers or something? You have forgotten your weapon. He's saving the world. The fate of many depend on me. That's entirely too much fault. From the inside out. Fire! Yeah, boy, yeah! Meet Day, rated PG, July 11th. Here's how this happened. Here's how this happened. Here's how this happened. A couple of uh, comedy movie writers were on the Paramount lot working on some Eddie Murphy stink bag vehicle. Mm -hmm. And they were just like us talking about, how, is, does this guy have any move besides Eddie Murphy? And, and then somebody else, somebody went, Eddie Murphy in... Eddie Murphy, like that's how dumb it is. Yeah, and then somebody went, "Oh, hey. oh, Jesus, that's it. That's We're gonna brilliant. make money." Yeah. And they backed out. They backed in the actual idea for the movie from. They started with the tag. That's how movies are made now. <laughs> they started with what's gonna be on the poster. Eddie Murphy in, in Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Murphy, and then said, Eddie. "All right, we'll have him as a yep. giant robot thing, mm -hmm. and then he'll be controlling yeah. him from inside his head." Yeah. How do you? How do we get to Eddie Murphy in Eddie in Murphy? Eddie Murphy? Yeah. That's we could just, make it a gay sex movie. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> and they went into some executive's office and said, here's the next movie. Eddie Murphy in Eddie Murphy. And the guy went, just figure out a way to get to that that makes any sense and we'll give you money. That's and exactly how that that's, I happens. swear to you, that's how that happened. That's and then they cool. figured out this stupid, and they, oh, just as long as he goes, ha! Ah! And I do want to talk like this with my mouth wide. <laughs> and then, of course, when he talks like this, just get him to do those things. <laughs> and his little laugh. And then we make the poster yeah. and uh, take another big dump on it. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. When did people, like, he's a, he's a funny guy. Like, when did he start to become irritating? Like, what, maybe because he never did, like, a real drama. I didn't like Dream Girls. Mm, Is that yeah. why? Like, Pryor did dramas. He was a better actor anyway, but he did dramas. Yeah. Like, yeah, he did Lady Sings the well, Blues. He did Blue Collar. difference between those guys to me, because Pryor was, like, this really genuine guy with this great personality and soul and stuff. Eddie's a really... He's like an athlete. He's uh, To me, he's unbelievably funny when, when he's funny, mm -hmm. but it's just this ability he has. You yeah. know, like when you watch an athlete and you're so in awe of them, you start to think they must be amazing as a person. And then you talk, they talk and they go, <laughs> and you go, wow, you're not even aware of how cool what you do is. You're not, your, your brain is not, doesn't measure up to your courage. <laughs> Eddie's the same. I mean, he's just basically, you know, he's a rich guy from Hollywood. So he used to be this young kid from Brooklyn, but he was, he was driven by hunger to be successful. Mm hmm. He wasn't a guy. I mean, Eddie Murphy, uh, Richard Pryor was so full of um, incredible feelings and thoughts and ideas, and you put him in a movie, and it was great.
So you're saying that he lost his edge. Yeah, it, I, it gets just a little became gets boring. a little lazy because you, you got the money and everything. No. You could imagine. And... I mean, I don't know him, and maybe he's you know the, the other way is he's just a businessman, and like you know whatever the guy who owns Kellogg's or the guy who owns uh, Exxon uh, or people like God, that guy stinks. Well, no, he's just <laughs> slamming down the bucks. This guy's making millions of dollars every year. Yeah, with movies that totally people definitely go to. He's, he's got a sustaining box office quotient. Uh, but that doesn't make him interesting. Just makes him some <laughs> dude with a lot of money. I wonder how much his movies make. Cause I mean, obviously people do go to him. I mean, uh, he doesn't have still to do doesn't well. Get, he doesn't have bombs for the most part. Yeah. No. And also, he gave up on guys like us who actually liked him when he was a young comic. He doesn't care about us anymore. These are for kids. These movies are for kids. That's true. These are multiplex. This is. Uh... Can I get two for the Eddie Murphy movie? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know what even knows it. <laughs> Eddie Murphy movie. Three for Eddie Murphy. Must That's see who he wants new now. Eddie uh... Murphy movie. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We got uh, the gun thing. We got the um, the car running on oh, vegetable wait, oil. Oh wait, the man's jumping out of the other man's ear. This looks the same it's man. Just... It's the same. How did they do that? It's hysterical. How did they get a man to jump out of his own ear? Why not have him jump out of somewhere else? It would have been much funnier. <laughs> Ties his shoes. The other Eddie falls out. <laughs> falls on the back of his pant leg. <laughs> uh, GTA? Yeah, with GTA. Video games are in the news again. You play uh, the video games there, Lou? Probably not, because you got no, the kids. You can't, kids. you can't be playing video games. No, sir. The new no uh, GTA it. game is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, Danny, it looks no? great. You gave a look like, eh? No, 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 no. Not the... Uh-oh. I oh. played that game once. I just liked walking around town. I didn't get involved in the crime. Like, I actually <laughs> you just, just walk around. walk around, stood on you the just corner for be a while. A, a law-abiding citizen just in just GTA? I just want to be a wallflower on GTA. You just are a around. weirdo. Just Hop in a cab, pay for it. <laughs> yeah, hop in a cab, drive the speed limit, stop at the red lights. Yeah. <laughs> you could just let the, let, the, out trouble. let the hooker keep her money. Sure. All that stuff, sure. Dude, I tried playing that game once because we were all in it. And uh, all I kept doing was backing into the fence. I wanted to kick my yeah. television over. I was so irritated. I couldn't control the No, that's why, this. seriously, what I really did do was stay out of trouble. Like, you can tell where the hot spots are. And, was, and every time I heard sirens, I go, oh, okay, I'll just stand over here by this building and wait for that to go by. <laughs> just stay out of trouble. See how long you can play the game. Can you walk around all stay day and just the... not be bothered? Yeah. You can. Yes, you can. I did that. I did that for yeah. like a, f a couple of hours. What's wrong with you? You got to be careful you don't bump into anyone because that could cause all well, sorts of problems. It's actually pretty predictable. You hit a guy and he goes, hey, I'm going to hit you back. Oh, I'm in a fight now. <laughs> all right. Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot him. And then he goes, ah, and he bleeds. And then the cops come after interesting. you. But the outskirts of the game where you stay out of trouble are actually interesting because then you're at the... You're at the limits of what the writers of the game did, that they didn't pay as much attention <laughs> to, like, stand over by a bush. You know I what I mean? I never realized that. In a weird existential corner of the of the creator of the game's mind, hmm. where the stuff he had to write just in case some idiot didn't Decided didn't to just anybody. walk around. <laughs> yeah, it's better than, you know, whatever. Well. Let's uh, let's see what's going on with these uh, six kids out there on Long Island, I believe. Of course. Where else would they be from? Six teens are accused of carrying out a crime spree. Cops say was inspired by the popular video game Grand Theft Auto. Nassau County police say the boys, who range in age from 14 to 18, attacked several people while trying to copy scenes from the game. Three of the boys allegedly beat and robbed a man in New Hyde Park. They later met three others in Garden City where cops say they forced one driver off the road and mugged her. She was able to escape and call police. The teens are now being charged as adult, adults, rather, all face robbery charges. So why the G... Uh, yes, Danny. Well, I just love how neither the news nor the Newsday article that reported this story bothers to tell you that, I mean, in all, the reality of it is that Grand Theft Auto 4 is, a, is an M-rated game. There's ratings on video games just like there are movies. And uh, I think four out of these six kids weren't even of age to even be playing the game in the first place. But they'll never tell you that in the, in the news. No. No, of course not. It doesn't matter. video games Where are the, bad. the impetus to act like a jerk comes from? It doesn't matter. Do you know the game... I have um, idea that it's like, well, let's find out why they did it and blame that product. The game sold, uh, I, I don't know how many millions of copies. One. 
Perhaps it only sold one. It only <laughs> sold one copy. <laughs> one copy. Yeah, I think it was. Six, that guy's got a lot of six friends. Six million in the first. Uh, I think it was the yeah. first week of sales. Was six million. Six million. Six million? The first weird. week. And you got one of these uh, cases. And you get something that's that happens. Good odds. Like, I mean, come that's on. That's pretty good odds. There was actually some other Grand Theft Auto news. Uh, I think just two days ago, where I remember that whole hot coffee incident yeah. from uh, from Grand Theft Auto Three, yeah. where you could, you know, there was like a supposed nude scene in there. Well, they just paid out the settlement. There was a class action lawsuit. Suit, I think 2,600 people actually wanted the settlement out of how many people actually bought that game. It came out uh, to it came out to 0. I think 0.006% of people were were offended by that by that hot coffee patch. And the article had went on to tell you that it was really the lawyers making money off the lawsuit mm -hmm. rather than the, the people who wanted the settlement. Sure. So it was. It wasn't even anybody being offended. It was just another case of lawyers wanting to make more money. No, I get. You know, when you get like a notice from Apple Computer or something saying somebody sued us for you. Yeah. Here's a penny on your behalf. <laughs> yeah. <Those are> class, <laughs> class action. Class action lawsuit. What? <laughs> right. You're offended. Don't worry. Here's a penny. Here's a penny. Yeah. What? We we Enjoy. understand what okay. what you needed. Yeah. What Oof. happened? And meanwhile, the company lost like billions of yeah. dollars because they had to dish out pennies to <laughs> the people that don't want pennies. Yeah, uh, to write for your penny, you know, to claim your. That's weird. I think the actual figure for Rockstar was they had to pay out. I think something like thirty-four thousand dollars for that hot coffee suit. Really? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. imagine what they had to spend on their lawyers and everything else. Yeah, give, me a, give me a break. Whatever. Yeah, Violent video rich, games. Fat blah, cats blah. get fatter. Yeah. Mm. Regular Joe. Regular Joe. No? Yeah. That was regular Joe. Regular Joe. Was right. I know him anywhere. <laughs> Says regular things. You know what I got in front of me? Um, <laughs> Thanks regular guy faces that you can't see on the radio. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, for the gun lovers, the gun lovers out there, this is what uh, went down in D.C. <laughs> yesterday. Yep. Biggie. A landmark ruling for advocates of gun rights. It's a great day for the city of Washington and for all law-abiding Americans. With its 5-4 to four decision to overturn Washington, D.C.'s three-decade-old ban, the justices have determined all Americans can have handguns. And I'm very happy that now I'm able to defend myself and my household in my own home. The decision, a crushing blow for those who say more guns will lead to more violence. There are too many lives that are tragically lost by accidents and other shootings that happen because the gun gets in the wrong hands. In the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. uh, gun ownership, it's a responsibility. You have to be responsible. It's also your right. And uh, it's, it's like anything else, it's like driving a car, which isn't even a right, it's a privilege. Ooh. And uh, people drive like idiots and, and mow down people and kill more people uh, uh, in a year than uh, accidental gunfire. That's for sure. So I'm kind of lost. So what was going on in D.C.? D.C. You had allowed to a lot. You could not own a handgun. You was, couldn't. You weren't allowed to own a handgun. But people were being shot all over the place. Yes, down there. it's the murder capital <laughs> yeah. of the country. But yeah. so that really shows you how gun control really works. Take. Every gun, make every uh, uh, handgun illegal. I swear to God, I thought like that was the problem that the you know they were the first uh, area to have, allow you to have a handgun. No, or no, I had no idea you weren't allowed to have a handgun in that in D.C. Here's something all the miserable, that's going on. miserable. Really, yeah, but the problem is that you can leave, you can you can drive out of D.C. in 20 minutes, and, and it becomes in an illegal handgun. Yeah, the second you cross the state line, it's like what people say that. Well, you could buy one, and then uh, uh, you can go over the state line, and then you have one. Yes, you have an illegal gun. You've broken the law right so now you are not a law-abiding citizen owning a gun which you have a right to own you're breaking the law and now the law-abiding citizen that would never do that because he knows you're breaking the law cannot defend himself against you with your illegal gun because you're not allowed to have a legal one in your house right it's crazy so uh they overturned it Good. and um now uh, law-abiding citizens in dc I'm sure they're going to have to jump through so many hoops like they do everywhere else, especially in, in New York, are going to be able to uh, own own a handgun. Do you mind all the hoops? defend themselves? All the hoops you got to jump through to get a gun? To uh, absolutely. Uh, I mind a lot of them. I think, of course, uh, background check, uh, 
yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not silly. Yeah, I, I don't want to dole seems, out guns to lunatics. That's a background check seems just like I think a car the car thing driving driver's license mm-hmm. is the perfect corollary. I think that that yeah. should be and for it's the same when you have a license you have to keep proving every few years that you have a that you're a responsible driver. License, right. You have to be responsible. A lot of states have uh, gun safety courses you have to take before they'll issue yeah. you a license. So then there should be an expiration date, I think, on a gun license. Yeah, there are. But I think that that should be the way it is. I mean, I, I it's hard because we live in an imperfect world and most people are douchebags. Most people so. are idiots. So it's just the way it is, and it's just this thing. I don't know when you when you people that live in the in the country and have guns, it's like a hammer. It's just a tool. It's just it's, yeah. it's not that big a deal. It, it, you're right. It's like um, anything else. But so, you do have a constitutional right to own these things. Yeah. By the way, it's the Second Amendment. It's not yeah. like it's not like yeah. it's like the Forty Eighth Obscure Amendment. It's the Second, the second you gotta Amendment. You've got to be able to say whatever you want. And then shoot whoever doesn't like it. <laughs> shoot whoever doesn't like what you said. <laughs> I want to be in a house saying F you with a gun yep. in my lap. That's what I want. Yeah. That's what I'm, the basic American rights. That um, is pretty much what the founding fathers wanted. Yeah, and there's people who live in cultures that are not gun cultures, mm-hmm. and it's offensive to them because they don't know what it means uh, to have that. And, you know, just like there's people who think that you're supposed to just say, just parrot Jesus' words at each other. Yeah. And so they don't get how important it is to be able to say whatever you want. Uh, these anti-gun uh, advocates are ridiculous if they can't see that a gun ban in D.C. and in Chicago, by the way, uh, does nothing. It hasn't done anything. It doesn't deter crime. Um, if they're talking about accidental shootings... Th- that that happens. It does. And again, you got to be responsible. You got to be so responsible with a gun. It, it, some people aren't responsible enough. Yeah. They're just I, not. I know I'm not responsible enough to have a gun. I'm really? Not, yeah. I would just uh, something dumb would happen. I wouldn't trust you with a peach. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Get that peach away from Opie. Oh my God, he's pointing at me. I'm a I'm clumsy. Yeah. Something dumb yeah. would happen. Yeah, just clumsy. You gotta I would, know. I would kick it and, I get, and it would fire and, and hit my neighbors. I get this. nervous with my fake gun. Like I keep really. I keep the blank box in one corner of the apartment, and then I have the magazine that they go into another. Like I don't want to keep the stuff in one. You place. have to be and, very wait, very. And, familiar and he should with be it. nervous about that. Who who died? Oh, because of John the- Eric Hexum years ago. Who? John Eric Hexum. Oh, who was the actor too? He, he was the actor. The kid, no, uh, Brandon Lee got. John. Well, he I was did thinking too. Brandon Lee. I was thinking John Eric Hexum. What's that story? He uh, was uh, filming a TV series he was on, and he put a blank gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Idiot. And the charge dislodged a piece of his skull as if it was a bullet, yeah, and dead. put it right through his brain. Dead wait, idiot. Wait, wait. Dead it's, fool. Th- there's a charge that explodes when you do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, no, a blank a big, is... A big, nasty uh, orange flame yeah. comes out the front. A blank is nothing but a bullet without the, the, without the lead, lead in it. Without yeah. the lead. But so it fires like the powder? Oh, yeah. And, yep. and you still get the same energy coming out of the barrel. So if something's at the front of the barrel, like yep. your skull, it's just going to bust out and go through your brain. Yeah. <laughs> he thought it was like... Like a little yeah, I, I don't know what he thought. He shot himself in the head with his head. Right. Yeah. He, <laughs> he used he his killed, own head to, he kill to himself. kill himself. Because he's stupid, and he's even, he's probably smarter now than he, when he was alive. Yeah. Let's go to the second part of the gun story down there in D.C. You got the candidates commenting. A carefully worded statement from Barack Obama tonight. He suggests the court isn't saying you can't have common sense gun laws, just that this particular case violates a basic principle. John McCain calls the ruling a recognition that gun ownership is a sacred fundamental right sacred 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 is getting a little sacred yeah get a hold of you call it that i say call it sacred because people don't understand boy you know that audio was very surprising Mm, yeah very surprising yeah exactly well Uh, those those dudes are really uh it is weird about as sincere as your apology to the menina Menina. (laughs) (laughs) hey the supreme court one day rules very liberal that you can't put the uh the uh, the child molesters, child rapists to death, and yep. then this conservative ruling is really weird. Yeah, this isn't even really a conservative ruling. Yes, this is. this is a this is a constitutional. No, both of, these, both of these both of these rulings, rulings, both of those rulings are actually a, a good Supreme Court behavior because they're both saying, regardless of how people are upset about something right now, you can't just start changing stuff. Mm. You can't. There's a basic, there's a line you can't cross with the uh, with uh, the death penalty. 
and there is a fundamental ancient basic right to handguns. And regardless of the statistics of today or how things are going in D.C. or mm -hmm. how p mad people are about these, you can't change stuff. Yeah. And it's the same thing with, yes, child molestation is, uh, you know, on the rise, but you still can't. You can't start killing people for a crime that's getting particularly rampant and and repulsive to people. But why can't you change um, if stuff? If it's not murder, well, don't forget. Why can't you though? When this was written, this was not written by. This was just written by guys. Like it's 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 not like this is this this. Why should this document be so completely unchangeable and sacred when it was written by? We all know slave owners. Well, because when guys. you when you change law, like if you just let it rock back and forth and pendulum back and forth, I think it's dangerous to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, I think it's good that you can't. Interpret. Then it's not worth the paper it's written on. But it's supposed to be changeable. There's going to be to what extent? There's going to be a day when you're going to like uh, get. I don't know. You don't drink, right? You're like like a sober guy, aren't yes. you? <laughs> like a okay. sober guy. Someday, the though. right woman's going to drive you back into the bottle. <laughs> you're going to have a bad night, and you're going to wake up in a uh, kitty park, not realizing where you passed out with wood chips on your face, mm -hmm. and you're going to pee on a, on, a, on a fire engine toy, and there's going to be a kid standing there watching you pee, and next thing you know, you're on death row. <laughs> That's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, right? There yeah. you go. There's this basic line you didn't... That you gotta let. You I'll gotta take keep. that chance. That the <laughs> odds of those things happening, if I wind up doing that and get caught, I deserve to be put to death. <laughs> because a fire truck is only every boy's right. <laughs> uh, they're, they're also talking about um, New York City's laws, their gun laws. And mm -hmm. Mayor Bloomberg, of course, is saying that um, this shouldn't affect New York uh, City, which, by the way, is a uh, just a pain in the ass to get a pistol license. But you in. can get one here. Uh, you need to show cause. You need to have a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't just say my reason because there are lunatics running around and they have guns. Yeah. Why can't I? Why you know I, I, I I'm willing to uh, what, get yours? a background how did, check. How'd you get one? I have a New York State license. I cannot uh, carry my gun in the city. Oh right. Okay. So I'm I'm you know there's supposed to be uh, certain people working on that. Mm. I haven't heard anything yet. But, um, you know, I, because it's one of those things. It's, it should be your right. It's, I think, uh, I think they're, they're, um, screwing up here in New York City. I, I think it's, uh, against the Second Amendment. And I hope the DC thing sets a precedent and Chicago, people in Chicago are able to, uh, uh get handguns. And I, I hope they make it easier in New York for law abiding citizens. I'm talking people that are responsible and go through the system. And are able to then uh, possess a handgun. This is an example of how like old old ideals uh, carry through time. The way that dictators um, uh, take over countries, they use laws. They don't do it through like yeah. like Hitler uh, uh, used law. He played it perfectly. And parliamentary process in yeah. order to become chancellor. All That's of a sudden, he, he was the head muckety muck. Yeah, so he, handed to him. So he changed laws. Arbitrary, like he changed laws because he was able to. He had l large powers, so he just said, "Okay, uh, everybody, turn in your weapons." You, you disarm the first. Th the two things you do when you take over a country as a dictator is you shut people up and you take away their weapons. You right. Say, everybody has to bring. If you're found with a gun, uh, you go to jail. That's a new law. We just made it up. Okay. Next law: if you say these salacious things, you go to jail. Yeah. Those two things lead. The next day, you're you're Hitler. And that's absolutely but you what you can't do. That in America, you just can't do it. You can't tell people you can't say something, and you can't tell people. Well, you can. It's but it's. That's crazy. why. That's why they put it in the Constitution. Yep. To protect the American people yes, against a tyrannical government, because yep. the government has to know. Holy crap. These people are armed. But it was They're the same people that, that, that got from. England thrown out of here no, just armed. by having their hunting they rifles have guns with them. In their and houses. Yeah, everyone is armed. We're crazy if we think we can just yeah. sweep over these people and, and exactly be a right. tyrannical government. It was to protect from basically an external force coming into. Not, I mean, I, I'm not against guns. No, either. but also no, it's it not was an external really force. protecting it's against so their own from government. Their own government because they right. saw they saw how that worked in England where. You know, they were. And it's the same thing with the government's ability to to punish people by death, right? By using laws against the citizens. But if mm -hmm. you have if you have guns to protect yourself yeah. from your own government, why all right. of a sudden can't you change the laws? Like if if that's how bad things can get, 
Why is it so out of the realm of possibility or to, to change? Well, it? that's the whole thing. It, it would be bad because they'd be changing the no, laws. Because we have an iron clad, because we have a constitution that we keep going back to. So you can't, you just can't, as a as a new leader, say, okay, no more guns. You just can't do it, and you can't say, okay, you can't say these things because the, the constitution is so bedrock. But, the, the, but you know what? That's the why when things overrated. change, you don't want to. It's, it's overrated. I don't think so. It really is when you when you look at it. I mean, there's a lot of it was great. Yeah. But some of it eh, might be a bit outdated. It was written by a bunch of guys protecting their own interest at that time. I don't. I think fundamentally, it's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's worth it's worth defending. Yeah, uh, to, to a certain point, but from from decade to decade, it holds up better. Than a new than a somebody with a fiery speech ability uh, to to just change stuff. Mm. Uh, sorry, that music means I got to shut up, right? Uh, well, it's all right. Look, it's I'm a it's loud off. mouth. <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> a loud mouth. Oh, that was, yeah. you're a loud mouth. I'm Not at all. That's a good, that's a good set, and uh, we should yeah. continue with that discussion uh, down the road. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I can't even get. By, I, I really am not against guns. Mm. I no, just think that the NRA is like, all right, already, we get it. No, they are. I think there's douchebags on both sides. Oh. I think that guy from that clip who's going like, I'm glad now I can defend. Nothing's nothing's ever happened to him. Nothing ever <laughs> will never, happen to him. You never know. But he's know. enjoying. I, I'm glad I now get to have a gun and an erection without people bothering me. Guns are great to have. It's a I great feeling of enjoyable. security. Yeah. It's great to go to the range, blast off I some rounds. I think a lot of people that want to have guns are, are stupid and they're morons. <laughs> but then there's people who aren't. Guess which one you are. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that one out. We all are. We could do what's the half. So you could do man tries to bet weed at casino. <laughs> That's Porn and co Yeah, we never did this. This is a getting a bit on the old <laughs> side. What is going to be the uh, what's going to be the little newsroom twist on it? On the wheat thing, he tried to use whatever. Wait till you hear what this He's guy used trying to, to bet make with. a bet that mm. was a little unorthodox, but yes. something like a pun well, they, about weed. Well, the, uh, what does he? Bet? Oh, they'll make a pun like yeah. like. Oh well, he was trying He's... to win the pot <laughs> by <laughs> betting <laughs> pot. And he was, That's the one. They thought his bet was a little high. High, ha 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 ha. Um, yeah. Poker, save me a poke. He well, hopes that the, twenty-one. What are we? Yes, got? he, he was in a gambling to... joint. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Would, I was going to say joint he venture. Was hoping a to joint win. venture. <laughs> he was hoping to win the pot oh. with some. With he was hoping to be rolling in the dough after rolling marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> he had a bad river card. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on, get back on the roll. I'll jump in. <laughs> look what I could do, guys. Hey, guys, look at me. All right, let's see what uh, stupid pun they use. What? All right, let's see what they say. A, okay, let's go. Most of the time, criminals are out there committing crimes that are dangerous or even deadly. That's right, but what's the while... Stop, stop! He wanted to gamble. He had some tokens. <laughs> tokens? <laughs> tokens? That was a weird... What a weird lead-in. What a weirdly <laughs> yeah. general lead-in. Usually, criminals are doing violent things, no. like shooting people in the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> but this criminal I, I, is uh, taking a different with all the tactic. With all the improvers in the room, why didn't uh, we come up with uh, Josh S. from Philly's line? Oh, what, what was that? that? He's a high roller. Oh, oh a high roller. Oh, you high? used high? Yeah. Very good. Oh, okay. Okay. That was too Louis high. high. Oh, it's some river fuck car. Josh from fucking Philadelphia. Yeah. You can suck my car. Fuck exactly. him in his asshole. He's fucking hammered on the train. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Mom pisses in his on his teeth and then kicks him in the fucking well, balls. Exactly, there's a pot pun. I, I apologize, I didn't hear that. Lou. Sorry, I was waiting for Larry to say it. Mm, I no used to problem. laugh a lot. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, but once in a while, police catch a bad guy doing something uh -oh. well stupid. This time our cameras were rolling when it you happened. I think he gave that look. Well, oh. well, stupid. stupid. And then she, no. I, I think she giggles. I think yeah. She and then they cut to our Stupid's Kelly. a funny word. <laughs> Can I tell you one of the greatest days for me was <laughs> when I realized nice. local news yeah. is the best comedy show on TV. It, it is. It was <laughs> what happened? What did I miss? What? What did I miss? Something about his cock. Yeah, Another he cock joke. Sake. Going into an R. Kelly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Like after they catch him doing something stupid, they just show something so vile like that. Or beheading. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, fucking Paul Cooley and the fucking <laughs> the girl he buried alive in Florida. You know, they're doing something stupid. Ha <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Uh, this toker didn't want to get a joker. That's a good uh, one. Terrible. Uh, that's terrible. That. That's pretty bad. Liddy Liddy no jokers bag. in the fucking car. You're really reaching no now. Jokers. It's that's over. It's fucking when you dealt a joker. Yeah. Fucking when exactly. You Old God. maid with your ugly cunt mom. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> your fucking asshole. Go oh, fish. Stupid. Then your mom's pussy comes this up. This time our cameras are <laughs> rolling. Like it. When it happens, Steve Yoakum explains from inside the force. On a downtown Fresno sidewalk, this. this man is being placed in handcuffs. But he didn't rob a store or oh, assault someone. We, right, can't actually. The, uh, we the know fuck? what he didn't do. What the fuck? There is, like, this is the first crime that ever happened. That, he this just... Is, Here's an odd story because, okay, let's list all the things he didn't do. Yeah. Didn't yeah. rob a store. He didn't rape a child. <laughs> it just gets really heinous. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, he didn't yes. just fuck his yes. mother. He didn't sew a woman's child to her body and then rape them both. <laughs> he didn't gouge out the eyes of a Down syndrome man and jerk off into his mouth while he cried. <laughs> but no, go back. I got a great improv that got messed up. All righty, Jimmy, I'll do just that right for a you. Little bit, Cue you know? it up. I got he didn't rob a store or assault someone. He robbed a pot store. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's not even a button for that on this machine. <laughs> there's not even a button to be had for that. Oh, <laughs> God. All right. Actually, he did something else that left officers scratching their heads in amazement. Oh, oh, oh! Tell yeah. us what he did! He gave him dandruff! <laughs> he gave him dandruff. They were Sorry. scratching their heads. Oh, God wait! damn it. Uh, he did the same thing to Ted Kennedy. <laughs> and George Harrison. <laughs> George Harrison. Uh, Tim H. from Columbus writes, The only chips this gambler had was a bag of Doritos. Ah, oh, Danny. Hey. Danny's oh, line. Danny's uh -huh. got. Danny uh -huh. has a chip Hello, line. Never made it. It yeah. Uh -huh. Danny had a chip line. This was better. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking roll. Let's get going. You had to rehash. This. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, God. Their heads in amazement. Nothing at all. What happened? Nothing at all. Nothing at all happened. Why are you in handcuffs then? Minutes earlier, inside the Casino One gambling establishment, the subject sat at a card game, and when it was time to place his bet, he put a large amount of marijuana right out on the table. Marijuana. 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 Can somebody look up uh, how to say that exactly? I want to make sure I have that right. Marijuana. Marijuana. Throw it out on the table as a bet. All right. They're all a bunch of dopes. He put a large amount of marijuana right out on the table. <laughs> marijuana. marijuana. I really want people to know what this is. No, we do. Marijuana. It's marijuana. Louis, we got to play it probably another four times before yeah, yeah. we get past this point of the story. You know that. Yeah. Put a large amount of marijuana. <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> Don't you hate reporters? Oh, I can't Damn stand them. I love them. The thing marijuana. is, when I hear that, marijuana. I just picture him oh, when they're editing the story and he's sitting with the editor who hates him and yeah when he gets to that marijuana he goes yeah use that i like that one. yeah that's a good one i like that take Sucks. yeah you, that one you want you're gonna stick Fuck with it. that one where i go marijuana oh. <laughs> let me try another one marijuana <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna say i'm gonna say that again Two, one. Mara one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one he does that's just uh, marijuana. The editor's like, that's good. We should use that yeah. one. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. No. no, no. Bet. He put a large amount of marijuana right. <laughs> <laughs> marijuana. Uh, Someone's saying, what is this, Steve doing the uh, announcing? Marijuana. Uh, yes, he had it clothes. in his, his clothes. 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 Uh, uh, the your clothes. The pockets of his pants. <laughs> Listen how he says clothes in this dumb promo. Your clothes. Your clothes. clothes. <laughs> no one uses the TH. Thank you. That's the what we tried to tell him yesterday. <laughs> the TH is like the fucking appendix. We all say like you're closing a door. A close. Yes. Exactly. That's it. It's your clothes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> THS. As shit dick he is. <laughs> He's a fucking shit dick. Uh... <laughs> 
taste clothes. Clothes. <laughs> Ted, uh, Ted G from South Dakota, and he spells it out nice too. When asked where he got the marijuana, oh, no. and, and he writes it like that, the man said that he got it from a Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pardon my French. I'm gonna make his mother wish she never had him. She never had him. A terrible delivery. Right. <laughs> Awful. Bring his wife get home. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get past the marijuana line here. Places bet he put a large amount of marijuana right out on the table. For a moment, the dealer and other gamblers can't believe it. Then Couldn't the man believe decided. it. What are you? Are you in the present what? tense now? What the fuck is... Wait a minute, go back, because was he in the present tense before? a moment. Before? Yeah. The dealer and other gamblers can't believe it. Then the man decides he's bet too much pot, so he takes the bag away... Oh, they got and simply oh, spreads. Oh, so he smokes his bet! <laughs> I think he was actually trying to go for a joke, but he didn't understand how he's to do it. He's watching a, a video. So he goes, for a moment, they can't believe it. Right. Like he's narrating a video. Right. Yeah, I'm uh, looking for it. I just can't find it. But too much. But he hit pot. Clothed circuit he he television. He too much pot, which I think makes him think. Uh, the pot, pot joke. Yeah, but the way it would have been, like, he put too much in the pot. In the pot. But he said he bet too much pot, pot. which doesn't, it's a train wreck of a joke. Of course it is. But I think is. he's going for it there. That's oh. the way he says pot. So he takes the bag away and simply spreads out a handful of loose buds. Casino security said they couldn't believe their eyes as it all unfolded on surveillance video. Really? They couldn't believe it? Yeah, they probably there's a guy trying to bet pot. Let's just go get him. Yeah, yeah I, like, yeah, I think. No. Are my eyes working? <laughs> and all the, I can't <laughs> believe my eyes. eyes. It's not a UFO. <laughs> he shoots the guy next to him because he my thinks it's... My eyes are liars! <laughs> right. He's the same ever believes it's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like I like Jimmy's angle though. They just saw it on the video and went, "Ah, let's get this nutcase out of the casino." They, they, yeah, exactly. It was so routine that. for what them. Do do? What do you do? Put down pot. Pot. Nah. All right, get him out of here. Jerk. Get him out of here. It reminds me of the time. It yeah, reminds exactly. me of a time. Oh, look at his asshole. Look at his asshole. Put down going. pot. He All right, go get rid of him. Get him. Let's go get him. Oh, Jimmy, I I uh look. I'm betting weed. There he is. He just put a big bag down. And, and then he goes, like, yeah, oh, I want to bet what? that. Wait a minute. Let me change my mind. And there's the DLR. Going, um, I'm saying, I don't think I can do this. He goes, okay, well, <laughs> let me how about, just. How about just a few buds? A few then? buds? Is that okay? Oh, it's worth come on. something, what's dude. What's, come on. How do you not think that's going to be a problem? And look, look the, the, but people sitting at the table with him, he can believe his eyes. Like, what a dick. You can totally believe his Is eyes. that the report? It's mildly amused. No, 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 that's no. the guy. Hawaiian, whoever that's the guy. That's the security, you think? Okay. can't believe his eyes. Gets a chuckle out of it. He killed the person next to him because he thought it might be Bin Laden because he couldn't believe his <laughs> eyes that it was his partner. What he doubted was... the veracity of his yes. optic nerve. Yes. <laughs> he gave himself a quick eye test. He was twenty sixteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Dan S. from Long Island. I think that the marijuana no, no, no. would go nice with some. No. 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 Mm. I don't get it. It's an insult. This smoked pretty good. <laughs> What's it wrong with the weed? What's wrong with the marijuana we got? Hydro. Hydro. <laughs> I want to go. Sense of me. Regs. Cool. <laughs> Mo. Mo. Skank. Skank. All right, you want to hear what we're talking Please. about? <laughs> Do you have the long form of that? <laughs> All right, we'll give you the long form. There was this uh, this this politician douche. Uh -huh. That was trying to do something with beer in Alabama. You, they were trying to import, I think, a higher uh, uh, alcohol content beer, yeah, and like right. they were, and like for some reason they were trying to block it. Yeah, they, and he just really didn't have much of an argument. They wanted to keep the alcohol uh, level down. The yeah, beers. right. They didn't he want wanted to, to bring it up. Like an assembly they wanted or something. Like the German yeah. imports or the Canadian. Uh -huh. Yeah, they, he just want, he wanted to just country. stick with American beer, so he he posed a question to them. So it was twenty seconds, and and now he's doing a press conference, and this is what this dope says. Yeah, yeah what's wrong with the beer we got? <laughs> I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? I ain't never heard nobody complain about the uh, beer we have. It drank pretty good. Budweiser. Uh, what's the name of some of them other beer? Budweiser and what is it? Miller. <laughs> Miller. Coors. Coors. It drank pretty good, don't it? There There's so Moon. much going on there. First of Moon. all, just the guy's voice. Yeah. Secondly, that he ran out of beers after Budweiser. <laughs> right. And then his buddy. Moon. Moon. And then 
Carl Rove. His, console, his go-to guy, his Carl yeah, Rove. His right-hand guy. man. <laughs> his fucking Carl Rove. You know Rove. those guys are... <laughs> moon, moon, you guys moon, cool. See, that's why I'm up here, because you can't talk. Yeah. But you you're know, good to get a reference did, out of. That man drank pretty good. <laughs> right, <thank> what? <laughs> you know they go, like, uh, hunting uh, for chicks on weekends oh, together. God. Yeah, moon. Mo, can I buy you a moon? But that's right. He runs out of beers mm-hmm. after Bud. After Bud. What the Budweiser? What well, other the, beers are there? The, the other weird thing is that he want he really wants another exam. They ain't gonna believe me unless I say at least one more. Yeah, beer. I need yeah. more beer. Moo. 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 What about the thing is though? Is there a video of this guy? I have to. see I know. The I'd friend. love to see. Moo. I want to see what the friend looks like. Uh, I, I, I got an image. Yeah, I got an image in my head what he looks so like. With two giant hearing aids in each no, but ear. but is this guy? Were you saying this Moo. guy? Is this guy just a man on the street, or is he a politician? No, he's a politician. He really is. Yes. No shit. Talk to him. Did you talk to him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. Mo. Yeah. The main guy oh, we talked to. We didn't, we didn't we? talk to That's the moon. Talk to moon. Moon. Let's hear it. Budweiser. I was named some of them other beer. Budweiser and what is? Miller. Miller. Cool up. It cool. drank pretty good, don't it? I think the second one was Coors. It was. Cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. 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 I, I love that accent that he has. The beer is a two-syllable word. Beer. Beer. What other kind of, kind of beers? Beer. What other kind of beers? <laughs> we got. You know, Anthony Loco for Boston makes a great point that we haven't yet on this story. No, he doesn't. This man has never been able to afford Budweiser or Miller. He needs to drink Mua. <laughs> Mua? Mm-hmm. It's probably a local beer just called Mua. Mua? Yeah, it's, it's an M and a U and a few L's and an A and an H, right. but there's no real right spelling of it. Uh, let's get back to the casino uh, story. You know, all nice. the time you've been doing security here, have you ever had anybody bet drugs like that before? Not, not that I've been here. <laughs> they aren't two and a half years. He walked, up with, he walked up with it in his hand. <laughs> Within a short time, casino guards arrived, but the subject he's still seems unflustered. TV, he's doing the nope. news. Who combed his hair? Fucking Sirhan Sirhan? Jesus. <laughs> 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 his hair all messy. He's mess. on fucking, what is it, NBC? TV. It looks like he has cum in his hair. He's got kind of like a, a, like a Gary Hart look, you know? All right, messy, I'm sorry, it's messy, it's sexy, a... salt and pepper. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Is Obama going gray already? A little That's bit. That's why oh, he's like boy. cutting he's... those sides really short. You know how presidents age? Yeah, he's yeah, going to be like, day. well, let me tell you about the time I ran for president. <laughs> that was four years ago today. No, Looks like the grandfather from the boondocks. <laughs> yeah, four weeks I've been the president. <laughs> Jesus. But the subject still seems unflustered. Sorry. Note hear. how long it takes the guard to scrape the sticky marijuana buds up off the felt playing surface Bastard. of the card table. Really? Outside, police question the man who claims what he did was legal because he had a cannabis club card he got on the internet. <laughs> Wrong, say police. You do have your cannabis card on you? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. like this. Frequent flyer miles with that? Or? Yeah, I get it. Because he's high. Cops that are funny. He's yeah, high. Yeah, 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 they don't yeah. give out frequent flyer miles What would you say to that guy cannabis. in the locker room? Literal gems. He's in the locker room later. What would you say to that guy about the frequent <laughs> Tell him what you said to that guy about frequent flyer miles. Yeah, You're was, a funny policeman. I was distracted, so I did his part, Jimmy. Sorry. But no, it's fine. It was just, but the, but the bottom line is they wouldn't give you frequent flyers <laughs> well, maybe they for would, an illegal Jimmy. drug. Well, maybe they would. Jim. Mm-hmm. Yellow. Jesus. <laughs> yep. He's yeah. he's just fucking Jesus. Forget it. He's so high. God damn it. He's so stupid. All right, here we go. And an idiot. Yeah. God damn it. And the amount of pot in the man's pockets is substantial. Apparently more than an ounce. Oh. He's taken into custody no, because no. he tried to bet with the no, pot. In addition to possession, he could face additional charges of possession with intent to distribute. Healer Investigating right. officers say they still can't imagine just why the man tried to bet weed on a hand of five card bud. What? Five card bud. Bu- stud? Of bud? Stud? No, stop. He didn't do that. Did not do that. You motherfucker. Holy shit. You, do you stink oh. on ice. Why would Investigating they officers like say they still. <laughs> mistake. What did he say? Literal Jim. Well, actually, he was making a joke. Mistake like that in. The man oh. said the word wrong. He read the prompter wrong. You don't think that. Yeah, they should They should have done another of take. They should have. He said bud. Oh. Instead of stud. Yeah. yeah. Investigating officers say they still can't imagine just why the man tried to bet weed on a hand of five card bud. What exactly were you? That doesn't even make sense. No, no. first of all, bud. he's playing fucking blackjack. But also, he doesn't know how to do uh, reporter puns. 
You go on a on five card bud. bud. You don't go five <laughs> card bud. <laughs> bud. Bud. Here's the joke. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't go do five card. Like, here it comes bud. Here, yeah, you go instead bud. of it, that's the instead of delivery. Yes. Yeah, with yes. a little with a little pause. Five card bud. 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 Five card bud. Yeah. What? Is that a joke? What a comic this guy is. That's funny. He's a terrible. What exactly were you thinking at the time? You don't know what I'm talking about? He's high. I saw a video of you placing down a couple of buds as part of your bet. You don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. That explains a lot. On the streets with Fresno what law enforcement, reporter. Steve Yoakum, KMPH News. Steve Yoakum is a penis. That's why what he's a shitty there. reporter. That's why he's in fucking, that's where your, was that? That's your fucking stick your mic in his face and get the truth? Yeah, so you know. why did you do that? So, and you don't know? Oh, it's well, high, it's, idiot. Well, it's, Bud's so sticky, it fucking sticks to the felt <laughs> of the table. It's good shit. I'm fucked up, and I fucking bet weed. I'm, I'm stupid. Yeah, I paid money for me? it. Right. I figured it would be worth <laughs> money. Tell a reporter before he even gets to court. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, well, let me talk uh, to you for about it for a while. That'll be in the fucking courtroom. Jesus. Now, Anthony and uh, Louie were watching TV, the Today Show. Oh, God. E everyone's talking about the Sarah Palin thing from last night. And you know what? She did She did all right. A lot of people Fine. thought she would get destroyed in this in this debate. She kind of held her own. But how is the she news did... going to put their own little spin and yeah. take on it? You know? Yeah. And the Today Show, they had to do a segment. It just ended because now they're, they're cooking some dumb thing. Got to have a cooking segment, right? Yeah, of course. It's the law. It's so stupid. But uh, they had a bunch of uh, uh, women. Yeah. I say, quote, women, because one yeah. of them was an animal. Women. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was uh, Pull that weave uh, off and oof. Wow. You got a mess. Looked like a tranny, to be completely honest. It really was an got a awful, mess. awful oh. and, and, creature. And uh, I looked over to it. And Louie and you guys were just going off. What, what was the what was the deal there? You're... It's just the fact that that they had to get the women's point of view. Yeah, it was like the women, how women felt about yeah. Palin last. Night. How women felt about Palin's uh, performance last night at the debate. That was what they were cackling about. And it's these four women, and it's mm -hmm. like, do they really want to separate themselves out from the human yeah. race that way? More divisiveness. Yeah, just more to... just no. Let, what did the women think? And they're all. You, we're not even watch hearing it. But you can tell with the sound off that they're just going, I really felt like she stepped up there and really showed yeah. that a woman can blah, 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 blah <laughs> with her vagina part. <laughs> Womanly, womanish, women, woman. Woman, woman, <laughs> women, 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 women's issues, women, women, women. Hmm. Shut up. I think she did pretty good against that Joe Biden because he's a tough customer. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's a man. Instead yeah, of a he's a man I really, with a penis. I felt that she she really women's the woman women. <laughs> In a womanly women, woman way Very women. Very women, woman, women's issue. And they're all sitting there with that cross leg yeah. thing with the knees crossed because yeah. they're wearing a skirt. Yeah, and, and, and you don't want to just hang out and show, you know, what's yeah. with the damage that's going on under there. Yeah. <laughs> Four hens. Oh, just four cackling. of them. Like, you need four of them to explain this. Four the... women's point of view. Yeah. What about you, woman? Oh, well, I thought that women, too. That's interesting. Yes, because it was a woman, women, woman. Yeah. And, and, and it's it's like, why not just look at it like, okay, here's the vice presidential candidate. Yeah, and here's what happened. Here's some people talking about And here's the debate. And they, but they got to, like, uh, uh, weren't they talking about, you know, hey, that glass ceiling and, uh, you know, let's, let's uh, get all on even footing here as far as the workplace goes and yeah. all this other stuff. And then... Right away, the news just has to get four cackling oh, God. bitches out there to get that point of view. Hey, they didn't get four blacks on the thing to see what Obama... Hey, let's get four black people to see what yeah. you're doing Obama. Point of view. I thought that he blacked the black and he black, <laughs> black, black. Excuse I me. Very black. Did you look at the clock? <laughs> it's, it's a little early. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> they might, you might see that about noon oh, you're on right. the news. You're right. <laughs> The blackity black black. black I black. thought the blackity black. I'm very black, and I feel that black could be black that he blacked. That's what I think. Black black black. Blackity black black. Speaking black, of which, black, I'm black. gonna I'm gonna take this opportunity to do what's called a little radio seg, my friends. Mm. Mm. Uh, I got good news for everyone. We have a new Diddy blog. Oh my new god, really? Diddy blog. You're, I you're love into those. the Diddy oh, blog. Oh, totally. That guy is proving. 
<laughs> that celebrities are all just giant yawns with diarrhea on their faces. God, I hate that guy. What an ass. So you're on board with the Diddy Bar. Oh, all right. We got an intro and everything, Lo. Well, his name is Sean, but people call him Diddy. And he's spouting up garbage that he thinks is so witty. He became really famous when some gangster shot Biggie. It's Puppy's latest video <laughs> blog. What's up, y'all? <laughs> What's up, yo? <laughs> Love the intro. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, Diddy uh, has a lot to say about Sarah Palin. Mm. Huh? Huh? He does. Let's hear his unique point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear his. He is a moron. Let's hear what you can only get from him. Diddy blog number 24. Sarah Palin. Uh-oh. She scares me. Well, she really scares me. Likewise. Look at this, boys and girls. Watch this. And when it comes to establishing your worldview, I was curious, what newspapers and magazines did you regularly read before you were tapped for this to stay informed and to understand the I've world? I've read most of them, again, with a great appreciation for the press, for the media. But like what coming, ones specifically? I'm curious that you... Um, all of them, any of them that um, have, have been in front of me over all these years. God, is he getting tased? What is that guy doing on there? Oh my gosh. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. I just spent two seconds actually working for a living. Did you hear her? Did you? I'm scared. See, uh, oh, Diddy, we got oh, it. What Pity's doing there is his uh, Blair Witch. Project. Oh, is that what he did? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, God. Stock in his company has to be crumbling. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And how was it filmed? There was a flashlight in the dark? It's like he's uh, in bed with a flashlight and he's telling ghost stories under the cover. Uh, wow. yeah. No, no. It's it's Blair Witch. You put the, the flashlight yeah. under your face oh, yeah, yeah. like she did. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. He, he's, he's trying to do that. Yeah. But... um. Wow, that looks like a shot out of one of those bank cameras. <laughs> Don't you have another song to rip off? Why, why oh, are you bothering yeah. with this crap? What a dumb person. Uh, it continues with, uh, mm, with of this. Of course it does. So, you know. <laughs> she scares me. She scares me. She, she, uh, I'm hiding under the covers. He's She's worse than the boogeyman. The boogeyman? Well, that would... Mm. <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> if you want to go there, uh, good one. A <laughs> good one. Good one. If you want to go there, Mister Diddy. Uh, <laughs> funny stuff. <laughs> good one. Funny stuff. We could go around. That's some of that uh, improv stand up. There you go. A little bit of that improv stand up. For you. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sarah Palin, you scare me. We get it. Yeah, yes. you you're scared by president it. President of the United States. Yeah. You. Did you? Did you Puffy's answer? crazy. <laughs> Puffy is. A, there's somebody in his world who he doesn't pay well enough and who he treats badly. Who's telling him that this stuff is great? That's Thank great. You. He That's needs someone on. to just he he needs not be scared to tell the. Yo, he has somebody Diddy. going. Oh that. Oh. oh Funny, did it? Those those blog mm. things you be doing? That that's the bomb. Are you funnier than all them comedian people. I seen them blogs. They ain't funny, man. Yeah, Dog, funny. you funny. <sighs> His blogs stinks. <laughs> what bores most entertainers are. We're going we're going old school really fast. Uh, the warrior, check it out. Mm. Yes, warrior. The warrior. The yeah. warrior says Diddy has no talent. <laughs> the warrior. You don't have the voice, though. Warrior no. says. Warrior says. Did he not funny? These guys are good at what Hulk they do. Hulk Hogan not, He's not funny. You know, I remember years ago when I was working on Chris Rock show and he was on being interviewed. Yeah. And he kept saying, um, kept bragging about how he's. He, I'm not just a musician. I'm the CEO of P Diddy, whatever his company is. Mm -hmm. And he kept saying that, and I realized that he had probably just opened a 
Lona Corporation. Right. When you work in entertainment and you get paid as a contractor, your accountant eventually sits you down and goes, you know, you should probably open a, you, know, you should probably make a company. Yeah. Uh, anybody does this. Mm -hmm. People, you, you can do, any individual can do this. But so it's just a, oh, okay, so it's my own company? Yeah, yeah, it's your own company. It's you, but it's a company so that you pay taxes differently. So what do you want to be? You want to be the president or the CEO, you know, the CEO, whatever. Well, I'm the CEO. <laughs> yeah, I'm a CEO also. Yeah. It's, not, it's nothing. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm the CEO. And then he came on Chris Rock's show. I'm the CEO of Pete. I'm just like Bill Gates. No, you're not. No. Not even you're close. nothing like you're him. You're a CEO because you called yourself one because anyone can do that. When I sign uh, papers and yeah. uh, we have to sign on behalf of our corporations, yeah. I have to sign... Anthony Cumia, yeah. and then title. I have to put president. Yeah, I put on president. There. On my I am too. the I am the president yes. of my company. That does not mean I'm no. the president of a company. No. You know what? You it know means what, that legally I have to write that down. You're the president we, of your taxes. Right, I'm the That's president of my taxes. That's all you are. We got to tell the listeners that you are listening to three CEOs. Oh yes, yeah, that's right. Uh, we, Isn't Jimmy a president? CEO? Of course I am. Yeah. Jimmy's a CEO. CEO There's no more president. CEO. Three president. CEOs and one imperial wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I did choose a different title. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. That's, that's good, good stuff. stuff. That's good <laughs> stuff. Oh, golly it's gee. Wow. So we want a little more respect. You're listening to three CEOs. Yeah, Actually, Brian. Steve from Bayshore has it right. I do sign Anthony Cumia Fuhrer. Yeah. <laughs> I have to put that down. I'm the Fuhrer. I to, step wouldn't that be great? Fuhrer. You can do it if you want. I'm, I'm the Fuhrer of my corporation. Yeah. There. That's Done. the only one that knows what that dot dot means over some of those letters. I know what it means. Mm -hmm. He's got an umlaut over his... Uh... Umlaut. How great are we that we went from shock jocks to CEOs? CEOs. Uh, who else gets to do that in this Look world? Look at us. Uh, let's get past this ditty thing a little more. Did you hear the answer to that question? Did you hear... Oh we got Casey. it. Uh, Take a ten-year-old movie reference. Oh, boys and girls, vote, please. Please, I thank you. I'm not coming out the covers. Sarah Palin can. If I stand in the covers, she will become president. We got the oh, job. Yes, you're just showing people that you're you not even. Uh, you he's making me want to put that white sheet to a better use. <laughs> <laughs> it's a person. There's a person stranded. There's a person stranded. He sure is stranded. Very good, Anthony. Very good. He, there's no difference between him and a 17 year old girl because there's 17 year old girls have vlogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on YouTube that are exactly the same amount of <laughs> thought and content as this this piece of garbage human being. That was terrible. Who's wasting America's time with his zero intellect uh, or creativity. All right, there you go. Yeah, why? And and he's in his bed. He's like in his bed with the flashlight there. Yeah. Why ain't Diddy got no bitches in there? That's like what. <laughs> Like everyone assumes Diddy's got his bitches in there all the he's time. He's that unfunny. They're he's like, so unfunny that his bitches left. They're like, look, I enjoy your mansion and your yeah. jet, but if you make another joke, I'm leaving. You do one more stupid Blair uh, Witch Project joke. Okay, I'm going. That's uh, it. Yeah. I'm done. Get the limo. But Joe the Plumber, will Joe the Plumber be invited to one of your shows? Just That'd be something. Yes, he Everybody will. Everybody wants Joe the Plumber on that stage with yeah. him. I'm going to uh, blow him under a toilet seat. It looks silly. Like that that was so Nothing. great. I want to hear that. Is he here, Joe? The best part is at the end he goes, well, you're all Joe the Plumber, so all of you stand up and say, I thank you. <laughs> I, I think like we, he's got, a, we got the clip, actually. He, I Joe's thank. with us this today. Joe, where are you? Where is Joe? Is Joe here with us today? Oh. Joe, I thought you were here today. All right. Well, you're all Joe the Plumber, so <laughs> all of you stand up and say, I thank you. <laughs> and say, you know, I, I saw Joe on television this morning. He did a great job. And whatever, wherever you are, Joe, let's give him a round of applause for... For what? Where are, where are you, Joe? Elbow deep in someone's feces. Not a <laughs> exactly. Not a plumber. Trying to chew his way out of a He's not a tank. plumber! Oh, he's not a plumber. Joe, not the plumber. <laughs> Whatever he is. Why don't we all stand up and say, hey. thank you. I thank you. Uh, thank me, you. I wanted to play the McCain clip for, uh, for Lou uh, one last time before we officially bury it. You, you heard the faux pas that he made? Oh, he's made he, quite a no. few. This oh. one is classic. You haven't heard this one yet? 
love this is one. Is this, where did he say? Well, this is uh, Representative Murtha out of Western Pennsylvania, basically saying it's a racist area. Right, Western Pennsylvania, that. racist area, and then said redneck area or something. Mm -hmm. So then McCain is campaigning in Western Pennsylvania and wants to say, you know, hey, these people are, are fine and dandy. Yeah. This isn't yeah. like this idiot says. So right. he is so eloquently puts it and uh, t tells these people that they are just a well, great American. You know, so, and, and this person, you know, supports Obama. So now McCain's thinking, oh, I got Obama. I got yeah. I'm going to I'm going to show these people mm -hmm. and I'm going to have so these people in the palm open. of my hand. Yeah. I could I could hear the cheering now as he's reading what he's supposed to say. He's probably going, oh, they're, right here they're going to cheer. Yeah. Right here is going to be a big one. I'm going to have yeah. to stop yeah. and wait till the cheering stops. And then. A lot of people make mistakes that way, by the way. Oh, this is a bad you wind up, It's like if you're playing tennis and somebody lobs one and you yeah. go, wow, there you are. And then you hit, you hit it and it's kink. In for Whoops. The this is not Foul. that. This is the racket flies out of his hand. <laughs> yeah. He slammed him with child's teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's going to change the whole election with what right. he's when about did this to say. Happen? When did this it's happen? It's a couple weeks old now, yeah. but we can't help ourselves. We've got to play this one more time and then we'll finally. And you can hear the cockiness in his voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's ready to go, Lou. Here we okay. go. Senator Obama's supporters have been saying some pretty nasty things about Western Pennsylvania lately. And you know, I couldn't agree with them more. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this silence. <laughs> the whole crowd going, what? Wait a what? minute. It is... We have dissected this. It's because oh. how he just says lately, like lately. that's the big lately. Here's the setup, yeah. and here's the payoff that's going to drive you nuts. Yeah, what happened? Uh, oh God, uh, what did I say? One, one more time. Yeah. What was he supposed to say? I got. Well, then I then, disagree then, with them. I, I disagree. I couldn't disagree, disagree with more. them more. I couldn't agree with them more. I, it's the <laughs> opposite. It's like you know. I can't agree with them, or I oh. disagree. Yeah. Anything but what but, he said, yeah. and you all have AIDS in the drinking water, yeah. would have been. <laughs> Smoother and better oh, received. God. And then he tries to get out of it, which is oh, just, as, just as priceless. <laughs> oh, it's horrid. Because now he realizes, holy S, I just messed up my oh. moment. Maybe I could save this. Maybe I could salvage oh. it. Senator Obama's supporters have been saying some pretty nasty things about Western Pennsylvania lately. Oh, he's got him booing. And you know, I couldn't agree with him more. I couldn't disagree with you, I couldn't agree with you more than the fact that Western <laughs> Pennsylvania is the most patriotic. <laughs> he lost his he mind. He doesn't know where the negative and the positive no. is now. He goes, I couldn't agree, agree with, with them more. It's I like, no, I couldn't disagree with you. No, wait a minute. Holy no. Jesus. I couldn't Who disagree I agree with, with you more. I couldn't agree, agree. with Hitler more. Oh, no, God. wait. Yes. <laughs> you can't. You couldn't agree too much with something so awful that I don't agree with if I ha if I have to. He, uh, oh. he blew it. He blew that. You blew it. So bad. It's because he's just saying a dumb thing. Yes. If he was just talking and saying things he believed in, he yeah. wouldn't have trouble. It's like the thing of you if you tell yeah. always tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Right. He could just talk and just be himself. But the fact that he's hey. doing these things yeah, some pretty bad things about you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, who wouldn't screw that up? It's just so soulless and stupid. And I can agree with them more. <laughs> Did I say that? How, how he says lately is my favorite part. Lately? Lately. lately. Oh god. That's setting you up for the home run. Oh yeah. That is setting you, you ready up. for something you love right now? If, he's, if he would have uh, said here it and is. I couldn't disagree with them more, they would all just what? They would have ah, Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not. Oh, Damn god. it. <laughs> and, and and he screwed it up. And then you should have just gone, "Wow, I really messed that up." Wow. And and, and then people would have laughed, but he tried so hard to salvage it. Uh, dude. How great is that? That's one Last of our night, favorites. On CNN, they had a guy on who was his campaign spokesman, mm -hmm. who I never had seen. I've never seen those people. Like mm -hmm. with when Clinton was running and you had James Carville and Stephanopoulos. Yeah. These guys were just geniuses. Yeah, they were out there. And, and really good spinners and yep. talkers. This guy came on, and I, I was like, this is why they're losing. <laughs> this young guy who just looks like your that, that a a idiot guy. <laughs> Kind of heavy set, young, 
smirky, just, you know, st- uh, strip club uh, chicken wing eating type. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, sh- you know, light beer drinking, big lazy boy recliner, just like, yeah, yeah. A bum, a bum doesn't know anything. Like just a dumbass, a guy who skated through college to learn anything, just and just arrogant and boring to look at. And Why this is the guy who's like running this war heroes get campaign. Sharp, yeah, someone well, sharp in there. It's too late now. Why does he yeah. do that yeah. stuff? I'll do that. I'll go, I'll go Sorry, job. don't Russell brand me out of my own job. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Treat him nicely. Russell, by the way. uh... I want to hear the clips of the phone calls he made. But uh, did I tell you? I, I used to I used to go out with that girl. She's an ex girlfriend of mine. I am the girl that the girl that's in well the that story. Russell banged. Well, ex- yeah, that Russell Manuel's granddaughter is an ex girlfriend of mine. Explain the controversy because a lot of people oh, you know. But there's a guy called Manuel of Faulty Towers who is a, a Spanish bloke on on a TV show who's meant to be thick. Unless you watch the TV show in Spain where they made him Mexican, mm. which is worth knowing. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Manuel was the stupid Mexican. In, wow. in Faulty Towers. Faulty w- Towers was uh, great with, uh, yeah. yeah. John Cleese, Cleese right? Yeah. John Cleese. One of the best sitcoms ever. Only 12 yeah. episodes, but great. Right? Only 12 episodes of that? 12 episodes, yeah. Two seasons of six. British don't play games. They don't go too long. They just they cut it oh. quick. Ah, and they yeah. also, they decide to make episodes when the hell they want to. <laughs> yeah. they, don't, they don't sit to any schedule. They go, we, and next episode's in five weeks. And you go, <laughs> what? what happened there? And what's it, a morning show now? When did that happen? <laughs> um... <laughs> but uh, I, I, uh, so so Manuel uh, has a granddaughter who who has a well, let's say a questionable uh, occupation. She dances for a burlesque troupe called the Satanic Sluts. Mm. It's a fairly suggestive mm. name. It, it might not mean what you think. And uh, then there's uh, Jonathan Ross, and who's the biggest broadcaster in on British television. He's the six million pound man. For, for, that's what he gets paid by the BBC. We call E Rock. Wow. Fat joke. And then, uh, so, and then, then there's, <laughs> then there's, joke. there's Russell Brand, who's the pretty boy of, uh, the whole thing, and you know, might have seen him in that Sarah Marshall film. And I talked yeah. About. Mm-hmm. So they were on a radio and show. He really took Tinseltown to task when he took the MTV Awards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I heard it went badly. Can you didn't? hold up a mirror to those phonies. He yeah. sure <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, I, I, heard, I heard he made some George Bush jokes that were quite oh, questionable. Wow. Settle down. Yeah, yeah. called a retarded cowboy. I was like, well, this guy's crazy. I, I think uh, we, would, we wouldn't let him play with scissors. Oh, stop it, Russell. Stop it. Uh, anyway, so... Scathing. Uh, so, Jonas Brothers too. Oh, this no. guy nuts? Uh, leave them alone. How many big targets are you going after? Yeah, oh. th- you tell me he said something about Britney. Uh, he probably did. Oh, he was that he, wild. Knowing that edgy mf wow. he probably went off, went <laughs> yeah. off on her. So, <laughs> He's yeah. crazy. So anyway, so he gets on the radio. He rings up Manuel's, uh, Manuel, right, and says that he's going to interview him. This is the facade they're using. They go, oh, we wanted to interview him about Faulty Towers. Why? No one's interviewed Manuel in 30 yeah. years. No one's asked a question about Faulty Towers. But anyway, obviously Manuel's not there. So he just leaves five, six, maybe seven answering machine messages going, I effed your daughter. I, I granddaughter? Enjoyed, granddaughter. I effed your granddaughter. Oh, it's a granddaughter. They've, they've, they've got the footage here. Yeah, I got a taste of it. Man, uh, Andrew Sachs. Don't call him Manuel. That's just really bad. Call him manners. Andrew Sachs. No, oh, I apologize. I said for Andrew Sachs. He, he's an idiot. Look, Andrew Sachs, I've got respect for you and your lineage and progeny. Yeah, know, Never let that be questioned. Don't hint. I wasn't hinting. Why did that come across as a hint? Because you know what you're talking about. Now, when you were the granddaughter. That's his answer phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Andrew, I apologize. <laughs> wow, shock jocks. I love it. Mm. Yeah, and do you know, no, I was out of, uh, obviously out of voicemail. They got, I think it was 18,000 complaints. His answer phone. They got real complaints. But really? I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You can't ring someone's <laughs> grandfather up yeah. and tell him about it. And he's just no. an old bloke sitting at home going, <laughs> Yeah, like, he's not, he's not from cur- what I currently know, having a show, but he's not like a, in the public eye. He's just no. a private citizen somewhere. Yeah, yeah. He, he was on a TV show 30 Mr. years Mr. ago. Mr. Faulty! Mr. Yeah. Faulty! <laughs> and the thing was, from what I know from talking to his um, granddaughter, him and his granddaughter are on best terms anyway. Oh, okay. Old yeah. Voluptua with a destroyer. She, mm-hmm. uh, oh, she's a, she's a curvy girl. Oh, is she? Oh, she could take a punch. Where's uh where's a picture over there um and and you used to go out with this girl? I went out with her when she was 18 when I was about 25 when she was about 18. She was she was up at the, this is before she was a member of the Satanic Sluts. But you know, you could see it was coming. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the guys knew they were in some uh, trouble, so they tried to like cover their, you know, their track here. Mm-hmm. Look, Andrew, I'm phoning you to ask if I can marry. That's right, marry your granddaughter, Georgina, the granddaughter. And I'd like to be a page boy. <gasps> he wants to be a page boy. We're gonna have a Forty Towers themed no, wedding. No, now you've spoiled it. No, no, I find any better. Oh, look, look, I'm sorry. I'll do anything. I wore a condom. It is still Jocktober, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he uses a lot of flowery words, Russell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's over-exaggerated. And then they talk yeah. about things like it's... Mm. He once came up to me and he went, You're an ordinary man with overtones of smut and philanthropy. What, what are you talking about? Why? What, yeah, what, why? what does that mean? <laughs> Stop trying to be random. Yeah. Stop trying to be brilliantly <clears throat> obscure and random. Yeah. No one cares. Calm yeah, yeah. down, you phony. Just oh, always, easy, always little. remember. He, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He, he used to, uh, he, he used to uh, <laughs> put it in his mouth for coke back in the day. That's what I always think when I looked at him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I read his book. Right. It's kind of interesting. He, he had a bad drug habit. He continued calling uh, the guy back over and over again. Oh, <gasps> I'd like to apologize for these terrible yeah, attacks, bum, Andrew Sachs. Bum, bum, bum. I'd like to show contrition bum, bum, to the max, bum, bum, Andrew Sachs. Bum, 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 bum. I'd like to create bum, 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 world peace bum, 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 between bum, the bum, yellow, bum, bum, whites, bum, and blacks, Andrew Sachs. Bum, 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 Andrew Sachs. Bum, 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 bum. I said some things bum, bum, I didn't bum, have order, like I had sex. Bum, 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 with your granddaughter, but it was consensual, and she wasn't menstrual. It was consensual, lovely sex. Ugh, these guys are good. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the best radio we've got. Next I guess that's, it loses something in the translation. No, we understood oh, every word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Jim, I that's suck. Okay, little Jim. <laughs> no, answer was English. Oh, you should kick me in the teeth with the, <laughs> the inappropriate bell on your foot. I'll give you a Halloween pass. <laughs> One more clip, so then they called the uh, the voicemail back one more time. Uh, Ever since I was a little boy... Just say sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. I found a lot of bad things sorry. as a boy. No, don't sorry. Don't about it. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry, all right? Sorry. I'm so sorry that I had a difficult life. No. No, no, I'm sorry. Just I'm sorry. Just I'm sorry, it. Andrew. Just let it heal. Just, let's just take some time together. Look, we can no, meet up. he doesn't want to spend any time with you. Gail just Garcia say sorry. Blarker. It's making it worse. <laughs> so, just say sorry. 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 Jonathan, sorry as well. Sorry. It was his sorry. idea. I was in wow. I just wanted to impress Jonathan Ross and I got swept up in it. Sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. Sorry about everything that's ever happened. You were good in the bill. Stop that. All right, all right. No, but bye. Do they do well over there? Um, Jonathan Ross is the most popular person on TV, and Russell Brand's the most popular comedian. What about it like the, that? But who is it? Why do they bother this guy? I know. It's, I like, don't really, really get it. Still. They're really, really crapping on the head of a guy who didn't do, do anything he didn't to do, them. He didn't do or to anybody else. Or to, yeah, and also, so what? You shagged his girl, the granddaughter. Yeah, like, get over she's it. She's an adult. She's allowed to have. Wipe sex. your penis on the drapes and be quiet about it. boy, Louis' first dump, dump of, of the, the day. day. Oh, sorry. All right. Oh, sorry. Steve from Bay Show is actually pointing out. He goes, "That's two breaks so far." Without Louie oh, being dumb. Oh, he's a potty well, mouth. There it is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay because compared to the old the days, no good. problem. <laughs> oh, sorry. Gotten way long better. As the line's good. <laughs> I now, <don't> care. <laughs> just to sum up this thing, Russell Brand gets fired. No, he he gets pushed before he ju- um he jumps before he gets pushed. Oh, he, he jumps he, before he okay. Yeah, so yeah. Technically, he he, 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 leaves. he quit, and he quit. Jonathan Ross has been deducted twelve weeks' pay, which is two point four million American dollars. Jeez. What? That way, how come John Ross gets huh? to stay? Isn't what? He, isn't he the first one? John, Jonathan, yeah, but Jonathan Ross is the is the biggest cash cow for um, the BBC. So they, no, they, they, it's, it's, like, it's like firing what? Letterman or something. What kind of yeah. money was that? Yeah, what? $2.4 million for a week? So for 12 weeks. Two point four million for 12, 12 weeks. weeks. Looks 12 like, weeks. Looks like we're moving to England, eh? Why, I, um, I was listening to that and then, you know, hearing that with the, the pay over there. Ah... Uh, Hip hip cheerio! Oh, we can take <laughs> yeah. England by storm. No, I feel like the, going the, over the there. thing is, he's the number one paid guy. But the thing is, you, you know, the BBC's ass. got no—it's got no commercials on it. It's like British TV. You got to pay a license for your television. Right. Yeah. It's ridiculous. What? You don't—you don't have a choice. It's like the mafia. They've put something in your house, so now you have to pay protection money on it. You, <laughs> don't, you don't have a choice. It's to the government. If you don't, they have—they have vans that drive around the streets that can detect whether you have a TV in your house. And you got to pay a TV tax. 
It, it's yeah. called a TV license. It's not a tax. It's a license. Yeah. Holy mother of pearl. And it's about. I thought our taxes were bad. It's no, about, but they also have wow. something called. They have something really smart in British broadcasting and radio and TV called Watershed, which is just there's a certain hour of the night. It's like nine p.m. Nine p.m. and then bring out the tips. nine p.m. Do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely anything you want after you nine p.m. Oh, it's right. crazy. And, and, and sometimes it's funny. You might, you might be watching a show that starts at eight, it ends at ten, and the first half of the show won't have any tits. And like, hold on, know, hold on, hold on with that word. It's, oh. it's do you believe they dump they that? Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to reset because this is way too good. The, we don't have The 9 o'clock hour is called the what? Because I don't know what they wa- dumped out. It's called Watershed. Watershed. Then okay. anything goes starting at 9 o'clock, and that's when they break out the boobs. Just say boobs. But they'll literally have a show. Yeah. Yeah. Say whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. They'll have a show like a telethon or something that starts at 8 and ends in midnight. Oh. And for the first yeah. hour, nothing bad will happen. And then they start effing and seeing and bringing out the boobs and showing yeah. a bit Wow. Of, oh, whatever they want. Yeah. I think we have... In Britain, phone sex lines where you can ring the girl who's on screen, and on there's TV. like 20 of them, and they're all models. On TV? On TV. You can oh. ring the girl, and you can get her to move and around. tell her to do oh, things? It's, it's, wow. it, all this stuff about the British being prudish when it comes to sex, wrong. No, no, they're oh, yeah. disgusting. No. Never said disgusting. prudish, just a lousy at it. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, yeah. you know, eating halfway <laughs> through and, and all that type of stuff, yes. Uh, why did they get fired? Uh, well, why were they... Being pressured over that. What rule do they break? Um, it's not that great. Just an no, un- as far as radio goes. There's a few things in, in England, like common decency. <laughs> it's not an actual law, but it should be. <laughs> but I, it should be. I heard they broke some kind of prank call rule, yeah. but there was they called an answer machine, and you don't even know if they actually put all that stuff on the answer machine. There's tricks in this business. Well, um, they, so why? why? Well, the, the, the thing is... They just picked on the wrong guy. Andrew Sachs is just beloved. And then the, Who the, knew? The Prime Minister. The hell knew? The Prime Minister even got involved. And really? Went, oh, it's not on. I love Faulty Towers. That was basically his argument. Why would the Prime Minister get involved? Well, because, you know, he, don't look at the economy. Yeah. Faulty Towers. He's in trouble. <laughs> hey, we got, a, we got a hot breastfeeding story for everybody. What? Mm. Oh, yeah. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Suck that milk out of there. Are you a fan of the breastfeeding? Sure, it's better for the kids. When brain. you see a young mom out there for the kids sure. nursing her young, talking about the kids, it's, l- it's rarely like a nice firm boob. <laughs> no. it's usually like a flat, like a big, uh, like big a wine skin, f- floppy. <laughs> yeah, a wine satchel at a Grateful Dead show. Yeah. Just... It depends how young the kid is. Yeah, sometimes they're you know, yeah, mm. little. Mm. Yeah, but you have to like to get. I don't know. I don't see getting <laughs> getting aroused. You have to like use Photoshop in your head and edit out the baby all the way to the nipple. Like you have to like sort of yeah, air, airbrush really, out the child. It really does just destroy any yeah. sexual. And, and also, generally, a woman breastfeeding doesn't look like a perky like uh, beer commercial model. She's no. like a tired woman, frumpy mom, just that's really just... frazzle haired, puke on the shoulder. Yeah, she's had it with lights, yeah, really just just baggy eyes. Just... Hasn't slept in days. <laughs> Sit outside the shopping center. Yeah. Or no, and, and breastfeeding is exa- literally it's exhausting. <laughs> like it takes a huge chunk out of a woman. Sure, like, it's just like it's murder. James from New Hampshire. This is not a capital letters a sexy story. Well, let's find That's, out. I think it's very sexy. Listen to this one. It was an unforgettable and shocking sight that prompted one It was an unforgettable and shocking sight. Talking like this. Oh, every time we play a clip. Every time we play a clip, we got to go unforgettable. The fake voice douche. It was an Unforgettable. Why don't you just use your real voice? <laughs> it's just, not that hard. Just go on, use your real voice. Feel like, like, like a human being. One show does that on the uh, Ira Glass. You ever listen to him on uh, NPR? No. He does this show called This American Life. Okay. And he just talks like this. I'm Ira Glass. We're going to do a show about that. He just talks like a yeah, person, right. and it's through the roof. No, See, but this the adds oh, absolutely oh, zero. You have to talk like this <laughs> in order to get people's attention, or they'll think you're just a normal person <laughs> and not the special muse person that I am with this voice. <laughs> and you have to shed your accent so you can work anywhere in the country. Anywhere. Yes, it I was can work in New York. You don't want to sound It's weird that they take on a voice that uh, they share. 
It's the same. Yeah, it's the same accent or uh, dial, it's, whatever. It's you like call rock it. and roll. It's like that that kind of. I don't even know what modern music is, but it's that thing where the girls sing like this. You don't. You don't, you don't talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I an unforgettable and shocking sight that prompted one driver. What one second? And also, Ohio. it's the peaking. It's like you can, with your finger up and down, oh, it's an oh, unforgettable, oh, shocking oh. sight. You can almost it's watch the bottom, feed bottom, meter. Bottom, bottom. Yes, exactly. Like working as he's a talking. Bottom, 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 unforgettable, sing-songy voice thing I do. It yes. was an unforgettable and shocking sight that prompted one driver in suburban <laughs> Dayton, Ohio. To Ohio? Why are you hitting Ohio? Ohio. Dayton. One driver in Ohio. And he goes, Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> well, we're just picking this idiot apart, aren't we? It's accurate. Oh, he sucks. <laughs> Die. Driver in suburban Dayton, Ohio, the phone police <laughs> wow. found I'm following behind a lady in a van who is driving while breastfeeding her newborn baby and talking on the cell phone. Mm. Are you goody two shoes? Shut up. You what rat. Mean? It's a rat. Whole family's rat. <laughs> you see what people are doing on the highways these days? Leave her mm. alone. Is she swerving? Yeah, she so hoping the airbag line? is going to oh. destroy the kid's head <laughs> oh, forever please. and her <laughs> boob at the same time. <laughs> that is true. And more importantly, her breast. <laughs> <laughs> blood and milk everywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, breastfeeding her newborn baby and talking on the cell phone. <laughs> nice. That's multitasking. Nice. Yeah, Taking a the working mom. And... You walk up to the scene of the crash. Yeah. Apparently, she was drinking a fribble. Um, <laughs> strawberry fribbles all over the windshield. <laughs> like, oh my God, it's not a fribble. <laughs> Feeding her newborn baby and talking on the cell phone. Officers later caught up with 39-year-old Janine Compton Strange. at her home. She did admit to breastfeeding her child while driving. So. She kind of indicated that it's more or less a routine thing that she does. Mm -hmm. And that when her child needs to eat, she's going to provide the, the need. <laughs> Pull over, you retard. Yeah, you can wait, right? Uh, He's stupid. Everybody in the story is stupid. <laughs> you know, like From the animal. anchor to the interview to the woman to the, everyone yeah. on that highway. Even the kid. What yeah, about? just drop a bomb <laughs> on that community. What about the eyewitness? You don't like yeah. the eyewitness? He, screw him. He's a tattletale. Oh, yeah, exactly. Who's going to call the local news? Oh, look at that. Police informed her that all children inside a car must be restrained and charged her with child endangerment. Mm. The police report shows Compton claims she knew all about safety but was more concerned about feeding her baby. I hate Thompson this guy. Faces up to one hundred and eighty days in jail. Feeding her baby. Hundred dollar fine if she's convicted uh, of the misdemeanor. It's kind of a cool story, and he made it mm. boring as hell. It it's like weird because he started, he started up here, yeah, but, but then he came yeah, in yeah. between. Oh, no, you got to get serious. Lower. Fine. Yeah, yeah, baby. Serious. Fine. No one says fine. Yeah. Fine. Fine. There's no Y in that word. Fine. <laughs> 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 F E I Y Y Y Y N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N N where do they teach you that? Oh, God. Why do you do it? it no one it needs it. Every broadcasting school. It's oh. terrible. It, it, uh, talk from the diaphragm. That'll get you a job. Oh. Got to talk from way down here. Shut up. Mm. Well, that just took us out. A, he's sitting there with a Dunkin' Donuts coffee and a script reading into a mic. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, my hair unforgettable. Okay? Can, you, uh, can you do that again? Uh, hit on forget hit date uh, hit Ohio, <laughs> Ohio. That was Hello. real nice, Bob. Thank you. He was I know. Good one. Yeah, is that a take? <laughs> How do I look? My hair okay? <laughs> uh, it's a voiceover, we'll Bob. Five, four, three. <laughs> Hi, I'm here in Ohio. <laughs> Dude, it just is terrible. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's a booby story, and we're talking yeah. about a guy talking. That's well, how distracting the guy, <laughs> I think the guy made us all tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Well, no, it's like in the, B every, every, now. in the BBC, if you ever listen to BBC radio. Oh, they yeah. Their own They're the they suck their own version of that. Every story has AIDS and genocide. Genocide. Yeah. Um, AIDS. AIDS. 
Don't forget about sushi. There's a problem in Africa. It's the problem of AIDS. <laughs> like they gotta go up or something yeah. at the end. Money is being sent from around the world. <laughs> All right, George <laughs> <laughs> and Ringo, what are you doing? It's horseradish. You're most likely to have come across it as the powerful paste of wasabi. That's the oh, yeah, 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 subby. The powerful the paste of wasabi. Yeah, listen. a little breath. Yeah. Each word. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking. <laughs> wasabi. It's horseradish. You're most likely to have come across it as the powerful <laughs> paste wasabi that's eaten with sushi. Sushi. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> with sushi. Sushi. The powerful paste wasabi. <laughs> Eaten with sushi. Come across it. <laughs> wow, well, what happened? I just said across it. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm hyperventilating. I'm British. Stupid <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brits. <laughs> what do you got in it? Brooke Hogan? I was wondering if Brooke Hogan, um, what she sounds like acoustically. Or is she lip syncing? No, this is probably, what can we do? What can do you pot it up? Very, this very one, interesting. This, one. Her, this name of the song is Hey Yo. That's I'm okay. But I had to let you know. Just in case it didn't show. Oh, some say love and friends, they don't mix, but I the way that I feel. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Who is that faggot? Who is that Jerry curled faggot who's playing with her? He's got shiny jeans. What a fruit. No, I'm not. Oh, God, what is with him? No, you're not. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Yeah, I will if I hear this anymore. Yeah, this is really bad. I promise to show you. I love it, can we? He could Ew! go over. Uh, <laughs> oh. How does he go over anyone's house and, and sit in their, on their couch? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, How's he a person? <laughs> fucking wet all over there. All right. I'm sorry I even brought it up. That's one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. That's really, bad, huh? really bad. That's <laughs> horrible. Oh, boy. I'd rather listen to my mom beg for mercy while somebody <laughs> kills her. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, and people are also reminding us that Eddie also was in charge of the mail and, and getting it all wrong. Oh, no, he used to get it all wrong, yeah. yeah hey, this, reason, wait, this, that guy's part. wearing like a glovey what? thing. What, a Michael Jackson glove? Oh. No, it's worse. Look on his left hand, on his guitar hand. Oh, it's, yeah, like it's like a, a hand brace, but it's sparkly. It's like when you get a sprained wrist, yeah, yeah. but it's sparkly. No, that oh, wasn't good. Stop. You can't stop the song for your shit note that didn't work. It's your crap. He's just making it up now. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Look at his hand. Look at his I hand. Yeah. So He's got sparkly wrist so the new brace album on. Is out. Oh. Right now in the stores. Oh, you yeah. ugly what whore. Fuck you. You yeah, fucking so retard. <laughs> He's very talented. He's really, really talented. No, he's not. Neither are you, you um, fucking friends. stupid cunt. God damn it. When do you hit the road, Colby? Fucking boring, cool? fucking stupid, together, ugly, uh, common, uh, fucking two-bit stripper. Stuff, right? yeah, we're just, I'm just she comes over and says, do you want a private dance? And I go, no. I go, no, I'm waiting for somebody interesting looking. Fucking dime a dozen blonde Fucking Holy shit. father famous for being a buffoon <laughs> idiot. <laughs> fucking. She, she even knows the guy isn't talented because she had to go, yeah, he's really talented. Yeah, he's really yeah he's exactly. Talented. Oh, really? That's what I just heard was good? Oh, thanks. Yeah, you know the shit you just heard? <laughs> That's like everybody that has a boyfriend where they're like, oh, yeah, no, he's really great. Really? Yeah, he's great. That, I, it's funny because I just heard him. Oh, thanks for telling me because it sounded like shit. <laughs> it, wasn't, it sounded like it wasn't good. <laughs> Oh, you! No, he's really fucking great, oh. funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love him. No, I tell listened you to her uh, uh, on this show. She yeah. was on, I, and I was like, "Shut!" She I fucking she ruined my morning. <laughs> I she? hate her. Why? Yeah, because my morning, I dropped my kids off in this fucking crazy camp, and then I listen to you guys on my way back. I got I got nothing else to do. I look at the same shit strip of fucking country road every morning, and I listen to you guys. And it was her. And there's yeah, trying to be funny and fucking.
We had our arm wrestle, though. I didn't get that far. I, it's the first time I've switched. <laughs> oh, I switched the sometimes. fucking station. That's not good here. You got to. Well, she arm take, keep that in mind. Time. She makes people like me turn your show off. <laughs> 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 That's good to know for next time. We go, hey, Brooke, would you arm wrestle Robert yeah. Kelly? And she goes, yeah. But yeah. Isn't that kind of insulting to ask a girl to arm wrestle a guy? Why? Why do you mean? Like, because she's a bruiser. Oh, because she's got big fat arms. I see what you mean. Why else would I say would you arm wrestle Robert see, yeah. Kelly? Because he's a You're weak not, slob with. Uh, little, he's got little, uh, you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. <laughs> what is she doing there in that she's, picture? She's <clears throat> giving a piggy. Looks like ride. she's taking a shit. I don't know. I hate that people like her exist. I mean, it's the worst. It's just so many generations down from mattering. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Hulk Hogan even shouldn't matter. He's yeah. a joke. He's a fringe celebrity. And then Hulk. But now he's a family. fucking mainstream right down. Like he's going to get like the he's going to be at the Kennedy honors with the president someday. Yeah. Because yeah. he just for being fucking stupid spectacle in front of other people <laughs> and his fucking daughter. His his grown up cum gets to be on TV and, and play a song with her faggot boyfriend with sparkly jeans. And everybody's got to act like it's good. It's sparkly wrist brace. <laughs> and she comes to this building, and you guys have her. Everybody has to have her on and act like. And so then what happened with your dad? Who gives a sh shit? He's, he's making us look bad. <laughs> Louis, Fuck her. Louis no, Louis you have out. to do it. How do you not do it? If I had this no. look, if I had this show, I would. I'd go. Can uh, we get her, what? please? Louis and is, I'd be uh, nice to her. A dose of you're, reality. You're giving a yeah, a little taste. <laughs> There's no, no problem there. That's why we do like you. <laughs> Louis <laughs> is a dose of reality, man. Yep. He's right. He's right. The fuck what we think. You guys, we get three hours with Bobo is worth a lot more. It's well, true. Yeah, and don't yeah. go to the message board because they don't like Bobo either. <laughs> they well, don't. Well, I'm, look, I'm in a minority. I, I love Bobo, but you yeah, go to the message I'm in the boards, Bobo camp. they can't take They're him. They're like enough with Bobo. They're listening. But they listen. They listen. Yeah, I'm, I assume. Did anybody write and say, she's awesome, keep her on and no, have one, her on again? One person. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Did. All those, all that response for Bobo, one response for her. Yeah. yeah. All yeah, his we, response was negative and hers was positive. Yeah. Bobo but, makes people but, react. Yeah, you want that's, that's what you, you want, want from a radio show. Exactly. Of course. Good, bad, whatever. Just you yep. want people talking and reacting. Yeah, we didn't get much reaction after the uh, Brooke Hogan interview no. yesterday. No. Louis C.K. It's now we sleep. feel really bad about ourselves as broadcasters. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's America sleeping. <laughs> Let's get the horse fuck story on. Yes. Oh, this guy fucked a horse? What happened? Well, yeah. he, uh, he has a history of doing this. <laughs> he got caught. It's called buggery, you know. Is it? Is that what buggery is? Yeah. I didn't like know horse that. Like horse and buggy? No, because buggery... Because you're being a buggy sort of for the English horse. English law. Yeah, you're kind of being a buggy by proxy. So it's like buggery. I wonder if that is what it hook is it up. No, because I don't, I don't know, because it, it means um, uh, anal intercourse with a man or a woman. If you're a guy and you have anal intercourse with a man or a woman, you are uh, engaging in buggery. But also vaginal intercourse with a horse is buggery. But anal with a horse is not considered buggery. It's considered <laughs> something else. You know, some sick sodomy fucking thing that will still get you put on the rack in England, I'm sure. But, <laughs> but it, who wanted to decide like, that one? Yeah, they decided that buggery is uh, sex up the ass on, on, on a human uh, or um, uh, vaginal sex with a horse. But wait a minute, sex up the ass with a human or vaginal sex with a horse? Yeah. Is the same thing, it's buggery. Same thing. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> but you could fuck a horse in the I ass and it's not buggery. And it's not buggery. <laughs> but is it something worse? A I'm person's sure. asshole and a horse's vagina. vagina. Same thing. Yeah. They considered it the same kind of fucking... Well, but wait, maybe is there a step up for horse's asshole? Maybe it's just another thing. I think that's thing. what it is. I think it's even worse. It's like murder one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although the... the, the, um, the Penalty for buggery. Yeah. Up until 1861. Getting fucked up the ass by a was, horse. Yes, <laughs> yes. The horse yeah. gets to have his little piece with you. <laughs> was death by hanging. Really? And then after that, it was life in prison. 
And now, did you have to sit know, on the was... horse that you fucked in the ass when? You, yeah, when you get fuck hung. Fuck you and the horse you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and the horse you fucked and fuck both. And fuck both of you. Yeah, anal intercourse by a man with a man or woman, mm-hmm. or vaginal intercourse by either a man or a woman with an animal. Now, how does a woman? Where are you reading this off of, by the way? Uh, the definition of buggery. Uh, from what though? Uh, from uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, you just go Wikipedia. On buggery. anal intercourse. <clears throat> I love also the stuff that's highlighted to give you other references. Yes, yes, I might need that intercourse note. The ba- uh, the, the, yeah. Anal inc- intercourse highlighted if you're interested. More to, more to say about that. <laughs> yes, it's a By a man with a man or a woman. Yeah, you can't or fuck that. Or vaginal ass. intercourse by either a man or a woman with an animal. With an animal. So How does a animal. woman fuck a horse up the asshole? That's what I want to know. Well, a vagina. Vagina. Oh, vaginal intercourse. Yeah. How, okay, so then, yeah, how does a woman... I guess with her fist? You can't fist a horse in a No, vagina? I think that means letting a horse... <gasps> oh! Fuck you. Oh! Look at you. And look been, at me. I've been thinking of that, like, since I read it yesterday, going, how does a woman do... But it's, it's the uh, horse fucking the woman. Or, if I said this, now, by the way, it says animal. So, yeah, a dog, anything. women can be fucked by dogs. I've seen now, it. Now, what about, what's, what about the woman getting fucked in the ass by an animal? Because that wasn't covered there. That's going to be a That's different That's got to be worse. Yeah. It's got to be worse. They don't step it down and go, think, at least it's I not buggery. I think that's called tomfoolery. Tom, yeah, <laughs> buggery is like one of those words where it should be yeah. tomfoolery. I think it's a, I think a, a woman being fucked in the ass by a horse is yes. shenanigans. I think yes. it's shenanigans. Only done by a scallywag. <laughs> exactly. Wow, they just said shenanigans. shenanigans. Visiting this website may harm your That's all these words that okay. used to be horrible, and now yeah, they yeah. don't matter anymore. Now it's just yeah. funny. Yeah, it turns out, you know, if you really look up the oh, ap- yeah. epitomology or whatever it's called. Shenanigans. Turns out a, a, a horse coming in a woman's mouth is called silliness. <laughs> it's just that it's been softened over the years. <laughs> Yeah, being engaged in shenanigans years ago was probably a pretty bad thing. Yeah. Now it's just, it's funny to say. The yeah. word itself is just shenanigans. You can't be serious when you say it. Well, you want the update on the horse fucker? Buggery. I certainly you gotta do. got to hear uh, this one. Barbara Kenley says her horse of 15 years, Sugar, is like a child to her. Oh, boy. Mm. But a year and a half ago, she discovered this man, Rodell Vereen, inside Sugar's stable. Oh, oh stable. Inside so stable. to speak. Wow. Okay, well, so wow. Yeah. Stable. All right. <laughs> inside Sugar's stable, he pleaded guilty to having sex with the horse. I mean, I don't know how to explain to you the sick feeling. Vereen was placed on South Carolina's <laughs> sex offender list Go and, and got three years probation. But Kenley says that was little comfort to her. Every night going to bed thinking, is that man out there with my animals? What is he doing to my horse? <laughs> fucking it. And uh, I, like I said, I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. She suspected well, Vereen was fucking masturbate and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> fucking was to be, rub one out and go to sleep. That's what I do when I think uh, I'm fucking the horse. Who cares if someone's fucking your horse? Jesus. I just couldn't sleep thinking about it. She suspected Vereen was back and secretly violating sugar again. When I come to feed the next morning, that I had sat out here waited for him, and he, she'd been molested again. It was devastating. Kenley says she would sometimes spend the night inside the stables with a shotgun to keep an eye on <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> with her ass perched up waiting. <laughs> Why know? not me? There's a perfectly good fucking woman in the room. Yeah. <clears throat> He's fucking my horse? First of all, you don't name a horse Sugar and not expect it to be fucked. That's just a <laughs> sexy name for a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give it a bad oh, name. God. Oh, this is one of our favorite pictures. Horse you vagina. Check. This is horse vagina. Is it really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That does look like I it. I get it. You I know, get it. If you had to. But it looks like it's got balls above it, though. Yeah, that's, it looks that's the down. asshole yeah, there's above it. Yeah. And then there's sort of a what looks like the alien that wrapped around that guy's <laughs> neck tail. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It doesn't look very hairy. It's really like a... looks like a Geiger painting <laughs> they're all pink on the inside yeah it looks like a galaxy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you can see how it would probably feel good on your cock if it wasn't you know attached to a it doesn't horse. look very wet well you gotta you just w- you gotta whisper shit it's here <laughs> yeah you fucking hot oh you fucking yeah you oh, bitch. with a shotgun with to a keep shotgun. an eye on sugar she says she thought about shooting vereen but didn't want to go to prison that's when she installed this. And moving my camera in various spots. 
And then I finally got a good picture. She should have been arrested Police for filming bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't that be great if they arrested her? You can't yeah. film this shit. No. It's like fucking, yeah, I'm going to catch a child pornographer for, uh, I'm going to film him having sex with a child. No. That's illegal. Oh, dumb. <laughs> Dumb woman. Yeah, this woman is just, she deserves to have a horse. All that fucked. work. Yeah, what does she do? For, how does this woman have a horse in a stable and yeah, well, a shotgun and a camera? <laughs> All these fucking props. She's got a bunch of shit going on. Yeah. And then I finally got a good picture of it. Police mm. arrested Vereen on Monday after he was caught on tape earlier this month molesting the horse. <laughs> he didn't resist or fight back or deny. Ooh, the horse? Yeah, what? the horse loved it. Yeah. The horse does it. Have you ever seen another horse fuck a horse? Yeah. It's probably one of the most violent. violent things I've yeah, ever seen. We had this horse uh, named Concho Pete. Concho Pete was one of the few horses at our stable that wasn't a gelding. Who's, and they used to breed it. About? This one I lived out in California. You I was horses, 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 horses oh, yeah. fucking. I was Gardens. Mr. Cowboy, equestrian guy. Dream buggies, oh, dream I had weaver. horses. Yeah, I was the, out there. I was the shit. I have pictures of me with boots, the hat, the whole wow. fucking deal. I was a hick fucking cowboy. <laughs> but I was, you know, 14 years old, so I was a kid. Wow. Grew up that way, yeah. It was, uh, it was fun, you live, grew up in Massachusetts and you're... No, nah, I grew up in New York originally, and then my father moved out to California, so I went to live oh. with him. And then, uh, you know, uh, he, he, was, he wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> so Danny's going to find some horse fucking videos. Concho Pete would bite the back of the neck of all the mares and just oh, stick really? this giant... <laughs> Giant cock. Wow. I don't care. I know the guy ha was of a certain ethnicity, this criminal that was molesting the horses, but no way it's as big as a horse. Look at wow. this horse bone. And they just how the shove fuck it does in. He guide that in. How does he guide that into anything? I think the, the people have to guide it in. Like, look, they can't just let them fuck. They're tying this horse up in a certain thing. I guess that's so it doesn't completely kill the, the mare. But how do they get it done in nature they before the we got up. involved? They wrap the tail like a boxer. Yeah, they gotta wrap the tail up. Why do That's you have to the female. The, why do you have to, yeah, but why do you have to wrap to, the tail if the two horses the were, were oh in the... Oh my god, look at this. Look at this fucking... Oh, oh man, Jesus. holy shit! Oh, god. Then Looking he's coming already. Spurt. He's fucking coming already. Horses, uh, horses can't... <laughs> yeah. Look at his neck. And he's biting the horse's neck. And the horse is just standing there like... Horses have no staying power. All horses prematurely ejaculate. Faggot There's horse. no pleasure for the female, huh? Look at that. No. Female doesn't know what the fuck. What a rod about. he's got, the Female's though. like... It's bending. He's trying it. to find out how to get in. Good technique on the horse's part, yeah. huh? But that's two Boom. pumps and he's done. Oh. Boom. Two Ugh. pump he's jump. The, he's the two pump kid. Oh, it's all fucking yellow. <laughs> God oh. damn. He is fucking like... in there, too. He's a good two That's feet like inside the, that vagina. His cum looks like the wood glue that he's going to be <laughs> in a couple of years. <laughs> From glue to glue. All right, he's done. Get him off the ashes fucking thing. Ashes to ashes, glue to glue. Now he's just, that was good. Burr. See, you think that guy, you think the horse felt that <laughs> fucking guy is all limp now? <laughs> Do you think the horse felt the And then they talk human? to a dude. Then they talk to some dude. Never. Well, and then he fucks her and comes all over her eh. fucking cunt. What a creep. That and then a little is. horse comes out later and I fuck it. Now we got a montage. Like here's two horses, horses just at a park somewhere next to a <laughs> Little League game. <laughs> yeah. It's weird how their necks arch kind yeah, of impossibly. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, neck kind of... And the horse stands up like a human when it comes time to do some fucking... That's some horse yep. fucking going on. That's because right. they watched us. Two, yeah. One more. Like, one more. I want to see one trying to more. lay the horse on its back <laughs> and do it human <laughs> style. I wonder if horses do donkey punches. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last uh, bit of the story. Ah. He didn't resist or fight back or deny. Now, he did kept apologizing to me. He, he said, did. if I hurt you, ma'am, I'm sorry. Vereen is now behind bars. Ben Vereen? His brother says yeah. he has mental problems no. and may yeah, not really? have been taking his medicine. I'd like to see him get some help, but I also want him kept behind bars when he's getting the help. Really? Here we go, yeah. There it is. Well, oh my God. Your... How are we just watching horse fuck videos? Look he did kept go. apologizing to me. God, Did he, you that, fucking past tense, not using correctly, stupid <laughs> retard with a fucking horse? Horses just don't look like they're made for fucking. The, the hooves, 
You don't have any. No, yeah, it's almost like hands they, to hold yeah, on. You can't That's grab onto the thing. Isn't that weird? It's yeah, like they it's... made them wrong. Like, wouldn't they just be? Wouldn't the fucking be the first thing you when you design an animal? Yeah, the, just to make like, sure that you can keep making them. You make them so that they can fuck. Yeah, so they can fuck. Easier Why are they than awkward that? when they fuck? That should be an egg laying animal. Yeah, <laughs> That's like. It should just be a, <laughs> a I know it's egg. a mammal, but it should just be a, an egg laying animal. It's not built for fucking. Uh, what is it? What is this? Oh, they're though? doing that that weird mouth thing when they smell. Is that a, a Shetland pony or something? Still hung works. like a motherfucker. It's horses. Jesus Christ. How did giraffes fuck? Find some giraffe fucking uh, videos. No That's got to be impossible. You're not going to find giraffes That's fucking. That's got to be. Danny finds anything. It's giraffes if, fucking. If, Come if, on. if there's fucking to be had, Danny will find it. Come on. Here we go. Giraffe fucking. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're built a little so, wedge-like, it's just... so it's... Takes seconds. How the fuck do they get this done? The weird now, thing now is the giraffe they're... is just standing behind him. The rocks behind them look like they're gonna fuck too. <laughs> it's weird. It's that a really is strange a strange image. Where is this? Like Disney? That's them. That's how they fuck. Animal. Oh, here he goes. Oh, hey. oh, shit. Did he just shove it in and that was Holy it? Holy shit! It had Whoa. to be one giraffe thrust. Fucking today. One thrust that took a tenth of a second. Wow. He, he was Damn. He just pushed everything forward. What's that about? Did you ever see that video? It's a lot of people have watched it of the uh the like the wild what do you call those animals that got antlers? Fuck. Oh, elk or or so, some kind deer, of weird rams, bison or something by a river in Africa and these cougars come and attack Ooh. them. Yeah. Did you ever see this video and Ant then they antelope. end up fighting with a yeah. with an alligator? That whole oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the oh, greatest yeah. things I ever I saw. Just, the alligator comes out of like nowhere. Yeah, well, but then it's but then the elk water. the elk come back and then they fight back. It's crazy. It's yeah, one of the coolest and, things and, ever. And seen. there's really no way for them to win. I forget. No, but they do. The elk win. Yeah, I guess one it's of the coolest alligator? things I ever saw. I'd take the alligator over the elk any day, <laughs> UFC style. <laughs> uh, alligators are good grapplers. You got to get them on the ground. They're not good on their feet. Louis, she's still on TV. <laughs> what, you know <laughs> why? Louis, she's Jesus. still on TV. What, what is she? Just, yeah. You're on pretty good terms with your dad. Who Great gives a shit? <laughs> Let's hear from the Hulk, can we? Sure. Here we got some sound. Sure. The Hulk. You've been married to somebody for 23 years, and you're crazy in, in love with them. You've had children with them. You know, it's a situation. Nobody that, gives a you shit. You you're one fucking you human know. being. We had so many. You're one. Things going oh, on, you know, who cares? And, um, situations <laughs> that happen that you know we just got torn apart. He's talking like he's the fucking president. Like reality. this yeah, is how seriously we take this. Um, he has been doing this for a long time, so I think he's... What, wasting America's he time? <laughs> Jesus. I think maybe and she's at the point now where she just has to talk about it. Yeah, and they're all father. being so it's serious, and we're all supposed to focus on their fucking relationship. He was younger. Yeah. <laughs> um, but your but, dad dated a younger woman. True, but when you're... 34 versus 19 years old, it's a big difference. You know, I think kind of just common sense has to kick in. Look at the two of them um, listening and I over the age intently. Thing, but I think it's just that, you know, I my gut tells me he's not good for her. I think it's pretty obvious. So. And they're talking about it on Nash. Like this is a fucking you know, personal relationship. This is a news show, by the way. This yeah, this is the news, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, right. What about this? Was there pressure? I mean, self-imposed pressure. you got cameras there. They want to take pictures of something. They want to show. They want drama. Was that somehow... Uh, did that influence you to you know, nice. create these Good moments, question. Perhaps, Good right? question. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. work. It's kind yeah. of embarrassing because we nice. asked all these questions you know I mean? yesterday. <laughs> yeah, of course we did. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? <laughs> but you keep <laughs> flaming on. Album about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, we yeah. deserve it. That's damn. the hag she's going to look And this look fucking like. footage, <laughs> like it's newsreel footage. Pressure. Hulk is in a tuxedo with a black bandana on his head. When you listen to the album, does it bring back painful memories? Wow, yeah, that was good. Good. When I listen to the song Dear Mom, it does bring back memories. Does it really? Listen to it. I'm like, I can't really? believe you know, the song. Oh. Dear Mom. I can't believe I can't <laughs> making money off the situation. It's, just, it's still shocking because yeah. I'm like, it's my mom. I love her. Oh, you know? my God. Let's um, Yeah, so let me go on this show and talk about her. <laughs> How I bring back time. Oh. Really happy person. You can't really get me down. Tell us about really? really? What if I piss in your hair? Will <laughs> I get you down? <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. It'll be running. I think there's two or three more episodes left. So try to catch it. It's really awesome. We're still filming. You're not going to be able to say Louis awesome. C.K. because all the shows are sold out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Caroline, maybe, maybe take us so 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 And if I could do a little shout-out, go yes. to brooksworld.com. 
Uh, okay, let's see. my website. All That's right. great. What are you going to tweet about us today? Bro? I feel weird about my mom's relationship with it. Here's my website. I'm going to steal one of your Tic Tacs. Okay, you got it. You can have some. Uh, vaginal, vaginal problems? We can do oh, more than God. that. How about a mug? Okay, it's a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give her the works. <laughs> <laughs> that was good when you said give her the works. We'll lose our cameraman. Wendy, rewind. We look at what the highlights were from yesterday's show on the this Wendy Williams show. This guy's a douche. She has some friendly advice to a woman in her audience. Is that right? I love you for watching. Oh, this monster. Oh, I hate the monster. The fucking Wendy Williams monster. Well, listen, you know, look at the size Hi, of this Sandra, fucking tranny. Every time she gets into an argument with her boyfriend, she expects me to call nice him look. and talk <gasps> no, to him. No, no, no. Yes, and I feel very uncomfortable with that because I don't want to get Wendy involved. Wendy Williams no. is a man. Do I, do I don't even understand what this is. You tell her is. that you are a practicing adult, and practicing adults <laughs> stay out of grown people's business, okay. and she needs to grow up. Okay. Don't you do that anymore. I won't. You're correct. Thank She's you. wrong. Tell her like it is, Wendy. She doesn't hold what that. a story. We are done. <laughs> Very poor <thrive. laughs> We're done. I thought I saw the limit years ago. No, and, I know. Go, I thought so, she so. tells it like it is. I thought... <laughs> When I thought when those shows came on, it was like this one won't last. But it's like fifteen generations in to all of this and stuff. still they're just a, yeah. When you thought, <laughs> well, it leads to the retard discussion that we have in front of us here. Ah, so let's take a look at this clip. <laughs> nah, nah. It's become known as the R word, retard or retarded. It can be discriminatory and cruel. Today, young people across the country joined a campaign to stop a disparaging use of the word. Spread the word to end the word. That's what they want. Spread it's a movement aimed at word. mutual respect and human dignity. And people who know the hurt of the R word led the charge to get rid of it. The R word. We're talking about the R word. Here. Sophomore English class at Conifer High School. The assignment, write a personal narrative on a topic important to you. Reggie wrote his paper on the R word. Haircuts that Reggie look like Dickoff has Howard. autism. <laughs> the R word is <laughs> retard or word. retarded. I feel it just demeans people with learning disabilities. You got to feel it? Can you pause this for a second? <laughs> Did fucking Dumbello write his dissertation in crayon? Dumbello. <laughs> <laughs> the R word is unpleasant because I don't know you're retarded. Uh, Fair enough. Dumbello. He, first of all, I doubt that he was offended by the word. I think somebody may have told him that this was going on, that he would be a part of it, and to stop chasing the pinwheel and yeah. look like this is important to you. He d he doesn't understand what he's saying. Yeah. He said, I don't like the R word, sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Just demeans people with learning disabilities. So today, Reggie joined a movement to spread the word to end the word. Have people ever called you retarded, retard? No. No. Really? But I do hear people calling other people that word. It's you. <laughs> and I never feel good. Good when they say that. You could have just yeah, stopped right trying, there. And yes, you because feel they're, hurting that person's, <laughs> they're hurting that person's feelings. So it made you sad. <laughs> When yeah. does that mean that you have a say in what they fucking say? What they say. That's the thing is, like, nobody, I mean, I think probably one person in the last 12 years pointed at a retarded kid and said, you fucking retard. Yeah, hey, you I, retard. I'm going to go ahead on, on a line and say, I would absolutely yeah, think that. Pretty much it's almost never happened. But I will look at Jim Norton after he say, says certain things and go, you're retarded. No. <laughs> it's like I was on stage once and I was talking about, I was telling a story about a, a, a pony that bit my daughter. And, uh... My daughter was bitten by a pony, and I was so mad at this pony, and I said, you fucking cunt pony. <laughs> and some woman in the audience was like, Thth. and I'm like, what's your problem? And she, she's offended that I use the word cunt. Here's the thing that drives me crazy. A pony, a male pony, I guess, who cares, bit my daughter, and I called that pony a cunt, and she's trying to get in the middle of that like it's like she's like i'm offended you just called me a cunt no i didn't i don't even know you you fucking cunt <laughs> you stupid retarded cunt <laughs> <laughs> now that you're in my sights yeah. you're a cunt <laughs> but this has got nothing to do with you you don't own that word you just yeah, don't yeah. own it i'm angry at a pony i called it a cunt did she really go I think I might be making it up. Fucking I got oh, a okay. face from a woman. Ah. I could see her looking at me, and I, I was like, "It was all went on in my head, I, Anthony." I nobody belt her in the me. mouth. I don't understand. Very nice I don't understand people, people, people that get offended in comedy clubs. Yeah, yeah that's you should know what thing. you're getting into when yeah, you walk into these places. Anything you know. might happen in there. Who the fuck knows? I um just did a 
casino in Tampa at the Hard Rock. My third joke in, I had four people walk out. Well, was the joke joke. In the set. It was it was all the people. There was some older people at the casino, you know, some high rollers yeah. and stuff. That was just doing some Tiger Woods stuff. Third joke in, they walked. Oh, fuck you. It was beautiful. I was like, That's this is weird. fucking great. Good. I'm like, if you guys are already leaving on a third joke, let's just fucking end this right now. <laughs> Thank you. Good I go, night. I'm just starting off nice right now. Yeah, yeah, it's going to get a lot worse. This is the good, yeah. Yeah. nice, pleasant stuff. <laughs> And they had to take that long walk. They're right in the front. They go all the way in the back. <laughs> it takes uh, forever. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I hope you're so uncomfortable. <laughs> Sit down at blackjack and lose your fucking ass. Did they have walkers? Bastards. They weren't at all, but that would be. Uh, well, they're not offended being be in terrific. the casino where where people are gambling yeah, no with kidding. their kids' tuition money. That doesn't no, and bother also, you. and there's people. There's shit in the in on television that just has an open. They just have an open fucking antenna. For 24 hours a day of viciously offensive programming that's just offensive in a way that people, it's not popular to say. Right. I, I, all the shit that goes on in, on CNN and uh, every, almost every fucking channel has somebody just being disgusting and, you it, know, exploit of Nancy Grace, fucking this ghoul who just it went fucking from, yeah. dredges up people's personal lives that were murdered and, and, and makes and murdered. turns it into some <laughs> murder. murder. <laughs> that's why no accident, Sam. That was murder. <laughs> I know botulism. I've poisoned quite a few people. <laughs> It's unbelievable. This is girl. Oh, that show. Girl. There's not a fucking Jack Klugman's dead. There's not even like a, a, a best boy on that show who's still alive. <laughs> he's not even dead. <laughs> We're just dragging it through. He's, he's not, not dead. dead. No, he's not. He's, he's hanging in there. Well. He's alive. His voice right, is a little sorry, fucked Jack. up from yeah, 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 like busy with me. <laughs> yeah. His voice was murdered. Yeah, a There's a red-headed voice, man. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> has tinkle in his oatmeal, Sam, <laughs> and he's gonna eat it. I can't believe we moved on from the oatmeal thing so fast. Yeah, that was nothing. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that was no piss in my I think it's that, that happens, and then you you like you know a couple hours later, like did he really yeah, yeah. Did did he do that? Yeah. Did he? He took his stick out and pissed in my oatmeal. Amazing. Here's part two of the R-word thing. Oh. Reggie's classmates urged others to stop using the R-word in a derogatory manner, and they offered a chance to take the R-word pledge. It may not affect me specifically, but it affects my friends like Reggie, and I feel that if I can stop it, I should. Today marks the second annual Day of Awareness, an ongoing effort by Special Olympics and Best Buddies International. College campuses, including Regis University, joined the campaign. For Reggie, it's progress. I just hope that less people use the R word. Makes for a better life for you and other people chips, with disabilities, like doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. Yeah. The national goal today was to get 100,000 people to pledge their support and to get people to remember that R is for respect. How ironic ah, is it that yes. the guy is sounds like... Is that the only word that begins R. with R? How about Ray uh, Shore? Retard? <laughs> how about Rump? How about what his mother drank? Rump and all. Rum. <laughs> 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 and the type of abortion she should have had. Retroactive. <laughs> <laughs> how ironic is it that the guy sounds like Stephen Hawking? <laughs> yeah, he does. And those people hey, are man. retarded. Uh, he's nervous because he's talking on TV, which yeah. he shouldn't be. Poor little guy. He's being forced into this thing. You know who makes me sick too is Sarah Palin when she talks about the joys and the challenges oh, yeah, of having a yeah. of, of having a Down syndrome child. Her baby is under one year old. It doesn't matter yet that it's retarded. That's true. It all, doesn't. All it hasn't are, started right, to become right. an issue yet. At that age, they it's all what, act what the matters same. is when the kid acts the way it does now when it's 15 years old. Then it becomes a joy <laughs> and a challenge. <laughs> but when she was standing on that stage at the fucking convention holding a baby that just came out of her fucking disgusting cunt. <laughs> her fucking retard making cunt. <laughs> and she Holy held it up. Shit. I hate her more than anybody. And she held it up and said, this is really hard raising this. Really? It's a baby. But to stick your tit in its mouth. <laughs> you really don't like what her, huh? No. Hello? Wow. No. Lou's not a fan it's not of Sarah start, Palin. It's not going to start failing that's, IQ that's, tests that's yet. Holy that's shit. Louis C.K. It's just a fucking we, baby. You know, we don't know Louis C.K. He just, just came in and promoted like gay. Just audio like get pulled like a homeless audio. Yeah, right? yeah, no kidding. <laughs> hey, Louis's right, right, though, as sorry. far as uh, baby is a baby, <laughs> you don't notice an it's intelligence. It's not a thing yet. It's, it's, it's as a baby, you don't notice It's like, oh, this six-month-old is acting like a, like a, this three-month-old is acting like a two-month-old. It's got developmental problems. <laughs> By now, it should have been going, not just, <laughs> <laughs> this is a real joy and a challenge. 
Uh, but I'm sticking by her. That's how brave I am. <laughs> Boy, I'm a committed mother because I'm feeding a fucking baby that looks like every baby on the planet. <laughs> She has no idea. She has no idea what it's like yet. Yeah, she's like in the honeymoon phase right yeah, now. Yes, the like honeymoon phase of baby. Ever. Yes, <laughs> but no. Wow. When that kid turns fucking twelve and it's still not tying his shoes, she's gonna be able to, enough with this. Yeah, this is, a challenge. this is now a challenge and not a joy, frankly. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I cannot stand uh, the use of the first letter of a word now that no. everybody oh, wants no, to no. just it's throw in there. Now it's the R word. Well, the, the that, that becomes N the word. word the C now. word was. That's the who word. knew? Like the C word was the first one. Really, it was yeah, like it's... you couldn't say. I remember my fucking ex-wife, who, by the way, I would use that word all the time with, <laughs> uh, would go ballistic mm -hmm. if if, they, if we were having an argument, which was a lot mm -hmm. uh, during my fantastic marriage. <laughs> uh, all I would have to do if she was like walking up the stairs is go. <laughs> Fucking cunt! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like she would hear she fucking bionic hearing at that mm -hmm. point. She'd hear the word, and no matter what we were discussing, no matter what the argument was about, it stopped instantly, and it was just about me calling her yep. a cunt. Yep. And, and you know how I hate that word. Don't ever yeah, use that's that why word. I used in it. Front I'm mad me. at you. Yeah. Exactly. What am I going to call you, dear? What are you going to do? You made me mad. We didn't drop fucking Ugh. firecrackers on Hiroshima. God you damn, get your best heart. weapon, Absolutely. your biggest weapon, and you fucking drop the bomb. It's like you a know. daisy cutter. So, yes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's why they call it the sea bomb. <laughs> it's a fucking bomb. Yep. It's meant to end things. Yep. Uh, but, you know, oh, the C word. The C word. Mm. Call it the C word. The N word, the R word, the F word, which is now faggot. It's not fuck. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. What is the F word? Uh, faggot. Faggot. Yeah. C word. Is that it? It's it's nigger, cunt, faggot, and retard. Those oh are the words right God. now that we're saying that you can't say. So, so right basically, now, whenever I need my girlfriend, I have to yell, "Hey, you!" <laughs> <laughs> hey, miss. Well, you know the midget word will be there soon, and then yeah. Oriental is another I one that's going to be. I think I actually heard the M there. word. I think I heard the M word for midget already. Yeah, good luck. They with don't want to fucking. Yeah, we'll get with the lowercase one. Oh my god! Oh, wow! You think wow! We'll, you think we'll lose? Uh, you think we'll lose faggot? Oh yeah, uh, yeah we, without a doubt. Growing up, we all used it, and we weren't thinking gay. Well, we're just saying, look, no, stop being gay. a faggot. If we want to say gay, we would say, also say that's gay, never meaning homosexual. Yeah, it's like, dude, you you really didn't use gay. it, right? That's it's all this stuff happens gay. Your bicycle's so gay. This like, stuff oh, really happens in uh, cycles. Yeah. And it just depends on what time in history or who gets mad or what gets interesting to the media. I saw this documentary about it was a whole documentary about uh Huck Finn mm -hmm. and uh, you know <clears throat> Nigger Jim, the character right, in the book. Yeah, yeah. That every few years um, they try to ban somebody tries throws Huck Finn out of a library. Oh yeah, yeah. Or yeah, they try to put it's... out an edition that doesn't yeah. have Nigger Jim in it. Right. And uh, it was really interesting. It showed how far it goes right back to when the book was first written, and then every country eventually starts taking out the Nigger Jim. Wow. Or there's a few, you know, then they'll have but a it protest. Written, it just comes so and you, goes. How's that going to change and anything? That's the way it was written. Great piece of video though, where Ronald Reagan is giving some sort of, you know, commemorating when he was president, something mm -hmm. that had to do with. Uh, Huck Finn uh, or Mark Twain like you know he's opening a Mark Twain Center or something yeah and he says uh, who who can forget the the wonderful adventures of Huck Finn and he looks off camera for a second oh, oh. and his friend uh, uh, Jim yeah. and you Jim. could tell that he was because he's an <laughs> oh, old guy who's about to say, say that they were yeah. like don't Mr. President you don't. mustn't say nigger Jim no. you just gotta say Jim and he looked off at an aide <laughs> like his friend um, oh yeah Jim that's, right. that's how close oh, he was God. that's how close we were to having video forever <laughs> oh, running God. and his friend nigger Jim, nigger Jim. <laughs> Reagan, was, Reagan was so old he really fucked up he goes and his friend no. Jim the nigger <laughs> <laughs> Jim who was a nigger yes. and who consorted with them oh and laid god. down with them? Oh my god! <laughs> Friend Jim, uh, um, who yes. I think was a nigger. Yes. Mm. Look, I made a career to be uh, make oh, fun of retard, so I'm on. 
Yeah, yeah, you did. did. Absolutely. Right. So I how do you feel about Firehouse yes. of Pennsylvania to headline an improv so I make a fun of retard, so <laughs> I'm all for that word. <laughs> so you're getting a little nervous over there. Not at all. The no, we already, can't lose the R word. <laughs> no. already you already banked that money. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay. I already paid off a couple of mortgages. All right, fuck. Let's, let's, just fucked, man. Let's break here. Louis